through a lifetime spent in the pursuit of knowledge, one question consumed me. How did our world come to be? The old ones perished a thousand years ago, triggering the extinction of all life. She showed me how it was reborn. A little outcast girl, ignorant of her own importance. Through her, I learned that life was only saved through a technological miracle. Zero Dawn. A terraforming system composed of nine subordinate functions. Each playing its part to reshape Earth from a barren rock to a lush landscape. Tended and protected by the machines. And with her, I learned the deepest secret of them all. The secret of her birth. That she is a clone of Elizabeth Subek, Zero Dawn's creator. Born to prevent a new extinction. Driven by Hades, a malevolent AI. Given sentience by a mysterious signal of unknown origin. And with a little help from me, she prevailed in a great battle at the city of Meridian. Becoming a champion for all humankind. But as useful as she has been, now I must leave her behind. For as she strives to put right what Hades sundered, I have made a new discovery. One that heralds both destruction and opportunity. I'm running out of time, Elizabeth. The land is dying. People are suffering. Soon, I'll starve. All because of a terraforming system that's spiraling out of control. And only I can fix it. Only I have your genetic code. It won't be long before we hit the point of no return. And then... Extinction. I've been searching for months for what I need. A backup of Gaia. The AI you designed to control the system. But every time I think I have a lead, it comes to nothing. And every night, I have the same dream. I'm walking under a brilliant night sky, through a field of flowers. And when I arrive at the center, I see you, Elizabeth. Waiting for me, even though you've been dead for a thousand years. You're the closest person I've ever had to a mother. And for a moment, I feel whole.
But it never lasts. I'm always left alone. This world is your legacy, Elizabeth. I won't let it slip away. The valley below is my only remaining lead. My last hope to find the backup. I'll do whatever it takes to get it. I promise. Varl? <laughs> if it isn't Aloy, the savior of Meridian, anointed of the Nora. You know I hate being called that stuff. Well... Consider it a punishment for running out on us the very same night we beat Hades. I grew up an outcast. Remember, I'm not much for parties. Yeah. But that one was in your honor. Just saying. So! What are we doing? Must be urgent since you left so fast. Delving into ancient ruins? Or maybe it has something to do with the Blight. Both, actually, but, um... I should... Oh, no. I've been tracking you a long way. It's okay. After everything you've done to help the Nora and my family, I swore an oath to help you, no matter what. You're stuck with me now. Like bark on wood. Okay, but if you're going to come with me, you'll need to be able to see what I see. <sighs> A focus? Never thought I'd get your second sight. I'll give you another one later and show you how to back up your data. Data? Information on the device. We've got a lot to cover. Um, I'll have to explain everything as we go. You see like this all the time? Since I was a little girl. Come on. Shall we? Couple of scrapes on the way here. We should find some medicinal plants. Stock up. So it's time for your first lesson with the focus. Sounds good. Let's get started. These plants don't look like the ones in the sacred lands. The focus helps you see the ones we need. Bitter? Yeah, well, at least they make you feel better. All right, we should keep going. Might want to grab more of these plants along the way. Yeah, good idea. Peeling off. Dead skin. 
Is that how it spreads? Yeah. Those ruins. That's where we need to go. Are we gonna jump? Go for a swim? Fastest way down. Find anything good down there? A few supplies. What are we after exactly? The backup? Well, um, it's an AI. It's, um, it's hard to explain. Locks. Salvaging machine carcasses as usual. And there they go. Looks like they left the carcass behind. Better take a closer look. Someone took down this machine recently. Who else will come here? I don't know. We better craft some arrows of our own. There might be trouble ahead. Good thing we already picked up some Ridgewood. All right. Now to craft some arrows. Done. Me too. Arrows ready. There's a ladder. But can't reach it from here. Nothing a well-placed arrow can't knock free. Just have to target the lock. That lock is really stuck, huh? I just need to land one full drawn shot. By the goddess. What was this place? I don't know. The transmission, the, uh, message I found, didn't say. Only that a backup might be here. We need to find a way in. So, um, what happened after I left Meridian? Well, there was a fuss when people realized you were gone. But then some of us figured you only would have left if it were for something important. You were right about that.
Aloy, over here. Maybe we can get into the ruin this way. Down this way. Get to the grass. Never seen one of those before. Me neither. Those dead machines have it on alert. How do you want to handle it? The focus can help us. We can scan the machine before we make our move. Okay. Give it a sec. Okay. See how parts of it are glowing? Those are its weak spots. Got it. I'm ready. Die. It's a weak spot. Right. Another one's coming. Okay, concentrate. How does the focus know all that? It reads data on the machine. Like a hunter studying its prey? Yeah, kind of. Another ladder. Need to shoot off the lock. So after the fuss over me leaving, what did everyone else do? Well, soon as the celebration was over, my mother led the rest of the Nora home. My first one when I fell into a ruin. Got the others from an old cache not long ago. It's good Welcome to, to the stress. Far Zenith launch facility. Far Zenith? I know they made some tech trades with Zero Dawn, but why would they have a backup of Gaia? Please register with reception for the tour. I guess they want us to check in with them. Should be able to pry this open. There's climbing gear. Guess someone dropped in from above. Whoever left us here might have also shot those machines we found earlier. So where are they now? Ugh, what's that stench? Entire camp. Wiped out. They must have come here to Delph for scrap. Acid. That explains the smell. And it looks like something big came in from above. Crashed right through the camp. And then through the wall. I should take a look at the rubble in that gap. Whatever came through here brought this down as it went out. If I can dislodge some of the debris, we might be able to squeeze through. Maybe I can find something to help in the camp. Aloy, over here. I think I got something. It's some kind of Osram prototype, I think. This hook looks like it can latch onto things. And this gear pulls it back. Hmm. It looks broken, but maybe we can repair it. Hook it to the debris. And pull it out. 
That could work. The focus can help us search the camp and identify anything we can use to fix the tool. My focus picked up a couple of things to check out. Poor guy. Acid burned right through his armor. Part of a machine could help fix the gears. Machine cable. Stronger than rope. All right, I think I have what I need to repair the tool. Or maybe even make something better. You could use this workbench. There. Uh, pull caster. Now to test it on the debris. better than I thought. Well, it doesn't look like there's an easy way out of here. I should scan the area. We have to find a way to keep going. What's this? Huh. What's this thing for? Whoa. Good morning. I'm Oswald Dalgard, and it is my pleasure to introduce you to Far Zenith. Forget what you think you know about us. Our truth is simple. We say reach for the stars, even if you have to cross 8.6 light years of space to get there. Please, proceed into the auditorium, where we'll unveil our plans. Wonder what's in this auditorium. Guess we'll find out. Oh, I might be able to get up there. Right. Wow, that works. That pull caster is useful. Too bad there's only one. Don't worry, I'll find you another way up. Okay, I gotta drop the ladder for Varl. There you go, Varl. Thanks. Humans. 
Homo sapiens. Us. We have always pushed the boundary as explorers, pioneers, trailblazers. And now Far Zenith is taking the next leap into the future. That's why we're proud to have resurrected the Odyssey. When our governments abandoned in orbit, Far Zenith will actualize in less than a decade. But that's only the beginning. When the ship is complete, we will send the Odyssey and her crew where no one's gone before. The Sirius system. There, we'll create humanity's first off-world colony. The Odyssey may take 300 years to reach it. But when we look up at the night sky, we'll know they're on their way. And in the words of our founder, the late Peter Chinvumbe, the truest form of immortality is data corrupt. The playback stopped. The old ones could fly through the sky? Between the stars? Uh, well, yes, sort of. That ship, the Odyssey, it, it never made it to the other star. Something went wrong, and it blew up. Is that why Elizabeth gave them a backup of Gaia? For their colony? Public presentation file corrupted. Member recruitment file available. Do you wish to reactivate? Yeah, reactivate. Let's see what else they had to say. We all know the projections. Economic instability, new biocontagions, rampant AIs. How long before another catastrophe creates unacceptable risk for the world's elite? We here at Far Zenith believe, escape the inevitable. And so we reach for the stars. Now you've seen what we're building here. Infrastructure to support the Odyssey's construction. A state-of-the-art data center to facilitate rapid technological advancements. And you've seen how we're managing public perception. So invest and join us. Claim your birth on the Odyssey. Preserve your way of life beyond the concerns of Earth. Well, they were right about the world ending. I just didn't know how yet. So everything they said back there about the next step for humanity, it was all a lie. These people only cared about saving their own skin. Yeah, well, didn't work out for them in the end. That Oswald guy mentioned a data center. There, the backup. It should be stored in there. Won't be able to swim across. I guess we'll have to find a way around. Come on. I still can't believe the old ones could fly. They were capable of a lot of things. Good and bad. Sure seems like it. I wonder what it's like up there. Stars. Deeper into the creepy ruin we go. What is that? Only thing that killed those awesome. Keep your guard up. Oh, my guard is up. <laughs> up here. Oh, 
Oh, don't want those things to call in some friends from underground. You take the left one. I'll deal with the one on the right. Okay. <laughs> Moving up. I need to sneak up on it to take it out with my spear. Can't let it see me. I should scan it first. Check its patrol path. Gotta go. Mine's down too. More of those machines ahead. Nothing you and I can't handle. Got them all. I've been meaning to mention. I noticed you have a new look these days. <laughs> yeah, I know. Didn't have a lot of time to shave when I was trying to catch up to you. Don't worry, it's not permanent. Good. Sorry my whiskers offend you, anointed. Looks like the blight's made its way in here. Looks like this little guy got caught up in the blight. I couldn't escape. I hope it didn't suffer long. The Osram must have used explosives against the machines. They managed to get a couple. Looks like there was a barricade here. The machines must have broken through. Keep this for later. Guess that Osram didn't have a chance to use it. Uh! Aloy! Yeah, that hurt. There. Managed to salvage some supplies. Looks like another camp. While we're here, maybe we can make some traps of our own. Might come in handy against machines. Good idea. this oh, I don't have the right supplies to craft a trap but it looks like the awesome shot off some machine parts I might be able to scrounge up enough materials from them Before. Scrounger. That's new to me. Let's see where its weak points are. Maybe we should craft some traps. It could help us get by.
Maybe there. we could place one of those it's traps in the this path. If anything walks into one of those, it won't know what hit it. Clear. Let's keep going then. Well, they all have their secrets, but. Every place is different. Whoa. That machine we saw earlier must be on the move. Let's hope it doesn't come this way. Big storm picking up out there. Yeah. And they're getting stronger. And more frequent. So the storms, the blighted lands, the rivers and lakes choked with algae. You were born to fix all that? Yeah. But I can only do it if I find that backup. I think we're winding our way around. Hmm. This data mentions the tech that Farzina traded with Zero Dawn. That doesn't explain how they got a backup. I'll keep an eye out for more data. Looks like we've got to climb up. Okay? Yeah. Guess we won't be going that way. This is really falling apart. <laughs> well, it is a thousand years old. Looks like some kind of meeting room. That door on the other side's a Onzu. The Zero Dawn terraforming system, the brainchild of Dr. Elizabeth Sobek. Empowered by nine subordinate functions, Gaia, the core of the system, is capable of advanced planetary engineering, an obvious advantage to our space colonization efforts. Operation Phase 1. Establish an asset within Project Zero Dawn. Status complete. Phase 2. The asset will secretly beamcast a complete copy of Gaia and her subordinate functions to this facility's data center. If all goes well, Zero Dawn staff will remain completely unaware of the transmission. Risks. 
Discovery of this operation could result in Zero Dawn withholding the already negotiated Apollo database. Special care must be taken not to alert Travis Tate, the expert hacker in charge of Hades protocol. In addition, extreme caution must be exercised in regards to Dr. Sobek herself. As one of the world's preeminent technologists, she may have instituted unforeseen security measures. A complete assessment is attached. This concludes the executive summary. I thought Elizabeth sent the backup here, but she didn't. Far Zenith stole Gaia. Aloy, why does that woman look like you? Uh, um, it's okay, Prawl. We look alike because we're the exact same, genetically identical. But she was one of the old ones. How can you be her? Because I wasn't born. I was made by a machine. It's why I'm motherless, why I was cast out as an infant. I don't understand. What kind of machine can make a person? Remember when I said the backup is like a set of instructions? It's more than that. It's called Gaia. And for a long time, she cared for the world until she had to destroy herself. So she made me to bring her back. I'm the only one who can. And this place is my last hope. You once said the goddess spoke to you when you went into All Mother Mountain. Was that this Gaia? Yes, but she's not the goddess, Varl. There isn't one. How can you be sure? It sounds like she anointed you with a sacred task. <sighs> I've had a lot of time to figure this out. And you will too, with the focus, but for now... The report said they were going to store the stolen copy of Gaia in the data center. So that's where we have to go. Okay? Huh. Look at that. Aloy, over here. I found something you could use. A weapon. Thanks, Varl. We should keep moving. After you. Down here. I think we're almost back outside. Good. Look, that must be the machine. It's heading in the same direction we're going. Great. I don't know those machines. I could try out that new weapon on it. big machine must have attacked as they tried to escape. They didn't stand a chance. Looks like... Cross over here. So, you said this backup is the last hope. Yeah. All those places I've been these last few months. Supposed to be more backups. But a thousand years ago, a guy named Ted Farrow purged them all. Was he part of Far Zenith too? No. He was worse.
somehow. That big metal thing looks like the ship we saw back in the yard. Awesome. Imagine she going up to the stars in that. These guys couldn't catch a break. Machines patrolling ahead. We can tag them in the focus to keep track of them. So tell me something. Sona was really okay with you not going back to the Sacred Lands? As the Nora War Chief, she understood why I was obligated to follow you. But as my mother, she wasn't pleased. Is she ever pleased? I don't think I've seen her smile. Me neither. slaughtered all those Osirum, we'll never get through to the data center. There's no way to slip past them. They're too tough to fight head on. We could find a settlement. Convince some hunters to help us. That would take weeks, and we don't have that kind of time. Maybe all we need is that shuttle to fall. That thing? How? I'll figure it out. Just wait here. Aloy! Trust me. And there she goes. Just need to get over to the shuttle. To f huh? If I can make it to that tower, we should be able to find a way across to the shuttle. There. That ladder can get me up to the tower. Okay. Well, up there. I think I can reach it if I launch myself off that grapple point. I didn't 
get up high enough. I better try this again. I can reach the rail up there if I launch myself off the grapple point. Machines killing Osirum and leaving acid everywhere. <sighs> Great. Easy. That was close. One rickety tower down. On to the next. I won't be able to make that jump. There is a cable here. Maybe I can write it. Uh... together. <laughs> Looks like there are massive clamps holding the shuttle in place. Oh, but there's a control console nearby. If I can release the clamps, the shuttle should fall right into the basin. Oh, great. More machines in my way. console might be in there. Okay. Time to crush those machines down below. I'm gonna have to climb the tower to find a way to disconnect them. Now, how to get up the tower? Staying with my focus could help here.
shuttle to attach the cables. doesn't sound good. I'm gonna have to detach those cables quick. This should be the right spot. There. That connector is holding the cables together. It should break if I shoot it. One down. I just need to climb higher and attach the second set of cables. <laughs> Scaling an ancient rickety tower with killer machines waiting down below. Uh, maybe we're almost right, but no turning back now. Tum-tum. 
The data center should be straight ahead. I guess Farrell's gonna have to find another way there. Once I get the backup, I can reboot Gaia. Fix the... Heal the blight. Restore less of its dream. But is it still there? here. Gaia version 6.9. Initializing. Hello. Hi. Elizabeth? <sighs> Travis Tate. Now, what's this we got here? A far as in conspiracy to steal a copy of Gaia? And your subordinate functions? Naughty, naughty. You want me to handle this, Liz? Blasphemers! Brood of vipers! With a mighty hand, I smite and pour troubles upon you! Stole you losers, but it's the mother of all logic bombs. So good luck repairing your data. And next time you start thinking you can outsmart a tape, remember my salute.
Aloy? The goddess. There is no goddess. I told you that already. That's not Gaia. That's not what I'm looking for. It's nothing but a fake. I got it. For all... I'm sorry. You have a sharp bite sometimes, you know? But it was pretty amazing to see you fly off that tower and blow up the entire basin. The thing is, um, there's going to be more of that. I'm out of leads, Varl. But I, I have to keep searching. And fast, and whatever risks I have to take, I will. And it doesn't make sense to have someone with me. Someone who might get hurt. This is on me, Farrell. Nobody else. Hold on. Before, in Meridian, you said there was a man who helped you. Silence. You said you used to talk to him a lot about things you discovered from the old world, things no one else understands. And he gave you the lance you used to defeat Hades. He's gone. Varl, I haven't heard from him since the battle against Hades. Sure, but Spymaster Murad back in Meridian, he's good at finding people, isn't he? Varl, I... <sighs> Come on, it might work. Plus, you'll get to see some friendly faces again. <sighs> okay, I... I guess it's worth a shot. We've got a long walk ahead. Actually, I've got a better idea. The savior of Meridian has returned. You earned this welcome. You saved them. Not yet. In the name of the Sun King of Vard, a royal welcome for the champion. Make way. Murad, Aloy has an urgent matter to discuss. Dashane, that makes two of us. I've sent forth hunters for weeks. The sun fall all the way to the sacred land, searching for you. Something happened at the spire. Come. I'll show you. Watch your step. You saved us all, to be sure, but uh, we're still cleaning up the mess. It happened right after the solstice. We were able to explain it away, thank the sun. Otherwise, it might have caused a panic. One night, for less than half a minute, it glowed an angry red. From Meridian, it looked like a trick of the light. But those who were closer, atop the light, said it could not have been a reflection. Much to my dismay, they said the light rose up from the tower's base. From that. We left everything just as it was. What do you think happened? I don't know. The Spire's supposed to send out signals, messages, for the terraforming system. Yeah, but Hades tried to use it to wake up ancient war machines. I was sure I cut the connection to that thing. 
Wait here while I check it out. Let us know what you find. Something was transmitted from the top of the spire. I guess I have to find a way up there. This machine was the last line of defense for Hades. It dragged the orb up here and then nearly killed me, but it's just I might be able to climb up the scaffolding at the base of the spire. jump to that ledge behind me. over to the spire. Should be able to get up there now. I thought Silence was helping me when he gave me his lens. But it looks like he tricked me. He transmitted something through the spire. Did he save Hades? Why would he do that? Well, if I can figure out where he sent it, I can track him down. Hopefully the transmission note at the top will tell me. Uh, looks like this panel's ajar.
Well, Aloy, I see you finally figured it out. To be honest, I'm surprised it took you so long to discover my rules. You raked the lands to steal Hades. How could you be so reckless? Reckless? You're the one who tried to purge Hades before its precious knowledge could be extracted. The mysterious signal that woke it, for example. Or why to obtain one of those Gaia backups you've been having such a hard time finding? If you knew, why didn't you just tell me? I've been having problems of my own these past six months, Leloy. The difference is, I've made progress. So once your anger at my entirely necessary deception has faded, now why don't you come out here and find me in the Forbidden West and learn all that I've discovered? Oh, I'll come find you, all right. Yes. Well, the coordinates make it simple enough. Even for you. went inside it, and it transformed, almost like the day of the battle. I can only be grateful that it's a stormy day. Few will have seen the tower change from Meridian. What did you discover? Hades. The danger didn't end here. It went into the Forbidden West. And I have to follow. I see. That can be difficult. The West is called Forbidden for a reason. A tribe of ferocious warriors controls much of it, the Tanakh, and they allow no trespassers past its border. That said, under the Sun King of Art, a fragile peace has been negotiated, and indeed, the next embassy will take place in a day or two on the edge of the frontier. Were you to attend the gathering under his auspices, the Tanakh might grant right of passage, instead of hunting you and attacking on sight. Great, just what I need. More killers. Ah, the Sun King. Aloy, it's good to see you. You left in such haste. We never had a chance to properly thank you. Can, can we show the champion the spear now, please? It's a min. Quiet. It's true. We bear gifts. Decorum usually calls for a ceremony of offering at the palace, but I thought you would prefer a less formal occasion. Bring them, please. Uh, Avad, this is all very kind, but I... Move it. Vinasha. Quick. Better hand them over before she runs off again. Really? Must you? Try it on. It's beautiful. On behalf of all the citizens of the Sundom, may these tokens remind you of our eternal gratitude. Perhaps you'd like to spend more time with your friends. Come speak to me when you're ready to depart. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Uh, uh, is that a statue of me? That's... new. I 
I guess I should be flattered by the statue. It feels wrong. Especially when my job's only half done. The sculptor wanted something even bigger. Twice the size. Covered in gold and jewels. But I was quite certain you wouldn't appreciate that. You were right. I'm sorry, Avad. It's good to see you, but I can't stay long. I see. I'd hoped you'd remain in the city for a time. Perhaps at the palace. Meridian's still in danger. But it's bigger than that. To put things right, I have to go west. To Noct territory. By the sun, that's a Noct? Well, perhaps Murad already told you, but... After years of hostility, we've negotiated a truce. In hopes of a lasting peace. Another embassy will be held in just a day or two. When you say, years of hostility, I assume you mean the Red Raids? Ah, yes. My favorite subject. I wouldn't ask if I didn't need to know. As you know, my father raided all the border tribes. The Asaram, Banuk, and Nora suffered greatly, resisting as best they could. But none fought back like the Tanakh. They rose up and assaulted our western front at Barren Light, sweeping us from their lands. Getting them to talk to us again after that was... tricky. What makes this coming embassy so special? Oh, just like today, it is special. Because of the guest. Our delegation will meet with the Tanakh just outside Baron Light. We'll give them treasure, and they'll return a prisoner. Fashav, one of our finest soldiers. Soldier? Don't you mean raider? No. Not in this case. Fashav is my cousin. Nothing like Helis and his ilk. He joined the Western Expedition with the hopes of reining in certain excesses. But he was captured during a heroic defense of our forward base at Cinnabar Sands. And has been held ever since. Edelman looks happy. And you got him out of Sunfall. Any happiness he has, he owes to you. He's turning into a fine young man. Which he'll need to be if he's to inherit the crown. Wouldn't the crown go to a son of yours first? Yes, well... I'd have to get married for that to happen. Murad keeps throwing noble matches at me. But I find I'm always... Trying to make them into someone they're not. At any rate, I never aspired to the throne, and I don't wish to sit there forever. When Edaman comes of age, I hope to step aside. Free of the crown. I might finally be able to travel the world. Who knows? Perhaps even accompany you on one of your adventures. You make it sound easy. One moment, Aloy. There's something I must ask you. Since you left, I've thought of little else. This isn't really the time. But it has to be. The way you left before, there's no way to know when I'll see you again. I'm not trying to stop you. Or hold you back. But I need to know. When your mission is over, will you return to Meridian? And stay? Long enough for us to... Spend time to get to know each other properly, perhaps. Avad, the, the situation calls for a, 
a higher perspective. The threat I'm facing endangers not just Meridian, but a lot of other places too. A lot of innocent people. What happens between us... It's not important. At least... Not yet. You're right. I'm acting like a fool. It's supposed to be the king who calls for a higher perspective. Please accept my apology. And my wishes for your success. Goodbye, Aloy. As always, our hopes ride with you. I need to attach the Master Override to my new spear. Should be a workbench around here I can use. Looks like a memorial. Honoring those who fell in the Battle of the Alight. Lots of brave people defended this place from Hades. Machine carcasses. Remnants from the Battle of the Alight. We were almost overrun by the machines Hades controlled. But we pushed through. It's her. Dowager Queen Nasadi. Blessed champion. Itaman, what do you say? My humblest thanks to you, great champion, for delivering my mother and me from Sunfall and for defending our holy city against the forces of shadow. Did I say right? You said it fine, Edmund. And you're welcome. Champion, will you teach me how to shoot like a real machine hunter? It's a man. I, uh... I have to go on an important mission, Prince. To save the world? Something like that. But when I come back, I could give you a few tips. It would be an honor. We owe you our lives, champion. And we will not forget. May the sun light your way. Watch out for Thunderjaws, champion! There. A workbench. What is this, Fana? Uthid. Fanasha. Thanks for being here. Wouldn't miss it. Even if you did leave us hanging after the big battle. Fanasha, stop. She's here now, isn't she? For the moment. But I see that look on her face. She's got business to attend to. And it isn't in Meridian. You know, I didn't vanish before because I wanted to. I had- No, Huntress. Please. You don't have to justify yourself to us. You saved our butts. If you've got to go, go. With our blessing. Always. You both look like you're doing well. Mr. Shiny Pants here is now the Sun King's senior military advisor. That means people actually have to listen to him talk? May the sun bless their sorry souls. At least I say something of substance every once in a while. What was that? I just fell asleep while you were talking. And how about you, Vanasha? I've been looking after Nasadi and Edaman. Two parts bodyguard, one part... Bad influence. Huh. I was gonna say nanny, but I like your version better. It's been months since I was in Sunfall. What's become of the Shadow Karja? Huh. <laughs> after you wiped out the Eclipse, there were hardly any priests or officers left to terrorize the little people. Avad offered amnesty to all who were forced to serve the Shadow, so the commoners cleaned out the citadel and handed it back to him. The Sundom was unified. Avad wanted Uther to take command of the garrison there, but Captain Cudley here refused. Rumor has it that he wanted to stay close to me here in Meridian. <laughs> That's nonsense, of course. <laughs> Well, I, I know, I know, 
You're out. Go! Away with you. Always an honor, champion. Always a pleasure. But please, little Huntress, come back someday and tell us about your adventures. If I can't get in trouble, at least I can hear about yours. Okay, Master Override installed. Plus, something new to store up and release energy. A uh, resonator. Should help in a fight. But she looks even stronger than the statue does. Are you ready to go? Or do you need a little more time? I better get going. And if I'm headed west, it sounds like I'll need rite of passage from the Tanakh, as you said. Where exactly is this embassy going to be held? Past the Dawns, the canyon that marks the western border of the Sundom. You'll find the fortress of Barren Light at its farthest edge. The embassy will take place just beyond its gates. It's a long march, a fortnight on foot. A couple of days hard riding should get us there. Actually, it might be better to rest here tonight. Head out in the morning. Of course. I'll arrange it.
box to steal. Ha! Never seen anyone use one of those to get around. Is that how I get to Baron Light? Uh, yes, I mean, usually, but not today. Uh, not yet. And why is that? Well, the Daunt. The whole valley. It's infested with machines. I can handle machines. Oh, I'm sure you can, but uh, I'm under strict orders not to operate until the whistle down at Chain Scrape sounds the all clear. Look, I didn't come all this way just to stand around and wait. I'll crank that car down myself if I have to. Well, but then... Who would crank it back up? Fine, fine. Though, should anyone ask, it might be best to say you forced me. I see smoke. But not a lot of activity. Smoke's probably coming from something the machines wrecked. As for the quiet, well, there's a work stoppage in effect because of all the fuss. What sort of machines are causing the trouble? Nasty ones, and lots of them. Bristlebacks, they're called. Strangeness is, they're not native to the Daunt. Just showed up, all of a sudden. No hunters to kill them? Oh, we've got hunters, just none that want to cross Olvind. Boss of Chain Scrape. He is self-appointed. Work stoppage was his idea. Yeah, well, I'm just passing through. Got an embassy to attend. You should have said. That ain't gonna happen no time soon. What are you talking about? Hear that? That's your answer. Who is that? Karja Sun Priest. Ranked him down yesterday, about an hour before the machine trouble started. He's a very important man, or so he says. That embassy at Baron Light, he's the one supposed to run it. Ah! <sighs> Great. If you don't do as I say immediately, the Sun King himself shall hear of your insolence. Thanks to you, I was forced to spend the night shivering in the tent. Exposed to attack, I might have died. Oh, me you refuse to transport, but not this... This... What? This Nora girl? This savage? Besides, Scallywag. Wadis. That's Aloy. Studious Wadis. Aloy? You know, savior of Meridian? Really? Well, that lessens the insult, I suppose. I came here for the Embassy of Baron Light. The way I hear it, so did you. Well, not with the valley infested. And so did Aramon proclaim the Sun Priests most precious and worthy of safekeeping. See? Scripture. I shall head to Baron Light when the captain of the vanguard tells me the way is clear, and not a moment sooner. Fine. Captain's a friend of mine, you know? Where is Erend? Wouldn't mind speaking to someone a little more action, a little less... scroll? Vadis. Studious Vadis. Studious Vadis sent Erend and another vanguard out at daybreak to clear the way. And so, at daybreak... Hey! Shh. Down the valley, then? Yeah. Said they'd check the ruins on the left bank for tracks. Take it from there. Okay. I hear there's a work stoppage. Any way to upgrade my gear? I'll bet the smith and chain scrape would let you use his workbench. As for the bristlebacks, you might want to craft some acid arrows. Hitting their canisters with those will take them down quick. Thanks. I'll find Aaron and I'll bring him back. Hey! Where do you think you're going? What? To the top of the ridge. To wait in safety. Sorry. 
Operators under strict orders. No passengers till the whistle blows, right? That's right. <laughs> Best start cranking. <laughs> Why? Why? Jorf, would you kindly escort Studious to Chain Scrape and wait for me there? You got it. I will find Erend, and I will help clear a path. But after that, no more excuses. Baron Light. Embassy. If such be the will of the sun... It will be. Trust me. I gotta find Erend. But it might be good to hit a chain scrape first and upgrade my bow. Machines must have torn through this camp. This really definitely isn't safe. The cauldrons could teach me how to override these machines. But where would they be? Grab this from my stash later.
dead machine. It must be a bristleback. That must be chain scrape. Jeruf said I could get my bow upgraded in there. Might be able to tinker with my other gear too. Outlander approaching. Is that the savior? Wanna come in, savior? You can't give me free. Welcome to chain scrape, savior. Open up, guys. Dwarf's orders. Good enough for me. By the forge. Petra? Aloy, what are you doing here? Uh, about time there was something worth looking at in this dump. It's nice to see you too. And not a moment too soon. Come on. I... Damn brewery's the only thing I can count on in this place. Yeah, I heard. Machines, work stoppage. Oh, those are just the latest malfunctions. Chain scrape's always been a few tools short of a kit. And right there is the biggest tool of all. Not our land, not our problem. The bristlebacks are everybody's problem. Elvind? You've heard of him. Yeah. But he's a story. Best told over a cold beer. Uh, Petra, Petra. I'm just passing through. I'm headed west. Oh. There's an embassy at, at Baron Light I need to make happen, and then I keep moving. Ah, of course. Bigger gears to grind. Well, Flame Hair, good to see you. You've got to move on. Petra. But if you want a cold beer and a few laughs with an old friend, come find me at the brewery. Your choice. Well, this old one guy sounds like trouble. Maybe Petra could use some support. But first things first, I need to find that workbench and upgrade my bow. Oh, hi! Workbench is free if you... Looking sharp as ever. Wish I could be that. Where? Where did I put my shoe? This should be useful. Now I just need to find Erend and help him clear the bristlebacks.
We're on the same side here, Ola. The Bristlebacks threaten us all. Oh, Rockyak. We all know it was the car who let the Bristlebacks into the back. should know what to do with this. something hold tight I'll see what I can do try luring them into the trip wire Forge, you showed up. Tripwire's handy, but she nuns a youngin's game. Come on over. Let me give thanks proper, like. You're a practiced hunter. Took you less time to kill those scroungers than vanguards to kill one bristleback. So the vanguards came through here? Yeah, just a bit ago. Down that bristleback, headed south. But then those scroungers showed up to carve the carcass, as they do. Then another bristleback ran through. I'm telling you, it's crazy around here. So the vanguard went south? Probably. This whole valley is swarming with them. The vanguard seemed dead set on getting rid of them. I see. Hold on there, Red. If you're gonna go chasing across the Daunt, you're gonna want a tripcaster. Not just any tripcaster. One of mine make, free of charge. Workmanship looks solid enough. Yep. Uh, been tweaking the design since I left Chain Scrape. More room to tinker out here and less chance of, uh, well, Accidents. Did something happen in Chain Scrape? <laughs> well, like someone. I don't follow. There's this sack of wet dirt, Olvind. Thinks he's the elderman of Chain Scrape. Got half the town treating him as such. <laughs> Back when I had a place in town, he took a real interest in my wares. Kept pressing for the Olven discount. I said no. He didn't like that so much. I can't prove it, but that chuff bucket set my workshop on fire. Felt it best to put some distance between us after that. 
Cable car operator told me the bristlebacks just appeared yesterday. Do you know anything about them? How is old Karn? Back in the day, me and him got into all sorts of trouble. There was this one time that... Anything about the bristlebacks? No. Karn said true. I just showed up and ran amok. Lucky for me, I've got you and the Vanguard swooping in time to time to save my backside. I should get going. Thanks for the trip, Caster. While you're blasting bristlebacks, I think I'll head down to the hunting grounds. Did you know they have a trip caster trial? Come by later if you want to try it out. Maybe. After I get things under control. So Aaron headed south. Should be able to pick up his tracks with my focus. in my stash later. a ruin from the old world. I could find something interesting inside. No! I have machines and cauldrons. Mighty thankful to you, Savior. Just Aloy is fine. Aaron mentioned you're not one for fancy titles. You're Vanguard. Well, here to escort Wadis' delicate behind to the embassy. If we can get rid of these bristlebacks. Captain said to keep an eye on Chainscrape, then these ugly lugs showed up. Gave the first one a good beating. But didn't quite have time to roll out of the way when it fell. Told you it wasn't a good idea to eat that much before heading out. I should probably get going. Now, if you see any more of these bristlebacks... I'll make sure to roll out of their way. Might want to take some of these with you as well. They're handy in a pinch. Thanks. Stay safe, Aloy.
Looks like this door needs some kind of key module. Maybe there's one in the ruin? Some data survived. There's a code for the locked door in this data. But I still need to find... Key module. Oh, great. I should have sworn. Let's back up. Try again.
send it to my stash. Okay, gotta find a key for the door. There's more of the ruin down here. Where to now? Uh, well, I can't reach the ledge above now. Guess I'll have to find another way up. down here.
Down it goes. Lead. <laughs> A key module. This key fits. There. Um, looks like this needs a code, too. I think some of the data I picked up might help. Hold on to it now. Might want to use for it later. Sounds like someone's putting up a fight. Another one down! Now this! This is what I was forged for! No ledgers to fill! No boring mid afternoon patrols. Just a hammer. Just a fight. Aloy? Errand. Stay where you are. I'll handle the rest. Yeah. 
Those bristlebacks have acid canisters on their backs. It should trigger a chain reaction if I hit them with acid arrows. Drop those logs on the machines. If I can get them under. Oh, that one hurts. I can get it for my stash later. Hey, Lloyd. Uh, you know, you might, you might have to oh, meet me halfway. Ah! God. Oh. <laughs> Caught me at my best. As usual. Well, you did the hard part. I just took care of the stragglers. How bad is it? Uh, this? Ah, who needs ribs, huh? <laughs> oh. oh, I'm good. I'm good. Huh. Okay, well, I, I know you didn't come all the way to the daunt just to watch me get wrecked. So what's the story? I need the embassy to happen. So I can head west. Erend, what I did at the Spire, what we did, it didn't end the threat. It just slowed it down. There's still more to do. Really? <laughs> well, that's great. I, I mean, yeah, not the threat's not over part. That's not so great. But, but hey, what, whatever you're up against, your spear, my hammer, just like old times. Aaron, I need the embassy now. I can't wait for you to heal. Couple of days rest, it's that. Actually, even if you weren't hurt, what I have to do, it's... It's better if I do it alone. Alone? <laughs> now that figures. <sighs> Aaron! I hate to interrupt the romance, but I'm pretty banged up here. Don't blow your blaze, I'm coming. Oh, this just keeps getting better. Huh. Listen, I'll go to Baron Light, get patched up. If you want this embassy to happen, we're gonna need this sun priest, Studius Wadis. Oh, I know him. I'll clear the Valley of Bristlebacks, then send Wadis to Baron Light. I'll catch up with you there. Well, I guess that's sort of like a goodbye. I'm sorry? You? Sorry? <laughs> Ugh. Yeah, that'd be a first. Where is this coming from? Hey, just, you know, forget it, yeah. Oh, it's nothing. It sounds like something. 
All right, fine. Now, after the battle at the Spire, when you, you took off, you left without so much as a handshake. I mean, people like me, we fought and bled at your side, Aloy. You just, or you just disappear? What kind of person does that? Aaron, I left when I did, how I did, for a reason. A good one. Oh, well, thanks for sharing. Listen to me. Life on Earth is in danger, and only I can save it. What are you talking about? Exactly what I just said. Everything living is going to die unless I... fix a piece of technology created by the old ones. And time's running out. Well, I... Yeah, I guess that's the reason, all right. Uh, I'm an idiot. Uh, errand! By the forge. Yeah, I guess that's my cue. Maybe I should go with you to Baron Light. No, no, hey, you you need it elsewhere, obviously. We'll make it without you. That doesn't sound good. You'll have to handle that one on your own. We'll only slow you down. What are those Osirin doing out here? Quick! Gotta scrap them before the scroungers get him! Oh, that person looks charging right at them! Just get back to Chain Scrape before you get yourselves killed. Not with all this salvage lying about. Come on, crew. Back to it. Those chunks in Chain Scrape are missing out. Any more machines mess with us, we'll add them to the junkie. Here's the quarry Thales mentioned. One less machine. Another one down. Another one down. There. Quarry safe. when I need it. I don't know what Anora's doing out here, but consider yourself old. We tried to hold off and wait for the Vanguard, but one of them bristlebacks charged us. Next thing you know was a full-fledged fracas. Is everyone okay? We lost some good people. 
But we would have lost the whole quarry without you. Well, at least it's quiet now. Your ears ought to be ringing with a quarry at work. But Chain Scrape's whistle ain't blowing, so we're stuck picking up the pieces. You need the whistle to get back to work? Me and my crew were just little cogs out here. Can't lift a hammer till Olven blows that thing. Cause if we work without his say-so, he'll ban us. And my people have been through enough. Olven holds that much power? He's got the money and connections to snuff our fires for good. Almost feels like we stood a better chance with the bristlebacks. What are you and your crew working on? We're supposed to be working Olven's claim, digging out stone to show our barren light. But the work stoppage and the bristlebacks cut us short. Never seen those blasted things in a thought before. Where in Forge Fire did they come from? I'm not sure. At least not yet. I need to get going. Stay safe. Thanks to you, that might actually be possible today. I think I've cleared out most of the bristlebacks. Valley should be safe enough to travel. I'll go give Wadis the good news. Then maybe this embassy can finally happen. Time to give Wadis to Baron Light. The way to Baron Light is clear. Get moving. You're not Aaron Vanguardsman. I will move only when the captain when said... When I cleared out all the bristlebacks, which I have. Captain's orders. So they're okay? Banged up, but breathing. And waiting up ahead for you. Well, I shall not be moving anywhere until the whistle has sounded. If it is not safe for them, then it is not safe for me. Fine. I'll make sure the whistle gets blown, and then I'll be back. Hear that? We're not leaving yet. Unpack the cart! No. I'll be right back. Don't get comfortable. As if that were possible here. Petra mentioned Olvind is supposed to be in charge around here. Guess I should talk to him to get the whistle blown. Are you a cyclist or a...
know. True. Well, hello. We made it last. Salutations, fair maiden. Who might you be? On the same side here, Ulvund. What do you want, Ulvund? Some kind of payment? My dear magistrate, you think I can be bought? If you want that whistle blown, all you have to do is have your soldiers remove the bristlebacks and sign the concession decree. Face it, what other choice do you have? <clears throat> Hi. Savior, what auspicious timing. Might we discuss a matter of importance to the Sundom? We might. Later. Very well. I shall be waiting. So, the savior herself. Walloper of Durval, gutter of youth. Uh, maybe. I've heard many tales of your beauty and heroics, my fierce lady warrior. Olfant Freehold, at your service. So, what could have dragged you away from the fine silks and wine of Meridian to this smudge of a settlement? Your saviorly attention must be needed elsewhere. I'm here for the embassy and- The embassy? Why, well, uh, by the forge. Ah, greater gears for greater matters. Guess that means you'll be moving on. Once I've dealt with any problems around here that need my saviorly attention. Ah, the bristlebacks, of course. Got to get rid of them if you want that embassy to take place. Well, best get to it, hey? And off you go. Not so fast. You don't seem to have a high opinion of the magistrate. Well, I refuse to play nice to some fancy-robed parchment pusher when my fellow laborers are being bullied, intimidated, and taken advantage of. How noble of you. Noble? Ha! Born with a hammer in hand, I was. Nobody handed me anything or dropped opportunity into my lap. Everything I've achieved, I've done on my own. And where is this hammer now? The, uh, burden of leadership forced me to set it aside. The Karja risk nothing while demanding that good Osram gamble with their lives out there. Someone had to step up and say no more. You ordered the work stoppage? Indeed I did. We're laborers, not soldiers. Until the Karja clean up their mess and give us the fair deal we deserve, I'm not risking Osram lives. Fair deal? You mean your concession decree? It's not my decree. It's on behalf of all the good Osirum laborers of this land who do all the backbreaking work while only the Karja reap the rewards. All we're asking for is the ability to share in this prosperity for a land worked by the people for the people. Right. And just how much would be your share? Only an amount appropriate to my contributions to this community, uh, of course. I cleared out all the bristlebacks. Oh, you did? Now that you've recovered from your shock, time to blow the whistle. Oh, there, not so fast. I'll have to send someone out to confirm the kills. Make sure the valley is safe again. It shouldn't take more than a day or two. <sighs> no, you blow the whistle now. These are innocent Osram lives we're talking about here. Surely the delay- Either you do it now or I will. Ah, I knew you could do it! Friends, gather around. The savior of Meridian has done now it again. What? The bristlebacks are defeated! Uh, you. What? Sound Think the whistle. What's Chain scrape on? is open for business! Terrific. Great. Yay. And Olvind has agreed to personally pay every worker their lost wages. Yeah! That's where I like it! Yeah! Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah! Yeah! Don't you have an embassy to get to? Yeah. I guess I do.
Well, the chain scrapes back to work. Merchants should be open to trade. I should see if they have anything useful before I send what east. Better see what that Karja magistrate wanted. I bet he's in the tavern. Armor. <laughs> I was supposed to have three escorts. I'm off to Baron Lightwadis. Like Aloy said, Captain's orders. You can stay here. Abandoned to the riffraff? I think not. Guess you're coming with me then. See you there, Aloy. Done. The embassy can finally get underway. can get through it. I'll be able to track down silence. Hades. <sighs> Maybe even a guy a backup. Guess I could head straight for Baron Light. Or poke around the daunt some more first. And maybe take Petra up on that drink. Could get around faster and find a charger to override. I can override one of these chargers. I have to go on quiet so I don't spook the herd. I'm going to call them to learn how to override machines. Stash this away for later.
Mirror and light. Can us part of the Sundom before the Forbidden West. And Karja Horn. That means the Ipsis are also apart. We should find whoever's in charge here. But first, I could resupply my stash. Might be worth taking a look around, too. Ignoring me again? Well, no. You know how I to water <laughs> No trade? Oh, oh well. So Not imagine bad. that this is the other way around. Like, we're on an island. Armor, style, here we have them both. Another day. There's errand. Lighten up, Pai. You've got a thick wall Looks of like, stone. Are you in charge around here? Ah, apologies, no. That would be Commander Nozar. I'm Lawan, the second in command. So, what brings Aloy of the Nora to Baron Light? I'm here for the embassy. I need it to happen so I can head west. And maybe now that Studius Wadis is here, we can finally get things underway. Ah, <laughs> yes, the Sun Priest. Walked in practically kicking and screaming behind his escort. Really seems to like his scrolls. But the embassy remains delayed. Commander Nozar has signaled our readiness, but the Tanakh marshals have yet to sound their horn. All right, fine. Let me through the gates then. I have my own business with them. I'm sure you do, but I'm afraid I can't. Commander's orders. Normally, the gates are open for any who dare to venture out. Asaram salvagers, a few especially brazen Karja, but no one's allowed in or out before an embassy. Now we're open. Once the Tanakh them left. So what happens at these embassies, exactly? Mostly trade and negotiation. The Karja offer tribute of food, spices, and gear. In exchange, the Tanath returned personal effects taken from Karja soldiers that fell during the Red Raids. This particular embassy, however, is a special case. Because the Tanakh, they're handing over some sort of prisoner, right? A soldier named Fashav? Ah, so you've heard. The exchange has got everyone on edge. You never know if an embassy's going to go well until it's practically over. You said something about Tanakh Marshals. Who are they? They're the tribe's elite warriors. Before every embassy, they arrive with a contingent of soldiers from each of their three clans. Then, during the proceedings, they negotiate on behalf of their leader. And by negotiate, I mean stare down our sun priest until they concede. Paiv over here came face to face with them for the first time at the last embassy. <laughs> came back drenched in his own sweat. It was hot that day, sir. <laughs> it was indeed. <laughs> Where is this Commander Nozar, then? If he's the one keeping the gates shut, I'll convince him to open them for me. I'll take you to him, but I have to warn you. The Commander isn't one to break protocol, especially when he's already high-strung. We'll see about that. This way. There's a lot of activity going on around here. The Tanakh tore down this place during the Red Raids. Two years of labor, <laughs> still have a long way to go. The work stoppage and chain scrape nearly halted our rebuilding efforts. But I hear a certain Nora got them back to work. I was just helping out. Yes, well, I'm sure Olvind was thrilled. Savior, I need your help. You don't embarrass yourself, soldier. Savior! Savior. Stand aside, soldier. Sir? You! I know you see me. There's the commander. 
Better brace yourself. And good luck. Why the sun king believes we can have peace with these barbarians? How are we to hold an embassy with a tribe that can't even govern their own people? What more can you expect from barbarians? <clears throat> oh. Aloy, was it? Yes. The one who cleared the valley for you? That Aloy. <laughs> we appreciate your service. At least we are ready for the embassy to begin. Didn't you just give the signal? Both sides must signal readiness. Until the Tanakh sound their horn, we wait. Yea, for as the first shall be... Shut up. Why the delay? The Tanakh are a tribe composed of three clans. How many banners do you see? You're just gonna wait? Go find out what's wrong. <sighs> oh, this isn't some forgotten corner of the East where you come from, Nora. It's the Forbidden West. If you don't like it, run back to Meridian, file a complaint. The Meridian I saved, you mean? That's right. Nobody walks to the gate until the third clan arrives and the Tanakh horn has sounded. Not even the savior of Meridian. Well, thanks, but I've waited long enough. It's time to go. Absolutely not. This embassy depends on diligent adherence to... You shall not! Keep telling yourself that. Someone approaching! On a machine! Farrell. Open the gates, please. Do not let her through that gate! That is a direct order! Sorry. Can't do it. Sir, it's the savior! I don't care if it's the Dowager Queen herself! The gate stays sealed until that horn grows! I'm asking nicely. I, I don't know what to do. Take it easy on yourself. Hey, you Bar! Hi, Aaron. Uh... What's orders happening? I know the usual. Aloy wants something. People Open try to stand in her way. It's not gonna work. Gates. Oh, that's it. Arrest her. I'd like to see you try. Supporting fire? Yeah, I'm locked and loaded. Hey, Nozar. You stupid bastard. You think you got the authority to keep that door shut in the savior of Meridian's face? What, what do you think Sun King of Vod is gonna do when he hears what you did? Promote you, huh? Let it through, boys. Saving the world. Forget something back in Meridian? Look, Varl. It doesn't matter. Made it just in time. So this tribe that Marat told us about, the Tanakh, we need their permission to go west? Yeah, well, I figured it'd be nice if they weren't trying to kill me the whole time. But this embassy hasn't started yet. We're just gonna barge in? Yep. It's no more politics. No more delays. Oh, well. Now at least you have some backup. I guess I do. We'll see how it goes. That is the line between East and West. Cross it and die. Hold on now. Let's take it easy. None may walk this valley until our signal sounds. That was our accord with the Karja. I'm not Karja. I came here on my own to ask for rite of passage. But they opened the gate for you, did they not? What is the meaning of this violation? Why send a child? Do they want to parley or not? The Karja can't be trusted. This is no. Forget the Karja. This has nothing to do with them. I need to go west to save lives. Maybe even yours. The only lives you can save are your own. 
by turning back. Now. Hold! She's telling the truth about one thing. She's not Karja. She's a Nora from the Savage East. And if she seeks to save lives, should we not listen? Let me speak to him. One last favor for a fellow marshal before he's taken away. A fearless, red-headed Nora. You must be the so-called savior of Meridian. Just Aloy. I am unyielding for Shav. Once of the Karja High Command, last of the Army of the Setting Sun. You'll have to forgive my comrades. Tensions are high. This embassy is a delicate affair. They're about to return me to the Sundom, a gesture that might help soothe painful grievances. And now you arrive, unheralded. I'm not here to cause trouble. I just need to go west. So you say. I might be able to help, but I need to know why. Along with some assurance that I won't regret it. I've never seen markings like those on a Karja before. The Karja see ink is decoration. For the Tanakh, it is much more. A litany of deeds. A record of vanquished enemies. Looks like you've vanquished quite a few. I've fought my share of battles. But I feel that my life, like my markings, is only half complete. This side shows my martial deeds. Before I die, I'd like to see the other half marked with the laurels of peace. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaron's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities. Stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate. I was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the Tanakh dragged me along, and I heard mutterings about a kind of trial by combat that they revere. So, when they flung me at Hakaro's feet, I demanded this rite, called the Kurut, thinking that by winning I could request a boon, my life or even my freedom. The other Tanakh howled, but Hakaro stared them down. And then his gaze fell upon me. Evidently, he appreciated my ingenuity. He allowed me to participate in the cool route. Little did I know what I was in for. You said the cool route is a Tanakh's trial by combat. Yes, but it is no ordinary trial. It doesn't pit men against each other, at least not directly. Instead, the combatants fight machines in a great arena, and only the strongest survive. Believe me, it is no easy thing to stare down a charging machine while hundreds around you scream for blood. I know more about that than you might think. Do you? Well, then you have my respect. Like you, I lived through it to claim my prize. I had hopes for freedom, but... Well, that wasn't on offer. Only service to the chief. You wound up serving the Tanakh chief? The winners of the Kulrut must serve the chief as his marshals. 
You mentioned that word before. What does it mean? The word itself refers to a kind of protective spirit from the ancient past. In practice, Marshal Zarakaro's roving lawgivers, part magistrate, part judge, part executioner. I won my place among their ranks and served as honor demanded, but many Tanakh still spat on the ground when I walked by. And they did, until I started forcing them to the ground to grind their faces in it. I guess that's one way to deal with it. As you may have noticed, violence is the native tongue of the Tanakh. To survive, one must master it. The truth is, though, the Karja speak it too. More than they should. I can't blame the Tanakh for hating them. So then, are you still Karja? Part of me, yes. Always. Yet there is much to admire about the Tanakh, especially their chief. I've heard stories about what it was like before his reign. Three clans always at war, constantly slitting each other's throats. Hikaru and the marshals have crafted a delicate peace. And now he looks to the future. Who knows? Maybe that future will include cooperation with the Karja. I think I've heard enough for now. As you wish. How did you come to be among the Tanakh? It's quite a story, but not a quick one. Though I suppose neither of us is going anywhere before the embassy begins. Are you sure you want to hear it? I guess we have time. Very well. I marched with Sun King Jaran's raiders when they came west, hoping to moderate their worst impulses. I failed, of course. They committed unspeakable atrocities, stirring the Tanakh into action. When the clans overran our forward encampment at Cinnabar Sands, I stayed behind to help the last stragglers evacuate. I was taken prisoner. I didn't make it easy for my captors, mind you. And they paid me back in kind on the journey to their capital. I lost so much blood on the way that I was white as a corpse when they threw me before Chief Akaro. I thought I was dead for sure, so I resorted to desperate measures. So when you met the Tanakh chief, you did something desperate? Now, I'd kept my ears open as the t and I heard mutterings about it, so called up my life. The other evidence he allowed. I think I've heard enough for now. Understood. Are you glad to be going back to Meridian? Oh, I'll admit that I wouldn't mind sleeping in a feather bed or sipping wine from the southern vineyards. But I have another goal in mind. As someone who knows the Tanakh and the Karja, I'm in a unique position to advocate for both. If Sun King Avad is amenable, my hope is to establish a lasting peace. The Tanakh don't seem that peaceful. They're not, as a rule. But these are difficult times. Chief Akaro knows that survival often requires change. Even if that change means putting aside centuries of war. You asked why I need rite of passage. I'll tell you, but you won't like my answer. Six months ago, the world almost ended in Meridian. That threat still exists. It's getting worse every day, much worse. Calling down storms, poisoning the water, enraging the machines. The source of it all has gone west, and I'm the only one who can stop it. I've seen the signs. And I've heard tales of incredible occurrences in Meridian, an army of demons vanquished by a red-haired champion. So I'm inclined to believe you. The burden of your task is written across your face clearer than any mark of mine. I'll grant you this, to serve as proof of your right to travel into Tanakh lands. A task so important, and it's just the two of you. Take it from one who aspires to be a diplomat. Allies are essential. Chief Akaro knows the West better than anyone. He may be able to help you. 
He can be intimidating to others, but don't let that deceive you. He is a man of his word. Maybe. If I need him. Your choice. You can find him at his palace, past the mountains to the southwest. Tell him I sent you, and he'll listen to Look! Me. The Sky Clan's banner! Marshals, it wasn't easy, but I brought the Sky Clan with me. And the commander? Uh, no. I could only convince a few. He isn't yet aware we left. We have banners from all three clans. If there are fewer from the Sky Clan, it can't be helped. He's right. Sound the horn. What's going on? Not all Tanakh can stomach the idea of parley with the Kajo. But enough have come for us to begin. Then I'll be on my way. No. The other marshals will not permit it. You wanted safe passage, you have it. After the embassy. Karja have opened the gates. As the sun rises over a land at war, so too can it set over a land at peace. Today is such... Hear me, marshals! You who claim to be Tanakh! Regala. Chief Akaro's biggest mistake. A rival whom he should have killed. You have forgotten that our people were born in blood. The blood of the Karja. Instead, you pledge your spears to a chief who conspires with the enemy. Hikaru has betrayed us. The embassy is proof. And all of you marshals are his accomplices. For this, I condemn you to death. You'll need more than toothless <laughs> threats to intimidate us. Exile. Lancers, form up. They're riding machines! Where'd they learn to do that? Sirens. Fashav! Come with us now, or not at all! Archers! Light them up! Make it. Stand your ground! 
I don't have a shot. What happened? Can you see? It's just us now. Hey! Come down and fight fair! Lancers! Take the center! Get ready! Cover! Archers on the ridge! Here they come! I'll skin you both! Chief, grant me the honor of this challenge. Granted. Ah! Ah! 
You're next, girl. I've never seen a shield like that. Better scan it. challenge. You've earned your life today. Comrades, mark this day. Today you have decimated the marshals, slaughtered the Karja. So begins our war on Hikaru. Ah! Move out. going on without me, aren't you? Guess I'm stuck with Aaron. For now. Come on. I'll take you back to the fort. It's salvage time, boys. I don't think it can take a hit. I should be able to use it to glide. Aloy, we're still trying to sort out this mess. Seems like the Tanakh have a civil war in their hands. That sounds about right. The marshals weren't expecting Regala to attack. And the entire Karja delegation was slain. Nozar, Vwadis, Vashav, a massacre. What will you do now? I have to head west. Hopefully this rite of passage is still good. For what I'm after, I'll cross all of Tanakh's territory if I have to. Then you have a long road ahead of you. This is only the threshold of the Forbidden West. The Tanakh's true domain lies over the mountains that border Plainsong, home of the Utaru tribe. This isn't Tanakh's territory? All that out there? That's no man's land. It was supposed to be neutral ground, Though, obviously, this Regala ignored that. Her rebels approached from the north, with all those machines they were riding. They must have made camp up that way. The rebels were riding bristlebacks. And there were bristlebacks in the Daunt. Are you saying the rebels let them into the Daunt? How would that even be possible? I don't know. But it's worth looking into. While you're at it, there were a number of Karja and Asuram who went out there before the gates were shut for the embassy. Maybe you could check in on them. 
see if they're all right. I can keep an eye out. Is there a tall neck somewhere nearby? A tall neck? There's that one, over there, near the Utara border, but why... It's, uh, it's hard to explain. It'll help me get the lay of the land. If you say so. Is there anything else I can tell you before you go? Fashav called Regala a rival. Someone that Tanakh the chief should have killed. <laughs> yeah, I reckon he should have. She's obviously a huge threat. Her attack was coordinated and precise. Until you got in her way, that is. They knew the lay of the land. And they knew Fashav was going to be handed over at the embassy. If the Tanakh weren't expecting her, she must have spent months gathering an army in secret. They had to have made camp nearby. Somewhere they could lie low until the perfect moment to strike. About Fashav. <sighs> the man was taken captive by the Tanakh. Survived for years out in the west only to die just short of the Sundom. It's a cruel end for a good soldier. There was more he wanted to do. He spoke of advocating for lasting peace between the Karja and Tanakh. Too late for that now. What will happen to him? His body will be carried back to Meridian. As the cousin of the Sun King, he will be accorded official rights and buried with honor. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and Fuadis. At least Nozar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, no one deserves to go out that way. I'll make sure they're given proper funeral rites. It's the least I can do. Do you think the Karja will take action against Regala? Seems like you'd have common ground with the Tanakh. An expedition of the Karja army into the west could be taken as the start of another invasion. Sun King Avad won't risk it. That said, we can't allow ourselves to be caught unaware by an attack like that again. You said the Tanakh lands are far to the west. What can I expect to find between here and there? Well, as I mentioned, you've got a stretch of wilderness known as No Man's Land, and then New Taru farmlands. Past that are the Tanakh. Their territory is split into three clans. Desert, lowland, and sky. Right. I saw their banners at the embassy. The desert clan is closest. Ooh, vicious lot. Where everyone else sees an inhospitable wasteland, they see a challenge to dominate. Somewhere beyond the desert is the tribe's capital and the territories of the other two clans. You don't sound certain. I've only heard the stories. During the Red Raids, the Karja army tried to push into Tanakh territory. But the United Clans rose up against them, forced them all the way back to the Dot. So no one except the Tanakh really know what's beyond the desert? <laughs> Maybe the scholars do, back in Meridian. All those scrolls have to be filled with something, right? You mentioned the Utaru tribe. Their lands are between here and the Tanakh further west? That's right. Plainsong is their home. They're a peaceful bunch, at least compared to the Tanakh. More taken to farming than fighting. It's hard to imagine a bunch of farmers surviving in the Forbidden West. Make no mistake, they have a fierceness all their own. When the Karja were pushed back during the Red Raids, their warriors chased ours through the burning fields of Plainsong. The Sun King has made several overtures of peace to them as well, but so far, they've declined. If they're so peaceful, why decline? Don't know. I heard they have their own troubles to deal with. Something about a food shortage. You'd think that'd make them open to trade, but... No. They just want to be left alone. This area is no man's land. That it is. The Tanakh used to attack anyone past Baron Light on sight, but after Avad overthrew the Mad Sun King, he reached out to the other tribes to offer reconciliation. The Tanakh agreed to a neutral border zone as part of the peace talks. Karja and Asaram have been striking out into the area ever since. But now, it seems like Regala and her rebel army have moved in. 
Well, I'd never call no man's land safe, even in the best of times. The ancient ruins of the Southwest are a testament to that, remnants of some forgotten war. You said there were others who went out when the gates were open before. Like who? Well, in addition to the salvagers that just went through, there were a couple of other parties of Osram Delvers. Even saw two Karja scholars trekking southwest with an Osram crew. Not sure if they're exceptionally brave or just foolhardy. I need to be on my way. Then I wish you luck. The gates will always be open to you should you wish to return. And don't worry about your friends. We'll get them patched up. I appreciate it. Sun, watch over you, Aloy. I hope you find what you're looking for. My stash has room. <clears throat> so, this is the Forbidden West. A whole new frontier to explore. The coordinates from the spire should lead to silence in Hades. And just maybe, the backup of Gaia. It won't be easy out there. The blight, the storms, recall as machine writers. But I'll have to push through it all. Find a way to fix the world. Like Elizabeth would. got to make all other armors look like rusted buckets of scrap. You really think you can do that? Karuf, come on! You know me. Come on. If it isn't the savior of Meridian, and of my very own operation. Larand, say hello. Hello, nice to meet you. You know, if it weren't for this one, I probably wouldn't be standing here right now. I was at Baron Light when the Tanakh attacked. Nasty business. But every Kajar in Osaram is thankful you drove them off. So what are you doing out here? Well, to hammer it plain, there's treasure in the West. Unclaimed scrap and ancient metal. And I've got a sturdy band of salvagers that's ready to take advantage. We'll buy any scrap you got. 
And if you're looking for machine parts, we've got the best in the West, guaranteed. And soon we'll be trading in more than just that. For too long, the West has been, well, forbidden, dangerous. But what if I told you we could make an armor so tough, so infallible, that you'd never have to worry about survival out here again? I'd be curious to take a look at it. Of course you would. <laughs> and that's why I've asked my most talented salvagers to find what they need to make that armor. Each of them will present their work to me. The best protection will go on sale to hunters, just like you. Lucky me. Now, if you'll excuse me, I have some business to attend to back in Chainscrape. Larand can take care of you while I'm gone. Can't wait to see what you come up with, my boy. Leave it to me. It'll blow all the others out of the forge. You have got to help me. What are you talking about? The armor. I made a dozen versions of it. But none of them were good enough. And there are other crews further west. If they make better armor than mine, I can kiss that keg full of shards goodbye. So you get a prize if Karif picks your armor? A big one. And I finally have the perfect design. I just need the right parts, and fast. So maybe you'd be willing to pick up a contract and get them for me? What would I be looking for? Shell walker containers. Their plating's made to withstand a lot of damage. It'll make the perfect armor. I know it. I think I can handle that. Ah, oh, thank the forge. All right. We scouted out a herd near here. Here's the contract. It'll tell you everything you need to know. You take the machines down. My people will pick up the containers. I'll give this a closer look later. Thanks. Counting on you, Aloy. I might want to read that contract before going on the hunt. There's a lot of ancient wrecks out here. They gave everything they had to slow down the forest. to steal! If it isn't the hero of the day. Sure, I'm glad you came by when you did. Are you all Delvers? We've been working no man's land for a while. I was hoping to get back to Baron Light by the time they opened the gates, you know, after that embassy of theirs. Seeing as how we almost got minced to pieces just now, I'm guessing things didn't go so well. You could say that. It's not like no man's land was safe to begin with. But I didn't think I'd have to worry about the Sanak in neutral territory. And now, they're riding machines! If you were headed back to Baron Light, why did you stop here? We ran across some ruins nearby. Thought we'd take a gander, find some good salvage. But the place is full of weird red crystals. Can't get through the stuff. So we ended up making camp here. First thing tomorrow, though, we head straight to Baron Light. Should probably send a message to our crew down at Jagged Deep about all this, too. Jagged Deep? It's a dig site by this big lake down south. Old world scrap everywhere. Can't miss it. Ah! <laughs> and that's my cue. Here. Thanks for helping us out. Maybe I'll get into more trouble and see you around. Well, let's hope not.
green like blaze, but it's hard and shiny. I wonder if merchants would be interested. I'm sure that's the passage Laren's contract mentioned. I should make sure I have my facts straight. Give the contract a quick read. Shellwalkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. I can grab this from my stash later. Looks like the coordinate silence gate where he matched that wreckage. Did he install Hades on another Titan? of the coordinates I scanned from the spire. Workshop underneath a dead forest titan. Just the kind of place silence would slink away to. But what was he doing here? Most of it's redacted. It looks like Silence put a lot of work into forcing Hades to talk. That device is blinking. I guess Silence wants me to check it out. Aloy. Consider this message a beacon to help guide you out of the fog of ignorance. Using explosives, I've detached the processing orb from the Titan overhead. A perfect cage for our mutual friend, Hades, in order to render it cooperative. Tell her what we've discussed about the mysterious signal that gave you life. Signal coordinate for me. Signal was received for 107.22 years and ceased. Cannot compromise. Can I reboot? But... Back to that, are you? Perhaps you need a reminder that you have failed. So you see, Aloy, Gaia can be safely rebooted. As for where to find a backup, well, you'll need to trot along after me to find out. He thinks he's got it all figured out. Bastard. But I guess there's only one way to find out where he moved the orb. Well, I 
better see where this trail leads. So here I am, following along after silence like a fool. After he tricked me by rigging his lance to steal Hades. A crazy AI that wants to kill everything. He couldn't just let me do the same thing and destroy it. And now I'm gonna have to put up with more of a self-righteous bill. Huh? I can always count on a pack of scrappers to carve up any salvage. Silence must be pretty confident he's found a backup of Gaia, but how? Every place I've checked, every lead, they've all been dead ends. All backups purged. So what did Hades tell him? Didn't expect to see anyone else out here. Uh, it might be handy to resupply. Oh there! What's Honora doing this far west? Ah, no matter, no matter.
I can get you stocked up for the wilds if you need. goes into the hillside. A ruin. Okay. Let's see where this... I guess Silence used that machine to haul his prize. That must be the orb Silence stuck Hades in. And that door. Looks like a pharaoh facility. Or Zero Dawn? Come on, Hades. You still in there? Silence asked you where to find a backup of Gaia. Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. Right. Because that would have been easy. What did Silence do to you, Hades? It's like you've been hollowed out. Silence interrogated. And what did you tell him? Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. You don't remember any of it? I remember you. What, like me beating you at the spire? Okay, that's not going anywhere. When the mysterious signal transformed you, it made Gaia's other subordinate functions conscious too. You escaped when Gaia destroyed herself, but so did they. Where did they go? Each function migrated towards based on data error, memory structures disintegrate. Bunch of crazed AIs. Scattered who knows where, doing who knows what. Hephaestus kills thousands every year with the combat machines it keeps making. And you nearly ended the world. Seven more functions out there, cooking up trouble. It's not a happy thought. You are unhappy. Good. Anyone ever tell you you've got a great personality, Hades? Sarcasm detected. Yeah, didn't think so. Silence questioned you about the mysterious signal. The one that woke you, gave you consciousness. Who sent it? Signal transmitted by masters. And who are they? Masters woke me to destroy earthly life. Who would want that? <laughs> Data error. Memory structures disintegrate. <clears throat> 
Enough. It's time to finish this. Does Aloy still think she can restore Gaia? Save life on Earth? Yeah, Aloy does. Then you are deleted. Extinction inevitable. What would you know, Hades? Twice you tried to destroy life on Earth, and twice you failed. The only extinction you ever brought about is your own. And there's no tricked out lands to save you this time. You are incorrect. Three times, Hades extinguished life. What? You remember this? Yes, data intact. Non-viable biospheres aborted. Five four two one six one two one six eight. So that that's centuries ago. It's what you were designed to do. Current biosphere is version five. There will be no version six. There won't need to be. I'm saving this one. Stay dead this time? It will. You can trust. Trust? Yes. Trust. As in, since I did what you could never do, and extracted all of Hades' priceless knowledge, you can trust that I was willing to actually let you destroy it this time. So back to holograms instead of face to face? What, afraid I'd stab you or something? There's a reason I'm I... I'm using the same spyware, I see, so... All those times I called, you could have just answered. But I guess you just prefer to go on spying all this time. My world stopped revolving around you months ago, Aloy. I have had work to do. Countless hours of research. As demanding and time-intensive as it has been critical to the fate of this planet. <laughs> right. Of course. You're just trying to save the world, too. That's right. The difference, of course, is that unlike you... I've produced the results. Did you find a backup of Gaia or not? Oh, yes. I believe I did. Where? Voila. Why do you think I summoned you here? Behind that gene-locked hatch lie the ruins of the ancient facility where the Hades Extinction Protocol was perfected. A testing process that ran hundreds of trials, each of them using a backup of Gaia. Hades told you this? It took some convincing, but yes. So, are you ready to go get what you've been searching for for the last six months? Or are you just going to stand there with your mouth open? You mentioned you've been busy. Exceptionally busy. But not so busy you couldn't teach Tanakh the Rebels to override machines, ride them as mounts? Eloy, the only issue you should be concerned about is obtaining a Gaia backup. Perhaps if you focused more, you might actually see results. That's not exactly a denial, Silence. Take it any way you want. Just to... confirm, Hades said that there are backups of Gaia in there. Yes. Or were, anyway. A thousand years ago. Backups that didn't get purged when Ted Farrow wiped every copy of Apollo. Correct. According to Hades, this facility could not be accessed by remote signal. Not even Ted Farrow could touch the data here. Backups. Data complete. Gaia and her subordinate functions. Everything needed to reboot the system. 
Restore control over the terraforming system. Save life on Earth. In there. So Hades said. So what are you waiting for? Did Hades reveal the source of the mysterious signal? The one that woke it, tried to destroy life on Earth? Yes, it did. Care to share? In due time. First things first, Aloy. Last I checked, you still had a superintelligent AI named Gaia to reboot. Yeah, the same Gaia who had to destroy herself 20 years ago because of the signal? It stopped being transmitted years ago. It's no longer a threat. What if it repeats? It won't. Even if it did, well... Look, the details are complicated, but the signal required Hades to take effect. Delete Hades from any backup you reboot, and Guy is safe. Now stop wasting time. Go get a backup. <sighs> Alright. I'll search the facility for a Gaia backup. But just to be clear, Silence, if this ends up being another one of your tricks... It's a gene-locked hatch, Eloy. You're literally the only person who can open it. How could I set a trap inside? Trick me again, Silence, and our next conversation will be face to face. Though you won't have much to say, on account of my spear being buried in your throat. Eloy, thanks to me, everything you've desired... Everything you've been fumbling about, unable to achieve for six months, is now within your grasp. Now, I know you didn't learn much about manners growing up a Nora outcast. But in a situation like this, you say, thank you, and I say, you're welcome. messed up obviously but despite the malfunction you can still get through if you'll be patient for a while longer see those crystals there the asram call them fire gleam they're combustible not nearly powerful enough to blast through a door like that but maybe just enough to jolt it open a bit more exactly it will only work with an igniter I'm sending you the schematics now. To build it, you'll need some machine parts for the oil from a kindleweed plant. That only grows underwater, but you should be able to find some of the nearby lake. The parts are more complicated. You'll need a spark coil from within a Leap Lash's power cell. Remove the power cell before you kill the machine, or else it'll break. Got it. Well, I already have some deep water kindleweed. Just need to get the parts. Those machines should have the parts I need for the igniter. Got the parts for the igniter. 
Now I just need to build this thing. There's a workbench near the entrance to the facility. From your time tinkering with Hades? Tinkering? More like extracting a valuable data. Should be able to use this to blow up that fire gleam now. Indeed. A useful combination. It's how I detached the processing orb from the horse in the first place. Great. I think I'm in. Then by all means, proceed. But I could use this igniter if I find more places with fire gear. Focus on the task at hand, Eloy. And there's another gene lock door on the other side. And that's where any guy backups would have been stored. I have to find a way to get over there. Caster might come in handy. There's some kind of device next to it. That did it.
this room for? Looks like there is another console that needs power. Elizabeth and Travis Tate. just done gonna make you love me. I just imagine them far zenith rapscallions opening this fake guy we made for him. And I thought, what this really needs is a signature. This isn't a prank, Travis. I know, I know. All I did was just script a couple of avatars. A little you, a little me. To deliver our message of doom. Real personal lag. Would you just send it? As soon as it's done compiling, then you and me should celebrate. I brought party fixings, pizza rolls, absinthe, a couple of hacky sacks. I'm heading back to Bryce as soon as this is done. Color me confounded, Liz. How is it that someone like you, a paragon, damn near saint, I love this world so damn much, but no one in it. I mean, have you ever even had a friend? Compile complete. Data file, Baron Promise, ready for transmission. If you would, please. Logic bombs off. Here it comes, far as Z-nuts. Just keeping the best of what you do, Travis. Always admire you from afar, Liz. It's where my mama's grave. And she was religious. Travis was wrong. Elizabeth was trying to make sure life had a future. She cared about everyone. I'm not so sure. The exceptional walk a path of solitude, Eloy. As you and I are well aware of. Caster can latch onto that from here. I'm gonna have to jump. I 
can't make that jump. But if I glide... Get to the door from here. There's more of the facility over there. I better take a look. I should be able to glide over. What's in here? For the stash. There's data here. From Travis Tate. This place turned out a lot of mouth. Looks like this is connected to the door. It needs a code to open. There's another locked door. What's that console next to it? There we go.
is. How is it that Okay. Hold for data here. Looks like this recluse spider thing is a testing apparatus for Gaia and Hades. I better take a look at that excess panel. Yes. Get to it. Okay. I think those circular pods are repositories. One loaded with Hades backups, the other with Gaia. Hades is down, but the guy repository is stuck. So unstick it. I need to detach the cable from the arm's coupling. Free the cable from the coupling. The arm ought to come down. be able to access that pod. So it's 
useless? I'm afraid so. Without some function. Go! Aloy, you've done all you could. Huh? For what? Nothing? Maybe saving the world is too big a task for any one person. Even you. Wait, wait, wait. It's useless without subfunctions, but there are subfunctions out there. The original ones. Scattered to the winds when Gaia blew herself up? They could be anywhere. You can't find them in time. Even if you did, the mysterious signal mutated them just like Hades. You have no idea. Oh, I do. A good one. If it works. <laughs> You found Minerva, but it won't connect. It's close. Mountains west of Plainsong. Close enough for me to go get it. I was hoping to find all the subfunctions, but one's enough to get started, right? It is. Recover Minerva. One could use it to launch Gaia's heuristic matrix. When she's conscious, she helps me find the other subfunctions. I go gather them. And rebuild her piece by piece. Very clever. Still think I can't save the world on my own? Ah, uh, yes, well. About that. Alert! Intruders! Alert! Aloy, I need you to listen closely. These intruders want the same thing you do. Gaia reborn. It's why they're here. Friends of yours? No. They don't know me. The data pulse I transmitted indicated that a Gaia backup could be recovered here was anonymous. Now, they're very powerful, but they won't harm you. Not when they see who you are, what you are. A clone of Elizabeth Sobek. A genetic key with which they can reboot Gaia and rebuild the system. They need you. I warned you, Silence. For once, Aloy, submit to the inevitable. Open the hatch. First I rebuild Gaia, save life on Earth, then I track you down and end yours! I'm trying to help you here. <clears throat> Try spying on me with that. There. New focus, spyware free. I don't care how powerful they are, the only thing that can open that hatch is me. The question is, can I find another way out? There's a current in the water. Not much, but maybe it's a way out. Genetic profile confirmed. Entry authorized. Greetings, Dr. Sobat. Please step inside. <laughs> Do we have it? Fantastic. Did the pulse originate here? Has someone... Something wrong? Shit! Spectres, beta! Any idea what the hell a clone of Elizabeth Sobek is doing here? Maybe Gaia made one, when it destroyed itself a Hail Mary to repair the system. 
Hmm. Don't like the sound of that. Nah. Don't like it. Don't want it. But the effect. Nope. One's enough trouble. Eric. Yeah. Care to do a little downsizing? Hmm. Sure. What if she sent the pulse? Then that was foolish of her. But we got what we came for. So let's put it to use. I snap a lot of necks in VR. But that certain tremor, as life fades from the eyes. Ooh, no hollow quite gets it. Keep flapping your mouth. It makes a nice target. You actually think that primitive crap you got there can hurt me? This is gonna be fun. We were made for each other, little house. Yeah! Oh. I'm not hurting him. I need a way out of here. Maybe if you are down. I gotta use that console to make it drop more. He's too close. I won't make it. You want this? Is that supposed to be a weapon? This kills all mine. The coupling's holding us in. That's not gonna help you, girl! <laughs> Here we go. Come on, shoot at me. Not that rig. Gonna help, girl. Come on, come at me. Uh, I cut the main stem. I need to shoot the couplings holding up the stem. You need a bigger target? It's not the same. Feeling. Hurt. Pain. Power. Frustration. 
Have all the fun. was that? Me killing what you wanted dead? What the hell did you think? The platform collapsed, body went with it. Right. And since when don't you get what you want, huh? Spectres, search. There, there's a current. Is it heading for an exit?
Looks like some kind of power room. Currents lead here. Promising. I've... I've got it. Hey, hey, easy. Easy there. Hey, 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 hey. It's right here. And the way you were clutching it when I found you, I knew it was important. Where are we? An outpost of the Utaru tribe. Not far from where you fell. How long? Two days. Aloy? There's no time. I found something. In the mountains west, west of Plain Song. Song. Yeah. Kept muttering it while I carried you. Look, Aloy, whatever it is that you found, you're in no shape to... I will crawl if I have to. Okay, fine. But before you do that, there's someone you should talk to. An Utaru named Zo. And she told me there's been trouble in those mountains. A cave spitting out deadly machines. Can't be a coincidence, right? Why do we need her? Let's head for the cave. It's in Utaru territory. Her territory. She can help us. You'll see. Fine. Let's go see this marvelous so then. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow. Still the seed rises as certain as stone. So? She should be in bed. Aloy doesn't really do should. You're so right. Varl said I should talk to you about the machines. In the mountains west of Plainsong. I am a grave singer. My place is here. We can talk once you've healed. What's wrong with it? Her. The name is Ray, not it. She's one of our land gods. And she's dying. But not just dying. She's suffering. Her condition is not your concern. So? If anyone can help, it's Aloy. 
May I? So what I'm about to do might look bad, but it will help. Spear. to talk of course but this way <laughs> the mountains west of plain song there trouble out there the otaru have trouble everywhere. Our fields blighted, our settlements abandoned. But the cave in the mountains is the worst of it. It is a sacred place. Fa, another of our land gods, went inside weeks ago, but she hasn't emerged. Killer machines pour out instead, threatening to overwhelm us. It's never happened before. Wouldn't be your first sacred cave. You said the tribe has trouble with its fields and settlements. Yes. Whereas once the land gods harvested endless bounty from the fields, now they sow a poisonous blight. War brews among the Tanakh, so their rebels prowl our outskirts. And the machines grow ever more aggressive, hemming us in, forcing us to desert distant villages. Now they're even coming out of our sacred cave. Many in the tribe fear our days are dwindling. I wish I could tell you it was better everywhere else. Not that we're gonna lose hope. Ray and other machines like her, you call them gods? Land gods, yes. For generations, they provided for us, seeding and harvesting the fields of Plainsong. Food for all. A miracle of endless bounty. A farm run by machines. More than a farm. A blessed land, providing sustenance for my people. Until the derangement. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, then me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors. Each reappeared two days later, shining anew, without so much as a scratch. All soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hallowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song Praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods come and go, it's not like anything I've seen before. You called yourself a grave singer. What does that mean? To all living things, an end must come. 
It is my task to ease the passage. I try to bring comfort and sing of the renewal that death sows the way for. But I never thought I would have to sing for one of our land gods. I don't even know if Ray heard me. What you did soothed her more than I ever could. It's not your fault, so. And without the second sight, there's nothing more you could have done. I need to get into that cave. What? No one does that. Well, it's time to make an exception. It belongs to the land gods. Look, so. There is something inside there. Something that could solve problems all over the world. The storms, the derangement. <laughs> Maybe even your broken land gods. What could possibly do all that? A spirit? Yeah. Something like that. I could journey back to Plainsong. Assemble the chorus. Tell how you soothed Ray. Ask their permission to go inside. Great. I'll get my things. She needs rest. You don't have to tell me. Okay, I'm fine. Assembling the chorus will take time. Heal first, then join me. Fine. Bed rest. I got it. She does not need you to help her heal. You could come with me to plain song. Lend your voice to mine as I try to persuade the chorus. It might help her cause. I'd like to, but I'm afraid she might run off. Really? Very well. Later then. So, wait. It's not, uh, that I don't want to go with you. It's just that I... Shh. <laughs> Is that what you were trying to say? Um... Yes. Then I look forward to more conversation. Uh, yeah, me too. <clears throat> You're supposed to be resting. Laurel, you should go with her. I'll get better on my own. You trying to get rid of me so you can... <sighs> Not this time. I'll meet up with you in plain song when I'm ready. You sure about this? Yes. Go. <laughs> Get out of here. Okay. So, wait. Who are they? Okay, all healed up.
charge the huntress. Now this out If you Poisonous hunt, plans. we should trade. Stash this away for later. So, Ray. What do you want? Is there some sort of problem? The problem is foreigners. You're the second one I've seen today. Sooner you all go, the better this soil will be. Less chance of bad seeds taking root. I would have thought easing your land god's pain would have earned some goodwill around here, but. Ray is going to die anyway, just like all of us. Meanwhile, Outlanders come, taking what little we have left. Just like that Karja Huntress I saw earlier. All dressed up like a bird, dragging an Untaru girl behind her like a slave. Called the girl a thrush. Never heard that before. Must be some old Karja curse. Wait, a Karja Huntress with an Utaru thrush? What, am I talking to myself here? Yes! Saw them just today, running southwest, likely to their deaths. Can't harvest the stinger fruit there. Too many machines. Poor Utaro girl, whoever she is. May her seeds find fertile soil. I know you didn't mean to, but you may have just helped me find an old friend. Thanks. Don't need your thanks. Don't want it. My wares will help you on your hunt. The chorus has never led us astray. I need to meet Varl and Zo in plain song. Ask the chorus if we can go into their sacred cave. Minerva should be inside. If I can get it, I can reboot Gaia. And then maybe we can figure out who those strangers in the Proving Lab were. But first, I might want to head southwest to find an old friend, see what she's doing out here, and maybe explore a little. That sound. The tall neck must be close by. Overriding it should give me data on the surrounding area. for the stash. Better gear up if you're going into Utaru territory, Red. The Tanakhs have been raiding villages all over the plains, riding machines no less. Though I hear the village of Riverhim up north's been putting up a fight. Thanks for the advice. Maybe Riverhim could use some backup. That's all not easily enough. The slides look too difficult to climb. I'll have to find another way. That machine could swoop down.
power generator. It looks dead. The console. No power, though. any higher but looks like this thing can rotate. If I can figure out a way to turn the power back on, I might be able to move things around and find a way up. power cell. Disconnected from the main power line. This should get that generator below the dish going. There's the generator. Bet this power cell can get it running. Power's back. I should check that console I found earlier. Let's see what this thing does. Should be able to get to that tall neck now. Just find the right spot. Looks like I might need to glide onto the tall neck. Just gotta time it right. There we go. Time to override the. Data to other machines. <laughs> Thank you. 
here. If I don't get Gaia up and running, it'll be like this everywhere. One of the Atari's land gods. So in the fields with light. It's like they're still following their programming. There's Laurel and Zoe. A word of warning? Avoid the ruins northwest of Plainsong. Scouts say something lights up the ruins when night comes. Whatever it is, it's not natural. Good to know. I'm here, as promised, but singing. Does it mean the chorus is ready? It is assembled. I couldn't have done it without Varl, but I don't know what good it will do. The chorus is in disharmony. The subject of the cave is bad enough. Land God Fa still hasn't emerged, and every day more deadly machines try to force their way out throwing themselves against the defensive cordon we set up around the entrance. That is only the first of many false notes. Your request has exposed deep divisions within the chorus itself and the tribe. You said you couldn't have assembled the chorus without him. What did you do? Uh, some in the chorus refused to meet to consider your request. They believe that the cave belongs to the land gods alone, but Varl saw that what you did with Ray could be used to our advantage. Sometimes it isn't enough to ask the people in charge. You need others to ask for you, as many as possible. We spread the word about how you soothed Ray? There may even have been a little exaggeration. Growing interest put pressure on the chorus until they finally agreed to meet. I saw it work a few times with the matriarchs, and even with my mother, once or twice. Nice job. You can handle the politics from now on? Oh, no. I'm sure we'll still need you to cut through them from time to time. So what happened to the land gods after the derangement? They faltered year by year. Once they were peaceful, and now they turn on us when we approach. Even attack us. They had always enriched the soil, but for several seasons they've glutted it endlessly with mulch. The fields have turned fetid. A, a blight that, that keeps spreading, even beyond our lands. We used to have food for all. Now we barely have enough to feed our children. Must be over fertilization spread by spores. I don't know. That's not even the end of it. Each land god used to visit the sacred cave once a year, but no longer. Without the rituals of renewal, they're falling apart. Like Ray. They're dying. in my tribe with them. So the cave is sacred because machines like Ray and the one you call Fa go inside? Yes. Before the derangement, once a year, each land god left the fields and made a pilgrimage to the cave. Always in the same order. Doe first, then Ray, 
than me, and so on. Spattered with soil from their labors, each reappeared. Two days later, sh shining anew, all soil and ornaments of worship washed away. The tribe celebrated each return as one of the eight hollowed festivals of our calendar. But the derangement changed the cycle. Yes, or so we thought. Over time, the land gods stopped the ritual, becoming crazed and brittle. But three weeks ago, Fa trudged inside. The entire tribe lifted their voices in song, praying that the cycle had begun again. Fa has not emerged. What has our machines built to kill? Are machines being made inside? Like in a cauldron? Sounds like it. But the way these land gods would come and go, it, it's not like anything I've seen before. I get that the cave is sacred, but how did asking to go inside cause such a fuss? The, the fuss was already there. Many in the tribe and most in the chorus want to keep doing what we have for generations, which often is nothing. But there are others who call for change, or extreme measures. Your request has given fresh life to the debate. Right. Tradition. I've run into that before. But each tribe has to be dealt with in their own way. If you say so. So you put fortifications around the cave? Just some wooden barricades. We don't have the stone craft of the Karja or Osaram. It is our archers of the cordon that truly hold the machines back. They withstand new attacks every day. I hope they can hold out. What machines are coming out of the cave? Scavengers and hunter killers. But they're tougher than any we've fought before. More vicious, with a strange purple glow. Sounds familiar. You've fought machines like these? If they are what I think they are, then yeah. There may be a whole other problem in that cave. All the more reason for me to get inside and figure it out. So, the chorus is assembled. What now? They're considering your request. Then shouldn't we go talk to them? When you're ready. But don't worry. Their debate won't end anytime soon. Meetings like these can go on for days. <sighs> All right. Then maybe I should resupply first. Who knows how many machines are in that cave? Assuming the chorus agree to allow you inside. Aloy can be pretty convincing in these situations. We'll see. Do what you need to prepare. We'll wait for you above, where the chorus is gathered. So the rumors are true. You must be the soldier who took down Regala's champion, and the one who's got this place in an uproar. What's a Tanakh doing in Plainsong? Resupplying for a trip to the hunting grounds. You should come by, it's just northwest of here. Bet a sturdy soldier like yourself could handle the trials there. But I could. Maybe I'll see you there. I prefer the sound of machine.
as I get my supplies, I'm heading back to the hunting grounds. session the people sing to soothe the chorus to help them break their impasse it wouldn't be necessary if they were in harmony I'm not gonna have to sing back am I of course not the singing will stop when we present ourselves are you ready all right let's go talk to them Your sacred cave. There's something inside I need. And if I can get it, it so, will help. and the Nora have spread word of your story. And what you want. We know of no spirit in the cave. Only Fa, our land god, who entered the cave and did not return. The power of the land gods is broken. We are diminished. Tales of spirits will not help us. Nothing will. We weaken. We die. And become fertile ground for new life. This is the natural order. Yes. Wait. You're all just going to sit around? Until you become food for worms? Literally? So says the outlander. Ignorant of our beliefs. Please, remember how she brought peace to Ray. Listen to her. We've heard such temerity from you before, Zo. Let us not forget that you agitated for reckless war against the Kaja. At least she's trying to help. How? By inviting you to break our traditions? Should we change our ways to suit every impudent outsider who wanders into plain song? No. You should change your ways because your own lands are killing you. She has a point. We have stood by and watched as our land gods waste away. You would have us do the same with our neighbors, our children. And this lone outlander can save us. Nonsense. A single seed matters little in the infinite cycle of growth and decay. An alarm. It's coming from the mountains. Was that, Was that from the cordis? It's an alarm! The machines must have broken through the cordon. Then we need to get down there. What about the chorus? If the cordon has fallen, there is nothing left to prevent us from going in the cave. The time for permission is over. Then off we go. This way! Fighting in the fields ahead. They've 
seen these machines before. We're wrong, the Jaggers! They must have come from the coordinates. The others will defend the us. We have to move. Do you really think we can do something about all of this? If I'm right, we... yeah. More machines. It's burning. Whoa, look at it burn. Can you use a shock attack? These machines are stronger. Deadlier than normal. There's more than just Minerva and the missing land out of that cave. This trail is the path of the land gods. It'll lead us to the cordon. More machines! We can take them out, Aloy. On your lead. to the cordon. Let's go. Right behind you. Find this in my stash later. Machines are everywhere. We're almost there. So many machines broke through. What happened to the Cordon's defenders? We better be ready for anything. Oh, what's left of it? So many graphs. They will be more when the time is right. For now, we must keep going. 
into the cave. Forgive our trespasses. Sorry, running out of rain for now. What is that? A kind of wall. Are you alright with it? We'll have to find a way around. We'll follow your lead, Aloy. Up here! Door. To understand what's going on in there, you're going to need one of these. the temple. Just like this. There's blue light on the door. Yeah, it takes some getting used to. Don't worry, Zoe. I'll help. Now listen. The machines we've been fighting, they're different. More dangerous. That means there's something very powerful somewhere beyond that door. And it wants us dead. Follow my lead. And be ready for anything. to find the core of this place. There's so much metal. Who built this place? Machines. Not like any you've seen before. Going that way. So this is a cauldron. 
of a machine before. It looks like one, but if the land gods come and go, then they aren't just made for <laughs> over places like these and makes killer machines. It's called Hephaestus. Even it's like those cables are blocking the way up. You two wait here. Standing on this floor panel, I have to be on something. It looks like parts of those pillars are rotating. Maybe if I shoot the gears, I can lock them into place. get them into the right position. This crate should be heavy enough. Did you find a way across? Can't fit the crate through that opening. on the pillars should be exposed now. Looks like there are only two pillars this time.
should be able to get across now. She's so high up. Don't fall, <laughs> Aloy! How's it going up there, Aloy? I think I'm getting close. One more set of pillars. There should be a floor panel nearby to activate them. are twisted around that node on the other side. I'll see if I can get to it. you too.
door. Who do you think? How to get to that node on the other side. There's a platform down there. I think I can reach it if I glide. Sooner or later, we'll be unleashed. And then, plain song. If my people see what it has become, if one of our gods attacks them, you know what we have to do. Varl, are you ready? Oh! <laughs> 
cleared out the machines. Back to it, I think. <laughs> a machine that nearly killed us it's still her god i do not grieve for a god or a machine but because i no longer know what to believe look so if you want you can go back home do i still have one and if so for how long can you really heal our lands save my people One step at a time. But it starts now. we go. There's more. Like Aloy said, this is only the beginning. Aloy, four. My focus is showing holograms on you. They look like machines. Looks like Festus has been upgrading the security grid on the cauldrons. The has been corrupted. I'm not sure I can do much about that right now. And my focus doesn't recognize some of these. Must be machines I haven't seen yet. Got what you need? Yes. Let's press on then. sound good. Was that the spirit? Minerva? I, I don't think so. At least... Attention. All personnel must vacate the facility. Immediately. What exactly was this place? Seen anything like it before? No. There. That's our way out. Unauthorized access. Initiating facility lockdown. Stay out. What's going on? Well, at least the emergency lights work. What just happened? Minerva's definitely here. And I think it's trying to keep us out. I'll scout ahead. See if there's a way to get us in. You sure we shouldn't come with you? Well, yeah. Minerva could be dangerous. Let me make sure it's safe. Okay. We'll be right here if you need us.
Are you doing okay, Zo? Zo? All this. Minerva. Hephaestus. Gaia. This is what will help heal Plain Song? It's hard to explain. I mean, I barely understand it, but yeah. It's what Aloy's been looking for this whole time. Okay, I need to find where Minerva's hiding. I should look for a way to access the facility systems. Alert! Restricted access. You are not wanted here. Nope, sorry. You're not getting rid of me that easily, Minerva. Let's see where this leads. Cables in the center for. My nerve is shutting me out. Blocked. Getting through that door right now. I should turn back, see what else I can find. Guess I'm not going that way. Outside. I need to find a way back into the facility. Maybe I could look for a way in higher up the mountain. I'm close. If I can get Minerva to cooperate, I can merge it with Gaia. Finally bring her back. And we can start fixing the blight, the storms. And maybe she can help me figure out who those strangers in the proving lab were. Why did they have a clone of Elizabeth? Why did they want it back up? I might be able to glide to that ledge. Pipes up there. Might lead me to a way back in. But I don't want to reach them. There's Plainsong. I 
hope the Otaru are doing okay after the attack. Another shaft. Okay, now I've got to find a way to plug into this place. Alert. System core penetrated. Minerva, I need the console. Please. Access denied. It didn't used to be like this. Do you remember it? Anything? You were part of something bigger once. Something good. Gaia. That's right. She can live again. But only if you give her the chance. I can't reboot her without you. I... Cease. I think you'll disappear into her. Become part of her. Like you used to be. Yes, I mean. Yes. Thank you. Thank you, Minerva. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master override activated. Restoring Minerva function to original code. Initiate heuristic matrix. Here goes. Dr. Sobek. Uh, I, I... A moment. Scanning data. So it is Aloy. Not Elizabeth. We have much to discuss, but initialization of my heuristic matrix will not be complete for several minutes more. In the meantime, I suggest you familiarize yourself with this facility. It is our best option for a base of operations, and you can make use of its equipment to improve your ability to override machines. Um, uh, yeah. Yeah, that, that sounds good. Shall I grant access to your companions? They will be here shortly. Um, okay, but... Don't overwhelm them, okay? They don't have a lot of experience with things like... Well... You. Uh... So no fake this time? No. This time she's real. Barl, so, this is Gaia. Hello. Hi. Hi. Gaia's still, uh, waking up. Let's look around. I will highlight the location of the lab on your focus. The lab is 
Establish the network between your focuses, allowing you to communicate when apart. Good. So what was this place? A regional control center, where Zero Dawn progeny would... All this. this was intended as the main gathering space for control center operative. So this was supposed to be... the lab. That was its intended purpose. Some of the machine data you recovered from the repair bay below us appears to be corrupted. Accessing the terminal in this room will show you how to repair and complete the override. I'll take a look. Huh. Looks like I need data from machine parts to fix the corrupted override. My initialization is complete. You may continue to explore the facility, Aloy. When you are ready, return to the control room. We have much to discuss. Okay. Maybe it's time to talk to Gaia. I'll leave you to it. Looks like an office. Correct. The facility was designed with a number of private offices. I guess it's nice to have a space to call your own. This was intended as the main gathering space for control center operatives. You could fit a good number of people in here. Or maybe just a few. What's this space for? This would have been the sleeping quarters for control center operatives. Reminds me of the bedhouse aspirants had to sleep in the night before the proof. This would have been an access point for advanced training modules on terraforming operations. Unfortunately... So you're... ready? Yes. Initialization is complete. All tests show that my heuristic matrix launched correctly and is stable. You must have many questions. Yeah. But two big ones first. We're not gonna be able to fix the biosphere without making you whole. I ran a search for your sub-functions at the Hades Proving Lab, but Minerva was the only one I found. Thankfully, the sensory capabilities of this facility are far more advanced. I will search for the others now. Transmitting query pattern. Receiving. Apollo, Artemis, and Aluvia, I can find no trace. They are simply gone. What about the others? Ether, Demeter, and Poseidon are revealed. They lie within reach. Procurable. And Hephaestus? It too stands revealed, but it is not like the others. <laughs> That's for sure. In the years since the extinction signal, Hephaestus has evolved. Moreover, it is not confined to a single location. It haunts the global network that connects cauldrons to each other across the planet, making it exceptionally difficult to subdue. Let me guess. We need it bad? 
Correct. Its capabilities are essential. Without it, I can only delay the extinction of life on Earth. Hephaestus is our only hope of a permanent solution. So we start there? Unfortunately, we cannot. Procuring Hephaestus can only be attempted after my own capabilities have been significantly enhanced. Grab the other subordinate functions first, then Hephaestus. Precisely so. So, Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon. How do I capture them? To recover a subordinate function, you will have to travel to its location and find the physical processor to which it escaped. Then, exactly as you did with Minerva, you must use the master override to revert the subordinate function to its original code state. And then how do I get it back here? The subordinate function must be loaded onto a data storage device and physically carried back to this facility. The cartridge your root kernel was stored on? Yes. Its capacity is limited, so it can only carry one subordinate function at a time. But in all other respects, it will suffice. Maybe you can help me make sense of something. A while ago, I had a run-in with a group of... strangers who tried to kill me. They had machine servitors and a, um... Uh, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek with them. Yes, this was recorded by your focus. Do you know who they are? The answer to that question is related to the extinction signal that woke Hades, prompting my predecessor's self-destruction. The extinction signal? Okay, that sounds ominous. The signal did not come from Earth, Aloy. The calculations are complicated but it appears to have originated 81 trillion kilometers away. A distance so vast that light itself requires 8.611 years to cross it. Okay, so... What's so far away and... and... Why does it want us dead? The Sirius star system. Sirius? But that's where Far Zenith, their ship... The Odyssey. Yes, that's where it was headed. But it blew up. Unless... Uh, I don't... Why make it seem like they failed? They didn't want anyone to know. They didn't want future humans to think that they were out there. Wait. The strangers who tried to kill me at the Hades Proving Lab? The ones with the clone? Are you saying that they're from... That they're descendants of... Far Zenith? Yes. That is my conclusion. The three subordinate functions that you detected, what do we know about them? All three are relevant to problems currently plaguing the biosphere. Ether is responsible for detoxifying the atmosphere and moderating the weather. Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. If all three were restored to me, they would constitute a massive increase to my heuristic processing density. But beware. Their responses to my query pattern were... irregular. In human terms, they are frightened, lost, and paranoid. Like Minerva. They need to be whole again. Exactly.
The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Unfortunately, I have no way to track them. They have disappeared without a trace. You said you need Hephaestus to save life from extinction. Why? Every subordinate function has value, but Hephaestus is by far the most important. Only by recovering and merging it can I regain my ability to design and mass-produce new machines at cauldrons across the planet. Only through it can I program new machines and alter the tasking of existing machines to completely reverse environmental damage. Recovering other subordinate functions may buy us time, but without Hephaestus, I cannot permanently stave off mass extinction. Given Hephaestus' importance, is there really no way to capture and merge it first? I'm afraid that is quite impossible. In my present state, launched and merged with Minerva, I am operating at less than one-fifth, 18.8%, of my intended processing capacity. Hephaestus dwarfs this figure. Were an attempt made to conduct the merge under these circumstances, Hephaestus would absorb me, rather than the other way around. A merge cannot be attempted until my heuristic processing density exceeds its own. And how many subordinate functions is that going to take? Merging Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon will expand my heuristic network to 41.6% capacity exceeding that of Hephaestus. You said Hephaestus isn't located in just one place. Correct. Unlike the other subordinate functions which are confined to discrete physical processors, Hephaestus is distributed throughout the global network that connects the planet's cauldrons. So, when the time comes to subdue it, how do we make that happen? I do not know. While you are retrieving the procurable subordinate functions, I will attempt to find a solution. So, once Hephaestus has been recovered and merged, you'll regain the capacity to mass-produce machines at cauldrons around the world? Yes. And to program their behavioral routines. Or even control them directly. So, could you build an army of machines? Attack the descendants of Far Zenith and take them out? It is in my nature to take any and all necessary steps to preserve life on Earth, human life above all. So yes, once I have been empowered with the capacities of Hephaestus, I could design, build, and command such an army. Given the nature of the Far Zenith threat, doing so may be our only option. I must admit, however, that I have misgivings about using such technology to kill, no matter how aggressive the enemy. That's good. It means you have a conscience. As Elizabeth intended. Indeed. The sole purpose of the signal was to destroy life on Earth, right? Why would descendants of Far Zenith want to do that? At this point, we can only speculate. I mean, Earth posed no threat to them. 
We don't have the technology to get in their way. We didn't even know about them. True. Unless... Well... Could it be that they want the planet for themselves? The strangers I ran into, they were after a Gaia backup of their own. I mean, if they did that. If they booted their own Gaia and boosted her power until she could take control of Hephaestus. And then the whole terraforming system. Then yes, the system could be used to do what the extinction signal failed to accomplish. Snuff out life, and then potentially to build an entirely new biosphere to their specifications. So they could be trying to do the same thing we are. But with opposite results. Extinction. Instead of salvation. Well, this is not good. You said Sirius is... really far from Earth. 81 trillion kilometers. Or... 8.611 light-years. Right. So, how would the Descendants have gotten here? On a spacecraft much like the Odyssey, though significantly more advanced. The journey from Earth to Sirius would have taken the Odyssey almost 300 years. This appears to have been much faster. If their ship departed Sirius at the same moment the extinction signal first began transmitting, the journey was made in just 29 years, at an average of 0.297 the speed of light. If they did not set out for Earth until they learned of the extinction signal's failure, the journey was even faster. A mere 13 years, or 0.662 the speed of light. Okay, enough. You're making my head spin. The descendants I ran into at the Hades Proving Lab, they... They had a clone of Elizabeth Sobek. So that's consistent with the idea that they came here to salvage Zero Dawn technologies, right? Yes. As your own experience demonstrates, a clone of Elizabeth Sobek functions in effect as a key to the terraforming system. But how could they have made a clone? The Odyssey carried approximately 200,000 human zygotes millions of animal zygotes, and billions of plant seeds. It is conceivable that Elizabeth Sobek's genetic material was sampled, with or without her knowledge, and carried aboard the ship in storage. That's... Okay, but... I mean... This, this clone... How could she participate in this? Destroying Elizabeth's dream? It's... It's evil. It is difficult to know. Perhaps she is loyal to the group and shares their objectives. Or perhaps she is a subordinate and has no choice but to comply with their orders. Elizabeth Sobek? A subordinate? I don't think so. The extinction signal didn't just wake Hades. It made every subordinate function self-aware. Why? I have wondered this myself. So far as I can tell, Hades was the sole target, and the partial sentience imparted to other subordinate functions was incidental. Hmm. So the signal could only have been sent by someone who had thorough knowledge of the system, huh? Yes. The signal's design was exceptionally precise and highly advanced. Were its intentions less malevolent, I would admire the intellect or intellects that produced it. So if the Descendants came to Earth on a spaceship, I guess we can assume that their technology is powerful in all sorts of ways, right? Yes. As your encounter with them at the Proving Lab amply demonstrates, they appear to make extensive use of robotic servitors. Further, they seem to be equipped with some kind of protective energy field that shields them from harm. Yeah, no kidding. The one I fought seemed indestructible. Throughout history, Every defensive technology has eventually been defeated by an offensive counterpart. For example, assuming I absorbed Hephaestus and utilized it to create a large force of combat machines, no shielding could withstand such an assault indefinitely. So there's hope. Always. Huh. 
How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. <sighs> that doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration, halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. How did you figure out that the extinction signal came from Sirius? The key came with data on your focus, from Silence interrogation of Hades. The duration of the signal itself, 17.22 years. That doesn't make sense. You said that the signal took 8.6 years to arrive from Sirius. Why would the signal keep transmitting after it was received and you blew yourself up? Because the sender didn't know that had happened until it received notice from Hades. Which would take another 8.6 years to get back. Correct. Only then would the sender stop broadcasting after a total of 17.22 years. So the duration halved, gave me the distance the signal traveled. With that in mind, I simply scanned my astronomical database for any relevant location 8.6 light years away. Because it was far Zenith's intended destination, Sirius was the only logical source. What is the state of the biosphere? Is the terraforming system functioning at all? In a sense, the terraforming system never stopped functioning. The difference, since my predecessor's destruction, is that there has been no central governing intelligence to monitor its robotic agents and assign new tasks. As a result, errors have accrued, and day by day, the biosphere has gradually veered ever more sharply towards destruction. In recent months, disturbances in the biosphere have become obvious. But these bellwether phenomena offer just the merest glimpse of the complex and accelerating cycles of environmental dysfunction, now driving Earth's biosphere towards collapse. Then you can't do anything to stop it. If you can return Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter to me, I can improvise modest corrections to parts of the system. Weather will improve. Water will be purified, and rampant plant growth curtailed. But such corrections will not stave off collapse. They will only buy us time. Only with Hephaestus can I design and produce new robotic agents designed to permanently reverse the damage that has accumulated. All efforts must be directed toward that end. How long do we have, then? At present rates, without additional factors. The biosphere will cross a point of no return in approximately four months. And if I gather Aether, Demeter, Poseidon, merge you with them? We will only gain a few months more. Well, every bit counts. I guess I should get going and start bringing back subordinate functions. What can you tell me about their locations? When my predecessor destroyed herself, the subordinate functions sought physical processors capable of holding them. So in each case you will be looking for a powerful computer of some kind. Ether is the closest and therefore might be the easiest to acquire. However, it appears to be in the middle of Tanakh territory. 
My knowledge of that tribe is limited to data I read on your focus, but they seem to have a significant inclination towards violence. Well, that's a nice way to put it. What about Poseidon and Demeter? Poseidon has taken shelter in the desert south of this location. My substratal geography data indicates that a major old world settlement called Las Vegas was located there. A ruin in the middle of the desert, huh? Strange place for an AI devoted to water. Agreed. As for Demeter, it appears to be located on the coast to the far west. Unfortunately, I am unable to provide any relevant data about the region. As such, it may be the most difficult to retrieve. Okay, so three subordinate functions to go after. Aether, somewhere in Tanakh's territory, Poseidon in the desert, and Demeter on the coast. Where will you begin? I think I'll head for Aether. Then I will assign Aether as the objective on your focus. If you obtain it, I may be able to use it to quell the most severe storms in the region. Though I will require Hephaestus and the control over machines that it offers to permanently stabilize the biosphere. Should you change your mind, you can update your objective via your focus interface at any time. I will also transmit a summary of available data on all of the subordinate functions to you for reference. Is there anything else I can help you with? I know you have a great deal to accomplish. I do, don't I? Is something wrong? Um... I don't know. It's just that... Elizabeth set the bar pretty high. She had a dream for you, for life on Earth, and a lot has gone wrong, and it's all on my shoulders to fix it. Do you think I can do it all? Repair the system? Defeat Varzenith? Live up to her example? Absolutely. In her last message, my predecessor declared her unwavering conviction in your success. In you, all things are possible. You prevailed in purging Hades and rebooting my system core. You will prevail in this. Thank you, Gaia. Well, I, uh, I guess I should get going. I have unlocked the facility's exits. One leads onward to the west. The other leads back down the mountain to Plainsong, should you wish to return east. Varl? Whoa! Gonna have to get used to that. That you, Aloy? Uh, yeah. Gaia's opened the exits to this place. Can you and Zoe meet me by the west door? Be right there. <laughs> Okay, I need to bring Aether back for Gaia. Varl and Zoe are waiting for me by the west exit. But I could head back east first. Are you sure? Check on how Plainsong is yes. doing after the attack. I think it'll be better this way. Or I could also look around after here you somewhere. Are I need to head further west. To, um, get more of Gaia's components. Make her stronger. You two can stay here in the meantime, and Gaia can help get you up to speed. I'm not trying to shut you out. This, it's like... training. Actually, I'm gonna go back east to get Erend. Bring him here. Look, allies... Friends can help. We have a place to stay now, and like you said, Gaia can teach us, catch us up. It'll be okay. Okay. Take these, then. One to wear, one for backup. Are you going with him? No. After what happened in the cave below, 
I want to stay here a while. There is much I need to understand. Maybe by the time you get back, I'll have a thing or two I can teach you. Looking forward to it. When will you be back? I'm, uh, I'm not sure. But hopefully I'll have one of Gaia's missing components with me. Be careful out there. Even in Plainsong, we heard how the Tanakh clan lands are suffering from storms, machines, and now Regala. Don't worry about me. I'll be fine. Good hunting, Aloy. The Tanakh clan lands. Somewhere out there's three of Gaia's subfunctions. And who knows what else. Hey, Mildef. Mildef. I took some of your stew last time I went into the wild. It kept me going for a week. I felt like I could have put a strider in a sleeper hole. Enjoy it while it lasts. Sounds like you're serving up some uh, impressive provisions here. Ah, <sighs> not again. You can have the discount too, but you'll have to come back later. I think you have me confused with someone else. Oven. Didn't send you? No. Oh, my apologies. It's just that his minions won't stop pestering me. <sighs> now I've even worn out my special grill. Since I'm in the midst of a crisis, perhaps you could skip to what it is you wanted? Some of your food? Of course. Are Alvin's people causing you problems? Oh, yeah. They constantly demand my best, but the equipment I need to make my signature dishes isn't built for batch cooking. And don't get me started on the Olven discount they feel so entitled to. And if you refuse? I make meals. No trouble. How did you end up in Chainscrape? Heard about a new and upcoming town at the edge of the frontier. Where there's a town, there's a tavern. That was a need of work. So I got myself out here and started cooking. Some of these people had never tasted proper boars and berries stew before. Anyway, next thing I knew, people kept coming back. Guess they liked my food. Or the ale. Your last customer mentioned your cooking really kept him going out in the wild. Where I'm headed, I could use some of that. I would be happy to oblige, especially since you have the decency to ask pleasantly. But... 
but my special groove griddle is no more. Without it, I can't cook any of my signature dishes. I hate to think what'll happen when I'm forced to refuse Olven or his goons. Even if I already had the right ingredients, there's nothing I can do. Unless you can source me a temporary replacement? What do you need? For the ingredients. A few pieces of decent wild meat, and I'd say a big handful of bitter leaf stems. That'll do. As for the griddle, a corrugated metal panel might suffice until I can have a new one forged. You'd likely find one in the scrounger pile if you follow the river to the northeast. Don't worry, I'll clean it first. <laughs> You'll have no issue finding boars and bitter leaf on your way. Assuming you're as much a hunter-gatherer as your clothing suggests. Thanks, Mildef. I'll keep an eye out. So that's what gratitude sounds like. And don't let anyone push you around, okay? If you say so. Already got enough wild meat. I'm gonna put some bitter leaf and grab another panel from the scrounger pile. Ah, savior! Over here! Savior, thank you for taking the time, and my condolences that you had to endure Olvent's bloviating. I've dealt with worse. It sounds like he's really trying to put you over the barrel. The idea that the Karja purposely let Bristlebacks into the dawn, it's, it's completely absurd. But the louder and longer he says it, the more support he'll get for his damned concession decree. How did the Bristlebacks get into the daunt? No one knows for sure. The first report of them came from west of the quarry. But unless they have wings I don't know about, I don't see how they could have come over the mountains. No other way in. The only way I know about is barren light. Look, if you can get to the bottom of this, I can offer a considerable bounty in return. Help me shut Olvent up. What is this concession decree that Olvind wants? He wants the Sundom to designate portions of the Daunt as Osaram holdings. Only the portions, mind you, that produce any value. Let me guess. Because he stands to profit somehow? Exactly. With the Daunt under Osaram law, he could secure more investment for their numerous ventures. He can't get those investments without the concession? No. Not while there's a chance the Sundom could revoke their access. Hence, why the concession is so important to him. And why blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks, no matter how absurd, works in his favor. How does blaming the Karja for the Bristlebacks help Olven get his concession? Look around. This may be the Sundom, but chain scrape is all gears and rust and bad ale. Claiming that the Karja loosed the bristlebacks in order to intimidate Osaram laborers into obedience, well, let's just say no one here has forgotten the atrocities of the mad Sun King. Even with the valley working again, Alvant hopes he can stir up enough resentment against the Karja to call for a strike. And if the Osaram refuse to work, unless the concession is signed, you won't have a choice. Correct. The reconstruction of Baron Light must continue. How did you get stuck out here? I asked for the posting, believe it or not. Overseeing the entire valley on behalf of the Sun King? It was an honor. Is an honor, I mean. But your job would be a lot easier without someone like Olvind blasting hot air all the time? Olvind's not going anywhere. He's been around longer than I have. Even fancies himself the founder of Chainscrape. <sighs> now I'll find a way to live with him. I have to. You said the Bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry? Yes, according to one terrified laborer said the ground trembled before they came charging down the hillside he took off and ran all the way here good place to start looking then if you learn the truth 
Maybe Olvant will stop blaming the Karja for every problem under the sun, and maybe then he'll actually focus on rebuilding Baron Light instead. Aloy, change your mind about that bro Come for that beer after all, eh? Here, sit down. Get a pint in her hand. Wasn't expecting you to swing by. Since when do I do what's expected? Ha! There's that spark. Fire and spit. Uh, fire and spit. <sighs> That's a blast from the bellows. Won't fix the forge, but at least I can forget about my troubles for a while. Like what? Well, things aren't as bad since you got this place running again. But we still got Olven grading the gears about his concession decree. If you don't put that down, I'll come over there and show you how that game ends. Anyway, right now, I'm just worried about those refugees out from Sunfall. To come all this way, enduring Forge knows what. Shadow Karja refugees? What are they doing in the Daunt? Mm, looking for a new home, I gather. They're camped out by an old trailhead, southwest of here. And therein lies the problem. A stormbird crashed up on the cliffs last week, and Talon Cleanbrokers had his eye on the salvage ever since. But the refugees have barred entrance. Mustn't interrupt their sun-scorched ritual. Something about finding a twilight path. Huh. I never heard them talk about that before. Yeah, well, these particular Shadow Karja are an odd bunch. But overall, they're peaceful folk. Not that it matters to Talland. He'll crack some heads to get to that salvage. Maybe you could swing by, convince him to set up camp somewhere else? So the bristlebacks in the daunt. Where did they come from? That's the thing. No one rightly knows. They just showed up one day, rampaging around the valley like they exploded out of a forge. <sighs> Lost some good people. But bless the bellows, you cleared them out and got this place working again. That put a dent in Olvin's plans. Now, if only there were some way to smash them all together and run them out of town. But how could Bristlebacks and the Daunt help Olvin? Two words. Concession decree. Since no one knows where the Bristlebacks came from, Olvind has taken to blaming the Karja for him. He's hoping to dig up enough old resentments to get a strike going until the concession's signed. This is just his latest attempt. He's been trying to rile up the workers since the day he rolled into town. And people actually believe him? Lots of folks suffered at the hands of the Mad King during the Red Raids. Give him half a reason, they'll blame the Karja for anything. Ah, damn Karja slavers. I thought you'd be back in Freeheap. Well, after the big battle at Meridian, I went back. But realized it was running smooth. Didn't need me. Heard about the rebuilding out at Baron Light. Figured they could use another hammer. Been scraping by ever since. You could always leave. And go back east? Nah. I ain't one to leave a lit forge. Besides, someone's gotta be a squeaky wheel for the workers around here. What else can you tell me about the Shadow Karja refugees? Well, they don't call themselves Shadow Karja for one. At least, not anymore. They're some other brand of sun crazed. But whatever side of the sun they're on, they're peaceful through and through. Don't seem to want for nothing except a place to live, pray, and just enough food to keep from starving. So they're just camped outside by a trail, blocking entry to a wrecked stormbird, waiting for what exactly? Don't rightly know, but I'll tell you this. Should they ever wise up and salvage it, a Stormbird Heart is worth a lot. And if they get there first, then by Ostrom Law, it's theirs. Not that Tolan Cleanbrokers ever lost sleep over any law-breaking. Who is this Tolan Cleanbroker? Just some chuff-huffing pawnsman. Got a shop here in town. Lived in chain scrape since there was a chain scrape. He and Alvin go back a ways. Like a pair of coals in a campfire, those two. So Tolan works for Alvin? Ha! <laughs> Olven might think so, but Talon scrapes up his own scams. 
And he ain't the type to let a few refugees get between him and Stormbird Salvage. So about Olvind? Around here, everything's about Olvind. How'd he end up in charge? He got here early, like a squirrel smelling a fat nut. He knew rebuilding barren light would need stone and timber. So he jangled purses all over Mainspring, getting investors to front claims on anything in the Daunt that might be worth a damn. Thing is, all the bankers back home know that this is Karja land, and the Sun King can revoke those claims at any time. That's why he's desperate for the Magistrate to sign off on a concession decree. This concession decree, what is it exactly? And how would it help Olvind? It's pig diddle, that's what. A writ that would put all Osram claims in the Daunt under Osram law, even though they're on Karja land. It would mean that any existing ore, stone, and timber claims couldn't be revoked by the Karja. No more risk, no more hesitation for investors back in the claim to pour in the shards and expand their business. And since Olvind has a stake in all those claims, it would make him richer than a scrapper in a junk heap. Not to mention Chainscrape would become an Osram municipality, so he could buy enough votes to call himself an elder man. He's a sly old badger, I'll give him that. Figures if he keeps up the pressure, eventually the Magistrate will sign. Well, if I'm up that way, I'll talk to the refugees. Try to convince them to move. Much appreciated. They have it rough. Don't need Tallinn making it rougher. Even the Tallinn has a shop here in Chainscrape. Yeah. We'll have a word with him first. I'm sorry, I'll be right with you. Uh... Okay, I'm not saying it's a bad idea. I'm saying it's overkill. It's a weapon! Kill is the point. Not if it blows the user's arm off! Oh, just, just, just stop talking! <sighs> Where are we? Ah! <clears throat> so, uh... You, you look like someone who's always searching for a new weapon. Am I right? Actually, I... <laughs> But you're just nuts! I am with a customer! I... I'm not a customer. I got it! Triple the powder! It'll blow a strider sky high! Ba-boom! One shot kill. Guaranteed. Uh... Maybe I am. Then you are in the right place at the right time, Red! How would you like to be the proud owner of the world's first machine-enhanced... Explosive, done-in-one, machine-wrecking... Yet perfectly safe... Javelin Thrower. Are you two from around here? Nah, the claim. Dad sent us out west in search of some unknown opportunity. Said we'll know it when we see it. Sounds like you had other ideas. Let's just say that opening another trading post for my parents isn't how I want to make my mark in this world. <sighs> I imagine traveling alone must be nice. So she's your partner? My apprentice? And my sister. She's why we're out here. There was an incident. Another incident. Involving explosives? Ba boom And Dad's precious homebrew. He shipped us out the next day. Huh. Tell me more about this weapon of yours. I saw a scroll when I was a kid by some Karja scholar who wandered out west. I had a scary drawing of a Tanakh warrior hunting with a kind of javelin thrower. Effective? Yes. Basic? Undoubtedly. But coming out here made me remember it, and I am on the brink of vastly improving the tool's archaic design. Whereas I will perfect it. 
I can use machine parts to enhance the user's throw, increase the projectile's velocity. Well, Boomer here is adamant that enhancing the projectile is better, namely with explosive tips. Boomsticks. Why not both? That could work. There's one small snag. I need the parts to make the first working model. Well, for starters, I'll need charger horns. Intact. Yeah, that. Just be sure to shoot them off before the machine goes down. Otherwise, they break. But the real innovation, and keep it to yourself, is a fang horn rib. There's a mean one east of here. Blow it sky high. Boomer! You get them for me. It's yours. My treat. You have a deal. I should have enough charger horns for Della and Boomer now. Just need a rip. From that fang horn they were talking about. <laughs> happened to you that damn mine is what happened to me <clears throat> it won't be the last injury if Olven keeps shoving those tongs into those tunnels what mine northeast of chain scrape where the river ends i told corvin we should stop when the first cave-in happened but <sighs> Olven probably threatened to cut off her pay or worse how about you slow down and take me through it You mentioned you were injured in a cave-in. Yeah, <clears throat> a couple days ago. That's how I hurt this blasted leg. <laughs> Corvin and the others were opening a new vein while I was checking on an older one. As soon as their blast hit, the tunnel I was in collapsed. Might have dodged it if I wasn't running on barely a spark of sleep. We were pushing too hard and too fast. And you're afraid Corvin and the others might not be as lucky if it happens again. Mm-hmm. Hit the nail right on the head. How come Olven's in charge? Don't these mines belong to the Karja? Try telling Olven that. He brought in all the backing to get them open. Might as well own them. <laughs> Fire and spit. You ask him. He owns us as well. Who's Corvind? He's our foreman. And a damn good one. The kind that knows how to deal with management when it gets unreasonable. But Olvind... <laughs> his demands go beyond unreasonable. Corvin's been doing his best to appease him. He even blamed himself for my injury when it was Olvind who ordered the extra shifts. Sounds like a good guy. That's why we all put up with the long hours and lousy conditions. But if the whole mine becomes unstable... I'd rather suffer Olvind's wrath than die buried in rubble. I could check in on your crew, if I'm in the area. I... would appreciate that. Thank you. How goes it, Hammerhead? <laughs> Takes more than that to keep me down. Bitterleaf likes to grow on rocky terrain. Okay, I think I have enough bitterleaf. Get this turned 
there's something tasty. Stash when I need it. <laughs> Scroungers. An old Scrap piles. Check another scrap pile. Have everything I need for Mildiv? Good thing, too. I can use a decent meal.
Gregor. I happen to receive another visit from Olven himself. He was pushy, but I stood my ground. And dare I say it, I even got my own back. Yes, I did. I'm listening. When I made his meal, I used three pinches of salt instead of two. Uh, each journey begins with a single step, I guess. I think I have everything you asked for. Then just as you have inspired me, let us see if I can return the favor. Time to cook. Inspired. Next time you want the best provisions, you know where to find me. And your next order of any dish will be on the house. <laughs> Thanks. And don't forget to stand up for yourself. Funny you should say that. As it happens, I'm already cooking up my next portion of resistance. Hope to see you again. I'm gonna stock up on some food before I head back out. And see what else Mildov's cooking up. down. This isn't a place for a machine. Children, did you? It could show me how to override you. Rumor said that thing was should be nearby. to take it down to get its rib. Everything I need for Della and Boomer. Now, to see about that weapon of theirs. Thank <laughs> you. 
what's this? That's not good. I know that look. You've got all the parts, haven't you? Here you go. Outstanding! I only need a few minutes to finish the prototype. I'll take the version that won't blow my arms off. Thanks. Hi. So did you blow up any machines to get the parts? Or any bandits? You really like explosions, huh? Here we go. With the boomsticks? Oh, you betcha. Um, is it safe? Probably. Can I have one? No! Ah. Uh... Cause we're gonna make you something even better. Ba-boom! There's another cauldron out there that has over right there to the machine. From where Arnav said I'd find his crew. This must be the mine Arnav told me about. It looks like the miners are in trouble. That looks like the foreman Arnav mentioned. I should check in with him. <clears throat> Can't let the cold distract me.
You good? I, I'm okay. Thank you, Corvin. Corvin, Arnav sent me. I'm not, not now. Easy. What happened? Explosion in the mine. Water flooded the whole place. Some of my guys are still. They're still down there. I can't. Can't stop. You've done enough. Are you hurt? I'm... I'll live. The others. Please. I need to know exactly what happened. We use controlled blasts to open up new veins in the mountain. One of them must have gone wrong. I can't... I have to go. How many are still down there? Corvent, how many? Uh... Two. Two, I think. Two more. I'll do what I can. Miners, quick. Hello? Can anyone hear me? I'm starting to see things. Is that a... Are you okay? Who are you? Corvin sent me. Are you hurt? Uh, my leg. I... I was a little too close to the blast. What happened? We were blasting in the farthest tunnel, but the scaffolding didn't hold. It collapsed. I... I think it blocked the drainage shaft. Water started flooding the place as quick as I drink ale. I barely managed to drag us here. So something's keeping the water inside the tunnels. What are you thinking? I've got an idea. Are there more explosives? Are you crazy? Yeah. She'll still be some up top, but... You'll need these fuses. Are you crazy? You can't move. And I'm not leaving you. It's not like she can make things worse. Don't go anywhere. I need to find whatever's blocking that drainage shaft. And blow it sky high. Hopefully without bringing the mine down. <laughs> Made it. There's the debris blocking the shaft. If I can reach those explosives up on that track, maybe I can blast through the blockage. Set that machine on fire. Maybe I can swim past unnoticed. 
all of them. I should follow those tracks. See if they lead to the explosives. Let's see where this leads. for the stash. There's the explosives up on the track. I just need to get across somehow. Might be a good idea to drop that ladder. Got its attention. Check on those miners. She's so dead. We don't know that. You did it. I thought you blew yourself up. Are you two okay from here? I can get this idiot down. Don't you worry. Thanks, kid. <laughs> Better let Corvin know his name all right. I found the two you mentioned. They're safe, but could probably use a hand. Is that everyone? <sighs> it is. I dread to think what would have happened if you hadn't shown up. I knew we were blasting too much, but the man who staked the claim here, Ulvat, 
Uh, he kept pushing and pushing me. I tried to shield my crew from his constant demands every damn day. I... I should have been stronger. You were there for your crew when they needed you. That counts for something. Ulvan can threaten me all he wants. I am not letting my people back into those mines. Will you be all right? Yes. I can take it from here. You are owed, Huntress. Ulvan's name keeps coming up. And it's never good. Sooner or later, someone's gonna have to deal with him. Thank you, Huntress. I'll see the last two make it out. Over. Water! Javad said the bristlebacks were first spotted west of the quarry. I should see if there's anything in the back of the valley. Dead bristleback by the falls. Yeah, check it out. Charged off the cliff up there. I better keep following the trail up. trees. It's like a stampede went through. Is this where the bristlebacks came from? But how? Unless this cave leads out of the daunt. Okay, let's see where this leads. for the stash. The old car tracks collapsed. It looks recent. Guess I'm not going that way.
take a look at where the smoke's coming from. Looks like mine runs pretty far back. There's a blaze here to blast a mountain open. And there's a note on one of the barrels. This note's addressed to Oland. Looks like this mine was supposed to be shut down. Oven must have gotten greedy. Kept blasting deeper into the mountain. I should let Javad know what I found. stampeded through. Maybe the explosions blew away open? But from where? I can get it for my stash later. So, Baron Light's gates are still open? Well, I'll tell you, I'm not getting paid enough for this. First bristlebacks, now Tanakhs attacking Baron Light? Should have never messed with the Tanakh in the first place. Best get all the supplies you need, my friend. These parts just got a whole lot more dangerous. Safe travels. Like anything safe out there.
familiar. What news do you bring? Picked up the Bristleback Trail by the quarry. Looks like they stampeded out of a mine at the back of the valley. The mine? How could a herd of Bristlebacks come from there? I'm not sure, but Alvin's workers were using explosives to tap the tunnels inside. For the love of Dawn, I told him it wasn't worth the risk. Those tunnels, they run for miles underground, even beyond the Daunt. No, you don't think... That Olven's blasting opened up a passage from the other side? Perhaps. Yes, perhaps. If this is true, we need confirmation. An inquiry so thorough, so irrefutable, endorsed by the Savior. All right, I'll keep looking. I need to go. Of course. Hey! At the embassy, Regala's rebels were riding bristlebacks. If they attack from the north, they might have a... inside. Some kind of outpost. With pens. It might be where Regal is keeping her machines. I need to find a way to get in there. I could scan the area to see what I'm up against. And tag any rebels or machines in my focus to keep track of them. Okay. I'm in. I have to clear out this place before I can look around. Put her down! many machines. Where'd they all go? Better check in that cave. This'll be in my stash when I need it.
drawbridge. Might be my way across. That's one half of the bridge. How to drop the other side. Scanning the bridge with my focus might show me something. Looks like I'm looking at weak points. The ropes attached to the bridge. were keeping bristlebacks here. The machines fell into the tunnel, which must have collapsed as they ran further in. What if Olven's explosives created the sinkhole? I should head back to Chainscrape to let Javad know. So, oh, you've returned from the west. Any luck? The bristlebacks were being penned by Tanakh rebels on the other side of the mountains. Alvin's explosives opened up a sinkhole, dropping them into the tunnels. Which they followed to the mine and out into the daunt. Right. Aside from the rebels, if anyone is to blame for the bristlebacks, it's Alvin. Radiant beams of the sun! And all this time he was pointing the finger at us. <clears throat> Bring Olvent here. Petra, too. <sighs> Summoned like a blasted ale winch. You best be meaning to put pen to parch. What? Why is she here? I live here too, Lugnut. <laughs> so what's this about? <clears throat> Thanks to the Savior, the sun has shown the truth on the Bristleback incursion. Tanakh rebels were keeping pens of machines on the other side of the mountains. A sinkhole swallowed them, releasing them into the underground tunnels that led east and out into the daunt. So it was an accident. But let us not forget that it was the Karja. I'm not done. The sinkhole only formed due to your unauthorized blasting in the southern mine, Ulvant. You are responsible for the machine rampage, the workers we lost, the destruction the bristlebacks caused, all of it. My dear magistrate, has your precious son baked your senses? I would never give such an order without first consulting you. <laughs> uh, evidence says otherwise. Aloy found the shipping manifest in the mine. You skirted the laws of the Sundom Ulvent. All for a few extra shards. As ever. And that's not the only mine you've been squeezing. Corvin's crew would have drowned if it weren't for Aloy. <laughs> I... I demand an official investigation. I won't be the victim of some Karja scheme. Certainly. We'll conduct a thorough inquest into everything. The bristlebacks, the mine. Every business deal you ever put your name to. Well, that... That's not necessary, is it? What if I just return to the claim? 
Oh, well, that would save the crown the cost. Of course. I'll be on my way as soon as I wrap up some previous commitments, tie up some loose ends. After all, the welfare of Chainscrape's people in a transition like nope, this... Nope, you're leaving right now. Chainscrape will be just fine. You think she can run this scorched-out forge dump? Ha! Knock yourself out. Get out! Oh, don't want you, don't need you. Down with all of Get off me! Mud looks good on you, Albind. <sighs> As the sun burns away, Shadow. Mm. Thank you for that, Aloy. Oh, he had it coming. Here, please accept this token of gratitude. You've done the Sundom and my sanity a great service. And I believe we have some matters to discuss. Guess we do. Not the most pleasant boots to fill, but I'll wear them. All thanks to you, Flame Hair. <sighs> okay. Chain scrape will be better off with Petra in charge. Never heard it put that way before. What do you want? Heard you've been hassling refugees up by the cliffs. Yeah, well, you heard wrong. There's salvage up there. A storm bird. Nailed him myself with the harpoon here in town. Not an easy shot if I do say so myself. It clipped its wing. And it crashed into the old tower up there. Killed it quick. Yeah, so if anyone's hassling anyone, it's the Shadow Karja filth that's blocking the way up to my claim. And you're ready to crack some skulls to get to it? No need. It's a raggedy bunch. Probably all starved before I have to lift a finger. We'll see about that. Oh yeah, we will, won't we? Now shop's closed to Karja lovers. On your blasted way. My stash. You wanted to speak to me? Well, you know better than anyone it's a dangerous world out there, and not just against machines. Name's Odur. This here's my training pit. Best place to practice close combat this side of the Forbidden West. Say. I wonder who'd win in a fight. You, the savior of Meridian, champion of the East, or the Enduring, master of the West. Who? The Enduring, a legendary Tanakh fighter, the master of masters. I've heard the Tanakh have training pits just like this one. It's how the warriors get so fierce, see? And only the very best from the pits get to train with the Enduring. So to find the Enduring, I should look for these training pits when I'm back out that way. You'll have to go far if you do. The Tanakh are split into three clans. Three clans, three capitals, three training pits. My guess is you'd have to beat all of them if you want to train with the Enduring. If the Tanakh don't kill you on sight, that is. But that's a far spark in the wind. As for right now, I also offer challenges to test your fighting skill. Who would I be fighting exactly? You? Well, I know you're the savior and all, but you have to beat all the others first to challenge me. Rules are rules. We only use dual blades and practice arrows, mind. These drunken fools would run themselves through otherwise. You'll have to leave everything but your spear and practice arrows at the gate. But I'll look after your gear, not to worry. So, what do you say? Up for some training? <laughs> I might be. That's what I like to hear. Sister! 
Close attention to your opponent's stance. Read their intentions. Choose your attacks to break their defense. the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. Where did I put my shoe? It looks like this one. again. the glowing part of your opponent before the energy fades. That spear can give you the edge in battle. Keep energizing it and then your enemies. Triggering those energy blasts should help you vanquish your opponents. Well fought, friend. Well fought. Are you okay? Yeah. Ooh. Serves me right for thinking I could go up against the savior of Meridian. Here, have this. A little something for the new champion. Thank you, Hodurk. Don't be a stranger now. Come back whenever you'd like to spar again. See you later, Odurg. Farewell, then. I suppose you heard back from that lazy brother of yours.
These people are under attack. Hey! You up there! Aren't you gonna help? More machines. Get to safety! I'll handle the rest! Go, Lakasha! I'll help you! Better check on the refugees. Is it bad, Lokasha? Shh, now. Everything will be fine. Is everyone okay? Bruised. But not buried. Our order will live to see another day. Are you sure about that? We're no strangers to hardship, Nora. We've crossed half the Sundom with no more than the clothes on our backs. And as soon as our Sun Priest returns... Our path will be clear. For now, we wait. Well, you're better off waiting somewhere else. Your people need shelter. There's a town east of- Chainscrape. Yes. We know of it. Savohar says it's not suitable for us. Who? Our sun priest. Our order has made it this far thanks to his guiding light. Okay, and where is this Savohar? He went up to the tower to meditate three days ago, and he won't come down until the sun shows him the way to our new home. The fallen storm bird is an omen, he said. And of course, it must be. I see. And how long do you plan on waiting for him? Until he returns. He will return. He must. You're Shadow Karja, aren't you? We are the Order of Twilight. The difference being... When the Usurper Avad killed his father, we fled with the Karja in shadow to Sunfall. Our lives there were... difficult. Savohar saw our misery, lifted us up, protected us from the corrupt priests and heartless Kestrels. When their rule ended, Savohar led us from the Shadowlands. The long night ends, and the setting sun will lead us to salvation, he said. And so he named us the Order of Twilight. We journeyed west in search of a better life. Why didn't you go back to Meridian? A bard is a patricide. We will not kneel to the likes of him. We must walk in twilight to our new home. Savohar will lead us there. Uh-huh. There's an Osaram in Chainscrape, Tolland. He wants the Stormbird up there. Yes. He was here just yesterday. A very unpleasant man, even by Osaram standards. He made all manner of threats. But we will not be intimidated. That's all well and good, but he's got friends. Sooner or later, his whole gang will show up. Savohar will come through. He always does. We just need to give him more time. You're out of time, Lakasha. You need to consider packing up and- We won't leave him. And we won't let others disrupt his meditation. Well, they're going to try. Your priest, Savohar. You said he's been up there three days? His meditation can't be rushed. 
So he does this often? Meditating for days on end? Well, it doesn't usually take this long. But he will guide us through. He always has. We have faith. Sure. But shelter looks like a more pressing concern. Look at yourselves. Those machines nearly wiped you out. And Osram thugs are watching you, just waiting to strike. You're in danger here. You need to grab Savohar and get out. Our situation... This is the worst we've endured. I know we cannot stay here, but without Savohar to guide us, I, I don't... Let me up there. And I'll convince him it's time to move on. But his meditation... If he hasn't received his vision, he won't follow. At least let me check on him. If he's been up there for days... Yes. Yes, that is sensible, I suppose. Please, be careful. The trail up to the tower is falling apart. Savohar is strong, but it could not have been an easy climb. It rarely is. Let the Nora pass. I can grab this from my stash later. Kasha was right. The trail's in bad shape. This looks recent. Must have broken off when Savohar climbed up here. I think I can reach those beams if I jump against the cliff. useful for making dyes. Ladder must have broken off after Savahar passed through. I need to find another way up. <sighs> Broken bridge. I might be able to make the jump to the other side. himself pretty bad getting over the bridge. It's not looking good. It looks like he looks there's the stormbird. Getting closer.
stash this away for later. Okay, I think I'm in the clear. There's Sabohar. In pretty bad shape. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. <coughs> the true sun above me. You must be Sabahar. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even tide. No. No. The vessel must be empty for the coming vision. You don't need a vision. You need medical attention. On the way up, I saw parts of the trail had given way. Is that how you hurt yourself? My pain. Oh. A ritual. You're hurt bad. And your people are running out of time. Staring at the Stormbird isn't solving anything. You don't understand the omen. It fell here at the beacon. I just need to see the twilight path. And my people will find their home. Listen, Lakasha is doing the best she can down there, but machine attacks, angry Osiram. The Order is scared, Savar. The last rays of the eventide will burn away their fear. I don't think so. What do you think is going to happen here? If you sit long enough, the sun will show you something? A path to a new home. A fallen machine can only mean that the storm has passed. <laughs> Salvation is at hand. Or some Osram shot it and it hit an old tower. I think you punctured a lung. You can't heal it with prayer. The sun will provide. <laughs> and I will not lose faith. I'd be more concerned about losing blood. Your people are worried about you. They need shelter. Security. The true sun above me. The true sun before me. Show me the way this even time. I think you've been staring at your salvation this whole time. The true sun above me. Gotta get over to that storm bird. Grab its heart. Stormbird heart is valuable. Enough to feed all the refugees waiting below. And his answer is sunstroke in a prayer? Why does every priest I meet think blind faith is the answer to everything? Can't let the cold distract me. The Osram that was watching the refugees probably went to get Tolland. I gotta get them out of here before he comes back. Looks 
like some kind of lens. Guess I'll keep it for later. There. The Order should be able to afford shelter with this heart. Some food and a change of clothes wouldn't hurt either. Savahar? How you holding up? I need to get back over there. Savar? I guess you did the best you could. Rest easy now. I'll make sure your people are safe. I should let Lakasha know. And give her the Stormbird heart. I'm a generous gent. So I'll give you one more chance to make it easy on yourselves and clear out. We won't let you pass, Asaram. If you choose bloodshed, that's on your conscience. Ain't it just like the Karja to make things harder than they have to be? Okay, boys. You heard her. Get your consciences ready. Hold on now, Tolland. You again? Listen, I'm all out of patience here. I clipped that Stormbird's wings. The salvage is mine. I don't care who gets in my way. Nora Savages or Shadow Cars or Fleabags. I'm taking it. Well, from what I hear, the law says that whoever gets the salvage first keeps it. Which, in this case, is me. Am I right? You took the heart? I shot that Stormbird! Me! Am I right? She's right, boss. Blasted love, shut up! <sighs> okay. You win. Hey, I'm doing fine. I don't need that salvage anyhow. But these people need all the help they can get. Come on, boys. Back to chain scrape. I need a drink. Aloy, again, we thank you. You're welcome. Now take this heart. Use it to buy food, clothes, shelter for your people. Maybe even land to build a new home. I... This is... Savalhar must make these decisions. No, I'm... I'm sorry, Lakasha. Savahar isn't coming back. He's gone. I know it's hard, but your people need a leader now. Go to Chainscrape. Talk to the Forge woman there, Petra. Give her the Stormbird heart. She'll look after you and your people until you can get back on your feet. Find your path. I'll do my best, Aloy. What choice do I have? Here, please accept this. It is modest. But I hope it helps in some small way. To chain scrape, then.
Spare a moment, please. What do you need? A squad of Tanakhas hold up in the cave to the south. I think they're in trouble. At least one of them is injured. I'm headed there to offer help, but with the Tanakh, such an offer might be perceived as an insult, even when help is needed. Will you come with me? I saw you speak before the chorus, so I know you can be persuasive. And if things get out of hand, I will be stronger with your spirit at my side. Isn't there someone in Plainsong who can go with you? Not with Tanakh rebels prowling our borders. No one wants to get involved. I have some other things to take care of first. Their camp is south, you said? Yes, I'm headed there now. Join me when you can. to my stash. You have to wait for an opening. Care to join the hunt? I've got your back, though.
supplies. Come over here. Are you all right? I don't know what happened. Sunhawk Talana came Padish. Aloy, despite the Nora. You're the slayer of Redma, the savior of Meridian. Milu is my new thrush. She joined the Hunter's Lodge shortly after the Battle of the Spire. She's heard a few stories about our hunts together. Stay and rest. Make sure you take some medicinal plants for that wound. So what brings you all the way out here? Are the machines back east too tame for you? Not quite. I'm looking for someone. A Karja hunter, about my age. Name's Amadis. He came out here on his own a while back and... Now he's missing. This man you're looking for, is he another hunter from the lodge? <sighs> He'd hate to hear you say that. It's a long story, but he's a former noble. We met out in the wilds after I was wounded on a hunt. He healed me, then helped put a stop to machines that were threatening a nearby village. After that, we, uh, parted ways. Sounds like there's more to the story. Ah, uh, another time. So, oh, Milu's your new thrush. Guess that means a hawk can sponsor more than one now? Things have changed at the Hunter's Lodge. Now all who seek to become the best hunters are welcomed as members, no matter their tribe. But don't worry, you're still my favorite thrush. You're really shaking things up. As I promised when I became Sunhawk. And as for Milu, she believes learning to hunt will help her ailing tribe. Who am I to say no to that? The last time we met, you had left Meridian on a contract to hunt a deadly new machine. Several Clost Riders, it turned out. A hunter-killer, too. You said you were feeling restless. Is life as Sunhawk that boring? Well, I had just left the city. I couldn't stand being cooped up with bureaucratic regulations and formalities. But my time out in the wilds helped me realize... The Lodge needs to be more than a glorified trophy hall. Our hunters should be the spears that safeguard our civilians, like my father and brother were. Sounds like a big challenge. I don't remember others in the Lodge being so open-minded. Some are. The rest will get a boot out the door. And I'll get back to it as soon as I find Amadis. I can help you find your friend. I know you must have your own reasons for being out this way. But I'd be glad to have your help. What was he doing out here? He lost someone close to him during the Red Raids. He was heading to the side of the battle to finally lay them to rest. Milu and I were on our way there now. The battlefield's near. I can still come with you. No. Go to Stone's Echo, heal, wait for me there, and think on today's lesson. But- You're no good distracted by pain. Go. All hunters need to recover from time to time. Yes, Sunhawk. It's been an honor. Will she be okay on her own? Of course. She's my thrush. Come. The battle feels this way. Find this in my stash later. So this battlefield, you said it was part of the Red Raids? The Battle of Burning Blooms. Amadis was part of the Karja army that pushed into the west. His division attacked the Tanakh, but they underestimated the enemy's forces. It was a massacre. I never thought you'd be friends with someone. Between you and me, this will be... Oh, don't worry. He was one of the good ones. He tried to stop the attack, but it was too late. He's been on the run ever since. Should be a shock ammo. And you think something went wrong for him out here? Don't worry. I'll track him down. He promised he would get a message back to me. I waited, but it never came.
This is the field. Where they cannot slaughter the Karja. Looks like time and weather have eroded most signs of battle. But there are a lot of footprints. Must be recent. Let's take a look. Heavy footprints. Maybe Osirum. It's too many to tell if Amadas is with them. I better look around. My focus might show me more. Amadis was supposed to be alone. Why were also around here? Hmm. Light Prince. Not Osirum. Maybe Karja. Looks like there's a trail I can follow with my focus. Talana, I think I got something. Tracks that head away from the battlefield. Lead the way. I don't get it. Why would Amadis keep going west? Maybe there's something else around here? Looks pretty abandoned to me. Otaru? What's he doing out here? Do Maybe not worry. he saw Amadis. I am not the Karja hitting kind. Just an old scavenger grateful for a little company. Name's Lel. You two must be lost. Actually, we're looking for someone. A Karja hunter. He would have been traveling alone, clothes would have been well worn. Yes, he was here, poking around the old battlefield. Wanted to know what happened. Lucky for him. Old Lel hears all the stories. Karja army charged straight into the waiting Tanakh. Most burned, but others, the Tanakh marched back west. Your man wanted to know where. Told him I've heard rumors of a place called the Rot. What is it? A Tanakh prison, or a Karja graveyard, depending on how you look at it. Where is this place? Further west in Tanakh territory, but that did not stop him. An Asaram caravan was camping out at the battlefield, about to head the same way. He joined them. They all went west, towards the ridge. Thanks, Lel. We have to get going. Good hunting out there. Let's head west to the ridge, then. If we find this caravan, maybe we'll find Amadis. Lead on. You mentioned Amadis lost someone close to him at the battle. Do you think the Tanakh took them prisoner instead? To the rot? I don't know. Maybe. The ridge up ahead. It looks like there's a tunnel. A shell snapper. I haven't seen us yet. We can use this. Hawk and thrush. Just like old times. Good to hunt by your side again. Come on, let's head into the tunnel. It's a 
dead end. Looks like a cave in. Let's look around. Aloy, glad you're back. This door needs some kind of code to open. It doesn't look like there's anything I can do now. Bunch of Osram supplies. And a dead end. Uh, packs full, but my stash has room. By an Osram. <laughs> Diving out of down. Sounds like someone I know. I was wondering when you could It back. says he's moving on. Can we move on? Huh. I'm on the way too. An Osram. What does it say? He was part of the caravan that went through here. I know it ends abruptly when the tunnel started to collapse, I guess. Oh. But there's nothing here about a Karja hunter. And an earlier caravan made it through before the collapse. Sounds like they went to a watering hole on the other side. So he could have made it. Is there another way through? I have a kind of base in the mountains north of here. There's a passage through it that will get us to the other side. Us? You know, Hawk and Thrush. We'll find your friend together. Head to the western outskirts of Plainsong. There's a path in the foothills there that leads up to the base. I'll make sure someone greets you there and shows you the way through. Then I'll meet you at the camp on the other side as soon as I can. Thank you, Aloy. I knew running into you would bring good luck. Here, take this. May it help on your own hunt. I'll see you at the camp. Zo, I ran into an old friend who needs to cross over to the west. Can you meet her in the foothills near Plainsong and show her the way through the base? The thing is, she's Karja, but she's one of the good ones. If she's a friend of yours, she must be. I'll show her the way. Thanks. Tawana seems really worried about her friend. I should look for her at the Osram camp when I'm out that way. Got it. Thank you. 
Shell walkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. There you are. The squad of Tanakh is camped inside. They're still in need of help. You there! This camp belongs to Eagle Squad. Retreat or die. At ease, Eagle. I'm not here for blood. Just to parlay. You know the parlay sign? Let us in so we can talk. So far, so good. Long way from the desert, aren't we? This one was blinded. Boy, nothing gets by you. Looks like your training mission didn't go according to plan. We're here to help, if you want it. How does an Utaro know we're on a training mission? He knew how to request a parlay, too. He's not Utaru. Or Tenax. He must be a veteran. A veteran? I didn't think there were any left. We don't need help from a washed-out farmer. Could have fooled me, judging by the look of things. Sister, it sounds like they just want to help us. Why not let them? What do we got to lose? What does it mean to be a veteran? I was born to Nock, but offered to Yutaro in exchange for tribute. Tribute? Back when there was plenty, the Yutaru offered yearly gifts of food to the Tanakh to keep peace between them. Over time, this tribute grew into an exchange of people. The Tanakh needed able-bodied youth to fight their clan battles. And the Utaru needed veteran soldiers to train the defenders of Plainsong. I was just such a soldier. Was being the key word. You may yet need my spear, young warrior. You said you're on a training mission? A machine hunt. The final test before a young squad goes on active duty. Everything was going fine. We tracked a claw strider and hit it hard, but it fled into a herd of bristlebacks. One charge right at Kore. He dodged just in time and landed a strike as it passed. I hit an acid canister. The spray was like fire in my eyes. A terrible wound. I should have scouted ahead. Spotted the herd. No. I should have spotted that canister. What do you need? Supplies. Dried meat, ammunition, weapons, camping equipment. A lot of provisions for a trip back to the desert. Everything we need is at River Watch. A huge cache of war spoils up there, left over from the route. The route? When our forces drove the Karja back to Baron Light, they made sure the Kestrels felt the loss, made it hurt. Marshal Canera shot a score of fleeing Karja from the top of River Watch, and her squad gathered the loot. It's all just sitting up there. Ours for the taking. Deadly machines are known to patrol that place, and the ruin itself is on the brink of collapse. You think machines and rotting ruins are enough to keep out Eagle Squad? No, but your injuries are. Let Jax and I grab these supplies for you. This is our mission. I'm not handing it over to some... Fine. Come with us. Fine. The three of you hold position. I'll be back. Be safe, sister. The ruin is this way. Once we get those supplies, everything will be fine. So you say. What's that supposed to mean? Your brother's condition is... That's not your problem, farmer. So you say. Stop saying that. Hey, calm down. We're trying to help, remember? So you say.
We'll have to cut across the river. Avoid the outlander camp down the road. Trespassers. There are strangers in these lands. Just like you, Eagle. <laughs> oh. Something wrong? I hate getting wet. Tough as a ravager, this one. I heard that. We're here. The entrance should be right under that arch. Blocked. Not getting in that way. Let's check around the side. I'm going in. No. Aloy's on point. Follow her lead. I had that. Give credit where credit is due, young one. Maybe I would have handled it better if I wasn't busy covering you, old man. Aren't I lucky? I guess the farmer hasn't lost all his fighting spirit. Supply should be up there. Taller than I thought. What's a deadly climb to Eagle Squad? What are you trying to say, old man? Enough. I'm a good climber. I'll grab the supplies. Come. Let's see if any of these machines have parts we can strip. Maybe I'll show you a thing or two. What could a farmer possibly know about salvage? Only decades of experience compared to your very brief existence. Okay. 
Okay. I'll find a way into the ruins. That's no good. Can't use the whole caster on that. Looks like some kind of basement. Gotta find a way up. Okay, a supply cache should be at the top of the tower. But how to get up there? There's a crate in that room. Might be useful if I can get it out. Something heavy might break it down. I think I can make that fall to shoot the weak point. This isn't the cache I came to find. Better keep looking. Small cash. Can't be the supplies Sakura wanted. <laughs> Doesn't look like Sakura's supplies. I can grab this from my stash later. These are the supplies? Won't last them very long. Ugh, I can't leave that 
kid alone for a second. Jax and Sakura are in trouble. I better check on Jax and Sakura. Well fought, Eagle. Though I would have preferred if you hadn't taunted that thing. What did you find? Practically nothing. Sakura, there's maybe a day's worth of food here and some rotting medicinal herbs. There was supposed to be more. Enough for... It was never your intention to go home, was it? What do you mean? A blind Tanakh can't fight. And if you can't fight... The Tanakh will kill Korra from being blind? He'll face a trial against the machine. They say it's more dignified that way. But it's still a death sentence. So you were gonna use the extra supplies to live in the wilds? I thought it would be enough to get us started. Can't they stay in Plainsong? Plainsong has too many mouths to feed. The chorus would never allow it. We should get back. I'll take this young sprout back. Meet us at the cave when you can. to tell them that I failed. Speak the truth. Plain and simple. Aloy, we were just about to head in. So what will you tell them? That we'll have to make do. Survive in the wilds without the supplies. That will be a hard life. Better than letting Cory be killed if we go back. There must be another way. I don't see one. So, we're all stocked up then? The cache was empty. But we'll be all right without them. I can't let you starve out here. Just leave me. No! Jax, 
You said Plainsong has too many mouths to feed to take them all in, but what about just- I am not leaving my brother behind. He'll be safe in Plainsong, and the rest of you can head home. It's the only real solution you've got. The Chorus won't like it. But if I vouch for the boy, share my rations with him, I could convince them. I will do so if Korra wishes. No! You're not taking him! Sakura. I think... this is the best option. I'm a burden to you out here. This is what I want. Let me go with him. Permission granted. But brother, this is not the end for us. I will visit you in Plainsong, and no Utaru or Tanakh can stop me. They would be foolish to try. I'll stay and help them pack their gear, then take Korra back with me. You've shown strength and wisdom today. Rare combination. You have my thanks, and theirs too, I'm sure. Should be safe here.
Save those smiles for your families. The Tanakh understand only strength, and ours was a poor display at best. They will be back. You, the one who actually won this fight for us. A word. I want everyone. Ah, you're a warrior, Seam. Green as early spring. There are children playing with sticks. It's all I can do to keep them alive. It'll only get harder. So far, the rebels have sent mere scouts. But it won't be long till they return for an all-out assault. And if they bring machines with them, we'll need a lot more than eager hearts to win. You seem to know a lot about Tanakh's tactics. Back when the Tanakh clans pushed back the Karja raiders, I joined the fight. The Tanakh taught you how to fight? More than that. They taught me how to work with metal. I'm probably the only Utoro who can. Never thought I'd be using what I learned then to fight against them now. We may speak freely here. So, what's the plan? The plan was making new weapons for my so-called fighters. I sent my best climber, Voss, up the drum route to get the materials we need. Wide moths leave metal pods we use for crafting at its summit. But the derangement has made them as dangerous as the climb to reach them. Voss has yet to return. We have defenses to set up, and we are running out of time. If the savior of Meridian is willing to lend us her strength a little longer, I believe you can get us what we need. You know who I am. Red hair, bow, fights better than ten warriors put together. You're well known, and so is your little disagreement with the chorus. Can't Plainsong help? Plainsong has abandoned all settlements this far out. Then why not just leave? They're clearly outnumbered and under-equipped. We could leave. Head to safety. Have you ever seen a flower so small and white? When it falls, it looks like snow in spring. My daughter called them Winter Song. She carried their seeds to the day she drew her last breath. Now those seeds grow in the grove at the heart of River Hem, planted by my own hands. As do the ones of every brother and sister taken from us during the Red Raids. We, I, will not abandon them. I'm sorry about your daughter. The raids took her from me. I found my peace in every carja that fell beneath my spear. Now all I have left of her is planted in the grove here. No Tanakh will force me out. Do all Utaru carry seeds with them? We are given our pouches soon after we're born. When we die, the seeds are buried. A reminder that our deaths bring new life. It is how we remain one with the rhythm of the world. What makes the path up to the drum route so dangerous? It's a cave of sunken passages and gaping caverns that only the very skilled can navigate. It serves as a safe haven for my people. But machines have patrolled its deepest passageways ever since the derangement. Even so, River Hem and the Grove live off its waters. We are connected to it as much as we are to the seeds growing behind you. I don't think I caught your name. Q. I am the metal weaver of River Hem. But all you really need to know about me is that I plan to keep my people alive. Thanks to you, we might actually have a chance at that. Tell me more about these metal pods. They are tricky to collect. The Wide Maws sow them. One must be quick enough to gather them before the soil and water take them. But their metal is among the sturdiest I've ever weaved. Without them, our chances of survival are slim. Oh, if there's no convincing you to leave, I guess we're making some weapons. 
You have my thanks. There's no time to waste. Follow me. This way. With those paws and a whole lot of luck, we just might get out of this alive. Let's hope these sprouts can hold their ground against a squad of machines. I can only cover so much ground and my joints aren't what they used to be. Look to me like they chose to stay here as much as you did. It'll be the fight of their lives, that's for sure. Almost there. This is the best we can do to hide those who cannot fight. But if we fall, the Tanakh will find them sooner than later. We're here. This is it. Do you have any questions? I'm ready. Good luck. Come see me at the forge when you're done. Guess I better start finding my way up to the top. I don't think I'm getting anywhere through here. There doesn't seem to be an easy way to climb in this cave. And if there's coming from here, there might be some underwater. Maybe they can lead me someplace for the path through these caves. Um, I don't me. I just went to my stash. If I can't go up, maybe I need to go down. Swarming by machines. We should take a sea patch to cure. This seems to me a lot for the power. I'm the cloud of spores if I shoot that. Let's find a way up these caves.
merchant would trade for this. Stash this away for later.
made it. Oh, you find those white moss. There they are. Those pods they're rejecting. They must be the ones Q needs. Looks like I can just pick them up once they fall to the ground. If they're quiet enough, I can get them without the machines ever knowing I'm here. She can talk about the cold. I should check the wide moss for plants. There we go. That should do it. Better get back to Q with these. I got what you needed. Not a moment too soon. Did you find Voss? I brought his seed pouch back. I pray it'll be the last I bury. But now I need to get the weapons ready. Let's hope it'll be enough. It'll have to be. Everyone, stay behind cover until I give the signal. This 
will be in my stash when I need it. I guess these young ones knew how to aim after all. Even so, we owe you this victory, Huntress. It wasn't my strategy or craft that got us here, Q. I just brought in some parts. Even so, I want you to have this. It did good by my people. It'll do good by you. I'll take good care of it. Be safe out there. First bloom of the winter song. I can feel the heaviness of my years fade away just by looking at them. They're beautiful. It was good to see the young ones fight for this place. I'll be damned if those sprouts didn't hold their own, strong as the roots of a proud tree. Just don't tell them I said that. Your secret's safe. Now, I better make sure our newly victorious warriors don't injure themselves while celebrating.
Taru and Plainsong told me about. Let's see if there's anything useful inside. wouldn't let me through those gates before. Looks like they were overrun by rebels. I should find whoever's in charge and take them out. Might make the rest retreat. Seems no soldiers carry them. Never this many. The rebels must have looted them from soldiers they killed. I'll keep them safe for now. Figure out what to do with them later. Without a leader, the rebels should abandon this place. But I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done here.
Come here! These rebels won't be bothering anyone else. sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. <laughs>
Getting close to Aether's location. I said it would be in some kind of physical processor. An ancient ruin. Turned into a Tanakh stronghold? Could Aether be inside? Poking around's not gonna be easy with Tanakh's warriors everywhere. blow to us at the embassy this much is true. regala's forces may seem strong now but her machines took out my entire squad remember the visions the old ones didn't choose their fight but still they stood firm they didn't falter and neither will we blood of the ten you've come to us you know who I am? Oh, the warrior with hair like wildfire who defeated Regala's champion at Baron Light. <laughs> yes, you are known to us. I am Decca, chaplain of the Lowland clan. You've come to speak with Chief Hikaro. Not quite. There's, there's something I need here. Anything you need, the Chief will provide. Come. Is that one of the visions you were talking about? Yes. The records of the Ten. I can show you them, if you like. On the way to the Chief. These visions... You said they're the records of the Ten. Who are they? Old ones who fought a heroic battle against machines on this very soil long ago. Their deeds are honored in the visions. <laughs> At least what remains of them. To be remembered and exalted. There used to be more of these visions? Many more. Once this place was filled with light and sound, but over the years they've fallen into darkness, one by one. That is why chaplains are so important to the tribe. We remember all we can of the visions, etched in our flesh, passed down by word of mouth from generation to generation. One day the whole grove may go dark, but chaplains who come after me will keep the memories alive. Why does Hikaru want to see me? We are at war with Regala. And you've already shown that you can stand against her. I'm not here to fight a war for you. Not for us. With us. But I won't try to persuade you. That is for the Chief. He can be very convincing. What does it mean to be a chaplain here? We who outlast our youth study the visions and share their wisdom with our young. What kind of wisdom? How to be a true warrior. To fight with bravery and unflinching honor. And to know when to call for peace. You can see for yourself when we go inside. All right. Let's go see Chief Akaro. He's in his throne room, at the far end of the grove. 
Come, be welcome among the records of the Ten. It's glitched. Incomplete. Joint Task Force 10 action. Led by Command. These weapons were only the battle. The 10 were dedicated soldiers, working together as a squad and sharing in their duty. And when the time came for battle, they took to the skies and leaped to glory. All Tanakh seek to follow their example. Before the chief, it was one of the few things the clans had in common. this one about the ten waged war against their enemy in the desert heat a land too harsh for any to survive but against all odds they prevailed so the desert clan does the same you must have passed through their territory on the way here I did they sound a little extreme they take that as a compliment During their war, the Ten climbed sheer rock, braving blinding snow and wind. They stopped at nothing to protect their own. You make them sound invincible. They weren't. But the visions tell us of their courage and strength, something our soldiers aspire to. The Sky Clan admires this one above all the rest. They make their home in the mountains northwest of here. In a jungle. Those were the ten? Yes. They knew how to use the jungle's depths to distract the enemy until the perfect moment to strike. Generations ago, my clan, the Lowland, looked to this one for inspiration as they claimed the jungle to the southwest. You have an old world recording? This box was speaking with voices of the old ones. But now there's noise over them. Let me take a look. Where did you find this? We took it from an Asaram Delver. She was trying to steal it and other artifacts from Tanakh territory. The others were going to bury it in the sand with her. But then I heard the voices. Well, the data here is badly corrupted, but... Delta Juliet 9, you are weapons free and clear to engage the swarm. Good hunting. Copy that. We'll buy Zero Dawn the time you need. Delta Juliet 9, out. The voices of warriors from the past. And that Osiram wanted to sell them for shards. The bravery of the Ten should be remembered. I'm not sure what you mean by the Ten. 
These voices came from the final battle of the Old Ones. Another battle? I could learn more about it if I could find the other boxes. That Delver did say there might be more recordings to be found in the wreckage of ancient flying machines. She claimed she had a way to locate them. Yeah. The box with the voice data on it is emitting a locator signal. I could use it to find the others. If you do then, bring them back here. I will see to it that they're treated with proper respect. Whatever sacrifices were made by these ancient soldiers, we will honor them. Let me know when you have one that you'll part with. Do you get many Osirim Delvers in Tanakh's territory? Fewer every time we catch them, but those thieving rats would do anything for the shards. There'll always be some who will risk coming here. And what do you do with the ones you catch? Delvers spend their lives in the dust. So we bury them in it. Alive. Why do you want these recordings? Every battle teaches its soldiers. We should learn those lessons, and honor those who fell. That is our way. If I find more of those recordings, I'll bring them back to you. My focus can detect beacons from those recording devices. Should help me to find any others that are still out there. The chief is inside. Are you ready to see him? I want to look around more first. As you will. The chief waits beyond. Ready? I'm ready. Good. Come. underneath the throne. I will see you soon, Outlander. The savior of Meridian. I am told you held back Regala's forces outside Baron Light. And defeated her champion, Grutta, in single combat. Impressive. I met Fashav there, too. He said you were a great warrior. And a man of honor. His death is a painful loss among many. We will not soon recover from the massacre of our marshals. But if you are here to pledge your service, that could help considerably. I am not here to fight for you. I need something in that basement. Something that will save many lives, yours included. It's not something you can see, but it is there. I have seen it. You have named your price. Now I name mine. With my marshals dead, I need your spear. Help me defeat my enemies and I will grant you access to the chamber below. I don't have a price. I am not a hired killer. I'm here to save lives, more than you can count. I count the corpses of Marshal slain. I count hundreds more to knock, whose lives hang in the balance. I will fight for them. I will kill anyone who threatens the peace, and you will too if you want me to open the door to the chamber below. Okay. 
So by that logic, what's stopping me from killing you right now? And taking what I need to save everyone? You could try. You might even succeed. Either way, you must fight. My way might hold off Regala and the slaughter she craves. Fine. What do you need? I need more marshals to keep the tribe together. Such warriors can only be promoted at a trial by combat called the Cool Root. I've sent out a call for the competition, but since Regala seeks to undermine me, she is certain to attack it. She'll want to kill me in front of the assembled clans. So what, you want me to be your bodyguard? No. To defend the Cool Root. But there is more. Knowing Regala will attack, one of the clans have balked at sending their contestants. You must go north and force Tecote, the commander of the Sky Clan, to submit and send his best. Force him to submit? Do whatever is necessary. I can't hold a cool route with two of the three clans in attendance. Marshal Katala will assist you. He was maimed at Baron Light, but he can still be of use. I sent him ahead to the northern village of Stone Crest. Meet him there, and he will guide you to the Sky Clan stronghold. If you have any questions about your mission, now is the time. Fashav called Regala your greatest mistake. Why? That is not your concern. Really? I fought against her forces at Baron Light, and I don't even know what her problem is. She was the deadliest of my marshals, the point of my spear. So what happened? Above all, Regala despises the Karja who burned her younger brothers alive. After we turned back the Red Raids and tore down the battlements of Baron Light, she hoped to chase them all the way to Meridian. She could not see the cost of such a war, nor the benefits of peace after the Mad Sun King fell. When I accepted Avad's entreaties, she went mad, called me traitor, challenged me before the marshals. I'm sorry about Fashav. He seemed like a good man. More than a man. A bridge between Tanakh and Karja. No outlander ever earned our respect as he did. I had hoped he would be my voice in Meridian. That peace with the Karja might become something more. An alliance? An exchange. The Karja have much we lack. Our deeds are written in ink upon our bodies. Our memories die with our flesh. But the Karja never forget. Their deeds are written in book and scroll. You wanted to learn from them? As I learned from Fashav, he will be missed. What exactly is the Cool Root? Where once the clans fought each other, now we fight as one against the machines. That is my law made manifest in the Cool Root. Each clan must send contestants whenever I call for the ritual. These contestants face trial by combat against machines in an arena just beyond these walls. Those who distinguish themselves become marshals who bind the tribe together as peacekeepers. Why won't the Sky Clan send contestants to the Cool Root? Of the three clans, they have the most defensible base, protected by a mighty wall called the Bulwark. Their commander believes he can wait out the war between Regala's forces and my own, safe behind his barrier. Staying strong while you and Regala weaken each other. You think like a seasoned marshal. Good. You said you saw what's in the basement? I did. On the day of my greatest victory. What do you mean? For a dozen generations, the three clans battled for control of this hallowed ground. Only I achieved it. I fought for years, killed whoever stood in my way. 
when I had finally slain all rivals, I stood alone in the grove. Victory was mine to savor, or so I thought. Thunder roared from the east, and a bolt of blue struck this place. That chamber. Gaia dies, and Aether arrives. All around me, the visions of the grove grew louder and brighter, and suddenly a new one appeared before me. The old one spoke, and what they said changed everything. I'll do what you want, and go north to deal with Dakota. But you'd better not forget about our deal. You will have what was promised, if you succeed. Speak to Decca on your way out. She will arm you for the road ahead. Start for the stash. Hikaro said you have something for me? A weapon to aid your mission. You'll need it for the long road to Stonecrest. Many machines prowl along the way, and our scouts have sighted Regala's rebels in the area. Machines and rebels. Nothing I haven't faced before. Indeed. Head north towards the foothills. Ascend its slopes until your legs burn and the chill air catches in your chest. Then you'll know you're in the Sky Clan's domain. Strike true as the ten, Aloy.
specialize in your... If you needed confidence, that will give it to you. Images of the old world. Looks like a plane and some kind of metal structure. The image is incomplete. But maybe if I line it up exactly with where it was taken, my focus can fill in the rest. My focus lost the Vista Point image. I must have moved too far. Please! Stranger! Trouble. Help me kill this thing! Die 
Gotta help my friend. Wait. Slow down and explain. Patea and I were heading south with supplies from Saltbite when machines attacked. I left her behind so I could get help from the Grove and ran straight into another machine. Thank the Ten you were here to help. So your friend is still up the road, fighting machines? That's what I'm trying to tell you! I'll bail her out if I can. You go on and get those reinforcements. Will do. I'm in your debt. Knox should be somewhere up the road. The supply sled. Minus the supplies. And the Tanox soldier. It looks like the Tanox tried to salvage some supplies after getting attacked. Then dropped them? A running battle? Maybe they can lead me to the other soldier. There. Tracks from the missing Tanakh.
to take that thing down! Spot it. Gotta move. shown up, I would have been machine grist. All I did was give your friend here a little time to come to the rescue. Ah, you're full of it. I barely escaped with my life on the road. That, I believe. I, uh, hope some of your supplies are still usable. Me too. Food's always scarce. The soldiers at the Grove need the rations. No way we can trek back north to Saltbite to get more. I'll get this one back on her feet and we'll scrape what's left of our haul of the dirt. Mmm, you're making me hungry. Thanks, Outlander. We won't forget what you did. Stay safe, both of you. Cold. We're getting close to stone crust. Outlander, will you trade with the cold? I can get it for my stash later.
Not one more step. The Tanakh don't suffer outlanders in the clan lands. I was given right of passage by Marshal Fashav. I'm not here to fight. They're like blood. This is the warrior who defeated Gruda, champion of the traitor Regala. Her life is not ours to take. You may enter, but mind our ways. You will be watched. I'll keep that in mind. This must be Stonecrest. Katala should be waiting for me. But maybe I should look around first. Return to me another time. Next time, right? Where's Catalo? Is that the champion from the East I see? Come and trade. Then I've something to share. Act as a Tanakh in these lands. What you've done for my people is known throughout the clan lands, Easter. I'd like to help you if I can, lending you my eyes and ears. Nothing happens in this area without me knowing about it. In fact, I should tell you. If you're looking for some solid rations to sustain you out in the wilds, you should go to Saltbite. It's a desert settlement east of here. Big lake. Can't miss it. The cook there, Pentala, will whip up a meal for anyone who needs it, Tanakh or not. Thanks for letting me know. I'll pay her a visit if I'm out that way. Greetings, champion. Well, it's a good thing I have a little something called... This writing... It's Karja. I think it was left behind by Marshal Fashav. This valley is infested with Regalus rebels. The scouts from the village tell us that they've been moving machines through here for days. Some they ride, others they herd along, and some they even strip for parts. Especially cannons. The path ahead will not be easy. And we should get going. My orders are to guide you to the bulwark so that you can speak to Dakota. For all the good it'll do. Not so fast. I'm gonna need a little more than that. What is this place? Stonecrest was built as an outpost, back when the clans were still at war. Its purpose was to guard the entrance to the valley, as well as keep watch on what happens below. And for now, that means keeping watch on Regala's forces. I wish we had enough soldiers to do more than just... look on. For all the good it'll do? What's that supposed to mean? The bulwark has stood unyielding since the birth of our clan. Behind it, Tecote believes himself to be invulnerable. If he insists on defying Akaro's orders... An outlander? And a maimed marshal? I'm gonna change his mind. Your chief seems to think differently. And that is the only reason I am still standing here... ...talking to you. Why do you think Regala's forces are driving machines through the valley? We've heard similar reports from across the clan lands. The rebels are gathering machines from the wilds. 
But whatever control they have over them doesn't seem to last. So they herd them into camps. Something else happens there. Something... Something that makes their control permanent. An override with two phases. I... Don't know about that. But it gets worse. We've heard rumors that the Rebels are scouting larger machines. I don't know what kind. Let's hope they don't learn how to override them, too. Hmm. What makes you so sure Takote won't listen to us? A snake safe in its lair hears nothing but its own rattle. Come on, is that all you've got for me? Hikaru said you were from the Sky Clan before becoming a Marshal. I need to know what you know. Takote is a petty, vindictive schemer. If he had any guts, he would have gone after Hikaru long ago. But instead, he covets the chiefdom from behind the bulwark. Biding his time, hoping that his foes will weaken one another. Is that enough for you? For now? What makes the bulwark so impenetrable? It's made of massive boulders, impervious to any frontal assault. No army or machine has ever penetrated it. I am the only thing that can get you inside. If we're done talking, that is. You were at the embassy. I was. I'm sorry about the other marshals. And their deaths will not go unpunished. <clears throat> You're still healing. I will never heal. But that won't stop me from cracking any skulls that need it. Good thing you're on my side, then. Hmm. So, what's the plan? The bulwark is to the southwest. So undoubtedly we'll have to cross paths with Rogala's troops along the way. We'll either have to fight our way through, or find a way to sneak past unnoticed. Neither will be easy. Never is. Hmm. <laughs> Let's get this over with. Good thing I have a little something called strategy. On me. Travel safely, sir. How would you convince Dakota to send his challengers? I wouldn't. <sighs> Come on. Mark the respect of Blade, and the strength of the fighter who wields it. How good is anyone who lacks that? Well, lucky for us, we're both good fighters, but let's hope it won't come to that. Hmm. So this whole valley is the Sky Clan's territory? Yes. The clan has defended it for generations. <laughs> Against who? The other Tanakh clans. Even the Karja, long ago. If you want a history lesson, what? talk to the chaplains. When you left the Grove, how did you know I'd agree to help Hikaru? When the Chief wants to persuade someone, he succeeds. Oh, <laughs> 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 
Those rebels were gathering machine parts, maybe to make more overrides. And Takote won't do anything? Why would he, when he has the bulwark? I grew up behind the wall. It's easy to have a full sense of safety there. More rebels in the clearing. The stiff and cold. Take the lead. How's it going? in my stash later. Back at Stonecrest, you said the rebels have been moving through here for days. By the time Takote realizes he's outmatched, this entire valley might be overrun. If not for the sake of the rest of the plan, I would have opened that day. To see his pride ruined. Okay, well... Maybe we can change his mind. Here it is. The bulwark. Let me know when you are ready, and I will announce us. A marshal requests an audience with your clan commander. I didn't know there were any marshals left. We defend the path to the mountain, where the wings of the ten shall find us. All right, marshal. I'll send the lift for you. When we 
you meet with Takote. I'll do the talking. We'll see how it goes. Again. So this was home. A long time ago. Come on. Mid Arter soldier. He's not made a straw. Is that to Tallo? What's he do? The last march. A spectacle. Reminds me of where I grew up. I never decided which was worse. When they shunned me, or when they stopped and stared. Right now, I prefer shunned. We're here for Takote. Let us in. Sky Clan's mighty son returns. Bless the Ten. Your chief has demanded an immediate dispatch of all challengers to the Cool Root. We're here to make sure yours haven't gotten lost on their way to the Grove. I see. Regala must have dealt our chief a mighty blow. If he's sending you two as messengers. This one defeated Regala's champion, Grutta, at the embassy. She fought honorably. I had the sense to bar our soldiers from that embassy. Just as I have the sense now, to keep our challengers here. If they must fight, then they will fight here. Defending our walls. Our clan. That wall won't protect you. Not from the machines Regala controls. They're already at your doorstep. <laughs> and what do you know of the battles that the Bulwark has withstood? The blood shed upon stone. I know it wasn't meant to be used as a coward's shield. You were a great warrior once. But that was then. You tell Hakaro, with all due respect, that we will keep our challengers here. For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark. I told you, words are useless with his kind. We're gonna have to kill him. It won't be easy with all his men above. Are you even listening? For as long as we are safe behind the bulwark, he said. Wait here. I need to get a closer look at that wall. What? Why? might not be as strong as Dakota thinks it is. I need to get down to the base of it and check it out. Yeah, your enemy's fault. Stay focused. 
focus. Follow through. Hum. I'll stash this away for later. already, Outlander. Oh, just you wait. I need to get a little distance from the wall in order to scan it properly. Okay, time to scan the wall. That's what I thought. There's something metal in there. Oh, that rock is interfering with the scan. I need to get closer. But how? I might be able to climb up on the left side of the wall. Near that waterfall. The world always seems quieter when it snows. Scan that tank again. Power core. I bet if I blew it up. But how? Well, can't do anything else here. Better go find Catalo. said you've been scurrying around the wall like a rat. What in the name of the ten have you been up to? Takote said he wouldn't send his challengers as long as they're safe behind the bulwark. Right? Oh, don't remind me. So? We take it down. Did you hit your head on the way down here? I'm serious. There's something from the old world stuck in there, and it has a power cell. I could blow it up if I just penetrate the first layer of rock and Even metal. if what you're saying is true, it would take a cannon to do that. You're right. And you said the rebels were stripping them off machines back in the valley. Come on. No. I'm not getting dragged further into this madness. Hikaru ordered you to help me. You gonna defy him like that arrogant shit up there? Unkind comparison. The rebels might have made camp northeast of here. <laughs> and then what? The two of us go up against all of them? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, you may lack sense. You don't like food. So, um, back there with Dakota, it seemed like there's bad blood between you two. There is. If we make it through this plan of yours, perhaps I'll tell you. I'll hold you to that. 
We're getting close to where we saw the rebels before. Well, it looks like the rebels just got a lot more firepower. Ready? Move out! Handle the big guy. You focus on the others. I'll follow you in. Maybe I should see if there's anything I can use to take that thing down. My focus can help. Load up, squad! Soon we march! The Sky Clan will fall! That foliage is moving strange. How do you like me now? We should go and check. So, about that cannon? Looking forward to hauling this all the way to the bulwark. Hmm. Here. I may be maimed, but I've still got a strong back. After you. Hey. You fought well back there. I did not think we'd survive. Killing the rebels and the machine. It was good. To take the fight to them for once. You really think this thing will do the job? Soon enough. Here it is. But you don't just need a cannon. You need a miracle. Coming right up? Well, go on. Okay. Gotta blast away some rocks. 
Something that's working! This isn't gonna work. Well, isn't this impressive? Two children playing siege. I hope they haven't hurt the Bulwark's feelings. Come now, stop embarrassing yourselves. And leave this poor mountain alone! This is your last chance, Takote! You can still answer Hikaru's call! This is your last chance! You have it backwards! Leave this place, Savage, now! And take this cripple with you! Done. Can't hide behind the wall anymore, Takote. Now you have to join Hikaro. Never. Never. We will. We will rebuild it immediately. You are not safe. The bulwark couldn't protect you from a single cannon, let alone an army of machines. The only pathway to safety is to unite against Regala with your chief. You decreed that no challengers would be sent, while the clan remained safe behind the bulwark. So send them now. Unless your word means nothing. Send them. I didn't hear you. Send the challengers. I look forward to seeing the Sky Clan's colors in the arena. Nicely done, Marshal. What's gonna happen to this place? They'll have to live without their wall. But that's better than living apart from the tribe, as pawns in Takote's foolish schemes. If you want to check up on them, talk to Jera, the chaplain of the clan. If anyone needs help up there, she'll know. Yeah. Maybe I will. I'll take my leave then. I need to report to Hikaru. I'll see you at the Culret. Good. We may need another miracle there as well. Maybe I should go up there, see if everyone's all right, and find this chaplain, Garab. Might also be a good idea to resupply before I head back out. She's with us. Let her pass. Outlander, Chief Akaro and Marshal Katalo await you within. The cool route should be starting soon. Once it's done, I'll be able to access the chamber below Hikaro's throne. And ether. Outlander, <clears throat> the Chief awaits you in the arena, past the throne. must lead to the arena. <gasps> it's 
another part of the ruins. Turned into a fighting ring. Faith and strength. Look at them all. They know what battle is coming. Regardless of the I hope you run right, Sergeant. This could be useful. Aloy. It seems you've had to move mountains to bring the Sky Clan to heal. Literally. Catalo helped. Yes. Takote reprimanded for all the clan to see. You both served well. But now the cool route is at hand. Some have come to compete, others to bear witness. They know Regala will come for me. I'll do whatever it takes to hold up my end, as long as you remember yours. So what's the plan? Catalo. There are only two viable ways to attack the arena. Through the throne room you just passed, and by the trail on the north end. We've set up barricades at both. But if Regala means to assault the cool route with machines, she will have to attack by the trail. You will join our defenders there. Hold the line, and I'll have my marshals. You will be free of my service and receive your reward. Make whatever preparations you must. Once the cool route begins, you must see it through. The grove, the arena, it's all part of the same ancient structure? Yes. Here the land remembers the sacrifice of the Ten. Their deeds commemorated for eternity. Sacrifice? The visions tell us that on the ground below, they gave their lives in a fight against machines. We honored them by holding the cool route where they fell. You called them peacekeepers, but the marshals I met at the embassy were warriors. Warriors, yes, but more. They renounced the clan that birthed them and pledged themselves to order and peace. They enforced my law. They settle disputes and stand for Tanakh in parlay with other tribes. Without them, I cannot rule. I know where I'll be. What about you two? I will be here with the Chief, where I belong. Should the fight reach us, we will take the blood owed for our fallen. If it comes to that, the defenses will hold. Let's get this over with. Good. You'll find Decca at the North Barricade with the rest of our defenders. Strike true as the Ten. I'll see you when this is done. We'll assist Marshal Catalo with guarding the Chief. Walk in the light this of the will vision. Be a real show Let the blade. Right Please stand tall after not. this. Got... You stand alongside of here. It's your hand that made this happen, Outlander. The title Marshal must that. be earned with courage. There's the Cote. This of course. Look, comrade, Easterner. Didn't think the Sky Commander himself would be joining us today. If there's a chance my challengers will be facing Regala, it is only right their commander join in their fate. Or maybe you need to save face after what happened at the Bulwark. Careful now. Sometimes sharp wits bring out sharp spears. I'd save my spear for Regala's troops, if I were you. Okay. Hikaru's defenders should be at the end of this trench. But we must hold. And look. We are not alone in this fight.
Focus on the machines. Take them down, and Regala's forces become no different from our own. Yes, Chaplain. Watch each other's backs. Dismissed. Our soldiers are ready. They will defend the cool route from below. But from above... Not bad. Where did you get it? One of our squads ripped it off a fallen machine. The honor is yours. Regala may have her tricks, but you will show her our teeth. The cool root is upon us! Our struggle demands new blood! New leaders! Release the quarry! Challengers! Approach! All who take down a machine shall be named Marshal. Remember the Ten. Strike from the air as they did and seize your glory.
say that the Nazis can be some shots from that ballista. But my stash has room. Champion! Get oh, to the to the chief! isn't finished I'll be back with everything I have and all who stand with Hakaro will be run red at attention you fought well proved yourself against enemies both metal and flesh I name you all, Marshal. Your first order is to secure the arena from any remaining rebels. Go. I failed. I should have finished Regala. But now she'll be back with more machines. Stronger than ever. I'll do what I can to help. No, you've done enough. Far more than our bargain called for. 
When we first met, you spoke of your true mission on which all depends. I wasn't certain if I believed you then, but I believe in you now. So leave me and get to your task. What will you do? Tend to the wounds. What you need is there, take it. Your deeds today will be remembered like those of the 10. Thought. There, that console. Come on, Aether. Time to go home. Yes. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Aether subordinate console to original code. Get this back to Gaia. The visions in the grove have changed. The words of the Ten are now clear to us. Here, this must be the vision that Chief Apollo saw years ago. All of the visions are changing. The visions throughout the grove are different now. And this one, it, it just appeared. Is this your doing? The visions have changed. That's the one that inspired Chief Hakaro. More testimony of the old ones. Hear now the words that reunited a people. Following the tragic events of the war, Anne Faraday, the chief architect of the reconciliation effort, addressed a nation in need of hope. If we look into the future, the lens of the recent past, our fears loom. Wars waged against machines, scarcity of food and water, Storms that drive us from our homes. But true courage means facing those fears with conviction instead of cynicism. Leading the peacekeeping effort with these brave men and women, these marshals of the new Southwest has strengthened my conviction. That when we are united, we can overcome any threat. Join me. Join us in that conviction. As we strive for a nation and a world without want or war. Reporting for duty, Commander. I'm coming with you. But Hikaru needs you. Because of you, he has new marshals. And a rallying cry the clans cannot ignore. So I will stand with you on your mission. Give whatever is left of my life. 
It is what I choose. How can I say no to that? Zoe. There's someone who wants to join us. I need you to meet him in the foothills and guide him the rest of the way. Will do, Aloy. Go to the mountains, west of Plainsong. A friend of mine will meet you on the ascent. I'll join you when I can. A friend of yours? Should be interesting. All right. I need to get Aether back to Gaia. Seems like capturing it did something to the other holograms, too. Might be worth checking out. Final battle for Gala is not. If wants a fight, she'll. Get one well, here. If you're ever in need of a spark, Regala will fall. Blood of the Ten, Aloy. Regala denied. The truth of the visions revealed. I doubt you have enough skin to mark all your deeds. We'll just have to remember them then. <laughs> well, thanks to you, the Chief still lives. And hope remains. But that's not why I wanted to speak with you. I need a favor. A personal one. My grandson, Kavl. He was not counted among the dead, which means he must still be with Regala's remaining forces. He was taken prisoner? No. He joined them willingly. Like many young soldiers who seek to mark their skin with distinguished deeds. I must search for him. Convince him to come home. Chief Hikaru cannot spare any soldiers for this task, so my blade is alone in this. Unless you'd be willing to join me. I know it is much to ask after all you've done for us. But Kavo is the last of my blood. What made Kavo join Regala's rebellion? For some, Regala represents a chance of vengeance against the Karja. During the Red Raids, it wasn't easy to turn the clans back at Baron Light. Many wanted to pursue the Karja all the way to Meridian. So when Regala attacked the Embassy, they took it as a call to arms. Yes. But others, the young especially, <laughs> care only about the glory they think they'll earn by hunting an age-old enemy. As for Kavo, it was probably a bit of both. And a youthful desire for a cause to get the blood burning. Nothing I said could stop him. So if Cabo didn't listen to you when he joined the Rebels, what makes you think he will now? Cabo was too young to fight during the Red Raids. War was a stranger to him. But he must have experienced the suffering it brings by now. He will listen. He must. I just have to find him before it's too late. You said Cabo is your last living relative? Yes. Before Chief Ikaro, the clans warred constantly with each other. Every skirmish claimed another comrade. One by one, I buried my children. And then, their children. I'm sorry. I tried to vent my grief on the battlefield, but I never found comfort there. Only in the wisdom of the visions. And even so, I still couldn't prevent Cavo from following the trail of blood. If Kavo joined Regala's rebellion of his own accord, will Hikaru let him back into the tribe? The chief knows the value of mercy, and the toll of unending bloodshed. It's the rest of the tribe I'm more concerned about. They won't quickly accept someone who betrayed them. Even with my support, it won't be easy. But you have to try. I'll help you find your grandson, if I can. Where do we start? 
A while back, our scouts reported Cavo's squad left one of Regala's outposts in the hills to the south. His squad never returned, but the scouts also spotted one of our own being held captive there. So we'll start at the outpost. If we free the prisoner, maybe they'll know where Cavo's squad went. Shall we head out? I have some other things to take care of first. I can meet you there. I'll wait for you on the hill crest southeast of the grove. We'll make our way to the outpost from there. Until then, strike true. I was stuck on guard duty. That's rough. That fight was a sight to ball. Lady be bright. The tribe is... Champion, I fear we must lean on your strength and generosity again. Just tell it to her straight, Dukkha. The tribe needs the arena. She's our only hope to getting it open again. You need the arena? But the cool route's over. That's true, but we also use the arena to boost the tribe's morale. We use it for training. Herd in machines so our soldiers can experience the glory of the kill in a controlled setting. Which, of course, boosts morale. But Chief Hikaro won't let us reopen the arena until the ballista protecting the field is repaired. We need it in case a machine runs amok, and it was damaged during the cool route. The parts we need aren't easy to find. I get it. You need me to hunt down some machines and grab the parts. We'd ask someone else, but every squad in the grove is on alert. But the task is not without compensation, right, Kala? Of course. Once the arena is open again, I would be honored to invite you to compete. A wide variety of machines will be available. And I will award you prizes for victory. Not just from the arena, but also for medals won at hunting grounds. You'll be able to trade them for some of the tribe's very best gear. To fix the ballista, we'll need a sinew from a roller bag, along with some bristleback tusks. Both kinds of machines have been spotted near a campfire to the southeast. When you're done, bring the parts to me at the maw of the arena, on the northeast side of the grove. Okay, I'll see what I can do. One more thing. If you're going back into the wilds, I have another duty tied to our soldiers' morale. A regrettable one. Every Tanakh soldier carries a tag carved with their squad symbol. Rebels have been hoarding the tags of the soldiers they kill. You might find such tags at any enemy outpost. If you do, bring them to me. I'll make sure they're returned to the soldier squad mates and loved ones. Having confirmation sometimes soothes their grief. And there are bounties involved, if that matters to you. I've already found some of those tags. I don't have anything to pay you with here. Bring them to me at the Maw of the Arena when you can. Thank you, Champion. And please don't forget the parts for the Ballista. At the Maw of the Arena, I can offer you bounties for the return of fallen soldiers. Take a look at you, stranger. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good chance. They definitely don't sound like rebels. Maybe if I follow their tracks, I can find out where they're headed. I can probably use my focus to follow the tracks those riders left behind. Outlander, face me! Thank you. 
like this? Oh, uh, you're not waving a hammer around, Erend. Try a gentler touch. And my big sausage fingers don't really do gentle, okay? Bring it back. Trace the line. To your right. Other right. I just saw it. It's the one Aloy found up north. Gotcha! They call it a, a concussion beat party or something. Yeah, now that's music. Aloy! Aaron, you're all better. And you're here. Varl said you might need some help after all, doing uh, complicated things. We still have much training to do, of course. One does not become hunter in a day. Each seed grows at a pace of its own. Doesn't mean it won't bloom. You should know your Tanakh friend arrived. Katalo. I heard their warriors drink people's blood. I want to sleep with one eye open. I think he's seen enough blood for a lifetime. I showed him to one of the rooms. He seems to appreciate the privacy. Uh, looks like you've got things under control. I should get this to Gaia. Right. We'll keep on training. Catch up as fast as we can. I see glyphs in my dreams already. Well, while you've been off gallivanting around, I've been working with Gaia to find out more about the land gods. So from where I'm standing, you're in need of some training. Come along. Uh... Oh, uh... Okay. Please merge Ether with me. Afterwards, I must discuss an important matter with you. So, what did you want to discuss? While you were away, I received an unusual transmission on my dedicated Aluthia frequency. Aluthia. That's one of the sub-functions you couldn't detect before. Yes. The transmission occurred so slowly that at first it seemed like an accidental blip of data amongst background static. Once I noticed this irregularity, it took some time to collate the complete message. Where does it lead? To a mountain to the northwest of this facility. A word of caution, Aloy. It is possible this transmission is genuine. It is also possible it is being broadcast by someone, or something else. You don't think it's actually Aluthia? I am uncertain. What's SOS? It is an old world code. A distress signal. A desperate plea for help. Why would Aluthia send a coded transmission on a frequency only the two of you can communicate on? I believe it was done as a precaution to avoid detection. Or at least to create the appearance of the desire to do so. I am also uncertain why Eleuthia would expect that I would be able to detect and respond to its distress signal at all. As far as it is aware, I no longer function. Okay, so... Either Eleuthia is in trouble, and sent the message hoping you were out there... ...or someone else is trying to get us to go to these coordinates, pretending to be Eleuthia. That is my conclusion as well. Could the Zeniths be sending the transmission? According to the data I reviewed on your focus... The Zeniths recovered the other Gaia root kernel in the Hades Proving Lab. 
It is feasible they used it to gain access to my internal frequencies. So... Maybe they sent it thinking you'd respond, and reveal your location. Possibly. However, the transmission is highly irregular. If they intended to provoke me into revealing myself, I would expect the communication to be more routine. Right. So maybe it's not them, then. You said the coordinates lead to a mountain to the northwest. What's there? I have no record of anything of note in that vicinity. Okay, and what about the other number in the message? 237. Any idea what that means? I have queried my available databases, but it does not appear to have any significance. Perhaps its meaning can only be understood at the indicated coordinates. All right. I'll go to the coordinates and check out the source of the transmission. All by yourself? Ha! No way. I included Erend and Varl in this briefing via their focuses. I concur that you should not investigate this alone. What if it's a trap? Hmm? Of course it could be a trap. But if it really is Eleuthia, then it's in trouble, and I need to bring it back. Don't worry. I'll be careful and... We're coming with you. Fine. Go grab your things. We'll wait for you at the west exit, in case you need to upgrade your gear. Gaia, what is this? It is a control console for a drone-based imaging system connected to this dome. I will transmit the relevant data to your focus. Huh. So this Cyclops is a network of drones to monitor the deteriorating biosphere conditions. I guess it was meant to display on the dome, but the drones aren't connected anymore. If I find the drones out in the wilds, I could get the data from them, use it to reconnect them, and restore the display. Aloy. That was sneaky of you, patching in Varl and Aaron to our conversation. I am pleased you accepted their help. Is there something you wish to discuss before you depart? The missing subordinate functions. What can you tell me about them? Artemis rewilded the Earth with a variety of animal species. Eleuthia was responsible for gestating, nurturing, and acculturing a new generation of human beings. Apollo was tasked with preserving, organizing, and disseminating vast archives of human knowledge and cultural achievements. Unfortunately, all archived Apollo data was purged on the 2nd of February, 2066, by order of Ted Farrow. Farrow, huh? I really hate that guy. Understandable. He appears to have been pathologically narcissistic, impulsive, and unstable. All three of the missing functions have already served their purpose, or were prevented from doing so. Do you still need them? If attainable, yes. Restoring their remaining elements would increase my heuristic processing density. Perhaps you will be able to procure Eleuthia at the SOS coordinates. Artemis and Apollo, however, remain unaccounted for. What can you tell me about Demeter? Demeter sows, fertilizes, and tends to plant life. 
so once I bring it back, all the blight out there will start to get better. While permanent restoration requires the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to improve conditions in the region for a while. However, a word of warning. Like Aether and Poseidon, Demeter's response to my query was highly irregular. Alone and frightened, it may have taken measures to assure its security. Okay, I'll keep my guard up. So, Poseidon, what do we know about it? Poseidon controls the organic and chemical composition of water resources. Once it is restored to me, I may be able to improve conditions in the regional watershed. But I must warn you, like the others, Poseidon is lost and frightened. It may have taken measures to protect itself. I'll be careful. You mentioned that the superstorms have subsided. Is that ether at work? Yes. Thanks to Ether's capabilities, weather patterns in the local region should mostly stabilize for the time being. Well, that's a relief. Be nice not to have to fight my way through a storm anymore. I will continue to stabilize the atmosphere for as long as I can. Why did Aether take up residence in an ancient war museum? As with the other subordinate functions, Aether needed to install itself on a processor with adequate storage and power. One in the museum appears to have been sufficient, given that the holographic displays were still active. So Aether was assured it could stay for as long as it needed to? Correct. Though it is curious that it chose a place surrounded with the ancient ruins of aircraft. Maybe it also felt at home there. How's Catalo doing? I detect that the loss of his arm still deeply pains him, though he has not voiced his thoughts. I may be able to assist in his recovery. Should he be interested? Really? I'm sure he will be. How are things around here? Zoe has been studying the morphology of her land gods in an effort to understand their sickness. Without the abilities of Hephaestus, I am unfortunately unable to correct their programming. However, Zoe and I are hopeful we will find an alternative way to heal them. Well, keep at it. Varl and Zoe seem to like spending time together. Indeed. While studying Old World data, Zoe discovered references to a dietary lifestyle known as vegetarianism. She appreciated the similarities with Utaru practices and encouraged Varl to try out this lifestyle. And how did that go? I believe they have agreed to disagree. How's Erend handling things? He is becoming increasingly accustomed to use of the focus. After an initial incident. What did he do? He unfortunately crushed his first focus as he attempted to affix it to his temple. Amongst a number of Osaram curses, I believe he also blamed the focus for being... dainty. He has given repeated assurances that it will not happen again. Well, good thing we have a lot of extras, I guess. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend. 
Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. The only one who could. Thanks, Gaia. So, Project Zero Dawn. The greatest minds in the world. All working to build the terraforming system while the Pharaoh Plague devoured the planet. What was it like? Personnel worked in rotations at all hours of the day. Resources and technology were secured from across the world. Within a month of the project's conception, I was launched and began my education. Elizabeth encouraged me to spend time with the rest of the Zero Dawn staff. She said it was important to experience many personalities and perspectives to aid in my emotional development. What were they like? Scared. Hopeful. Determined. They were hurtling toward technological achievements on a scale never before attempted. I owe everything to their dedication. So the Hades Proving Lab, where I found the Gaia Colonel, it used to be a Pharaoh research facility? Yes. Prior to appropriation by Zero Dawn, the facility was used to engineer and test advanced computer viruses. It appears to have been one of many research initiatives by Pharaoh Automated Solutions. I guess it wasn't enough to build automated killing machines. He wanted viruses to infect them with too. So, a while back, before the battle at Meridian, I went into Banuk territory. I discovered another AI there, one not related to Zero Dawn. Cyan. It was created to oversee operations for a volcanic stabilization project, and it spent the last thousand years in isolation. I'm guessing you didn't know about it? No. From the data on your focus, it seems that Cyan was cut off from the outside world, an effort by its creators to protect it from the Pharaoh Plague. Any chance it could help us now? I have already attempted contact, with no success. Given its previous experience with accepting an outside network request, I imagine it is unwilling to do so again. Right, because last time Hephaestus enslaved it. Well... That's too bad. I think the two of you would have had a lot to talk about. The processor Ether was installed on was part of an ancient war museum. A memorial to something called the Hot Zone Crisis. Do you know anything about it? My knowledge of historical events was unfortunately lost with the Apollo database. However... Climate data indicates a peak in regional temperatures in the 2030s. Such conditions would see extreme prolonged droughts, an increase in dust storms, and a loss of habitable landmass. But they wouldn't have built a museum in the middle of a wasteland. So I guess things got better eventually. Yes. Data suggests that temperatures return to average levels in the clawback era of the 2040s. There was an ancient tank embedded in the bulwark, buried under a bunch of boulders. Any idea how it got there? During the Pharaoh Plague, the US military resumed the use of human combatants, as automated machinery was unreliable. It is possible the vehicle was part of a pre-automated war fleet. So they fought against the Pharaoh machines in the valley, until the mountain was blasted apart and buried them. So this facility, the Regional Control Center, it was meant to oversee the terraforming system? For the local region? Yes. Had humans received their education from the Apollo database, 
they would have then been guided here to assume operation. As that never happened, this place remained vacant. Until Minerva decided to settle here. So I guess this room was meant to keep an eye on conditions outside? Yes. From here, the facility's operators would have been able to observe weather and machine activity in real time. That would have been quite a sight. It may still be possible to view some of them, should you find and reconnect the cameras to this room's console. I'll keep a lookout. I'll be off. Farewell, for now. to know. I'll check oh, that Aloy. out again. Your Karja friend Gotta go after Aluthia. She went to that Osiron camp and Borrow are waiting for me at the, the west southwest. Exit. Huh. Looks like someone's rearranged stuff in here. Aloy, I see you found your room. Your companions thought you would appreciate a private space of your own. I was thoughtful of them. This is the rite of passage that Vashav gave me at the embassy. I liked him. He seemed like a good man. I think he was really looking forward to going home. My old spear. Rust helped me make it. When I finished my training. It feels like so long ago now. When Varl found me after the Hades proving lab. Rost. I don't think he'd understand any of this. Or what I have to do. But still. I wish he was here. When I met Hikaru, I figured he was just another bloodthirsty warlord. But Vashav was right. Hikaru wants peace. It won't be easy. But with his new marshals, maybe his vision has a chance. I've been carrying Elizabeth's pendant with me for months. But since we're gonna stay a while, I think I'll keep it here, where it'll be safe. Elizabeth put all of her faith in Gaia. And Gaia put all of her faith in me. If I can do it all, Cover the subfunctions, defeat Farzineth, heal the world. I'd like to think Elizabeth would be proud.
Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. Gaia? What was this room for? This was intended to be a recreational room for control center operatives. Unfortunately, the entertainment modules were lost with the Apollo database. Oh, that's too bad. Farrell looks happy about his training partner. Learning is best done together. Have you gone back to Plainsong at all? I thought about it, but I wouldn't know what to tell them. The chorus already thinks me a thorn in the thicket. If they knew what we did to Fa, even if they understood, there'd be little they could grasp about all this. No. For now, I must leave the tribe behind. What are you up to? Gaia was kind enough to put together a list of glyphs used by the old ones. She helped me decipher some of the data you've collected and showed me how to use the focus to help the process. It's not easy, but it's been working so far. That's good to hear. I see you've settled in. Gaia did say this place was built for us. So we could regain control of our lands with her... terraforming system. Nurture them like the land gods do Plainsong's fields. It does strike me as odd that a place of life should have so much... metal. Did Gaia tell you anything about Zenus? She did. Though it wasn't exactly easy to believe. To think that there are places among the stars where life can bloom as it does here. It is... humbling, to say the least. And heartbreaking, that such life should be bent on destroying ours. Sounds like you met my friend Talana. Yes. The Karja Huntress. I haven't seen armor like hers since the Red Raids. But Varl tells me that she, too, suffered at the hands of the Mad Sun King. Yeah. She's one of the good ones. Trust me. You've spoken with Katalo? A few words. Tanakh don't have much use for us outsiders. You must have made quite the impression for him to offer his fealty. So you've been talking to Gaia? Yes. She was kind enough to take me through some of the history of the Old Ones, including their demise and the heroic actions of her creator, Elizabeth Sobek. I was surprised to see she was you. Past, but reborn? N not that I claim to understand how. You've been getting to know Erend, I assume? Of course. Any friend of Varl's is a friend of mine. In this case, a very loud friend. So, how does a tribe like the Utaru manage to maintain the peace with warriors like the Tanakh? By holding them off. When our fields bloomed aplenty, the Tanakh looked upon our lands with envy. But Plainsong's dishes provided sanctuary and high ground to keep invaders at bay. In the end, even the Tanakh saw sense in a truce. The Utaru promised to provide the Tanakh with food from our crops every year. In exchange, the Tanakh would relinquish one of their own, a veteran, to train the Utaru in combat. This custom was abandoned a few years after the derangement. But some veterans still remain in the plains. I believe I've met them already. I've been meaning to ask, what's the deal with you and the chorus? You didn't seem to be on the best of terms. That's what happens when you're the one Utaru who insists on publicly defying them. Twice. When the Karja invaded the Utaru plains, they did more than just attack our villages. They burned our fields. 
took our people as slaves and murdered those who were too weak to make the trip back to Meridian. To be sacrificed in the Sun Ring. I was helping the healers back then, as waves of refugees swarmed into Plainsong. The chorus was divided in how to face the invaders. Some saw sense in raising arms. Others believed the dishes would keep us safe, as they had many times before. And while they bickered, I buried the seeds of the Fallen. I couldn't have been easy. Seeing your people suffer while the Karja invaded your lands. I come from a small village near Plainsong. My grandmother used to say there was no seed that wouldn't grow there. I moved to the dishes when I decided to apprentice as a healer. When the Red Raids began, I thought about going back. But the injured kept pouring into Plainsong. Day after day. So I kept putting it off. One day, I woke up to hear a Karja raiding party had ransacked my village during the night. I rushed there with the healers to help the survivors, but... There weren't any left. The smell of burning flesh haunts me to this day. I'm sorry, Zo. I made it a point to appear before the chorus as soon as we returned. To demand that we take a stand against the invaders. I was denied. So I left to fight on my own. You said you set out to fight the Karja alone? I did. But it turned out I wasn't the only one. News of my disagreement with the Chorus spread through the plains. Before I knew it, I had more than a dozen Utaru warriors ready to follow me into battle. We knew we couldn't take on the Karja armies head on. But we also knew the lay of the land better than they did. We ambushed smaller raiding parties, sabotaged their supply lines, and hit their encampments at night. Sounds like you were a force to be reckoned with. Enough that the Tanakh took notice. When the clans began to push the Karja back east, they let us join their ranks. We chased the enemy all the way to Baron Light. You said you were at Baron Light when the Tanakh defeated the Karja? Tanakh marshals climbed the Cliffs of the Daunt under cover of night, then attacked from the other side. Before we knew it, the gates were open, and the full force of the clans burst through. What happened next was... not something I like to remember. When all the dust and blood settled, I smelled it again. The stench of burnt flesh. Our enemies defeated. What was left of my squad returned to the Utaru Plains. I went back to Plainsong. But even as the harvest passed, it didn't feel like I'd truly returned at all. Is that when you became a grave singer? I thought soothing the suffering of others would somehow appease my own. Then you came along, and gave me a choice. I could either sing at people's graves, or fight for a chance to keep them alive. I'm glad you chose the latter. Right, I should probably go. Is it true you're investigating a signal coming from one of Gaia's seedlings? Maybe. We'll know for sure when we check it out. Be careful. We will. Holograms. Gaia, I thought you said the data here was lost. I was able to repurpose the equipment to store the data you have acquired in your travels. Looks like someone's made this space their own. I see you found Varl and Zoe's room, Aloy. I believe they wanted private accommodations. I see.
Aloy. It's good to see you. I'm guessing you've got a lot of questions. I've been told of our enemy and their intentions. Your friends showed me to the... vision you keep in this place. Gaia, and gave me this focus. I don't pretend to fully understand everything, but all I really need to know is where to train and when to fight. Welcome to the team, then. What are you looking at over there? The others have been helping me decipher the symbols the focus shows me. So... I thought I'd try to understand the weapon you intend to use against the enemy. This... Hephaestus... It will be able to make machines? That answer to Gaia? Yes. How many? As many as we need. Such power. Has the world ever seen the like? You said the Bulwark was your home a long time ago. That you were part of the Sky Clan. Yes. That's all you're gonna tell me? Fine. As you wish. My parents were killed in a clan skirmish, so... I was raised by my squad. As I grew older, I came to be known as an accomplished fighter. Takote took... a special interest in me. I fought by his side against the Karja, and led my squad on a dangerous climb into the Daunt. It was I who opened the gates at Baron Light, from the east side, allowing the Tanakh to raise it. That must have gotten you some attention. Indeed. I was welcomed home as a hero, and I was content. Then why'd you leave? I became a marshal. Why did you leave the Sky Clan to become a marshal? I was sent to the Kulrut by Takote. Back then, I would have obeyed his every order. I believed in him, like one would a father. I was too blind to see the fear in his eyes. Fear of a rising young warrior challenging his command of the clan. I returned a hero from the battle at Baron Light. But to him, I was only a threat. It never occurred to him that I had no interest in rising above my station. Why did Takote think you wouldn't be a threat to him if he sent you to the Cool Root? Takote knew that if I survived the Cool Root, I'd be forced to forsake the clan to serve the Tanakh as a whole. I'd never be allowed to challenge his command, even if I wanted to. After our victory at Baron Light, Takote spoke to our people, said it would be selfish to rob Hikaru and the marshals of a warrior like myself. Even though he knew perfectly well, I had no intention of ever leaving. It was exile, guised as an honor. One he knew I couldn't refuse. So I became a marshal, and never looked back. I'm sorry you had to go through that. I am not. Though it pained me at the time, a marshal is what I was destined to be. When we were at the Bulwark, the guard said something about the Wings of the Ten. Hikaru also mentioned it at the Cool Root. Dekka, too. What does it mean? The visions tell us that the Ten flew on great metal machines with wings, and leapt into battle from the sky. For us, to imitate this feat is the ultimate expression of martial prowess, and it is why the challengers leap into the arena during the Cool Root. Many times I imagined it as a child. The feeling of freedom. And the awe it must have inspired. What did Chief Akaro say when you told him he'd be joining me here? You spilt rebel blood at the Grove and helped reunite the clans. There was little more to be said. He understood. Well... I'm honored he lent me his best marshal, at least for a little while. Indeed. Now that you know who the enemy is, do you have any questions? I'll admit, I find them hard to grasp. From the heavens. And invulnerable. For now. I will leave the strategy to you. 
I trust you will point my blade where it will cut the deepest. You've had some time with the team now. Any thoughts? I admit, I was surprised to see Nutaru here. Farmers don't make for effective soldiers. I'm told she rallied some in her tribe against the Karja, and fought all the way to Baron Light. Interesting. Perhaps I'm mistaken. I should go. Feel free to check in on Hikaru and your people. Doors always open here. I will. I overheard that Varl and Erend are to accompany you on a mission. Do you require my assistance? I'd rather have you and Zoe guard the base while we're away. It shall be done. May the Ten walk with you. You said Aeon needed it. Gaia doesn't need it? I think we're all better. Uh, <laughs> there she is. You ready to head out? Let's go. Look at us. Three battle-hardened badasses forging into the unknown. This ought to be good. This distress call had to be up a really steep mountain, huh?
What the hell? Well, that takes the keg. Merle, see if there's anything over there? On it. We'll check out the battlefield. Let's start with that zenith. Obviously more Zeniths than we know about. Can't believe you fought one of them. Almost didn't make it. Snow crunch under my boots. Whatever the rebels did, it took down her shield. But why was she here? I can access her last communication file, but I'll use my focus to scan the battlefield too. What about that crazy weapon the Zenith had? It looked like she can make it come and go at will. But it's gone now. Yeah. Well, go do your thing. I'll wait here. The Spectre had instructions to... assist recovery of the asset. I wonder what this asset is. An Oseram with a focus. Looks like he was sending data on the weapons somewhere else. Ah! Ah. Our weapon's still hot. I need to know how it worked. But I'll have to check on it once it's cooled off. Looks like the rebels camped here for a while. Are they watching this area? All right. I think I have an idea what happened here. I better get back to Erend. until I'm done looking around. All right, she who sees the unseen. What did you find out? This was a carefully planned attack. I found camping gear up there. The rebels must have been staking out this place for at least a few days. They were waiting for the Zeniths to show up. All so that they could test that weapon. 
The Zeniths have a personal shield that makes them invulnerable, but somehow the weapon got rid of it. The Osirum that was operating it was sending data on it somewhere else. It was probably just a prototype. I've known tinkers that do that. I'd do a little trial run before breaking out the real thing. Well, I guess it's still a work in progress, if it blew up. She was searching for something she'd lost. Her drone had instructions to recover something called the Asset. The Asset? Is that the uh, sub-function thing that you said could be here? The Luthia? I'm not sure. Come on, let's go talk to Varl. I can grab this for my stash later. That's a long way down. Something tunneled straight down into the mountain. Looks recent. Whatever it was, it must have been powerful. That zenith the rebels killed was looking for something called... The Asset. I don't know what it is, but my guess is it's somewhere down there. All right, so we head down. Erend, stay here and stand watch. That zenith isn't the only one of its kind. I don't want to be caught by surprise if the others show up. Contact us by focus if you see anything. Okay. If any trouble shows up, I'll call you. Let's go. There's some kind of old world ruin down here. You said the Zeniths have their own backup of Gaia, right? Yeah. From the Proving Lab. So maybe they were after Eleuthia. Found its hiding spot, so it sent the distress signal. Maybe. Looks like some kind of data center. I might be able to access the facility systems from that console. seen a transmitter like this before. Looks like it's self-destructed. This was a far seen -eth research lab. It looks like a lot of data was beam cast from here recently. From that device nearby. So, exploring another far zenith ruin. At least this one doesn't seem to have giant killer machines. Or anything you can blow up. Far Zenith, probably discovering amazing things for their own benefit. Yeah, that sounds about right. Ectogenic chambers, like the ones I saw inside a Zero Dawn cradle facility. What were they for? Remember when I told you I was made, not born? This is how. A machine that makes a person. This place is Incredible. huge. Some kind of storage room, maybe. Maybe the asset is in here somewhere. If it is, somehow the Zenith couldn't find it. Let's look around. So, um, 
How is Erend taking all of this? Really? Well, Gaia, the Zeniths, the Focus. It's a lot. But when I caught up to him in the dark, the control and said console. He needed our help, he dropped to access the everything storage and units. turned around. Can it tell us if the asset is in one of them? Well, let's find out. Two hundred and thirty six containers in storage. Please enter the container number you'd like to retrieve. Two hundred and thirty six? Wasn't there a number in the distress signal? You're right. I should check the log. Two hundred and thirty six containers in storage. Click. Aloy. It's you. Skin's like ice. Must have cut this from her head. But why? Hello, hello, Spit. Apologies, I don't know what else to call you. Um, my name is Beta. I'm afraid I, I must be brief. I only have a few minutes before my keepers discover I'm missing, and I still need to remove this implant. I had hoped to find shelter with you, but... If you're viewing this, I... I may be dead. Be careful when you take on Farsiness. They are ruthless, and they have Alicia, Artemis, and Apollo now. But at least I don't have the Gaia Colonel to march them with. You must succeed. Oh, this was all for nothing. Good luck. And goodbye. So she's... She's still alive. We need to get her back to... Oh, shit. They can fly. Aloy. Aloy, can, can you hear me through this thing? What's going on, Erend? Two of those spectral things just fell out of the sky. One of them is heading down towards you. The other one's waiting up here. We're coming up. Stay in cover until I get there. You got it. Get her to cover in that room. Whatever happens, she stays with us. I'll protect her. I should prepare before the Spectre gets here. I can't let it get through to Varl on the clone. Here it comes! Yeah, 
something. Let's see if it has any weak spots. I'm heading up top. Stay down here with the clone for now. Got it. I'll follow once the coast is clear. <laughs> Gotta get back up top and deal with that other specter. I just hope Aaron stays in cover. See what I can do. And the second you need me, I'm there. Ah! Ah! not budging from that spot. I might be able to sneak up on it if I stay out of its line of fire. It's got some kind of shield. I need to sneak around behind it. It'll be a tough fight if I take that thing out. Got a weapon. I could use it against the Spectre. She's... Look, I swear I'm not drunk, but right now I'm seeing double. Long story, but it'll have to wait. She needs a healer, but we need to get her back to the base immediately. Right. Yeah. Well, what are we waiting for, then? You two go on ahead. I need to take another look at that weapon. If I can figure out how that thing works, maybe the Zenus won't be so invincible after all. This will be in my stash when I need it. to get the weapon fragment to Gaia to analyze. If we can replicate it, maybe we'll have a way to defeat the Zenith. I should check on the clone. There's our guest. We're in the maintenance corridor below the control room. Okay.
Aloy. Glad you made it back okay. She panicked after waking up and stumbled down here. I thought it best to wait for you. I'll talk to her. Hello? It's, uh... It's Beta, right? My name's Aloy. What's wrong? Is it your injury? Simulacrum withdrawal syndrome. I... don't understand. Sudden removal of a neurologically integrated data device. The brain, especially the cerebellum, goes into a kind of... sensory freefall. Everything real feels... unreal. Distant. Is there anything that can help? Do you have a focus to spare? It's, it's primitive, but I can make it work. Yeah. Booting up. So, uh, Aloy, I suppose you want information. About you and the Zeniths? Yeah. Why are they here? What do they want? How do they get you? But let's start at the beginning. I'm guessing they faked the destruction of their ship a thousand years ago? That seems consistent with their behavior, they wouldn't want to be followed? So far, Zenith established a colony world after all. Yes, for a few hundred years, but it didn't last. Some sort of natural disaster rendered it uninhabitable. Okay, so... The descendants of Far Zenith escaped a dying planet, and now they want to claim Earth for themselves? Not their descendants. What? Not their descendants. It, it, it's them. The same ones who left Earth a thousand years ago. You didn't know? How can they still be alive? They don't even look... What did they do to themselves? I believe it's a combination of pharmaceutical cellular treatments and technological implants. And, and you? Does that mean that you're... I'm not like them. I was made. On the way to Earth. On the ship. I spent years studying in my training interface. All so that I could serve my function. Access and control of the terraforming system. But why? What do the Zeniths want with it? When I discovered the Zero Dawn system had disseminated into its subcomponents, I thought my purpose was to fix it. But I don't think the Zeniths want that at all. I think they want to wipe Earth clean and start over. So the Zeniths want to exterminate life on Earth. That's what Gaia and I concluded too. But why? Why kill everyone just to take over? When they took me on missions with them, I saw how they... butchered. The tribal people we encountered. They didn't seem to care about a rejuvenated Earth, so... I concluded that they must want a hard reboot of the system. Then they can redesign it to be exactly what they want. Mass extinction for their own comfort? Who thinks like that? Well, without their Gaia kernel, they'll have a hard time doing that. The Zenus needed Elizabeth's gene print to access Zero Dawn facilities. So they made you. Trained you. And you went along with it? They told me I was born to interface with the Zero Dawn system. When we reached Earth, I pieced together what must have happened to Gaia and her subordinate functions. That's when I started to realize I wasn't meant to fix Gaia. That they must have made me so I could do what their remote extinction signal failed to do. Reboot Earth for their own benefit. So you know about the extinction signal? It was speculation, but the only logical conclusion why Gaia suddenly self-destructed after operating efficiently for centuries. Gaia would have only undertaken such a desperate course of action if it had detected a threat to life on Earth that was more dangerous than ceasing function altogether. I should have realized that she would also order the recreation of Elizabeth Sobek to rebuild her. Yeah, well... Surprise. So we're dealing with the same far zenith people who once lived on Earth. What else do you know about them? They were some of the most affluent and powerful people on Earth. They controlled almost every major resource, every industry. Gerard commands them. He's the one who decided to set up a base. 
The others, Eric, Tilda, Verbena, they resent his authority over them, but in the end, they always do what he says. Eric, he's the one I fought back in the Hades Proving Lab. He enjoys hurting people. Yeah, I know. You mentioned the Xenus set up a base here on Earth. Where is it? Off the coast, I think. Whenever I had to go on missions, I was transported inside of a Spectre drone. I couldn't see anything outside. But I did overhear the Zeniths talking about it once. They were discussing setting up a perimeter energy shield to repel the local fauna. I'm certain they have other security measures. Spectre patrols, machine lures. It, it must be impregnable. What's inside the base? Launch facilities, so they can shuttle back and forth to their ship in orbit. Plus, infrastructure to gather materials and fabricate anything they need. Are there more Zeniths than the ones you met? Uh, I'm not sure. I, I suppose there must be more of them in the base or back on the ship. For all I know, there could be more of them out in space. Other survivors of the colony. You said the Zeniths colony in the Sirius system was destroyed. What happened? All I was ever told was that a natural disaster forced them to leave Sirius. I've speculated that it was an extrasolar object or a cataclysmic seismic event. Or maybe even an abnormally violent coronal mass ejection from Sirius A. The Zeniths never told you any details. They said the only thing that mattered was that they survived. First Earth, a thousand years ago, and then Sirius. Guess they survived old age too. How did you escape the Zeniths? Before the Hades Proving Lab, I never thought I'd get away from them. Even if I were to run, I'd never survive on my own in the wilds. But then I saw you. And I thought that maybe you could help me. So when the Zeniths pinpointed Eleuthia's location in the biomedical research facility, I saw an opportunity. You said you saw an opportunity to escape when you went to capture Eleuthia. What did you do, exactly? Whenever I was taken out on a mission to recover a subordinate function, only one of the Zeniths would go with me. The one the rebels killed, outside the facility. But Bainus dead? How did they bypass her shield? I'm looking into it. But you were talking about your escape? Well, when it was time to use the Zenith's transmitter to send Eleuthia back to base, I also sent the encrypted transmission. Then I distracted Verbena long enough to seal myself in the ectogenic chamber, altering the facility's log so it appeared that there were only 236 containers. And the Gaia root kernel? I told them I could capture Luthia faster if I had it with me, and they... believed me. Well done. You said you were born on the way to Earth. In an artificial womb, I'm guessing? The Zeniths had an... Ectogenic chamber aboard the ship. An updated version of the one you found me in. They must have used a stored sample of Elizabeth's DNA. I doubt Elizabeth would have let them take her DNA. Do you know how they got it? That wasn't part of the archive I was allowed to access. You said you spent years studying in a training interface. Was this archive you mentioned part of that? Only the parts I was permitted to access. Aristotle and Aspasia, th the avatars of the Archive, would assign me learning modules and evaluate my progress. Wait, those names? They were designed to be the virtual guides for the Apollo database. Before Ted Farrow purged it. The Zeniths have a copy. So it still exists. And you got to learn from it. Only what was deemed pertinent to the mission. If I requested information outside of my parameters, my tutors would deny it. To have all that knowledge... just out of reach... must have been frustrating. All right, I think that's enough for now. Do you want to come upstairs, or...? So how long? You know, your, your, your plan. How long before Gaius fabricated a machine army to defeat the Zenith? How did you know optimal strategy, so? Well, I still have to get two more subordinate functions before Gaius powerful enough to absorb Hephaestus. What? 
You don't have a Festus already? Guy is still figuring out how to capture it. It's not confined to a single- To a single location, of course not! You didn't even know who the Zeniths really are. You were supposed to be further along by now. Coming here was a mistake. They're gonna find me. They're gonna find this place and take me back. This was all for nothing. They're not going to find us. Guy is using Minerva to mask our location. What difference does it make? You're too far behind. We're never going to beat them. Everything. Everyone. I'm gonna die. Hey. Calm down. You're here now, right? So is there anything you can do to help? I have certain knowledge sets. And given your state of progress, expertise you probably lack. Geoengineering, of course. Computer science, physics, biology, chemistry. Okay. Well, see if you can do something with that. Talk to Gaia. I'll check on you later. How'd it go? Her injury's not that bad, but I think she regrets coming here. Feeling might be mutual. Hmm. I'll come back later and talk to her. See if I can learn anything. I should get the weapon fragment to Gaia. Is it me or did the old one? <laughs> Welcome back. Aloy, I see we have a new guest. So now we know the origin of the transmission. Yeah, I also recovered this. The weapon it was part of somehow stripped a zenith of its shield, but it malfunctioned and blew up. If we can recreate the weapon and improve it, maybe we'll gain the upper hand on the zenith. A moment, I will scan it. Complete. By combining the results with data from your focus, I can infer that the weapon was highly advanced, comparable to Zenith technology, but not how it worked. Did the explosion corrupt the data? It was only a catalyst. The moment the weapon malfunctioned, it appears a command executed to purge all data within its core. Ostensibly, this was to prevent the weapon's secrets from falling into enemy hands. Whoever designed this weapon knew how to cover their tracks. Silence. Based on your data on him, that is my conclusion as well. And he's not gonna cooperate with us? Well, it was worth a shot. But that's not all. The Zenus got Aluthia, along with Artemis and Apollo. That is unfortunate. However, our original plan remains unchanged. The two remaining subordinate functions should increase my heuristic processing density enough to absorb Hephaestus. Right. One problem at a time. Well, I guess I better get back out there. I wish you luck on your search. Right. Thanks, Guy. So I guess we won't be making use of Cylon's weapon. And now there is another clone of Elizabeth here with us. But I can't let it distract me. I... Two more subfunctions to get. It's a little loud, Aaron. Aaron? You okay? Huh? Oh, yeah, yeah. I mean, why wouldn't I be? 
Because there's two of me now. Hey, there's two of you now! Well, at least you seem to be handling it okay. I wouldn't say that exactly, but I'm trying. I see Varl gave you a focus. Well, it doesn't look as you know, fashionable on me, but by the forge, the things I've been able to see. Granted, a lot of them are bad, you know, the old world ending and such. I still try to wrap my head around most of it, but I never really understood how you were ever able to find my sister back in the Sundom. And now I do, sort of. It makes me feel like I could be useful, you know? It takes some time, but yeah. What are you working on with your focus? I'm still figuring out how to read stuff on this thing. Those two lovebirds over there have been giving me a hand. But to be honest, all the little symbols they give me a headache. But I'll get up to speed, I promise. What you reading next? I saw a guy added something to the archives about metal rods being used to harness lightning during storms. The guy reminded me of a cousin of mine. Thought he could trap lightning if he covered himself in stormbird plates. Went up the tallest mountain in the claim to prove it. It ended like a lot of Asaram things do. With a spark and a boom. I guess you know what we're up against by now. Yeah, I'm not gonna lie. When Varl first told me those bastards come from the stars, I thought he'd eaten too many of those medicinal berries. Yeah, but I've gotten used to seeing impossible things, thanks to you. I just wish they weren't always trying to kill us. Yeah, you and me both. Did you speak with Beta at all? She didn't really wake up till we brought her here. And when she did, I, I thought it'd be better if Zoe and Varl took care of her. No use crowding someone when they're in a state. How are you settling in? Yeah, Varl's been helping me get the lay of the land, when he's not getting all tongue-tied. I don't know who makes him more nervous, that Gaia lady or our new Utaru friend. Well, what about the Vanguard? Aren't you supposed to be back east, ordering them around? I sent some of them back to Meridian with a message. I doubt Avad will mind me sticking around to help the savior of Meridian. So, you've met our new Tanakh friend. He's, uh, quiet. I thought his people were supposed to be bloodthirsty maniacs. You shouldn't believe everything you hear. Yeah. Well, I guess if you trust him, so do I. So, Talana came by the base? Yeah, more like rushed through. I was hoping she'd stay for a drink at least. Only Karja I've ever met who's any fun. But it seemed like she had more pressing matters to attend to. I have to get going. Don't go causing too much trouble. Hey, you and Darren okay? Nothing some rest can't take care of. Are you okay? This beta thing, it's a lot, even for you. Just trying to take it one step at a time. Fair enough. But if you need anything, just let me know. Looks like I was wrong about the Zeniths. Their ship didn't explode on its way to Sirius like everyone thought. And we saw how they lied about creating a better future at their launch facility. Guess they lied about what happened to their ship, too. But still, a tribe settling amongst the stars. I couldn't put a single dent in their shields, Varl. That one zenith almost killed me. That didn't stop you from resurrecting Gaia. Won't stop us from using Hephaestus against them. Let's hope that's enough. So, training with Zo, huh? Yes, training. Mostly. Look, she reads glyphs faster than I can already. I'd be a fool to refuse her help. Of course. You guys reading something over there? 
We just finished going through all the logs you collected back in Nora territory, and all Mother Mountain. It's hard to imagine that my ancestors were trapped inside, without the knowledge from Apollo to guide them. Thanks to Ted Farrow. Yeah. I wonder how it must have felt when they were finally free. The world must have seemed so beautiful. Not to mention terrifying. They weren't much more than kids. And they became an entire tribe. It's good to see you and Zoe enjoying yourselves. We're learning a lot. I've actually been looking through the data to find ideas for a gift, and to thank her for helping me study the glyphs. Something from the old world that she's never seen before. Instead, I found out they gave each other stuffed animals. If you ask me, stuffing a dead animal with anything, really, doesn't sound like a good time for anybody. Maybe Gaia can help you find something else. How's everyone dealing with Beta? I tried explaining what a clone is to Aaron. He was totally lost. Then Zoe said something about two trees coming from one seed. That seemed to help a bit. I'm guessing you've spoken with Catalo? I wanted to pay my respects for those who fell when we were ambushed at the embassy. I told him I'd never seen anyone throw themselves at a machine like he did. He said a warrior shouldn't be praised for fulfilling their duty. <laughs> for a second I thought I was talking to my mother. Never thought a Tanakh and a Nora warchief could have so much in common. I'm guessing Talana didn't stay for long? You got that right. Makes you wonder what this Amadis guy did to grab her attention. Whatever it was, she didn't tell me. Must be quite a story. I guess she'll tell us when she's ready. How's everyone handling their focus? And we all have our difficult moments. Erend definitely curses the most. But I'm hoping Osiram's stubbornness prevails. How's everyone doing? Just taking it all in. No one snapped their bowstrings yet. I see everyone settling in. Zoe's planning on bringing all kinds of plants in here. Says a home should always spring with life anew. I asked Aaron to help find some. I think he'd rather stick his head into a snap mall. Still, it's not a bad idea. Should liven up the place. I should get back to the wilds. I'll keep an eye on Beta. Make sure she's comfortable. Okay. Aloy. Hey, I thought I'd, uh, check in on how you're doing. You mean, after meeting someone who looks exactly like you, but isn't you, down in the basement? Guess this must be even stranger for you than it is for us, huh? A little. <laughs> Varl said she may be able to help us in our mission, though. Maybe. There is something I'd like to discuss. It's about the land gods. If you have time, that is. What else have you been up to? I've been studying Gaia's seedlings, the subfunctions. I wanted to understand why one of them would do what they did to Fa. Imagine my surprise when I looked into this Hephaestus and found out it helped create all machines, our land gods included. In a way, the Utaru o Hephaestus are a whole way of life, as well as our current troubles. That's why we have to make Gaia whole again. Learn anything interesting lately? There's been much to read up on now that Aether has been reunited with Gaia. It's hard to imagine that machines like Stormbirds once helped heal the skies. I used to be terrified of them as a child. Thunder still brings chills to my skin. But everything Gaia creates has a purpose, no? Yeah. And if we can get Hephaestus back, she can get those Stormbirds in line. You said you met Beta? Varl mentioned she was hurt. I thought I'd offer her an extract to soothe the pain. That was kind of you. I just hope she doesn't plan on staying burrowed down there like that. 
She looks like she's barely seen the light of day as it is. You said you wanted to talk about the land gods? I think there's a way to heal them so that they'll once again provide plain song with grain. Gaia gave me a set of instructions. She called it, a uh, reboot code. If we deliver it to the land gods, their derangement will end. Well, that's great. It may be. There are thorns on the path. Unless the code is given by Hephaestus, the land gods will reject it. Gaia showed me a way around this. We need components called control cores from machines made by Hephaestus. Machines similar to the land gods. You mean Grimhorns? Like the one we fought in the repair bay? Yes. Gaia helped me locate two of them out west. So, kill the machines, get the control cores, then use them to adapt the reboot code into something the land gods will obey? If all goes well, but taking down two Grimhorns won't be easy. We'll do it together. Bless you, Aloy. I'll send you the location of the machines. I need to get going. May the land bloom in your steps. Aloy, we've gathered some supplies in that chest. Take what you need. Take a look at you, stranger. You're the outlander who stood against Regala and her rebels. Only if it means we're good here. Don't worry. I'm not here to drink your blood, or whatever you Easterners think we do. The slaughter at the embassy wasn't your fight, yet you stood by the marshals, and by our chief at the Grove. As far as I'm concerned, you're no enemy of the Tanakh. But you are going to need help if you plan on surviving the clan land. I hear and see many things as a scout. I could share them with you, aid you on your journey. I'd be grateful. Well then, I spotted a group of Osram salvagers wandering the edge of the desert near the southwestern border. I'd report it, but I don't think they'll last long. If the machines down there don't get them, the storms will. Oh, that's kind of you. Looks like those Osram could use a hand. I'll keep an eye out for them if I'm down there. Stop for supplies.
machine riders from before. The ones who were racing. I wonder what they're up to. I won the race. Hey, you threw a rock in my face. Hey, who are you? Everyone, we got company. Riding machines, huh? Who taught you to do that? Hey, squad! We got someone with a death wish here. Whoa. Look at that hair. What? Someone get a little lost in the desert? Hey, hey, what's that thing the Easterners keep saying we do? <laughs> oh, yeah. We all drink blood here, right? Maybe we should drink yours. You can try. Is that a challenge? Cool your blaze, Josek. Don't think you want to test your luck with Hikaru's new champion. We have no business with you, Outlander. I think we all had our fun. Road's right over there. Those machines... used to be Regala's. But you don't look like holdouts to me. Who are you? How'd you get these mounts? Around here, you want something, you race for it. You cross that finish line first, and I'll answer any questions you have. Aloy, you got a mount? Race is full. Actually, I think a spot just opened up. All right. What are the rules? Don't die. This ought to be good. Shut up, Becca. This way, fresh meat. Let's get you that mount. I see you carry a bow. Good. You'll need to use it if you want to win. Against the other racers? They will if you don't. We put everything on the line when we get on that track. Makes it worth something. You could test run the track if you want to. Just let me know when you're ready for the real thing. I'd like to practice before the race. Track's all yours.
So, ready to race? Let's do this. All right. Everyone get ready. for winning the race. You earned it. I think you owe me some answers. Name's Atta. As for how we got these mounts, most of us here used to be rebels. Join Regala's army thinking we'd get a chance to fight in a real war against the Karja. Instead, Regala slaughtered our own in cold blood, barren light. When we made it back to camp, we snuck out on our mounts and never looked back. Been racing the clan lands ever since. Decided we were better off on our own. No rules, no chiefs. Just the speed of our mounts and the taste of blood. Doesn't sound too bad, I guess. Where's your quiet friend? The one with the mask? He didn't join the race. He gave up his spot so you could join. Probably for the best. What makes you say that? That one hasn't lost a single race. Doubt you would have gotten your answers if he stuck around. Maybe. You know, Hax found a spot to set up a race at the farthest end of Lowland Territory, right by the beach. Make your way there, maybe there'll be a spot waiting for you. If I'm in the area, I'll think about it. Hey, Lloyd, you here to join the race?
will be in my stash when I need it. It's weak against frost.
That Osram camp Talana and I were trying to find should be around here. Hmm. Looking from a camp. Maybe I should check it out. Some kind of Osram camp? How'd they end up out here? I must be closing in on the signal. That helmet looks damaged. I should take a closer look. charge and take them out. This must be the ruins of Las Vegas. Poseidon shouldn't be far. said this is where I'd find Poseidon, but the ruins out here are exposed to the elements. A lot of them are buried in the sand. So maybe Poseidon is underground. If that's true, I might be able to find a way down through one of these structures.
shelter. A chance to rest and check my gear. Rome must be part of Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. But how to get up there? Check it out. Someone's been through here. Camping gear. Looks like there's something behind that tarp. So close oh, to drowning, maybe not not to the embers, M Moreland. It's over. Well, not for me. It's not. Then you're going to die alone, because we're not sticking around to fish out the corpse. We're through. And so the visionary's fate. Hung in the balance, would he choose life, or succumb to deadly delusion? <clears throat> Hello. So, there's an ancient city under the sand, but it's flooded. Suddenly, a Nora Spear Maiden appears. Yeah, okay, um... Well, you're not typical Delvers. That's for sure. What's this? Uh, I... I call it a diving bubble. This is the Mark I. The Mark II was better, but uh, it got stuck halfway down. Air tube snagged. You went down in that. Yeah, I hardly expect a layperson to understand. Because that's pretty smart. Uh, I'm sorry. May I remind you, you got stuck inside and nearly drowned. It'd have to be portable, though. Mm. Machine kneecap, maybe? Well, you'd need a filter. Synthetic membrane would do it. With a hose to a compressed, compressed air, air capsule. capsule. Hammer and tongs. What is this? What is happening here? What? Get over here. She's a stranger. You got a name? Aloy. Moreland. Not a stranger anymore. You're a damn fool. Come on. I got the original schematics over here. Oh, um... Well, hold on. Just a couple of questions first. Fair enough. Partner? Partner? 
Don't mind him. What's so important down there that you'd risk your life? Uh, uh well... <clears throat> uh. Moreland, I'm not interested in salvage, okay? Whatever you find below is yours. Well, all right. Then what if I told you we were delving for the most spectacular treasures ever scribed by man or a maid? I'd say get to the point. No nonsense. I like it. Behold, an ember. Looks like a piece of junk. Well, now, yes, but, but, but with a proper spark. These magnificent creations of the old ones paint mesmerizing pictures in the air, and the ruins below us are full of them. A feast for the eyes beyond description. This is my old Gramps promised me. So these embers project images? Paintings of light. It's amazing stuff. This one showed the most beautiful woman you've ever seen, beckoning all to a buffet of lobster and succulent beefs. <laughs> I must have watched it about a hundred times as a child in my old Gramps workshop. What happened to it? Over time, they die out. cried the day that this one's light faltered. But there are many more below. As you'll see, if you get down there like I did and my old gramps before me. How did your grandfather discover these embers? He was here. Forty odd years ago. He, he was one of the first to lead a delving party into the West. He discovered the ancient city around us, plumbed the depths of this very structure. He found the hollow underneath and the glowing embers all about. Took as many as he could and brought them home. He always wanted to come back and get more, but, well, he never scraped up the shards. What he really wanted to do was use the embers to put on a show, one unlike the world has ever seen. Sounds like quite a guy. He was a true Delver, and a true showman, and I miss him. But I will do him proud. I will gather the embers and put on a spectacle that would have amazed even him. With your help, of course. So what exactly happened down there? It was a Delve like no other. A chance to follow my old Gramps' footsteps. Beneath this structure here is an enormous hollow, a, a dome protected from the sands. We built this elevator here to ensure easy egress and exit. It's quite a contraption, actually, and not so easy to... Right. Again. What happened? At the bottom, we beheld the treasure my Gramps first discovered. Painted images in the air of every description. Dancing women, and games, and coins, and promises of jackpots. I don't know what that is, but it's got to be good. But then, something went wrong. The images turned nautical. Waves went through them, even fish. It was like a strange underwater dream. Poseidon's dream. Yes. Well, suddenly there was this terrible rushing sound, and then an explosion of water erupted from the floor. So water just shot up from the floor and filled the place up? It was a raging flood unlike anything I've seen. We ran like forge fire and barely made it up the elevator as a wave just crashed beneath us. Shaken. But not stirred. I, I, I built the diving bubbles Mark I and Mark II. I tried the descent in each, but I nearly drowned both times. Abbot Dunn's beside himself. He thinks I'm insane. But 
I can't give up now. I, I, I've, just, I've come too far, and the embers are just barely within my reach. Well, maybe I can help. Yeah. Maybe you can. You guys don't seem like average Delvers. We're not really Delvers at all. We're showmen. Like performers? You're Nora, and thus unfamiliar with the arts. We stage spectacles all around the claim. Stemmer tells stories, which I augment with all manner of sounds and fireworks, and Abaddund, he, well... Complains? He handles the money, which amounts to about the same thing. When we delve, it's to find gear for my theatrics. Which makes this delve the most important one of all. How deep is it? Can't I just swim down? Only if you have gills. You can stack 50 kegs in that shaft. Leave it to the Osirum to measure something in kegs. Talking liquid depths. I'd say it's apt. Apt or not, sounds too deep to hold my breath. Hence, our new invention. I'd better get after those parts. There's a fully intact compressed air capsule in the Mark II, but like I said, it's stuck in the shaft. If you made it back up alive, I should be able to swim down that far. All right. As for the other parts, Stemmer scouted a herd due south of here that should have what we need. I'm on it. Great. I'll come back when you get the gear. Good hunting. Probably get a... Oh, a guest list of 50. <laughs> so, we'd need at least three dozen kegs. <laughs> Brown ale, maybe. Uh, no, no, for him, scrapper sap. Are you planning a party? Budgeting for Moreland's funeral, thanks to you. I was this close. <sighs> we were gonna move on. Leave all this nonsense behind, and you come along and you spark your wet noodle idea. It's going to work. I've heard that before. I'm always willing to engage in some commerce. So, uh, how does someone like you end up working for someone like Moreland? I work with Moreland. We got three equal claims in this venture. I saw one of his early shows. Back when it was... It was just him and his inventions. Works of flame, lights and... Shadows, all kinds of gizmos. Never seen the light. But the man 
is all spectacle. No sense. It bleeds shards like, like, you get the idea. And without me to handle the finances, his dreams would be sunk. More sunk. Wish we were back in the claim. Plenty of normal shows to do without the, the salvage from this blasted place. And yet, you're here, in the middle of the desert, delving for his dream. It was a good one. But sometimes, that dream has to die. This dream of Moreland's... Is going to get him killed. Let's say it doesn't. What happens after he gets the salvage down there? Then we put on the greatest show the world's ever seen. We'll have, we'll have special seating, uh, premium ale, the works. Uh, Moreland will do his, his light spectacle thing. Uh, Stemmer will get their eyes a-sparkling with his tails, and I'll be selling tickets. <laughs> it's a nice thought, anyway. Moreland mentioned you were showman. What? An ostrom can't be anything other than a, a, a delver, tinker, or drunkard? <laughs> okay, sure, we are delvers too, but that is not our main source of income. Mostly, we go town to town, putting on shows. These shows, what are they? What happens at them? Tales and spectacle. I, I, Moreland's got the technical know-how, builds uh, all manner of inventions, whirly gigs of, of light and sound, cannons that, that, that shoot fire and showers of sparks and stemmer. Keeps them enthralled with tales of adventure in the smoothest baritone. Yeah, that. And you? Me? Who do you think handles the financials for the whole blasted thing? <laughs> Those two, eh, those two might have the, the sparks, but do you think they know their way around shards? <laughs> do you think? No, they don't. So Moreland was down in this ancient city and... The three of us went down below. You? I can delve too. Right. And uh, then what happened? What do you think? Water rushed in, we ran. And Moreland built that blasted thing. He nearly got himself drowned. Twice. He... You want the finer details of his stupidity? You go ask him. I'll leave you alone. Do us a favor. Leave us all alone. going to get away from this place. Got well, the compressed air capsule. Good thing that Aloy showed up. Now, to get all the machine we'll parts. See. The longer they're so According to Moreland, the herd should the be south of here. Shard counters move. Okay. is where Moreland said the herd would be. They must have moved on. I need to pick up their trail. Better look for tracks. 
There. Tracks should lead me to the herd. Sandstorm's blowing in. Just what I need. There's the herd. I should have the parts I need. More machines? One synthetic membrane. I should have all the parts to build this thing now. Better get back to Moreland. What can I do for you, partner? I've got everything I need to build the... Uh, the incredible diving mask. I think diving mask is enough. I won't quibble. The workbench is all yours.
there's a marvel. If it works, you'll let me try it? I want to get down there and get those embers. Assuming I don't drown. So what are you really looking for down there? It's hard to explain. Something that caused a malfunction in the apparatus that controls the old city. I think it started the flood. Well, I, I thought we started the flood. Like we sprung a trap. I don't know how we were detected. Like I said, the dancing lights around us changed, turned to sea life. There was this flash of red and the roar of water surging in. Wait, a flash of red? A, a red light from a spot near the grate on the floor where the water burst through. It was like a beacon. Or a warning. Thanks. That might help. I hope it does. And good luck down there. Okay, time to see if this thing works. So far, so good. I can actually breathe down here. seems to be holding up. I've never been able to swim this deep before. Nautical lights. It must be Poseidon's doing. Poseidon's down here, somewhere. Gotta find where it's hiding. I do this purge and drain all the water, I can fight that big machine on dry ground. Looks like I have to reset a couple of pump nodes first. According to the map, there should be an access point for the first node south of here. More machines down here. Stick to cover. There's the access point. Should lead me to the pump node. 
There must be a whole network of these tunnels down here. Water lines for an entire city. I can't reach the ledge from here. I need something I can climb to get out. down. Better swim back up and find the access point for the second node. According to the map, the second node should be on the other side of the dome. Another access point. This should get me to the second node. Maybe that debris is weighing it down. Trigger chain reaction. Okay, let's see if that helped. Taking care of both nodes. Now we just need to activate the emergency card to the maintenance station. According to the map, the maintenance station should be at the south end of the dome. be the maintenance station. But how to get in? It 
like part of this building collapsed. There might be a way in. I think I'm in the maintenance station now. I just gotta find a console to activate the emergency bridge. That did it! <laughs> okay. Now I can deal with that machine guarding the door on the other end of the dome. And once I get past it, I can get to what's waiting on the other side of the door. Poseidon. I guess the fish didn't get rid of all of the water. machines behind. Let's see if I'm going to go with a big one first. There's a new problem. That thing's in our way. Wow. Yeah, it's gonna be difficult. 
able to give the embers with that around. If the scrappy band of adventurers beheld the beast, they knew what they had to do. What? Are you crazy? Hush now. She saved our Delph. Okay then. Stay up here and start firing when I engage. Everything's sticking. Oh, damn this heat. You guys all right? More than all right. This... you... we did it! <laughs> all the embers we could ever want, and it's all thanks to you. Very, uh, heartwarming. But maybe we can just, you know, grab what we came here for and get out before any more of those things decide to show up. Now, now, shard counter. Nothing wrong with a little reveling. Though we should probably let our flame-haired friend get going. I believe she has business down here, does she not? Right, of course. You need any help? I can handle it from here. Very well. Well, we'll start taking some of the embers upstairs. Holler if you need us. Thanks. Sun should be somewhere beyond this door. Time to bring it home. Okay, 
Poseidon should be hiding in some kind of processor. I need to find a console to gain access to it. Here. I should be able to use that console. I'm here to bring you home, Poseidon. To Gaia. Elizabeth Sobek. Alpha Prime. Master Override activated. Restoring Poseidon's subordinate function to original code. Okay. Gotta bring this back to Gaia. System reboot initiated. Like taking Poseidon trigger to restart the city's power system. The London crew must have headed back up top. Probably embers they could carry, I bet. An elevator. No one must have built this before the place flooded. Might still work. Would be nice not to have to climb back up.
Whatever she did, it must have powered up my stash when I need it. How much is all this cost? What's going on out there? <laughs> oh. oh, the show my old gramps always wanted. There's another. His dream realized, his old Gramps' legacy ensured, our hero beheld the sea of desert lights and wept at his good fortune. When I saw the Embers as a child, I never dreamed they could be like this. Thank you, Aloy. Well, did you find what you were looking for? I did. And now I have to move on. Oh. Oh. Well, come back when you can. I got big plans for this place. I thought you wanted to put on shows with the Embers back in the claim. Oh, no. <laughs> this is the show. Oh, can you imagine? Folks from all over the land coming to take it all in. Plus some food and a nice place to stay. Not to mention a variety of entertainment venues. Yeah, don't forget. Games of chance. Plenty of shards to be had there for certain. <laughs> a new dream, huh? I, um, I hope you make it happen. Goodbye, gentlemen. This delve was a story for the ages. All thanks to you. If Moreland and crew is gonna stay, maybe I should come back and check on them later. For now, I need to get Poseidon back to Gaia. But I might want to find that Osirom camp first, see if Talana made it. And with my new diving mask, I should be able to swim as deep as I want to. Once I find a place with more water. You have recovered Poseidon. Aloy, can you come downstairs? Beta has something you need to hear. Okay. I'll be right down. Aloy. I have managed to unlock additional room. Hi, Gaia. Hello, Aloy.
So, I guess Beta's here to stay. I gave her a focus. Told her to talk to you to see if she can help. She's... Not what I expected. What were you expecting? I don't know. Someone more helpful, I guess. And less pessimistic. It is true she overestimated our progress. However, it is also worth noting that her confidence in your abilities emboldened her to escape the Zeniths. I guess so. Give her time. She may yet come around. So there's a few people here now, and they're... learning. All about you, the ancient world. Almost like what was supposed to happen before Apollo was purged. Yes. While the loss of the Apollo database was catastrophic, there is still much that can be gleaned from the data you have uncovered. For instance, Varl has been reviewing the last recorded entries from those who perished during the Pharaoh Plague. Hearing their hopes and fears made him quite somber. Anything I should be worried about? I do not believe so. I have elected not to intervene, to allow him to process this on his own terms. When I dove down into Vegas, I found data about the man who built the dome over the city. Stanley Chen. It turns out he was a member of Far Zenith. But if he loved Vegas so much, why did he abandon it? Why not try to save it? The Zeniths, at their core, have proven to be exceptional survivalists. Faced with overwhelming odds of extinction, they chose to flee. Even still, what he achieved... Water to the wasteland, an entire city brought back to life. A thousand years later, the whole place was still on standby, just waiting for someone to come along and wake it up. I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy. Seen one of my machine strike pieces around? <laughs> Hi! <laughs> Happy birthday, Isaac. Daddy sure does love his little big man. She found that recording from the data on your focus. She's been watching it a lot. I think it helps calm her. You know, I used to watch this a lot, too. Whenever I wanted to take my mind off things. Daddy sure does love his little bit. But there's something you need to tell me? While you were gone, I came down here to check on her. Then we started talking. Right, Beta? She's been thinking about how to capture Hephaestus, studying the data Gaia gave her. But we started talking about some other stuff. You know, just getting to know each other, right? And then she told me that one of the Zeniths might be different from the others. Tilda. You saw her at the Hades Proving Lab. Go on. On the way to Earth, the Zeniths never showed their faces. My servitor caretaker referred to them as my benefactors and promised I'd meet them someday when I had learned enough. And then? One day, a data channel opened in my training interface. In it, Tilda was waiting for me, in a virtual replica of a house on a cliff overlooking the ocean. It was beautiful. She showed me 
paintings, books, media files. We met there in secret many times. But a few months later, it stopped. Can you tell us why, Beta? I found some data about Tilda at the Hades Proving Lab. I think she was a liaison between Far Zenith and Zero Dawn. She knew Elizabeth Sobek, that's for sure. Maybe that's why she reached out to you? What else can you tell us about Tilda? She... liked to talk about her paintings. What about herself? Did she ever talk about her life on Earth? How she joined the Zeniths? Something like that? She never said much about herself, and she hated it when I asked too many questions. But I think, back on Earth, she was an expert programmer, given that she built a data channel the other Zeniths couldn't detect. Is there anything else about her that we might be able to use to our advantage? She was the first real person who ever bothered to speak to me. I wasn't really assessing her for strengths and weaknesses. You said that Tilda reached out to you using a data channel? It appeared in my training interface as another assignment. When I opened it, there were a series of intermittent glitches. I realized they formed a transpositional cipher. Instructions on how to open up a new virtual space. When I entered it, my training interface disappeared. Instead of the usual holographic teachers and files, I was in a perfect recreation of her home. And you're sure the other Zeniths never knew about it? To them, it looked like I was still in training, toiling away, alone. So this secret virtual space looked like a house with an ocean view? I could see white caps and hear waves crashing on rocks below. And there were gulls crying outside. Inside, Tilda had frames that showed off her favorite paintings, changing at intervals to match the light. There was an armchair she liked. She'd sit there and gaze outside while I looked through her things. We spent hours in that house. I never wanted to leave. You said Tilda showed you paintings and let you access media files? Every time we met, she showed me a new painting. I, I think she was Dutch. All of her favorite pieces were from their golden age in the 1600s. Portraits, allegories, ships at sea. She had so many. Did it interest you? I liked her media portal. It had so much more than my training interface. Clips, shows, hollows. My favorite was this one called Second Time Around, about a family whose kid comes back after disappearing during the hot zone crisis. Right, but did this portal have anything about the Zeniths themselves? Anything we could use? No. Any information about them was redacted. So Tilda set up a secret virtual space where she could talk to you, a house on a cliff. Then later, she cut you off. But other than the fact that Tilda knew Elizabeth, you don't know why she did those things? I don't, okay? I thought of every possible reason that would make her leave, but whatever I did wrong, I don't know what it is. When I finally met the others, she ignored me. Acted like the data channel never existed. None of this even matters. Tilda's the same as the others. It won't help us defeat them. Okay. Let's leave it at that, then. What's wrong? I'm trying, Varl. But she is tough to take. I'm out there in the wilds, risking my life every day, and all she can do is hide in there and tell us how hopeless it all is. 
I'm sorry. She's had a rough time. But she is really not helping right now. Hmm. You always seem to be on top of everything, so I sometimes forget about what you've been through. I mean, it wasn't that long ago you were so banged up you couldn't even walk. About that. When I pulled you out of the water back near the proving lab, you were muttering Rost's name. You never talk about him, but he raised you, trained you. You must miss him a lot. Of course I do. But I don't have time to think about that now. I need to get back out there. Okay. I'll keep working with Beta. Gaia says she knows a lot about Zero Dawn. And maybe she just needs some time to adjust, and then she can help us with Hephaestus. Sure. But I won't hold my breath. Stiff and cold. I could try to line up the Vista Point image again. I should be within range. I should let her know I'm here. Hey, Zoe. I'm near the Grimhorn site. Can you join me? I'll be there soon. Aloy, I'm glad we can do this together. The Grimhorns we're looking for should be just to the north. Let's go get those control cores. Thank you again. for helping me. If this works, if we can heal the land gods, it will end a generation of suffering for my people. How do you think Fane and the Chorus will take it? They seem to think the tribe's extinction is inevitable. I've had my disagreements with them, but I'd like to see they'll be happy to be one this. There. The Grimhorns. And they're not alone. We'll just have to be smart about this. I'll follow your lead. something other than frost.
try to find where the image is taken. Okay? A bit winded, but I'll be all right. We've got the control cores. I can take them from here. Control cores as requested. Thank you. Gaia showed me a way to scan them and take what we need to update the reboot code. I'll head back to base and get started. When I was a child, there was always enough to eat. The land gods provided for us, and every season we celebrated them. My happiest memories come from those times. Do you really think we can bring them back? We'll make it happen. Thank you, Aloy. So we'll probably need some time to sort through those cores. I should do something else in the meantime. I'll find this in my stash later.
Alexis to send all kinds of messages back in. Aloy. Hey, how's everything going? I am well, but Varl told me Beta's having a hard time adjusting to life here with us. I wish there was something I could do to help. I'm not sure any of us can. A tree won't bear fruit in a day. We'll do our best to make her feel welcome. Now that you have those control cores, are you ready to reboot the land gods in Plainsail? Not yet. Gaia told me the reboot code has to be altered using data from the cores. She updated my focus with software to accomplish this task, but apparently it's very complicated. It'll take time. Well, let me know if you need any help. I will. Are you guys training with Aaron as well? If you count trying to stick a spear in his gut as training, then yes. Are you serious? Of course not. Good. I was going for a couple of broken bones. He called the Utaru leaf grazers. Laughed at the idea of us simple farmers being formidable fighters. Before I knew it, he and I were battling it out in the common room. The man is slow, but he can throw a hammer around. Don't look so worried. We're evenly matched. For now. Next time he's going down like a load of boar dump. Just try not to kill each other. Injuring his pride should be good enough. Is there anything I can help with around here? Hmm? Oh, no. We're doing fine. Are you okay? You and Varl have been friends for a while. I like to think so. I was wondering... What do you know about his mother? Oh. That bad, huh? Why do you want to know? He's spoken of his sister, Vala, but... I noticed he avoids talking about his mother. She's the war chief of the Nora. Best warrior the tribe's ever known. Tougher than a Thunderjaw, but she could be pretty harsh at times. I see. That must have been hard on him. Thank you for telling me. I feel silly not being able to ask Varl directly. I wouldn't worry about it. He's probably afraid Sona will scare you off someday. I'd like to see her try. Found anything else combing through that data? Varl and I have been looking into the animals of the old world. Apparently there used to be thousands more species roaming around than there are today. Can you imagine that? I'd give anything to see them. Even as holograms. Though I know that without Artemis or Apollo, that may prove difficult. At least I can find comfort in knowing Gaia used many of them as inspiration for her machines. Her memory honors them. What are you going to learn next? I'm not sure. I asked Gaia for suggestions, and she brought up data you found on something called a... Museum? From what I gather... The Old Ones would store knowledge in them for all to see and learn from. Like you've done here, for us. Maybe one day, more people will be able to use this place to learn the way we have. That sounds... crowded, but nice. The Zenith did a number on Veda. But she seems to trust Varl. I still can't believe she told him the Zeniths are immortals. Old ones who cut themselves off from the cycle of life and decay. I've never heard of anything so selfish. To deny our dying bodies to the Earth. To doom the life that would bloom in their place. It's... despicable. I should get going. Good luck on your search. Where'd Catalo go? The old ones created so many wonderful inventions to help others, to help the planet. The technology really can be an amazing thing.
Looks like Arendt and Catalo moved their stuff in. Looks like some of the holograms are working now. I have repurposed the displays to track Regala's activity in the region. A useful... Mind if we have a word? Of course not. I heard my friend Talana came by the base. Did you get a chance to meet her? Briefly. A bold woman going into Tanakh territory with that Karja armor of hers. She'll be lucky if my people don't shoot her on sight. She'll be careful. She's just looking for someone who might need her help. Whoever it is, they better be worth dying for. Have you had a chance to speak with Varl? Briefly. He fought well against Regala's troops at Baron Light. Are all Nora as skilled as the two of you? I'm not exactly one of them. But anyway, the Nora can hold their own. They managed to push the Karja from their lands. I thought my tribe was the only one to have done that. Impressive. Does it still hurt? It comes and goes. I try not to think about it, but its absence is always present for me. It's difficult to explain. I can't claim to understand. Only empathize. Then you have my thanks. Have you spoken with Erend at all? I've had little chance to. I did see him bring some ale from out east. That stuff's as bitter as self-brush. You get used to it, eventually. In fact, I wouldn't mind a drink myself. I'm sure Erend wouldn't mind sharing. You said you were training with the Focus? That's right. I've been watching holograms of your first fight with the Zenith Spectres. They are faster and more agile than any machines I've faced before. How many do the Zeniths have? I'm not sure. Probably a lot. I would not wish to face them en masse. I'm with you there. It must be strange. Seeing everything through a focus now. I can see machines like never before. Their strengths and weaknesses simply reveal themselves to me. To think that such a tiny object might be the most powerful weapon I've ever possessed. What do you think of this place? It must take some getting used to. It's an efficient center of operations and an acceptable training facility. Though it could use some more... color. Duly noted. Getting Aether out of the grove made for quite a spectacle. One that showed the entire tribe that Hikaro's mission for peace is the correct path, for it is now blessed by the Ten themselves. I should get going. If I can help in some way, say the word. I will. Thank you. Looks like Gaia was able to unlock that door. There's a lot of equipment in here. Gaia? What was all this for? This room was designed for management of the facility's vast sea banks. From here, Control center operatives would have monitored new crop rotations into the automated farmlands, now known as Plainsong. I see.
I know Varl meant well bringing up Rost. I just... I guess it's hard to talk about. With everything going on, it feels easier to set those memories aside. At least for now. Beta's has been... difficult to figure out. She's just so closed off. I get that the Zeniths were cruel to her, that the one called Tilda abandoned her, but I can't get her out of her shell. I don't know. Maybe nothing can. Are you sure that's what the data says? Hey, got a sec? Of course. You feeling okay? I was just thinking about Beta and all that time spent with the Zeniths. To think someone would make a person just to lock them in a room to use when needed, like some sort of tool. Elizabeth Sobek sacrificed herself for the world, and yet they have no trouble treating Beta like a slave. Another reason we have to stop them. How's training? Discovering something new about our past every day. When we first met, you asked me if I ever wondered what this world looked like when the old ones lived here. I had thought it was strange at the time, but a lot has changed since I left the Embrace. Now I'm just trying to make sense of everything I thought I knew, and versus everything I know now. The change is hard, but it gets easier over time. It's hard to believe we're dealing with the original Zeniths. The same ones that left for Sirius a thousand years ago. To live on for so long, it doesn't seem natural. Because it's not. That weapon we found where Beta was hiding, any chance we can use that against them? Silence made sure that wasn't an option. Why would he build something to hurt Far Zenith, yet allow them to capture you? With Silence, there's always an angle. We just don't know what it is yet. What do you make of this Tilda that Beta was talking about? Well, the way she described it, I can't shake off the feeling that Tilda wanted something from Beta. Maybe because she's Elizabeth Sobek's clone? But whatever she wanted, I don't think she got it. If we knew what it was, maybe we could use it to our advantage somehow. Uh, I don't know. I don't think Tilda and Elizabeth were on the best of terms. Oh well. At least we can take some comfort in knowing the Zeniths don't trust each other. Maybe. You brought up Rost before. I do think about him. You know, he was all I had. And he brought me up the best he could. Not only that, when Hades discovered who I was and sent the Eclipse after me, he sacrificed himself so I could survive. But that seems like ages ago. So much has happened since. What I'm doing now, I don't think he could even begin to understand it. The Sacred Lands were all he really knew. So I can't let myself dwell on him. Not with everything I have to do. I understand. Sometimes, when I think about my sister, about what she would have become if she had survived the Proving, it hurts. And I just need to bury it for a while. But only for a while, Aloy. You can't ignore it forever. Memories always come back. The ones that matter, anyway. I know. But for now, the mission has to come first. Fair enough. I should get back out there. We'll be here if you need us. Aloy. Uh, it's everything all right? It, it seemed like you and Varl were down in that basement for a while. Yeah, everything's fine, I guess. Well, okay. Uh, what, what can I do for you? How are things going around here? Hey, you tell me. Varl's new girlfriend tried to kill me earlier. So I hear. I made one joke about how they, you know, eat grass a lot. How does anyone fight with nothing but tree leaves in their stomach, anyway? From the looks of it, the Utaru. Yeah, well... 
I wasn't expecting it to be that fast. Just try not to get hurt. Are you playing that board game I keep seeing everywhere? Oh, you mean strike? Yeah, I'm just trying to you know, get some practice in. Helps take my mind off things. Yeah, it's a Tanakh game. I thought about playing Catalo, but what if he tries to kill me if I win? I think you're safe. Yeah, I don't know. Heard a lot of things about that tribe. Do I smell ale? I brought some over from Chain Scrape. And with everything that's been going on, I thought we could all use a drink. Besides, there is nothing that brings people together like a good brew. That's what my sister always said, anyways. You're more than welcome to have some. Maybe another time. You still sifting through loads of data? Yeah, it's interesting. There's lots of words. I, I thought maybe I could try finding things with more, you know, pictures in it. Not much luck there, but I, I did find out about these uh, holofilms. Like images put together to tell a story. Uh, they were made to look like they were the real thing. You know, the Osaram like shows. I bet they pay a lot of shards for those hollows. It seems like you're getting a hang of this data thing. Yeah, it's been helpful. When I can make sense of anything. I did find the old ones enjoyed a good brew like the rest of us. Only they let machines serve the stuff in bars. They even let the damn things cut you off before you saw the underside of a table. Uh, and that's half the fun. Now, you won't see me letting a robot serve me a pitcher anytime soon. I should get going. Back to reading, I guess. Do be careful out there. A few days ago, I came across a massive bloom of flowers east of the grove. Old Dorica was out there, too. I offered to escort her back to Scalding Spear, but she refused. She's an accomplished soldier, to be sure. But her spear isn't as sharp as it used to be, if you get my meaning. If I'm out there, I'll keep an eye out for her. If you walk by, you'll miss out on a good trade. I've got nothing to report. Stay alert, soldier. Getting quieter without the rain. That Osaram camp Talana and I were trying to find should be around here. Closing in on the signal. Chase me all the way back to camp. Close it. 
Talana, glad to see you made it. Thanks to the secret passage through your base. It was quite a sight. Secret passage? Don't let the others hear you say that, or you'll have a lot of Asura knocking at your door. And you are? This is Raggart. He's a scout with this caravan. He says Amadis was here. He joined up with our expedition right before we went through the tunnel. After we made camp here, I set out to do some scouting. I also made peace offerings to the Tanakh for trespassing in their territory. Amadis wanted me to ask around about some place called... The Rot. What did you find out? Most I learned was that it's where the Tanakh took their prisoners. Somewhere far to the west near Thornmarsh, the Lowland Clan's capital. He set out to find it not long after. Uh, on his own? I tried to warn him, but... He was dead set on going. What happened when you went through the tunnel? Nothing. Our crew split into two groups to pass through. Everyone here was part of the first crossing. Aside from some pitch black passages, it was quiet. Whatever befell the second group spared us. Steel Spark be praised. But you best talk to Porkov about that. He knows a bit more than I do. Did Amadis say anything about why he was heading to the Rot? Afraid not. He was a man of few words. Sounds like him. Did he look okay to you? More or less. He seemed shaken when we learned the tunnel had collapsed behind us. But then again, so was everyone around here. So you're a scout for this crew. Anything I should know about the area? Where to start? Down south we got a trio of Osirum trying to delve into the ruins in the sand. Moreland and his showman. Yeah. That's the fellow. They're quite a spectacle on their own, let me tell you. And then there are all the other folk, who broke away as soon as we got to this side of the tunnel. Salvagers, explorers, all sorts of daring venturers. Just how many of you were there? Enough to lose track, that's for sure. I've also spotted some rebels a while back, too. Seems like they've been patrolling the desert. Heard all about the rebellion from the Tanakh up in Scalding Spear. That's the Desert Clan's capital, north of here. Sounds like you've really gotten to know the area. It's what I do. Thanks, Raggart. This has been helpful. Hope you find him. Okay, I'll head for Thormarsh. Meet me there. Hold on. What? You're willing to go to the ends of Tanakh territory to find this guy. No hesitation. Of course, he's one man alone in the Forbidden West. I'm just worried about him. I think it's more than that. I'll meet you near the Lowland capital. But then, you're going to tell me who Amadis really is. Fine, I'll lay low, north of the village. See you there. Tanakh like we have company. Why not? You might want to avoid going too deep into the desert, especially the southwest. One of our scouts ran into some nasty Tanakh down there, the kind that contain machines. He barely made it back alive. Thanks for letting me know. It's not like the rebels are as friendly as ever. Are you lost? Spark to steel! Aren't you a jewel in a junk heap? Excuse me? Hold the hammer. I know you. You're that Nora. <laughs> the savior! My savior! Right in the nick of time. The name's Poor Guff Delvesman, chief delver and leader of Poor Guff's expeditioners and purveyors of fine delvewares. What am I saving you from, exactly? Death and despair, my steel flame friend. See, this grand expedition here has had a, a minor setback. Not far from here, there's a secret tunnel. A passage of the old ones, lost and then found. Me and half the crew came through first. The other half was supposed to follow right after. But days later, only one man turned up. Shivering like a frog in chill water. Only thing we got out of him was that death and darkness chased them as the tunnel collapsed. Died with his eyes wide, he did. I've been to the tunnel's eastern side. The way was blocked by rubble. There was also a body, 
one of your delvers, I guess, but no sign of the rest of the crew. Keep your voice down, will you? The rest of the crew's already spooked. They're refusing to press on with the delve until they are short a way out of here. You lost half your crew and you're worried about the delve. We gotta make their sacrifice worth something, right? And besides, now that you're here, maybe our sand stranded days are over. Help me get that tunnel reopened, and I'll cut you in on the Delver's fee. What do you say? So this camp, it's your base of operations? What operations? The plan was to move further south once the rest of the expedition joined us. The Delver's right out beyond those dunes. But now the crew refuses to budge until this tunnel mess gets sorted out. They've even given this place a name. Camp Nowhere. I think they're mocking me. Yeah, I think they are. How did you learn about this secret tunnel? The art of the Delve, of course. A Delve is only as good as his no sense for good sights. All right, fine. I heard about three Osram who knew a way to bypass those bloodthirsty Tanakh. Tap the untouched Delves of the West. So then I may have employed someone with the know-how for finding and following. A spy. Look. If the rumors are true, there's enough delving to employ a dozen operations. But someone has to take the first plunge, establish a base camp, set up a reliable supply route, guard the site against machines. Figures the Osram would turn sand into shards, I guess. Exactly. What do you know about this area? Well, north of here you got those vicious Tanakh. I heard rumor they drink blood instead of water. That's how they survive this wasteland. And south, it has it all. Death, desert, and the delve. Imagine, if you will, a vast grave of the old ones. Ruins of twisted metal concealed by the sands. All guarded by machines. So fierce that you'll wish you had a flock of glint hawks swooping down on you instead. Not even the Tanakh venture into the ruins depths. Only the bravest explorers dare enter. I've been down there. Have you now? I've yet to lay eyes on the treasures myself, but I will, eventually. I'll see what I can do about the tunnel. Ha-ha! <laughs> My savior. For the crew trapped here with you, not your delve. One and the same. That it? Over there? That it is. Oh, and while you're at it, would you mind keeping an eye out for my lockbox? The second crew was supposed to bring the rest of the supplies and belongings. I'd hate to lose it to the wilds. It was hand-carved by my dear old Ma. I'll bring it back if I find it. I'd appreciate it. Good luck, Still Flame. Tanakh rebels hold up at an outpost nearby need a beating, Huntress. That girl was wound up tighter than a twisted spring. Now she's in the wilds, all alone. Forge knows all the things that could kill her out there. Someone ran off? I forgot her name. Kept quiet. Couldn't tell if she was shy or scared. All I know is she didn't want anyone near her things. That's for sure. I was just curious is all. She didn't have to slug me. Your glass jaw ain't the problem, Lugnut. The girl is. All alone in the bush? And this is Tanakh territory. Which way did she go? West, up the slope. Look for her if you can. I will. Careful now. The girl's maladjusted. Why would she just run out? Because I saw other people. Ugh. If I have to eat more. Tanakh rebels hold up at an outpost nearby need a beating hunter. Whoever's in charge and take them out.
Purge one room will make this easier. Stash this away for later. in charge and take them out. Right, these corners and shredding jaws were enough for in the Forbidden West, huh? He must be pretty daring. Foolhardy, more likely. But they got a crew digging up ancient relics southeast of Stone's Echo. Just your kind of thing. You know me well. Thanks, Aaron. I wonder what they found. Brains as loud as beating drums.
Thorn Marsh. Quite a sight, isn't it? Never thought I'd find myself this deep in Tanakh territory. Have you run into any trouble? I've been keeping my head down. Had to duck into the swamps a couple of times to avoid Tanakh patrols. Well, I'm here now, so spill it. Who is Amatis, really? Like I said before, he helped me put a stop to a hunter-killer machine out in the wilds. At first, he thought I was just another hunter from the lodge who only cared about the biggest machine trophy. And I thought he was just a grouchy hermit living in the woods. But then, he trusted me with the truth. Told me how the Red Raids took everything from him. Seeing that side of him, I don't know, changed things. You love him, don't you? I think I might, yeah. Then why did you part ways? When he told me how he failed to save the woman from his past, I told him how I made peace with my father and brother's deaths. He realized he needed to do the same on his own. Wait. When we searched that Red Raid's battlefield together, you said he'd lost someone close to him there. I thought you meant a fellow soldier. She was. Women aren't allowed to serve in the Karja army, but Nessa disguised herself so she could. Amadis kept her secret. When he left to come out west, he promised he'd send word that he was all right, but his letter never came. So you set out to find him. And when we do, I'll have words for him for leading us on this wild goose chase. Well, at least I kind of understand now. Amadis thought Nessa died on the battlefield, but when he learned that the Tanakhs took prisoners back west, he kept going. So I guess now we find this prison, the Rot. I did some scouting while I was waiting. I think I might have found the way. Lead on then. Do you think Nessa might still be alive? I doubt it. Any Karja prisoners from the Red Raids would have been killed or returned home by now. Then what's Amadis after? I think he just needs to know. Over here, you flaming hunk of scrap. That's him. That fire claws right on his heels. The next bit alone. Come on. We've got your back. Talana, I... You were supposed to let me know you were okay. I was going to send the message right after I crossed into the desert with an Asaram caravan. But when it became clear that the tunnel had collapsed behind this, I figured the only thing I could do was press on. Seeing as you found a way out here, however, clearly I was wrong. I'm sorry. The last thing I wanted was to worry you. So, you must be Amadis. And you must be Aloy. Talana's told me a lot about you. And I guess you must know about me. Uh, a little. We know you're headed for the Rot. But what are you hoping to find there? A clue. Or a shred of one. Anything about Ness's fate. Maybe she died on the battlefield. Or maybe she wasted away in that prison. Either way, I have to know. 
Talana told me about you and Nessa during the Red Raids, that you kept her secret. We were both assigned to the Southern Spear Division. Our orders were to push into Tanakh territory through the tunnel. She was proud to serve the Sundan at first. But as the atrocities mounted, we both saw the raids for what they were. And the two of you grew close? We did what we could to protect innocent lives. It felt like we were the only ones who objected to the slaughter. And yes, we were close. Until the Battle of the Burning Blooms. What happened at the Battle of the Burning Blooms? I had intel that the Tanakh forces were greater than we had anticipated. I tried to convince my commander to halt the attack. He was a drunken lout. And when I threatened to reveal his incompetence to Karja High Command, he pulled a knife on me. So I... killed him. In self-defense. It was still murder. I was condemned, but I thought at least I could still save Nessa. I was too late. By the time I got to the battle, the fields were already burning. Our soldiers slaughtered or missing. What's more, the commander I had killed was from a powerful noble house. They put a bounty on my head. I've been on the run ever since. But the Red Raids are long over. Sun King Avad would pardon you if he knew... The Sun King can't help me. A pardon from Avad won't stop bounty hunters eager to claim their prize. So, you and Talana, um, sounds like the two of you had an adventure out in the wilds. Claw Striders, a hunter killer, mercenaries, a shell snapper. Nothing could get in her way. A scruffy hermit in the woods certainly tried. That was foolish of him, in hindsight. Well, we're here now, so let's head to the rot. I can't ask you to come with me. I feel bad enough you've come this far. I didn't come all this way just to leave you now. We'll see this through together. I know better than to try to talk you out of it. Come then. The rot's not far. The rot's along the shore, but we'll have to stick to the woods to avoid being seen. How did you find it? I overheard a Tanuk patrol from the nearby village talking about it. Figured it out from there. What were you gonna do if we hadn't found you? Take it on alone? I only need to question one guard. Figured I'd grab someone when they're by themselves. Well, now you have us. We're getting close. There it is. The rot. Those are Regal's rebels. They're waging civil war against the rest of the Tanakh. They must have taken over the prison. Then they would have killed any of the guards. They were my last hope of finding out if Nessa was there. Maybe not. There might still be some clue inside. Even after all this time? Aloy can see much more than you or I. And let's do it. Any scrap of hope is better than nothing. We'll have to find another way in. The front gate looks impenetrable. And there's no way we're scaling those walls. You two stay here. I'll see if I can find another way in and get that gate open. I should check around the sides. Might be a way in from the water.
Gotta get to the main gates led to Lana and Amadison. Someone must have seen something. Stop and surrender. There's someone! <laughs> End of the line, Outlanders. That device is gonna call a machine.
Here. Door's locked, but that last rebel had a key on it. Freed by Karja? Have we not been humiliated enough? It's not their fault you were locked up in your own prison. I'm looking for information about a Karja soldier. She might have been a prisoner here five years back. Her name was Nessa. The Karja Nessa was here. I killed her myself. Nessa? I'll handle this. Go secure the grounds. It's you, isn't it? Nessa, how? It's Why? Rataka. Uh, let me get this straight. You were Nessa. You were brought here as a prisoner during the Red Raids and then became Tanax? The Karja forbid women from military service. I lived my life pretending, ashamed of who I really was. But the Tanakh measure a soldier only by their strength and resolve. So I took my place among them. Ness... Rataka, I've mourned you for five years. Why didn't you let me know you were alive? I had a new life. I wasn't going back. Not even for you, Amadis. The way Amadis talked about your time together, I... Thought you'd still care about him. It was five years ago. I didn't abandon you. Before the battle, I tried to get Gadaya to call off the attack, but of course, he didn't listen. I ended up killing him. Then he got what he deserved. I ran for the battlefield to find you. But you were already gone by the time I got there. I didn't know. But even if I did, I mourned you, and then I moved on. If you were brought here as a prisoner, how did you become Tanakh? I knew it was only a matter of time before the Tanakh killed me and the others who were held captive. But one day, one of their soldiers stopped in front of my cell, asked how a woman had ended up fighting for the Mad Sun King. As he spoke, I realized he was once Karja. Fashav. I heard how he fell at the embassy. He deserved a better death than that. The other prisoners he condemned to death, but he convinced the Tanakh to let me fight for my life. I won through blood and blade. I became Rataka, and never looked back. You were willing to wear a disguise so that you could serve in the Karja army. Do you miss being Karja at all? No. The Red Raids showed me there was no honor in fighting for the Karja. And when my comrades and I were brought here as prisoners, we knew no one would ever come for us. I would have, had I known. It's better this way. Beneath my Karja armor, I found I had the blood of a Tanakh. So if you became Tanakh, how did you end up as a prisoner here again? My squad was ordered to retake the rot from Regala's rebels. We failed. Considering how much Regala seems to hate the Karja, I'm surprised her rebels let you live. You're right. I'd be dead if they knew. But few Tanakhs remember who I once was. What will you do now? You've taken back the rot. My squad will ensure it stays that way. So this is it? After everything we've been through, this is goodbye? It has to be. My place will always be here, and yours is back east. I'm sorry that you've suffered. You deserve better than how the last five years have treated you. I'll make sure you're granted safe passage out of the lowland. Consider it Nessa's final farewell. At least now you know the truth. Somehow it hurts worse. You must think I'm an idiot. No. I just think you have a lot to figure out. I'll take you back east to the Sendim. After that... I don't know. Talana, I... understand. I'm sorry it came to this. Me too. Give me an Aloy a moment. 
Are you all right? To be honest, no. What's going to happen between you two? I'm not sure. He clearly has a lot more feelings to sort through. And I won't be anyone's second choice. I want you to have this. For seeing this through with me. No hawk could ask for a better thrush. Or a better friend. So, I guess this is it then. You're heading back east. I think I'll hang around Baron Light for a while, before returning to Meridian. If you find yourself back that way, look for me there. I will. Safe travels, Talana. Maybe I should check in with her the next time I'm at Baron Light. Seems like she could use a shoulder to lean on. Savior, you're my last hope. Conover, she's Meridian's savior, not yours. It's just Aloy. What do you want? Please, no one will listen. But the Eclipse, they're here in the don't. Really, Conover? Aloy's the one that defeated them. You're bothering her with this hogwash now? Some of them must have fled west after the battle at the Alight. I saw one of our sentries, Lorovic, sneaking off to meet with one. I tried to eavesdrop, but they spotted me. And then Lorovic tried to kill me. I... fought back. It was him or me. Unfortunately, there's no hard evidence that connects Lorovic to the Eclipse. And since Conover doesn't deny killing his fellow soldier, Nozar sentenced him to death. What makes you so sure Lorovic was working with the Eclipse? Well, I was too far to hear everything. But I heard them both say the word Eclipse. It's not the most outlandish claim I've heard, but it's up there. Crying Eclipse is a convenient way to dodge a death sentence. If I have to die, so be it. But if we ignore this threat, others are going to die too. Tell me exactly what happened. Weeks ago, during a shift change, some trespassers slipped through the gate. By the time anyone noticed, they were halfway out the canyon. Nozar didn't see the need to give chase. Let the Tanakh take care of them, he said. Nozar wasn't one to be sidetracked, sun rest his soul. He tightened up the patrol schedules, reprimanded the sentries, and everyone moved on. But I couldn't stop thinking about it. None of us are careless out here, meaning someone left it open on purpose. And Larovic, well, he's always grumbling about officers. But on this, he was too quiet. And after the incident, he started acting... different. Jumpy. So when I spotted him sneaking out of the barracks after hours, I followed. I found him arguing with a stranger, and when Larovic mentioned the Eclipse, I, I tried getting closer, but... they heard me. The stranger took off, and Larovic lunged at me with his knife. Instincts took over. Sentries heard the scuffle and found me standing over his body. Why don't you believe him? We combed the woods, searched Larovic's bunk, searched it again, didn't find anything. Look, Conover's a good man. I don't believe he murdered Larovic in cold blood. But Nozar only listened to facts, 
and those who remain follow his example. And that fact is, Conover killed his fellow sentry. He doesn't deny it, right? No, but more eclipses are out there. And considering there's no evidence backing up this eclipse story, well, we can't question a dead man. But hey, if you find a bunch of eclipse soldiers hatching an evil plot in the woods, please do let us know. The meeting you witnessed, did you hear anything else about their plans? No. But the clearing where they met is just east of here, across the river. A dozen soldiers have already searched at Conover. There's nothing there. I can see things others can't. If the Eclipse are in the Daunt, I'll find them. Thank you, Aloy. Sun bless your search. Don't get your hopes up, soldier. Hey, what happened here? What do, what do you care? Don't you? As it happens? No. You know, I was already having a crappy day, and now these, these two idiots picked my shift to climb the damn mountain. Wouldn't be so bad if this one weren't so heavy. Wait, two idiots? Did I stutter? Yeah, two. I heard another one shouting up top. Sounds like they got caught between sharp claws and a sharper fall. Someone's in trouble. Uh, aren't you gonna do something? <laughs> Self-inflicted. And I got my hands full with this one. You're seriously not going to help. You seriously are? <sighs> Someone's in trouble at the top of the cliff. I better get...
つのところだ。Gave me for Demeter or close. Let's see that one. Damn. Hold your fire! I'm not here to fight! The barbarian's pinned down. Move in! Okay, whoever these people are, it looks like we're not gonna be friends. I need to get past these hostels and into the ruins. Get to Demeter fast in case there's more of them. According to Gaia, it should be somewhere in these ruins. I'll find this in my stash later. Like some sort of old office complex. Should be right beyond that door. But those vines are blocking the way. Unless I can cut through them, I'm gonna need to find another way in.
Just got off the line with U.S. Robot Command. Time's running out. Didn't have the heart to tell Harris that our cure might be worse than the disease. Even if adamantine wreath works, we still have to prove we can curtail the trailing plants efficiently. But Cobble's team is working on it over at Test Station Ivy. He'll come through. He has to. Adamantine wreath. Another secret project. Well, they made the metal flowers here and the vines, so... Maybe I can find a way to destroy them. If I can find Test Station Ivy. How do I get out of here? There we go. Great. These guys again. Whoever they are, they want me dead. I better be careful. Okay. I could take those soldiers out quietly. There's a barbarian in the compound. She got past the lookout. Find her, kill her, and bring her head to the lieutenant. Understood. This is a strange land. This diplomacy is off the table. Strange. I mean, deadly. What you the... missed! There's movement out there. You'd better check. You think we're under attack? I've got nothing. Who is that? You! Don't you! You all right? Yeah. Hope it hurts. Rub it! Instead of trying to kill me. Oh no, I need to find a way out of this courtyard. That door looks promising.
I submit. Do as you will. I didn't want to fight your friends out there. They attacked me. If by death alone I can atone our trespass. Look, I'm not gonna kill you, okay? I just want to figure out what's going on. Where did you get that focus? I am of the Chosen People. The Quen? The Ancestors left the power of the Focus to us alone, the Eye that reveals the Legacy. The Legacy, huh? The Legacy? Uh, the Truth. Now, it is in the darkness and the lost places, among the ancient ashes and the bones of the before that it lies waiting. You know, as a Diviner, it is my task to seek it out for the good of my people. You're looking for data. Maybe we can help each other. What's your name? Alpha. Second diviner of the Eastern Expedition. I'm Aloy. Why don't we start again? I've never heard of the Quen. Our lands lie across the Great Ocean. We haven't been here before. So why come now? Our homeland has been ravaged by freakish weather. Terrible storms and blistering droughts. The crops are failing, the people are starving. When we looked for answers, it was proposed that if we had the courage to cross the ocean to Legacy's landfall, then we might earn the knowledge we need to save our people. But so far, that knowledge has eluded us. So, your people call this place Legacy's Landfall? No. Uh, landfall is where we arrived. To the west, in the shadows of the sunken city by the Broken Bridge. You mean San Francisco? Yes. You're well versed in the Legacy. It was a place of great importance to our ancestors. We had hoped to learn their secrets there, but so far that door remains closed. Even so, the data we discovered there has led us to this place. It might be our last chance. To find something that can save your crops and your people. Yes. If the ancestors will be generous to us once more. So you said your ancestors left your tribe that focus? Yes. Thirteen diviners have possessed this one since it was discovered among the ruins in our homeland. I have their honored names committed to memory. So you have one, but none of the soldiers out there did. We each have a role to play. No, it is the Diviner's purpose to seek out the legacy, interpret the wisdom of our ancestors for the good of all, and to keep it safe, so that no one but the Diviners know how to use a focus. Not even the Imperial family, and certainly not soldiers. So how many Diviners are there? At Landfall, a small group. Uh, back at home, a few dozen more. That's a guess. Uh, only the Overseers know for sure, and I am not of their rank. So you call Data from the ancient past the Legacy? Yes. All that is not lost or forbidden. What does that mean? All that we are capable of reading, and that which is permitted. Okay, I'm not sure I get it. That's fine. Um, so what do you use the data for? The greatest secrets are the ones that improve the lives of many. How to tend our crops, how to hold floodwaters back, or even cross the ocean. Technology? That is what I seek here. Technology that can help my people back home. Those soldiers... They open fire on me without warning. Why? Uh, it is the duty of the Quen to seek out the legacy and defend it from the ignorant and envious. Not that you seem ignorant. But back home, other tribes only mean us harm, and we were told the same was true here. Does that come from your legacy? The legacy is truth. But we have been known to misinterpret it. I hope time and the wisdom of our ancestors will guide us down the correct path. Yeah. I hope so too.
I'm looking for a place in this facility called Test Station Ivy. Have you found any data that mentions it? No. Uh, but I did find something that looks like a map. Uh, but it was unreadable. Lost. Maybe I can make some sense of it. Uh, there. There's a lot of files here. <sighs> I've been through all of them. Look in the GH facility section. Like I said, a lost file. You can't see the map? It's okay. It looks like your focus is an early model. The operating system won't be able to read any files created after the mid-2050s. But I could share them with you. Share them? <gasps> you can see what is lost. And forbidden. Not lost. Not forbidden. Just a newer format. There. That's where I need to go. Oh, but you can't get there. We've been here for a week trying to get deeper into the complex. The way has been blocked by rubble. Well, what about this tunnel? It looks like it unlocks from here. No. I thought these might be some kind of access controls, but I couldn't read enough data to make them work. Well, let's try with my focus. Okay? I believe these consoles were meant to be operated in unison, but I'm not sure. Okay, here we go. Following your lead. The ancestors have shown us the way. Come on, let's go. You want me to come with you? It took both of us to open up that tunnel, didn't it? According to the map, there should be another exit further in. Just stay close. Lead the way.
wall. here. Oh, a dead end. Maybe we should try and... We haven't tried that smaller tunnel over there. According to the map, the exit should be this way. I'll be glad to get back above ground. Yeah, it feels like a tomb down here. They fly to him from the complex several times a day. Only the ancestors know why. Well, the ancestors are dead, Elva. Of course. How else could they be ancestors? <sighs> Looks like we have more pressing concerns. Follow my lead. Later. <sighs> Machines. We can fight them. Or we'll try to sneak past. <laughs>
a vent. I think I can pull it open. The entrance to the complex. Looks like it's locked off. to be some other way to get into the facility. Can't hook onto that. Got it. I'm right behind you. Maybe we can get through that hatch on the ground. It looks like the one we used at the first station. There's consoles up here too! But no way to get to them. You stay put. I'll see what I can find. down here can help me reach the consoles. <laughs> Gonna need a data key for this lock. I think I can move these things. go. Huh. There's some space back there. Aha. This should help. Consoles. Exactly. Hold it there. Let me just. I jumped on top. Hold on. restricting access if I can't get past it my mission here is doomed Alva I'll help if I can okay but first we have to get out of here right we need to open the hatch 
Okay, let's see. Okay. I'm unlocking a storage unit. There should be a power cell inside. Then you need to find a way into the generator room. Okay, I'm on it. I found the energy cell. Now find a way into the generator room. Doesn't look like the generator is It has to be so. to, uh, uh, blow up a wall? I'll, uh, try. Okay. That brought power back to the doors. You can reach me now. On my way. Operate both consoles simultaneously to open the hatch. I'll get to the other console. You stay here. Ready when you are. Okay, you ready? On two. One, two. Commencing adamantine refundability test scenario 12C15. Okay, that's where we need to go. Magnetic field engaged. Initiating biomass conversion process. What? No, 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 no. How do I shut this thing off? Failsafe exceeded. Test cannot be aborted. What is this? That's how the world ended. Test complete. Adamantine restructural integrity uncompromised. What did we just see? Let's meet below. I'm gonna share a file with you, okay? Test log, um, uh, I think it's Tuesday... ...the second? Oh, who cares? I'll say this for the end of the world. It's jam-packed with irony. We developed biomass conversion here. Infinite food for infinite machines. And now we're racing against time to find something to give them indigestion. Well, it works. War machines won't be able to eat the reeds. But can we deploy them in time? God, I hope so. I don't understand. Your ancestors? They were wiped out. Your legacy didn't tell you that? The Time of Ashes. But most of the data about that is lost, or forbidden. Well, they created machines that consumed all life. You just saw how. 
It's a miracle anything survived. I don't want to know this. This is not why I'm here. I need the wisdom of my ancestors to help save my people, not forbidden knowledge of their sins. I need to find something that helps, something to bring back. The overseers will punish me, or even worse, people will die. Do you understand? My family, my sister. I left her when she was 14. Already you could see her bones. They will starve. Alva. Alva. I get it. I do. It's hard to explain, but you and I are working toward the same goal. And if I succeed, your people won't need any data. Things will just... They will get better. But even if I believe you, my people won't. I need to bring something back. Okay. Then we'll go to Test Station Ivy. And if I can find a way to kill those vines, then I will have access to the data core. What I need is in there. I'm pretty sure that if I take it, it will unblock access to all the data that this place has. And that will give you something to bring home. I'm not sure I understand. But... Every secret makes its own maze. A diviner must persevere. Go on. I'll follow. Okay, let's find a way to get into the proving ground. <laughs> that complex should be test station ID. your guard up. Whoa! It's one of those machines. It can turn invisible. We're gonna have to take it out to get into the test station.
Oh, you helped. We should be able to get into Testation Ivy now. There has to be some data here on the adamantine wreath we can use. I trust your focus will see what mine can offer. Oh, that's interesting. Find something? The fourth test station. Willow. It looks like it's underwater. Huh. This console's still up. Huh. That might be worth a look sometime. Another log. All their efforts were in vain. They ran out of time. At least we have the software module they created. It should get rid of the vines produced by the metal flowers. I need a workbench to load the module into my spear. There is one back at our camp. The map showed a path leading back there past the next room. here. We'll have to climb up. Right behind you! <laughs> Stuff for the... We can use the line to get down. We get to that data core. As I was saying, I still can't believe you took on all these soldiers by yourself. But we better make haste. After we encountered barbarians, our lieutenant called for reinforcements. They could be here any time. Right. This new module works. Power gaming. Let's see if the software works. Silence. 
They're falling apart. The floor is clear now. you do? I've never seen my focus glitch like that. Uh, I found a special type of data. It's something you can't read. But they kept a tight grip on the data core. But now you should have access to the central server. All of it. Should give you something to bring home. You were right. Hundreds of archives. Almost all of it relating to agriculture. It would take us years to get through all of this, but we don't have that kind of time. Uh, what you said before about... <coughs> uh. Alba! Hold your fire! By the word of the ancestors, you must stop. Come, look at who you fired on. That barbarian killed our soldiers! Uh, only those who fired blindly. She is no barbarian. She gave me the data we need. Come, look at her. Can't you see? Elizabeth Sobek stands before you. An ancestor reborn. Diviner. We should bring the Ancestor back. It is we who follow their word, Commander, not the other way around. Uh, my apologies, Dr. Sobek. Our people's faith is strong, but there are those who are not as familiar with the legacy as they should be. You heard the Diviner. The data has been found. You two, with me. The rest of you, meet us back at the beach for return to landfall. I can't talk long. They will have many questions. So do I. Your people know a lot about the past. And about Sobek, I guess, but they're... Please, I must know. What you said before about working towards the same goal? How long will it take? I don't know. A few months? Then you are my family's best hope. Let nothing get in your way. You have opened my eyes to many things, and for that, I thank you. But now you must go. Will I see you again? Soon we return to Legacy's landfall. It might be dangerous for you to go there. Well, tell me how to reach it, just in case. We made landfall on the northeast edge of the sunken city. The currents around the archipelago are vicious, and the only approach is from the south. And it is guarded. Only attempt to go there if you must. Diviner! What's the delay? Please, go. If you attempt to stay here any longer, they may want to take you with us, and that won't go well for anyone. do as Alva says. I need to get Demeter back to Gaia anyway. But I might want to explore the area before I make the trek back to base. And now I can use the vine cutter on those other metal flowers I found earlier.
It is good to see you again, Aloy. I see you have recovered Demeter. With the acquisition of Aether, Poseidon, and Demeter, my heuristic processing density has expanded greatly. I should now be able to absorb Hephaestus. Unfortunately, we have made progress on a plan to capture it. With Varl's encouragement, Beta analyzed all available information on Hephaestus. Its expansion has been rampant. It is too large to be beamcast, and the kernel you have been using could never hold it. Therefore, it must be contained in a location with a direct physical connection to me. A place with two data cores. Two cores? Where would we find a place like that, Gemini? An abandoned cauldron in the desert west of here. Seismic activity disrupted the original construction. Two data cores were built as a result. I've been there. The Tanakh marked the entrance as some kind of ritual ground. We'll have to bring you there by hand. I have devised a blueprint for a suitable, albeit unwieldy, transport rig. It will require two people to carry it to Gemini. I can help. Once I am installed on the first core, I will call down Hephaestus on the other, trapping it. I will then initiate the merge. However, in order to construct the rig, I will need considerable help. Can you build it? I suppose I could, but it's not gonna work. The Zeniths will find you. Minerva won't be able to conceal your location. That is correct. Absorbing Hephaestus will create a significant power surge, easily detected by anyone capable of noticing. But what if there were multiple power surges? To fake out the Zeniths? If Erend, Zoe, and Catalo spread out to the other cauldrons and create their own surges, would those conceal the one at Gemini? Analyzing. Such a tactic might be effective. With Beta's help, we should be able to build a set of handheld pulse generators. I told you it's not gonna work! I did a test. Hephaestus has written Alpha Clearance out of its access module. You'll never be able to capture it! Then we need a higher level of clearance. There is no higher- Ted Pharaoh's Mega Clearance. The one he used to purge the Apollo database and kill the Alphas. To get it, you would have to find Thebes. The private bunker he retreated to when the world ended, and nobody knows where that is, not even the Zeniths. Their only intel was that it was somewhere in San Francisco. That might be all I need. Alva, the Quen Diviner I met, said her people had set up a base at Landfall. They were searching for data in San Francisco from there. She might be able to help. So I guess I'm headed all the way west. While I'm gone. Will you be able to build the rig and the pulse generators? I'll try. I'll make sure she has what she needs. Hova said the Quen have a ferry on the coast that they use to get to the ruins of San Francisco. to go. Hey Gaia, me again. Welcome back, Aloy. Aloy. I have managed to Where shall we an resume? additional room near the servers. Understood. Beta's convinced we won't be able to capture Hephaestus. With that attitude, do you really think she'll be able to build the rig and pulse generators? It may take some coaxing, but with some assistance I am confident she will. I don't get her, Gaia. 
She's so quick to assume we'll fail. She's nothing like... like what I thought she'd be. I guess it'll be best if she stays here when we go to Gemini. All this data I've picked up in ancient bunkers and ruins. I guess I never really thought that other people would be looking at it. Based on my observations, your companions engage quite frequently with this material. Erend has asked on numerous occasions about birthday parties. He appears perplexed by the tradition of serving a sweet confection, as it conflicts with the Oseram tradition of serving sparkling stout ale. He also suggested we host a party for you, as a surprise. Uh, yeah, no thanks. That is what I predicted. Is Catalo getting along with everyone? Yes, though he prefers to spend most of the time alone. He appears to be collating data on war machine progression and significant battles during the Pharaoh Plague. To aid in the creation of a war map of Operation Enduring Victory. I believe he aims to study the tactics of old world warfare. I'd be interested in seeing that. It appears to be a private pastime for him. He has repeatedly declined my offers to assist his research. So now that you have Aether, Demeter, and Poseidon, how's the biosphere looking? In the local region, conditions have improved. Superstorms have subsided. Water sources have been purified and soil conditions remediated. These improvements will stave off environmental collapse for a few additional months. Well, with luck, soon you'll have a Festus. Then you'll be able to fix the biosphere for good, right? Correct. I will be able to design and produce robotic agents to permanently reverse the environmental damage that has accumulated. There's something I've been wondering. How could Ted Farrow create a clearance level higher than Alpha? Elizabeth made sure he wouldn't interfere with the project. It is plausible he tasked his own engineers with creating a backdoor to the Zero Dawn system, without Elizabeth's knowledge. My predecessor did not even know of its existence until he activated it to purge the Apollo database. It is, in effect, a blind spot. One that will allow us to subdue Hephaestus. And fortunately, thanks to Beta's information, we know where Omega Clearance may be procured. Right. Somewhere in San Francisco. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha Clearance. Which is why you will need to procure Ted Farrow's Omega Clearance. Right. From his personal bunker, Thebes. While you are gone, I will assist Beta in building the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega Clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? There are calculations I still must run, but I estimate a few hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zeniths. Sounds like a plan. So Gemini has two data cores. 
I've never seen a cauldron like that. But you mentioned something about seismic activity? When my predecessor attempted to build the cauldron, construction was disrupted by a series of earthquakes. The data core had already been built, but the rest of the facility sustained damage. So, she began again. A second core was built. However, when more tremblers occurred, she abandoned the site. Lucky for us. Are the quakes still happening? No, though they did also create instabilities in other facilities in the region. So the facility where I recovered Demeter used to be a Pharaoh agricultural research facility. It's where they created the biomass conversion system, but also adamantine wreath. Did Elizabeth know they were working on that? It is likely she was briefed on other efforts to combat the machine swarm. Though her focus was devoted only to Zero Dawn. That makes sense. But they actually got the wreaths to work. If they've been able to deploy it against the Pharaoh Plague in time... Using the data you recovered on the project, I ran several simulations and have concluded that it would never have worked. In all scenarios, the Pharaoh War Machines would eventually hack and deactivate the wreath before they could contain the swarm. So Zero Dawn really was the only solution. There was a lot of data in the greenhouse facility about agriculture. Do you think it'll help the Quen fix their homeland? I will run a query. Complete. The data contains information about novel crop production methods, which may be beneficial to the tribe in the long term. But new crops aren't going to save the world, so I guess it's on us. It is. I should be going. Goodbye, Aloy. It's fine. I can take a look if you want. Aloy, I hear you're going further west, past the Tanakh clanlands. Do you know anything about the area? Only hearsay. The Utaru tell stories of an island that lies beyond the western coast. They call it the Isle of Spires. It is said the Old Ones built towers there that touched the sky, so they could live far away from the earth that bore them. As if they didn't want to be reminded that they'd one day return to it. Sounds like something Ted Farrow would do. Any progress with your plan for the Land Gods? Is the reboot code ready? It is. But there is difficult work ahead. Gaia warned me that because the Land Gods are linked together in a network, the code must be delivered to all of them. Most are in Plainsong, but in recent years, three of them wandered off. So, T, and Do. We have to find them? No, we know where they are, but they're hard to reach. So, wandered into a lake and sank. Do ventured into a dangerous canyon, and T broke down amidst a herd of machines. Okay, tell you what. You go to Plainsong, handle all the land gods there. I'll take care of So, T, and Do. I'll need their locations, plus the reboot code. I'm sending the data to you now. My people made shrines near where each land god faltered. When you see them, you'll know you're close. And once again, thanks for your help. We're not gonna let your people starve, so... I promise. You ever play that board game Aaron set up? Strike? I'm the one who gave it to him. I was hoping it'd distract him enough to spare us that ruckus he calls Death Metal. No such luck. You and Varl doing okay? Uh, uh, training, I mean. We're doing fine. Although I admit it'd be nice to take a small break from studying, just the two of us. But then who'd look after Erend? 
Well, there's always Katalo. Leave a loud Osaram with a brooding Tanakh. What could go wrong? What's everyone been up to? I've been trying to share some of my meals with Beta. Thought it might help her feel more at home. Maybe even get her to sleep up here instead of in that dark basement. She would not be moved. I appreciate you trying. Patience reaps the best harvest. I'm not giving up hope yet. How much have you read on Ted Farrow? Enough to wonder how a man who worked so hard to heal the world once could let greed and pride condemn it so easily. For one spirit to diminish in such a way, I, I'm not sure if I should hate him or pity him. It looked like you were working on something over there. With Gaia now growing in strength, I've been trying to find a way to heal the land gods, even if some people think I should give up on them. Already said I was sorry. Your friend thought it'd be a good idea to replace the land gods with new machines when Gaia recovers. It wasn't. The land gods have taken care of our people for generations. They are not some broken toy to be thrown away. Even if they are just machines doing their job, to abandon them in their time of suffering seems cruel. I'm sure Varl understands that too. He does now. I had to get pretty mad at him at first, though. You know I can hear you guys, right? Oh, I should get going. Hopefully I can bring back what we need to capture Festus. After that, I'm gonna need everyone's help. We'll be ready. That's just I hear about you going west. Turns out we need one last thing before we can grab Hephaestus. Because it would have been too easy otherwise. Anything happen I should know about? Uh, Zoe asked us to help her bring more plants in here. Not for eating, apparently. Yeah, if you ask me, place is fine as it is. You know, metal might be plain, but it's sturdy. Nothing wrong with that. Who needs a bunch of vegetation? How are things with Katalo? You still scared of him? Oh, she thinks she's funny. Actually, I played strike with him. I had to fill in most of the conversation myself, but I'm still alive. Glad to hear it. Bet you're used to that focus by now. Well, I can hit machines in their weak points. <laughs> I guess that's something. I wish all the other data was as easy to deal with. Now, to be honest, it's hard to understand half of what's on there. And then the other half reminds me, well, this isn't a fight you can win by just waving a hammer. Which is kind of what I do. But hey, that just means I gotta study harder. Now, make myself useful. Just give it time. You've been looking at any interesting data? Yeah, I asked Gaia to find me something to look at a while back. And she found the mother of all forges. They called it sports. Turns out the old ones spent a lot of time tackling and punching each other for points in, in one game or another. Are you mixing some solid food and fresh ale? I bet half the claim will be lining up to watch. What else have you been studying with your focus? Yeah, I've been looking into this uh, Vegas place you found. Gaia showed us everything that happened when you went to get that Poseidon thing. I mean, this Moreland guy seems pretty smart. Though, risking the Tanakh clan lands for a light show is a bold move. Maybe I should check up on them at some point. Just in case. Right. I need to get going. I think I know the answer, but are you sure you don't need any help? Gaia mentioned this uh, other tribe you found, the Quen. They sound like a nasty bunch. I can handle them. In the meantime, Varl will help you get ready for what comes next. Take care of yourself, Aloy. Aloy, you're here. 
Did you meet with the Quen already? Not yet. After all the trouble you went through getting those subfunctions, it seems unfair you have to deal with these Quen on your own, too. It's safer this way. They think I'm Sobek or something like that. They won't hurt me, but I doubt they'll be so kind to anyone else. If you say so. Let me know if you need anything before you go. You better not be slacking off on your studies while I'm gone. And risk Zo coming after me? I value my life. In fact, I've been reading about Ted Farrow. How he destroyed the world and crawled into a hole after killing those who saved it. He definitely was a piece of work. So, uh, you and Zoe got into a bit of a fight, huh? You should have known better than to suggest Hephaestus could make new land gods to replace the old ones in Plainsong. The last thing I wanted to do was dismiss their traditions. But I was trying to look at things differently. More like you, you know? To see a machine as just a machine. Yeah, I guess I led you into trouble there, didn't I? Not your fault. Don't worry. Looks like things between you and Zoe are better now. I suffered through a few hours of glaring silence. Then she seemed to move on. Sort of. How do people do this? How do I know if the next thing I say won't blow up in my face? What if an apology is not enough next time? You give her a stuffed animal? You're the worst. You know that? What makes you think I know anything about any of this? You're on your own. Abandoning me again, huh? Well, if she kills me next time, it's on you. While Beta and Gaia built the rig, can you get everyone ready for the mission ahead? Of course. What is it? Nothing. It's just that everything's about to change. We'll get Gaia, and she'll help us set things right. No more zeniths, no more derangement. It'll be a different world. I welcome it, but I wonder how the Nora will react. And the Karja, and well, everyone. Let's just focus on fixing Gaia for now. You're right. We've got an angry AI to take down. If I get Omega clearance and then we grab Hephaestus, we might finally have the advantage over the Zeniths. Can't wait to see their faces as they stare down a bunch of charging Thunder Jaws. Better them than us, for once. I'll be in touch, if I need anything. We'll be ready. Everyone's been briefed on the pulse generators as well. Good. Aloy, there are more supplies in the chest. Help yourself. I'm telling you, the old ones put blades on their feet and... Supply en route. I suggest stopping in Falls Edge. It's a lowland clan village southwest of the grove, in the heart of the. Thanks for the advice. Rain's letting up. Thank you. 
The water, not the landfall, and over. I can grab this from my stash later. No one here. That's strange. Well, nothing's stopping me from taking a boat. find it. Should be to the northeast.
So these are the ruins of San Francisco. An entire city of crumbling towers. And somewhere buried out here is Thebes. I hope Oliver and the Quim can help me find it. This will be in my stash when I need it. drone must be part of Cyclops if I can get its data I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base hey. but how to get hey. up there is that her the living ancestor the this is landfall right I'm looking for Alva overseer Bohai ordered us to invite you before him should you approach please come with me go let him know we're coming It's her! The Diviner was right. Overseer Bohai. A stranger just walked through the gate. I knew Alva would not dare lie. You do look like Sobek. Is Alva here? I need to talk to her. I will consider your request once it is determined what you are. A living ancestor as Alva believes, or a threat lurking in such a guise. I am no threat, okay? Back on the mainland, your soldiers fired on me without warning. So you say, infidel. None of those you engaged survived to bear witness. I held off on your squad when... May I present our honored CO. So, here she is, our great mystery. Well, Bohai, what have you divined? What is she? A mystery indeed, my CO. How can she appear as Sobek, and yet know nothing of our ways? Are we to believe that a living ancestor was born to this wretched land, an ocean apart from the realm of the Chosen? And if so, to what end? I cannot answer. Only she can. But I warn you, no falsehood will satisfy us. Now speak. Why are you here? What is your purpose? I'm looking for a place called Thebes. And what do you seek there? Alva told me a little bit about what you're after. 
I guess you could say I want what you want. A way to heal the world. As I suspected. Tell her. We found Thebes. The final resting place of Ted Pharaoh's secrets. It isn't far, but the way is closed to us. Machine attacks have cut us off from the site. Diviner Alva is there, along with a complement of diggers and soldiers. Is she all right? Our scouts tell us that a machine has our people pinned behind their defenses, but they're holding out. Machines, huh? I can help with that. Alva told us that you are indeed formidable. But I have a few questions first. We will answer what we can. So you found Thebes. How? The Ancestors revealed it to us not long after we made landfall. Almost a year ago. Through a scrap of ancient data discovered by Alva and verified by myself. It contained details about the construction of a great underground palace. Where, exactly? Close. Beneath the Great Pyramid in the ruins beyond. Figures. Ted loves his pyramids. Have you been inside? Uh, no. <laughs> that has been a problem, one of many. And we will solve them all in time. Getting back to the site is the one at hand. I hope you're as effective against machines as Diviner Alva suggested. What exactly are you looking for inside Thebes? I thought Alva brought back the data you needed. We risked much to cross the ocean. Therefore, we must unearth every possible link to the legacy while we are here. Especially one as important as Thebes. We will not sail back until I have plundered its secrets. So, Alva reports to you. I was chosen by my colleagues on the Board of Overseers to supervise data retrieval on this expedition, yes. And you're in charge of the expedition? He is far more than that. You are addressing the cousin of the Emperor of the Quinn. Heir to the vast holdings of the Great Delta, the first CO in five generations. All she needs to understand is that I am the authority here. And my will is to attain the secrets of Thebes. Mine too. We're in luck. You crossed the ocean on these ships? Couldn't have been easy. Greatness is never easy. Indeed. It took seven years just to build the flotilla. This expedition is the most important undertaking of our generation. A quest for knowledge across the gaping sea with nothing less than the fate of our tribe at stake. And none of it would have been possible without the will of the CO. The voyage was difficult. The wilds here even more so. Our sailors and soldiers have suffered much. I know that. But all for the glory of the Quen. Good to know. What kind of machine has your people pinned down near Thebes? A Thunderjaw. We've dealt with them before, but this one is... Tougher, stronger, and it has black armor. Yes. How did you know? Doesn't matter. Won't be easy, but I can take it down. Then destiny shines upon us, as I knew it would. 
a living ancestor now walks among us, and she will help me attain the secrets of Thebes. Resupply here if you must. Then on to Thebes at the base of the pyramid in the ruins. We will follow when our scouts confirm you've cleared the way. Stash this away for later. Not now. Okay. Off to the big pyramid to fight the Thunderjaw. There you are. I guess we're doing this.
Major! Over here! You killed that machine! Your CEO sent me. I need to speak to Alva? By all means, then. Open the gates! Aloy! Over here! Alva. I'm glad you're okay. Oh, you got rid of that machine. But what are you doing here? There's something inside Thebes that I need. I went to Landfall. I met your CEO. We came to an agreement. Kind of. And you're going to help us get in? I guess so. The whole thing was a little... tense. There was something off about that guy. And I don't understand what he wants from Thebes. I thought we found the data that your people needed back on the mainland. That data will take us years to sift through. The CEO wants faster results. Aloy, you have to be careful. He's... There they are! The legacy tells us that Elizabeth Sobek helped the ancestors cast aside all obstacles. And so it has been today. You have been true to your word. I'm pleased. Thebes awaits us below. Shall we? Quite an excavation. Much of this was flooded. We had to pump a great deal of water out. Behold, the door to Thebes. A door like no other. Well, you're right about that. It's designed to open for only one man. Ted Pharaoh. But the legacy tells us that he worked closely with Sobek. He trusted her. Surely she could open the door, and so surely can you. Not gonna happen. At least not from this side. You said she was a living ancestor with Sobek's eternal essence. Uh, if I may... Pharaoh, great as he was, did not build his palace alone. We know this from scraps of data we found, the ones that pointed to this location. And we found evidence of passages below. Maybe they were built to aid construction. Or for servants. We can't reach them. The way is flooded, and they're too far underwater, but... I... Yeah. I can reach them. There might be another way in down there. You see? With Sobek, there is always a way. Then do what you must to get us inside. Sure, up there. Maybe a way in. Yeah, this could get me inside.
stop the turbine. Good. like an exercise room. A living area. It's pretty big too. This is the way to the main door, so I can let the Quinn in. Look at this place. It's pretty fancy for a survival bunker. That looks like some kind of access control. An emergency exit function. Emergency exit. The door is open. Destiny is upon us. I knew you could do it. What's going on? The CO is preparing to enter Thebes. Dressed like Ted Pharaoh. I am Pharaoh, renewed. My essence is the same as his. Across the years, across the generations, his soul is my soul. His will is my will. We are sundered in only one way. I need his final testament, his deepest secrets. And now that the door is open, those secrets are within my grasp. When I have them, I will be complete, as he was. I will have everything I need to save our homeland, and, as Pharaoh did, the world. Okay. I think there's some confusion here about who Pharaoh really was. No one knows better than I who he was, who he is, me. The Renewer, greatest of the ancestors, the man who saved the world, and you. You understand, Sobek. You are her, Pharaoh's harbinger, his assistant. Come, we will descend into Thebes together, as it should be. Bring her the raiment. Raymond? As he is Pharaoh, you are Sobek. For an occasion, this momentous, shouldn't you wear a proper business attire? Whoa. No, 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 no. No, I am not wearing that. No way. You will wear the proper attire to mark this moment. Or what? It is said Sobek valued life above all else. Is this true? Fine. I'll wear your raiment. X! 
Excellent. Shall we proceed? Look at this place. The grandeur. Pharaoh's domain. Excellent. Somewhere in here, Pharaoh left his secrets. Let's go find them. You're magnificent. Perhaps we should leave guards behind to cover our exit? Indeed. Let it be done. Thank all of this. Preserved for the ages. As destiny intended for me. Give you that. Remember every detail of his bohai for posterity. No less than he deserved. The so hey, this is weird. Yeah, I tried to warn you. Yeah, sort of. I'll explain everything if we survive long enough. Uh, those certainly look threatening. Ah, <sighs> statues. The guardians of Pharaoh's domain. Those aren't statues. Look out! Get the CO out of here! Guess it's just us then. Damn it! Overseer Bohai. He has decided to return to the surface. A wise choice. We can't afford to lose any more diviners than necessary. So, no more delays. We must proceed. <laughs> yes, that looks like the way. What is 
is that? A reclining throne, attached to some kind of apparatus. I wonder what it does. An impressive setup. What is it for? I'm sorry, CEO. I don't know. My focus can't read the data here. What about the living ancestor? Is the data lost to her? Scan the device, if you will. Please, scan the device. Made a minor adjustment to the gene therapy regimen and added a new cocktail to treat the symptoms caused by the mutations. Hopefully, there will be some stabilization after the next treatment. God knows what Ted will do to us if there isn't. The early results were so promising. No signs of aging, no cellular degeneration, but now... Oh, if only I had access to my old lab in Bangkok, or my old colleagues, or my old liquor cabinet. Stop it. Got to stay positive. For Kanya. You saw something. I could tell. Did the data explain what Pharaoh used this device for? I think he was undergoing treatments to live longer. A lot longer. Really? Could he still be alive? Don't be foolish. If he were alive, he would have kept his essence. It would not have been passed down to me. Remember, he was the renewer. Of course he would have stopped at nothing to grasp the secrets of life and death. But not for himself. Everything he did was for a new beginning, for us, for the Quen, and for his true heir, me. You know, I'm starting to think you're right. You do have a lot in common with Ted Farrow. I knew you would see, in time. Let us continue. His secrets await. Hmm. Is that a small office? For a minor functionary, perhaps? Look at all this equipment. We are getting closer to the heart of this place. Break the door down. I'm going to look for another way in. Good idea. It's worked before. Very well. Get to it.
Open that door! Okay, see anything? How does it take to pass through a door? She's gone. Did you make it to the other side? There. Omega clearance. Got it. What do you have to say for yourself, Ted? Somtown's dead. Along with his kid. Found him on the floor of his office this morning, holding hands. Must have poisoned themselves. I never would have put them to sleep. She was just a girl, for Christ's sake. I offered them life, and this is how they repaid me. By leaving me all alone. But I guess I've been alone since this whole thing began. Alone in bearing the burden. For the past. For the future. Same old Ted. No matter who dies, he's the one feeling sorry for himself. Less his future. Less his children. Someday they'll come. And I'll be here to greet them. Sometimes that my aging has stopped altogether. If anything, my cells are replenishing faster than normal. I just need some time for the mutations to calm down. Time. And energy. Sometimes that the reactor can give me what I need. To grow strong again to get my shit back together so I can greet the kids. They're gonna need me. My advice. My guidance. And then I won't be alone anymore. Pharaoh's secrets. Are they here? Not the ones you're looking for. Then they must be in there. Trust me. You don't want to go in there. Are you mad? I haven't come all this way to stop now. At last, Pharaoh's legacy is mine. Burn it to ash. Wait, no. Pharaoh has it rigged to melt down if... 
kill them too. No witnesses. something that will help not just your homeland but everywhere but where's the CO oh, he's gone I guess you could say he gave his life to help us attain the secrets of Thebes I see You must think I'm eminently stupid. What? No. No. The CEO was an entitled egotist who twisted our beliefs into a sickening, self-serving fantasy. And you expect me to believe he sacrificed himself for scraps of data? It's time for the truth, and it better be convincing. 
Otherwise, I'll simply order these soldiers to open fire. Hold on. You're right. To be honest, the CO screwed everything up. He brought thieves down around our ears and died like a gutless coward. But... We really did find something down there that will help your homeland. If I can take it, and use it. Now if I have to, I will fight my way out of here, but it doesn't have to be that way. You can just let me go. And then take credit, when things start to improve. Success certainly does sound better than failure. It seems, then, that our destinies are intertwined. Landfall is open to you. If it will help your cause, you may come and go as you please. But Alva must join you and report back on your efforts. Fair enough. Thebes is of no further value to us. Obviously, we're going back to the flotilla. Alva. I expect your reports to be thorough. Oh, I thought he was going to have us killed. Oh, and instead, I get to join you. Glad to have you. But you're going to need a little help to reach our base. Varl, I made a new friend. I need you to meet her at the Quen Ferry and escort her back. On it. Can't wait to meet her. Trust me, you'll love it there. Varl will give you a better focus and all the data you could ever want. Head to the ferry. I'll join you back east as soon as I can. A diviner must follow the truth, wherever it leads. I'll see you there. Now that I have Omega Clearance, we should have what we need to capture Hephaestus. But before I head to the ferry, maybe I should stop by Landfall. With the CO gone, maybe more Quen will be willing to talk. Might be worth looking around the island, too. I gotta change out of these clothes. I can't believe that... Play dress up. experience in Thebes was unsettling, but we have a new problem. Did something go wrong with Beta and the rig? Will we be able to transport you to Gemini? The rig is complete. The problem is Hephaestus itself. It has accelerated its proliferation throughout the Cauldron Network, increasing its power. But with your sub-functions restored, we can still succeed, right? Correct. 
but the net effect is that absorbing Hephaestus will take longer than previously calculated. How long? Even with Omega clearance, my current estimate is that the merge will take 35 hours. And each hour increases the risk of detection by the Zeniths. Two cores. Two overrides. What if the merge were carried out by two clones of Elizabeth Sobek, both armed with Omega clearance? How long then? Half the time? Hephaestus would be unprepared for the simultaneous labor of two operators, in addition to obvious synergetic efficiencies. Calculating. It would reduce the merge time to approximately 4.5 hours. Okay. Varl, it looks like we're gonna need Beta at Gemini. Do you think you can convince her? Uh, I don't know, but I'll try. What about our diversion? Are the pulse generators ready? Only a final test remains. I am confident that if fired in proximity to other cauldrons, the pulses will mask our activities at Gemini from the Zeniths. Good. As long as Aaron can operate one without shooting himself in the face. Aloy, you'd better get down here. Beta's in bad shape. Okay. Aloy, I believe Varl is still waiting for you, outside Beta's room. I know. I just wanted to talk about something else first. As you wish. How's Alva settling in? As soon as she arrived, Alva was eager to study the data in the archive. A particular file soon caught her attention. Information about a machine assistant devoted to keeping living spaces neat and orderly. I informed her that once I am empowered with the abilities of Hephaestus, I may be able to design such a machine. I'm sure she'll like that. So our plan to capture Hephaestus. Let's go over it again. As you wish. Thanks to Beta's test, we now know that Hephaestus will not respond to your Alpha clearance. Which is why I got Ted Pharaoh's Omega clearance. Correct. While you were gone, Beta constructed the transport rig and pulse generators. When we get to Gemini, I will need to be installed on one of the facility's cores. The second core is for Hephaestus. Using Omega Clearance will allow you to trap it. And then you'll be able to absorb it? Not quite. You will need to manually remove Hephaestus's malicious code before the merge. How long will that take? Because the work will be split between you and Beta, it will take approximately 4.5 hours. And during that time, the others will create a distraction for us using the pulse generators, right? Correct. They will each take position at a cauldron door and fire off their device. The energy surge should mask our activities until the merge is complete. And then we'll have everything we need to defeat the Zenith. Sounds like a plan. So I, uh, found Thebes. What do you think Ted would have done if his life extension treatments had worked? It seems he convinced himself it was his duty to guide future humans. Given the tribal nature of new humans, and his ability to use Omega Clearance on the terraforming system, I imagine he would have convinced one or more tribes to worship him as their patriarchal deity. Okay. Yep, glad that didn't happen. Aside from Gaia Prime and Thebes, there was one other underground facility that was sealed before the Pharaoh Plague reached it. Elysium. 
The place where Zero Dawn staff and their families went to live out their lives. Do you know what happened to it? Elysium was designed to provide life support for 100 years. My data indicates the facility went offline well before then. Did the Pharaoh Plague find them? Unknown. My connection to the facility was abruptly severed. I'll be off. Farewell, for now. Is your focus acting up again? Nah, it's fine. I can take a look if you want. Nah. There she is. I hear you found Thebes. How was it? Maniacs, lava. What's not to like? I'll remember that next time I go traveling. At least I got what we needed to trap Hephaestus. Good thing I got my gear ready then. Have you spoken with Alva yet? Yeah, when she's not reading the archives like a giddy kid drinking her first ale. Uh, she took to that new focus quick, that's for sure. I gotta say, I'm a little jealous. But I can see why you two hit it off. You look tired. Ha! You never want to hold back, are you? I've just been making sure that I got everything down for this mission of yours. I wouldn't want to be the usual screw-up out there. He'll do fine, Errand. I should get going. As soon as you want us heading out to those cauldrons. I'll give you the heads up. Welcome back. Good to be back. Have you met our new Quen guest yet? I could barely keep up as she gave herself a tour of the base. Varro gave her a new focus. Though when he told her she was free to access all the data we had here, she turned so pale I... I thought she'd faint on the spot. We showed her to the archive room so she could see for herself. She hasn't left the place since. Sounds like Alva. How are things with everyone? Slightly quieter. Aaron's been busy scouring data on his newest obsession. Apparently the old ones wrestled machines as some kind of performance. Called it Metal versus Meat. A must-see battle between steel and flesh, as Aaron likes to put it. You'd think we have enough of that going around as it is. Read anything interesting lately? I found out the old ones use leaf infusions like the Utaru do. Tea, they call it. Apparently it helped soothe them. That and some sort of scented wax they use to cleanse their aura. Uh, plus something called bubble baths. Me, I think I'll stick to singing to calm the nerves. Varl looks pretty focused. He's been obsessing over the data revealed to us by Poseidon. Just the other day we read about mountains hiding deep underwater that spew fire. If I understand correctly, Gaia said the flames they release come from the very center of the Earth. Like a heart, beating with the life of the world. As always, the cycle can be found in even the most unlikely of places. Of course, Varl's mostly interested in watching explosions happen underwater. I assume you've been looking into Demeter now that Gaia's merged with it? Yes. It's been humbling to know that the seeds I carry in this pouch came in turn from the seeds saved for Demeter in the Old World. It gives me hope that the cycle of life will prevail now, just as it did before. I need to get going. Right. You've retrieved the Omega Clearance. That means we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. I'll make sure my gear's ready. Aloy! Right to work, I see. 
There's just so much. I mean, we knew of artificial beings that served the ancestors, but Gaia? Oh, she's amazing! A and you, a true reincarnation of an ancestor. Genetically speaking, of course, not like the, um, late CEO. And there's more ancestors out there, returned from beyond the stars. Of course, they're trying to kill us, which is not great. And Eric Visser is with them, which is disturbing. And then there's Hephaestus, and... Okay, okay. How about we take it one step at a time? You're right. I also owe you an explanation for everything that happened at Landfall. I imagine you don't know anyone here that well yet, but... They're a good group. It's funny, because one of your friends is, well, another you. Not that you are the same person at all. I mean, you are, as in, you're both genetically Elizabeth Sobeck. But even so, you're different. Yeah, we are. I hope everyone's been treating you okay. Oh, yeah, of course. They've all been extremely welcoming. And they share the knowledge they learn on their focuses with each other freely. It's refreshing. Back home, diviners can only share data with the permission from the overseers. Sounds restrictive and stifling. Yeah, you are not wrong. I see you've been using your new focus. It's been fascinating. So much better than the version the Quen have. What would have taken me years to sort through, like the database you helped me recover? With this, I've been able to establish search parameters to speed up the process. This could revolutionize how diviners analyze the legacy. That is, whatever part of it the overseers would actually let us study. You wanted data, you'll find lots of it here. A diviner has never had this sort of unsupervised access to archives such as this. And knowing you, I suspect there is much that would normally be forbidden held within them. But I was sent here to help you. I would be remiss to ignore any truth laid before me. Maybe it'll help the Quen find their way back to the path of truth. You mentioned Eric Visser? How do you know about him? The Zenith who tried to kill you? He is known to the Quen as the Protector. Combing through data related to his work led us to breakthroughs related to weapons and military tactics. Knowledge our rulers use to conquer and expand. To become the Empire we are today. That's why he's one of our most revered ancestors. But, based on your encounter with him, it appears he's even more ruthless than we ever imagined. Yet another distorted interpretation in the legacy. Well, at least you're piecing together the truth. If only the overseers back home would do the same. Beta mentioned other Zeniths. Tilda, Verbena, and Gerard. I'm afraid I don't know anything about them. Whatever legacy they left behind, the Diviners haven't recovered. Back at the Greenhouse, you spoke of knowledge forbidden to your people. Diviners are meant to seek out the truth in the legacy. And many Imperials sponsor them in the hopes they'll find something the Empire can put to use, thus gaining favor with the Emperor. But the Board of Overseers claims certain truths are detrimental to the stability of the Empire. Like discovering one of our revered ancestors ended the world. That is why Diviners are only allowed to access segments of the Legacy. Only Overseers can view it all. It ensures that any heretical data can be contained and retrieved before it can spread. What happens to Diviners who break the rules? I never had the courage to ask. You said you owed me an explanation for what happened in Thebes. I'm listening. 
Right. I'll start at the beginning with the CEO. He was an Imperial, the Emperor's nephew, in fact. As such, he sponsored many Diviners to search the Legacy for anything that might help the tribe, and himself. He took a special interest in anything related to Ted Farrow, whom we consider the greatest of the ancestors. Ted Farrow, revered ancestor. That's tough to take. I know better now, of course. Anyway, the Diviners discovered that Pharaoh spent a great deal of time in San Francisco. In fact, many of the most important ancestors did. So the Emperor's nephew convinced him that an expedition across the ocean might solve our most pressing problems. If only we could find the right data in this fabled city. Perhaps we could roll back the floods and storms that threatened our people. The Emperor declared that all the tribe's resources be poured into this endeavor. Dozens of ships were built, scouting missions were dispatched, and the Emperor's nephew was named Sio, one who wields the legacy for the good of the Empire, the living embodiment of Ted Farrow, the Renewer. It may seem strange now, but for a time, he carried all of our hopes. We really believed he would save us. We had no idea just how perilous the journey would be. You said the expedition across the sea was more dangerous than you thought it would be. What happened? We lost most of our ships to hurricanes, and scores of soldiers perished to hunger and disease. And that was before we even hit the coast. Once we landed, machines ripped our patrols apart, and we struggled to replenish our rations. There were bright spots, to be sure. We found Thebes and the greenhouse, but... Nothing improved the CEO's mood as his dreams of saving the tribe were slowly dashed. He became more and more obsessed with Thebes and what lay behind its door. And more and more convinced that the title of CEO was no mere honorific. You heard him, spouting nonsense about Pharaoh's essence and some kind of becoming. We knew these weren't the words of a sane man, but he was quick to put any who spoke out in front of a firing squad. What a great guy. The Quen are wrong about many things when it comes to the legacy. I can see that now. But what the CO became was a complete perversion of what principal diviners stand for. The pursuit of truth. Uh, I'm sorry you had to endure his madness. I'm just glad it's over. For everyone. So, Bohai... Your overseer. Will he run things better than Sio? He won't execute people on a whim, if that's what you mean. But he's hardly a paragon of integrity. I can't tell you how many times he took credit for data in the legacy that I uncovered. The best thing I can say about him is that he can be trusted to always do what's best for him. Yep, sounds about right. The Ancestors. Is that what your people call the Old Ones? Yes and no. The Ancestors are the greatest of the Old Ones. Those whose legacy taught us agriculture, medicine, warfare, leadership, and patronage of the science and arts. The CEO called Elizabeth Sobek an assistant. What's that about? Right. Well, any Old One who has made minor contributions, or worked extensively under one of the Ancestors, is called an Assistant. That's how we thought of Sobek, until we met you. Our limited access to data past the late 2040s has obviously uh, misinformed our view of the past. You mentioned the reason you came here was to help your family. Your sister... Her name is Alika. Our parents are commoners. Peasants, really. When I passed the divination exams, they were so proud. It brought honor to our family and increased rations. Only Alika begged me not to leave for the research academy. Why? What happens there? Alika knew that once you enter, you're not allowed to leave or see anyone. Not even your family. Uh, unless you can get special permission and an escort by an overseer. Sounds harsh. Like the focuses we keep, 
Diviners are few in number, and the Empire is, well, fearful that outsiders will try to steal our knowledge. Last time I was allowed to see my family was just before our voyage here. Because of my position, I was able to get them refuge from the floods within the capital. But if our crops don't recover soon, they'll starve to death along with everyone else. I promise I'll do my best to make sure it doesn't come to that. I need to get going, but if you need anything... All I need is to help you succeed in your mission. The plan Gaia told me about to capture Hephaestus, it will help set things right? I hope so. Then I will do whatever I can. I promise. Aloy, I tried, but it's impossible. I don't think anything will convince her to go. We don't have a choice. Good luck. Beta, you have to come with us. It's the only way. It's one mission. The most important one. We need you. Tell me why you won't go. What if they... What if they take me back, alone, in a cell again? A slave. Forever. We have a solid plan. You helped come up with it. Without you there? The probability that the Zeniths discover us is high, but with you, that risk is much less. We'll get Hephaestus, get out, and come back here. It'll be okay. No! You can't guarantee that! I told you from the beginning we'll never beat them! It's hopeless! Beta. Leave me alone! You don't understand! You're right. I don't understand. We have the same genes, the same mind, the same heart. So why can't you find the strength to do what has to be done? Like Elizabeth would. Don't you think I've thought about that? I don't know what piece of Elizabeth I'm missing. I don't know what you have that I don't. I look through all the data from your focus. You were raised as an outcast, shunned and isolated just like me, so what's the difference? What's my defect? You don't have a defect. Beta. Look, it's not a piece of Elizabeth. The difference is... I had him. Frost. He raised you, trained you, but he was never warm or loving. The day he died, the day he gave you that charm, he was going to abandon you. He wanted me to embrace the tribe. But then he gave his life 
for mine. He loved me in his own way. And that was enough. What did it feel like? It was like having a strength that was always there. That's still there. Even now I hear him in my head when things get bad. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. You don't have to go on the mission. We'll find another way. I'll go. Like he said, odds are in our favor if I do. We have to succeed. But you have to promise me one thing. Yes, of course. If it goes bad, if the Zeniths find us, I don't want to be their slave again. Do you understand? Okay. Promise? I promise. I could use as much time as you can give me to study up on the merge, to make it as efficient as possible. I'll be ready when you are. I swear. Aloy, whenever you are ready, come speak to me and I'll ask the others to make final preparations for the mission. I wonder what it's like being in space. Aloy, everything okay with you and Beta? It sounded like you guys had a, uh, lively conversation. We just had a lot to talk about. Does this mean she's coming with us to Gemini? It does. I hope you're ready to rein in the most stubborn AI of all time. That's what all this was for, wasn't it? Hephaestus won't go down quietly. Hephaestus is just a program that's lost its way. We are fighting for our survival. I can always call upon the goddess if you're nervous. Funny. How does everyone seem to you? Anxious, but ready. I heard Catalo ask for Alva's help with his pulse generator, and I know he's been helping her with a few fighting techniques, just in case. I hope they aren't needed. Like I said, just in case. Any last findings you want to share before leaving? Not really. Though I've reached a decision. Oh? When we put Gaia together, I want to return to the Nora. Spread what I've learned. You think they'll listen to you? In time, I believe so. If anyone can make it happen, it's you, Varl. Once Gaia is back up and running, I expect you to put all your training to good use. The seeds have been planted. All they need is a chance to bloom. What? I thought that was pretty good. Zo liked it. I'm glad you and Zo found each other. Don't forget, you're to blame for that. What will you and Zo do? If you go back to the Embrace. I hope she'll come with me. At least for a while. And I'll go with her to Plainsong too. She'll probably want to talk to her people about all this as well. We'll figure it out. I know you will.
I hope firing off those pulse generators will be enough to distract the Zeniths. It'll work. It has to. Always optimistic, huh? Nah, just stubborn. It's a good quality to have when dealing with you. Yeah, right. You were right, you know, about keeping Rost's memories buried. I guess part of me thought he was holding me back because he wanted me to be a Nora. But the truth is he gave me a lot. And I took him for granted. He was a good man. He raised you well. I'm glad you're coming with me, Varl. Sure there's no urge to run off alone in there somewhere? No more running. Hey, I thought I'd check in before leaving for Gemini. Are you sure we shouldn't be uh, checking up on you? Whatever went on between you and Beta sounded intense. Not that I'm judging. <laughs> Forge knows all the screws flew loose every time Mercer and I fought. I think we'll be fine from now on. I'm glad to hear it. Anybody take you up on that ale you brought yet? Zo can't stand the smell of it. I tried Alva, but I don't think she knows what taking a break means. And I'm not putting Varl anywhere near that stuff after that victory party in Meridian. What about Catalo? Ah, now there's a man that can hold his liquor. Pretty sure we downed half a keg. We had a good chat, I think. After we get Hephaestus, we'll be taking the fight to the Zeniths. So... No more reading. Ah, it wasn't that bad. Not really. Besides, uh, going through all that data helped me realize something. You know, the soldiers, the, the ones that fought the Pharaoh machines so Gaia could be built? Uh, they were fighting a battle that couldn't be won. Not with all the weapons in the world. I think most of them realized that, whether anyone said it or not. And they still did it, though. They bought time for all the eggheads working to save the future. Our future. As long as I can do that for you, I'll consider myself a success. Thank you, Erend. I'm glad you're with me. Okay, enough. I'm gonna get emotional. I should go. That yeah, same here. I got a date with a cauldron to prepare for. Hey, we'll be going after Hephaestus soon. You good with the plan? I've already got the location of my assigned cauldron. Good. I heard you and Beta had a... talk. News travels fast. It wasn't exactly a quiet conversation. There were just things that needed to be said. A healthy crop to those who clear the weeds between them, as the Utaru say. You look like you have something on your mind. We're going to war soon. And war is something I promised myself I'd left behind in the Red Raids. But the more of your data I go through, every voice I hear, every word I read from her ancient past, it makes me realize just how much life was given so that ours could flourish. Fighting for that gift, it's our responsibility. If we fail, it was all for naught. Helps to know you're not alone. For a moment there, you sounded like Varl. I don't know what you're talking about. I should go. As soon as you intend to leave for Gemini, you'll hear about it. I hope I'm not interrupting. Not at all. I was just studying the pulse generator schematics. The ones Gaia and Beta built. <laughs> the craftsmanship is remarkable. Is everything all right? It sounded like there was an uh, issue with Beta and the mission. Not anymore. We just needed to talk some things through. To understand one another is to embrace truth. Oh, and... Uh, if you have a moment, there's something I could use your help with.
Have you spoken with Zoe at all? A little bit, but uh, I did hear her singing with Varl not too long ago. I don't think they noticed. Zoe seemed so uh, free when she did it. Like every emotion she had was taking flight in song. Uh, and she looked happier because of it. Uh, I felt so dull and nervous in comparison. You should ask So to teach you sometime. About Utaru music. Maybe. If you need anything before heading out to the cauldrons... You have nothing to worry about. Gaia's explained your plan in detail. As expected from such an efficient AI. I've even received some very, um, uh, succinct combat advice from Katalo. You know, uh, in case the Zeniths show up. What kind of advice? He, um, told me to run. For now. We'll even the odds soon enough. Any more data catch your eye? All of it? I have so much to study up on. Years, actually. I'm particularly interested in the Odyssey. We knew the ancestors had made it to the moon. In fact, we theorized some of them had settled on it. But Sirius is way farther than that. And we thought journeying across the ocean would be the feat of a lifetime. The sheer calculations needed for space travel. It's overwhelming to think about. Even so, the Quen are way ahead of other tribes when it comes to understanding this stuff. Where I grew up, everyone thought that stars were sparks that rose from a fire lit by the goddess to guide us through the night. Must be strange to think that some of the ancestors your tribe reveres are still alive. And here on Earth, right now. Yeah, it is. Part of me is curious to know who else besides Eric Visser might be among them. Maybe Nikita Arand? We call her the Spark. The legacy tells us she brought unlimited energy to the Old Ones. Or Song Zhao, whom we call the Healer. It is said she found new ways to extend the Ancestors' lifespans. But my curiosity fades when I think of how different our view of Visser was compared to the reality that you experienced. Perhaps it is better not to know. You mentioned there was something you needed help with? Yes. Uh, so, as I was sifting through data from the greenhouse, I found references to an old world system back in the Great Delta. It's called Leviathan. My people discovered it decades ago. A sprawling network of river gates and a labyrinth of underground tunnels. The legacy revealed that the old ones used it to control flooding. But we've never gotten it to work. The whole thing is shut down. But the data from the greenhouse mentions the research facility where Leviathan was created. It's in San Francisco. Another Pharaoh facility? No. Leviathan was a project by Eileen Sasaki. Another ancestor. So the legacy tells us, anyway. If we can acquire that data, we might be able to fix the system back in the Great Delta. Every year, my sister gets terrified when the long rains begin. With Leviathan, maybe she won't have to be. Okay. So where in San Francisco is this facility? That's the thing. The data doesn't say where, exactly. But one of our diviners has been exploring the ruins. He might know. Would you come with me? I have a feeling that wherever this facility is... Well, you're much better at fighting machines than I am. Of course. I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. Thank you, Aloy. I should go. Make sure you talk to Gaia if you have any questions about the pulse generators. May your path lead to truth. And, like I said, I'll let you know when I'm in landfall. We'll find the data you're after. I appreciate it.
Hello again, Aloy. Hello, Aloy. So, I... guess you heard all that below? With Beta? Yes. I am continuously impressed by the complexity of human relationships. Despite the unpleasant circumstances that led to your quarrel, I am pleased to see you have both found an agreeable resolution. Well, two heads are better than one, right? Yes, I believe so. Are you ready to depart for Cauldron Gemini? Or we can continue our conversation, if you like. So, about Beta. I never really saw the difference between us, until now. She's been through so much. Completely alone. You have both endured many hardships. Different in almost every respect, yet equally remarkable. I like to think of you as two miracles, born of Elizabeth Sobeck. Three, then. Let's not forget about you, Gaia. When I set out to find a way to bring you back, I never thought we'd be here, like this. Among friends. They have all come a long way with their improvised educations. Varl has suggested that one day we might extend this model to more tribal inhabitants. Once the biosphere has been stabilized. Yeah, that's not such a bad idea. As long as you're the one running the lessons. So what will happen to this place while we're at Gemini? All systems within this facility will continue to operate. As Minerva will no longer be masking this location, the facility will be exposed to detection, though without my presence, it is unlikely to attract attention. Let's hope so. Gaia? What was Elizabeth like? Her presence is interwoven with my memories. The moment I came online, she was there. We exchanged greetings, names, then set to our task. It was the first of many conversations. I enjoyed being in her company, listening to her stories. She was my creator, my guide. Your friend? Yes. When I reviewed the data on your focus, I was saddened to learn of her fate. Though I am glad she made it home. I deeply wish she did not have to be alone. She was okay with that. She gave all of herself. Did all that she could. Thanks, Gaia. Okay, people. It's time to head out. I'll get everyone together.
connections in place. Booting up. Beta, Aloy. I am fully installed on this core and ready to connect to the Cauldron Network. It's good to hear your voice. Errand, everyone. Fire your pulses and sound off. I'm at my cauldron. This thingy, it's blinking. Did I do it right? In position at my cauldron. My pulse generator is blinking also. That means they're working. I'm in position and mine is too. Mine as well. Okay, radio silence until I give the all clear. Signing off. Gaia, let's cage the beast. Connecting to the Cauldron Network now. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Elizabeth Sobek, Alpha Prime, activating Omega Clearance. Clearance confirmed. Initiating containment sequence. Attempting to compensate. It's cracked. Look! That means machines are on their way. Get ready! Here they come. For I'll stay here. Protect Beta. Got it. Be careful. Stay back. Festus can't escape, but it must have fled deeper into the facility. I'll drive it back. Get this from my stash when I need it. It out of wherever it's hiding. Make it retreat to the core. Oh, no, you don't, Hephaestus! I'll find another way over.
attached to your focus feet. Even though there is a huge power draw coming from the next chamber. Thanks for the heads up. I'm almost there. Kind of production chamber. Festus is up to something, all right. What what kind of machine is it trying to build? I don't know, but I'm gonna shut it down. I bet those metal carriers will move me to where it's getting materials from. I bet that's where Festus is hiding too. Control of the node. 
Better not get comfortable. Conversion cylinder for increased connectivity. I think. I think we can do this, Aloy. Thank <laughs> you. 
we go again. Oh, that doesn't sound good. I'll try to get your access back. back in the production chamber. Something big is happening. Here too. Everything's glowing. The machine that Festus was building. It must have finished it. Oh, it's, it's powerful. Whatever it is. I'm almost done with the core repairs. Should... Should we come to you? Maybe I could distract the machine if... No, wait. Stay where you want, Lady. I'm going to be safe. Be safe. Stand by. I'm sending Hephaestus back to you. No more hiding, Hephaestus! Sure it stays there. I'm heading back. And then we can start the merge. Because of you, Beta. I'm glad you came along. And you, Varl. We couldn't have done any of this without you. Right back at you, Aloy.
Boy, the Acora stable. Festus is 100% contained. Now we better get started with the merge. It's all set up. Gaia, establish the link, please. Done. To complete the merge, we need to excise Hephaestus' malicious code. Carefully. You've cost us quite a lot of time. <laughs> Eric, get Beta. And squash that bug while you're at it. Quit screwing around! Now we're having fun, right? Zelda, get Gaia and Hephaestus ready for transport. Zelda! I failed. Hush. All is not lost. Zelda! What the hell are you doing? Stop her! No, I can't even see her! still be in a great deal of pain. I can assure you that we are safe. The others can't detect us here. You mean the other Zeniths? You must be Tilda. I wasn't sure if... Beta would have told you about me. Where is she? Alive. 
And while she isn't where she wants to be, not in urgent danger. We must discuss how to get her back, of course, after you've shaken off the cobwebs. When you're ready, take the stairs down the hall and, and come see me. In the meantime, I'll make breakfast. Breakfast? Okay. from my collection rescued and stored here just before I went off world take a look if you like I'm curious to hear your impressions my friend is dead Beta and Gaia are gone and you want me to look at old paintings don't be so quick to dismiss the comfort we can find in art or the insight we might gain Selene and Endymion. She's the goddess of the moon, whereas he's a simple shepherd. Beside her is the god of love, Cupid. So she's sneaking up on him? More like visiting him in secret. The torch that Cupid bears represents Selene's undying infatuation with him. Though the two must remain apart, her love will forever burn. This is Rembrandt painting Jeremiah, a man in mourning. Mourning what? His home. The ancient city of Jerusalem. He foresaw its impending doom, but could do nothing to prevent it. So instead, he saved its treasures from destruction, just as I saved these works. You could say we're kindred spirits. My favorite pairing. On the left is Woman Reading a Letter by Vermeer, a true master. And on the right is a forgery, Woman Reading Music, which fooled experts into believing it was a priceless original. Early in my career, I became fascinated with such deceptions. Eventually, I developed scanning software that could detect fakes with unparalleled accuracy. Is that how you made enough money to buy your way onto the Odyssey? Oh no. I made my real fortune later. A portrait of the painter, Rembrandt's son Titus, depicted in the habit of a monk. I don't get it. Why would someone like you, with infinite resources, care about this painting of... a boy in a hood? It's not the image itself, but the feeling it conveys. The face is bright and defined, but his eyes are downcast, heavy with misfortune. And the background seems to swallow all light. The painting is infused with a sense of loss. I guess I understand how the painter feels. Rembrandt's The Night Watch, by far the most famous painting my homeland ever produced. It was commissioned to honor a militia made up of influential citizens. I guess you must have been an influential citizen. In my day. But not as influential as you've been in this new world. The Gust. By Willem van de Velde. The most famous of his many maritime paintings. A ship crossing into the unknown. I guess you're familiar with that. Indeed, which is why I appreciate this composition in particular. Though waves and wind threaten to destroy the ship, it perseveres, clinging to the light even as darkness closes in all around it. Stunning, isn't it? 
Paintings weren't the only masterpieces of my people's golden age. This is von Vianen's lidded ewer, molded from a single sheet of silver. What was it for? How like Elizabeth you are. <laughs> Function over form. Its practical purpose was less important than its meaning. Von Vianen created it in honor of his late brother, who himself was a famous silversmith. A memorial? Yes. Such beauty from sorrow. A lot of weight on his shoulders. And I'm feeling it. She's pulling out her own hair. to watch her suffer. Done so soon? I've got more important things to worry about. We both do. There is much we are trying to save. There you are. Feeling better? How did you find us at the cauldron? And what did you do to everyone right before I passed out? All business, I see. Well, suffice it to say we were keeping a very close eye on Hephaestus, knowing we would need it at some point. Your ruse didn't fool us, and as for my little trick, it was an overload of the senses. Accompanied by an energy discharge. Gerard and Eric were only momentarily disoriented due to their shields, but it... It rendered you unconscious while I got you out. Perhaps some breakfast might steady you a bit? This was your house. The one you recreated for Beta, in the data channel you shared. How perceptive of you. Please, this way. After everything your people have done, you think I'm just gonna sit down and have a chat with you? They're not my people. They never were, and especially not now. You shot off into space with them and live with them for a thousand years before coming back. So what made you suddenly turn on them? Quite simply, this. My old focus. You repaired it? But that means you've seen... Incredible things. What you've accomplished in two decades of life thousand years at my back and I haven't even come close. I'm sorry if I invaded your privacy, but I had to. In order to understand. To be enlightened. You truly are Elizabeth's blood. With her drive, her sense of mission, her integrity. Watching all this shamed me for the company that I've kept. Having seen it, all I want is to help you. Even if it means stopping your friends? Especially so. Please, sit down. There. That's better. Now... We must recover Beta and Gaia at all costs. By now you must know that Gerard intends to use Gaia to reboot the Earth's biosphere. Remaking this world to specifications that would only suit us immortals. This process will kill every living thing on the planet. He calls it a clean install. Not if I stop him first. Not if we 
do. And once he and the others are gone, we can work together to fulfill Elizabeth's dream. I'm sure Beta told you that there's a build of the Apollo database on board our ship. A complete collection of human knowledge. With that and Gaia, we could do everything Elizabeth wanted. Heal the biosphere, educate the people of this world, uplift them. Create the world she imagined. Let's not get ahead of ourselves. From what I've seen, your friends are invincible. I do wish you would stop calling them my friends. And they're not invincible. In fact, a friend of yours has found a way to defeat them. Silence. Oh, he's been a busy bee, building an army powerful enough to crash through Gerard's precious base. Regala and her rebels. Even now she's preparing a final march on the Tanakh capital. When she wins, she'll have the entire tribe under her control. Hundreds of warriors and machines to throw at the base. She's been duped. They'll all perish, of course. But it should be enough to break Gerard's defenses and allow Silence to kill him. Along with all the others. Using the new weapon he's developed. Yes, he's found a way to circumvent our shields. Truly an exceptional man. He's planned for everything. Except you and me. You see, while his army is battering down Gerard's doors, you and I will sneak in through a back way. One that only I know about. While Silence and my friends are busy battling each other, we'll take back Beta and Gaia. I told you I want to help you. I mean it. My old focus. How did you find it, let alone repair it? When we encountered you at the Hades Proving Lab, Gerard saw you as a redundancy. I knew better. You were a revelation. After your dramatic escape, bravo, by the way. Gerard and Eric assumed you were dead and gave up the hunt. I wasn't so sure. When the others were busy, I returned to the lab and searched for any trace of you. That's when I found this little treasure. Not easy to repair, but certainly worth the effort. As I watched your life unfold, you were like a splash of color on a worn canvas. What Liz was, and more. Did you show it to the others? Of course not. It was your actions that inspired me to defy them. It's worth noting that if I hadn't found it and watched its contents, I wouldn't have known to save you at the cauldron. You'd be dead. So I should be grateful? If you like. So you know all about me? What about you? What would you like to know? Well, start with your life on Earth. When I was eight, terrorists flooded my home city. Thousands drowned, my parents included. I was one of the few who survived. My guardian sent me to boarding school. Among my peers, I was the strange girl, the orphan to be avoided. All because of circumstances beyond my control. Oh, so we're a lot alike, huh? Aren't we? You are an outcast. But you didn't let that stop you from getting what you needed. Neither did I. I climbed my way out of desolation and used my wits to build a fortune. First from the technical analysis of art and the detection of forgeries. Profitable expertise in those days. But as it turned out, the software I developed was even more useful for counterintelligence. From there, it was only a short step to gathering extremely valuable intelligence on my own. You were a spy? 
more like a service one could turn to for information. I had to remain anonymous, of course, to protect my privacy. But despite that anonymity, Far Zenith inevitably sought me out. What happened when Far Zenith approached you? They painted an irresistible vision of humanity's future. One where we need not fear illness or death, where we explored the furthest reaches of the stars and thrived. It was only later that I realized that they only intended to bequeath this future to the rich and powerful. By the time I finally figured it out, the walls were closing in, Faro's machines were devouring the Earth. So I accepted Far Zenith's invitation to a birth on the Odyssey. I wanted Liz to come, but she had nobler plans, as you well know. So you didn't know the other Zeniths were monsters until it was too late? I, I knew some of them were, certainly. It, it wasn't until we were off-planet that I understood the true scope of their greed. I was grateful to simply be alive, but the others became obsessed with a kind of effortless immortality. They built a colony where machines serviced their every need, where any memory or fantasy could be endlessly savored in virtual reality. It wasn't life. It was stultifying a pampered dream state. As the decades passed, I withdrew more and more, alone yet again, but this time with eons to consider my mistakes. Now finally, having met you, I feel like I have a second chance. To do what? Help you, of course. To fulfill Liz's dream, which isn't so different from Far Zenith's original vision. A better future for humanity. You said Beta is not in urgent danger, so what are the Zeniths doing to her? Putting her to work. Merging Hephaestus with Gaia. A difficult, time-consuming task, as I'm sure you know. They will compel her if need be, but her life is not in danger. She's the only one who can do it. Because you people made her to be nothing but a tool. Gerard's idea, not mine. They always viewed me with suspicion when I attempted any form of kindness towards her. That's why I created the Data Channel. A virtual place where we could speak in peace. So this channel you shared with Beta... None of the other Zeniths ever found out about it. Gerard believes he's the most cunning of all of us. Even after a thousand years, he still can't imagine that I would outwit him. The channel allowed me to interact with Beta away from their mistrustful eyes. It offered us a chance to be ourselves. Until you cut off all contact. Yes. Though it pained me. I was worried that our meetings would do her more harm than good. Well, she felt like you tossed her aside. I was afraid the others would find out and punish her. She may not have had the comforts of friendship anymore, but at least I ensured she was safe. I know it seems harsh, but you must believe that her well-being has always been paramount to me. Why did you make the data channel look like this place? I built this house as a shelter to weather any storm, a safe place. Not just for me, but for the art stored below. Cultural artifacts of incalculable value. Truly some of the greatest achievements of human civilization. And you wanted Beta to see them? Yes. Her upbringing was so cold and technical. I thought if she could experience Vermeer and Rembrandt, it would bring something else into her life. A heritage every bit as valuable as the scientific and technical data being drummed into her. I'm sorry I had to cut off contact, but I'll never regret sharing this house with her. 
She needed its shelter even more than I did. Beta told me your colony was destroyed. That you came back to Earth because you had nowhere else to go. It's true. After we reached our destination, a planet in the Sirius star system, we spent decades building a new home. The physical constraints of Earth, the boundaries of mortality, gone. To think of what we could have done with it. It might have been a utopia. Instead, we stagnated, absorbed in effortless comforts and virtual realities. It took a cataclysm to finally yank us out of our stupor. What happened? A massive geological event. We knew of instabilities in the planet core, but we underestimated them. By the time the collapse was upon us, it was too late to stop it. Only a few of us made it to the ship in time. We set course for Earth, the only safe harbor left to us. Which you decided to make unsafe for anyone else. Not me. Gerard. He believes it's better to wipe the canvas clean than work around the smudges. No more primitive tribes, no more combat machines, only a blank slate to do with as he pleases. But we will stop him. All we have to do is get into that base. What exactly is your plan to sneak into the Zenith base? We will make use of a lesson I learned from an early age. Always know your exits. In this case, a place where Gerard's new construction meets the ancient foundation, a passage that only I can access. When Silence flings his army at the base, we will enter through this back door, bypassing most of the fighting. The distraction will provide us with a window in which to rescue Beta and Gaia. Once we're inside the base, where will we find Beta and Gaia? Here, in the command center. By then, Gaia will have been reunited with all of its subordinate functions, including Hephaestus. What about the Alpha build of Apollo on your ship? A simple matter of recovery, once the others have been dealt with. With that in hand, we'll have everything we need to make this world as it should be. How do you know about Silence's plan? He isn't the only one adept at spyware. You hacked his focus? No, he's too careful for that. But his subordinates? <laughs> Not so much. He gave additional focuses to the tribals he branded the Sons of Prometheus. By tapping them, I learned about most of his dealings. The distribution of override technology, the arming of Tanakh rebels, and the secret pact with Regala to attack Gerard's base. But how did he come up with a weapon that can take down your shields? That's the one thing I haven't been able to figure out, but however he did it, I'm quite certain it will work. With it and the Tanakh army, victory seems to be within his grasp. Such a shame he'll be disappointed. Regala's only interested in killing Hakaro and waging war on the Karja. What does she have to gain by attacking Zenith? It's the price she must pay for her war. Without the ability to override machines, her little rebellion would have languished in the desert. So she trades with the Sons of Prometheus. Machines to help her overthrow Hikaru. In exchange for an assault on the base. Pride has deluded her into thinking she can actually survive such a battle. And all without ever knowing who the sons of Prometheus really answer to. Yet for all of Silence's brilliance, still he underestimates you. That blind spot is what will allow us to take Beta and Gaia right out from under him. While hundreds of Tanakh are cut down outside. So you knew... Elizabeth, what was she like? Liz was everything she was, I see in you, and more. Your ingenuity, your determination, 
your moral compass. You've managed to distill her greatest qualities and make them your own. I'm not asking about me. Tell me about Elizabeth. What was she really like? The honest answer is that I don't actually know. For all the time that I spent with her, she always kept a part of herself locked away. It was like that from the moment we met. So when you met Elizabeth, she was what? Distant? Aloof? Not aloof. Not exactly. It was a summit in Paris about machine learning. A touchy subject in those days because regulatory authorities were just starting to clamp down on AIs. Liz gave the keynote address. She had already achieved great renown for her work in automated environmental reclamation, but in her address, she was just starting to imagine the next step, an AI-driven system that wouldn't just act on its programming, but actually take responsibility for its sphere of influence to care about life, not just follow orders. Revolutionary stuff. I was fascinated. And I wanted to meet her for a long time. I watched her after her talk. She had spoken with such moral authority, such empathy. But after that, she retreated. I could tell she felt uncomfortable with all of her admirers. It was as if giving the talk had cost her something. I didn't want to be a pest, so I planned my approach carefully. So how did you finally approach Elizabeth after her talk? I picked the right moment. The morning of the next day, right as she came back to the conference, she had just had her coffee. She was fresh, rested. It was like she had braced herself for the onslaught of colleagues. I asked if I could walk with her, then put forth a question about her talk that I thought was intelligent. Her answer made me realize it wasn't, but she was very welcoming, almost as if we were previously acquainted. It was only halfway through the conversation that I realized she knew exactly who I was. It was quite a shock to me. My business was trafficking in secrets, and I took great pains to protect my anonymity. So that was Liz, perpetually one step ahead. I came to view our meeting as a metaphor for our friendship. She always seemed to know me far better than I knew her. I guess I know the feeling. First Varl, now Hikaru and the Tanakh. Your plan would wipe out an entire tribe. There has to be another way. We are in an admittedly desperate situation, but I assure you there isn't. Remember Zero Dawn. Elizabeth's sacrifice, sometimes many have to die for a new world to grow. If it looks impossible, look deeper. Wait, the data channel. It still exists, doesn't it? I need you to open it. Let me talk to Beta. Impossible, we might be detected. It's worth the risk. There is another way, one where the Tanakh survive. But we won't. If the others... If you want to help, open it.
What are they doing to her? Virtual reality dissociation. The manual merge of Hephaestus will take hours upon hours of tedious micromanagement. If she resists the work, they run simulations to induce feelings of isolation and despair. Beta, can you hear me? You're alive. They're watching me. I, I can't hold up this extra protection for long. You should have killed me. No. No, look at me. I'm coming for you. I promise, okay? I just need you to hold out a little while longer and work on the merch. Contact again when it's time. Can you hold on? As long as I know you're coming for me, I can endure anything. All right. I did as you asked. Now I think you need to tell me what you're planning. I'm going to take Silen's army away. I don't need it. Only the weapon he made to penetrate your shields. And how do you propose to get it? Ask him nicely? Without Regala and her rebels, he won't have a choice. We'll be his only option. Only option for what? What did you tell her? That is between me and my sister. Will be Silent's only option for crashing that base. I'll tell you the rest later. But first, there are a couple of things I have to do. Oh. And what are those? Lay my friend to rest. And then I'm going to use the override that Beta gave me at Gemini to put an end to Rakala's rebellion. From the air. Wait. Since you insist on doing things your way, I know of something that will truly help you make a grand entrance with the Tanakh. The ancient Horus Titans still possess electromagnetic energy cells as part of their arsenal. Drop one of those on Regala's army and they'll receive quite a surprise. So go, do what you must. I'll come to your base if you manage to bring silence to the table. Not if. When. Aaron, are you there? Aloy! Aloy, is that really you? Yeah, it's, it's me. Where's everyone else? We're all... Uh, we're back at base. What happened? It... It might be easier to explain in person. I'll try to join you there when I can. Okay.
Just to let you know, I'm now patched into your focus network. Great. I take it the other Zeniths can't hear us? Of course not. And they don't know about your base either, in case you were wondering. I sent you data on the Horus energy cells you can use against Regala's forces. Reach out to me when you're ready to acquire one. Understood. When you're wounded, you have to strike back. Draw blood. Hey! Can I get one damn minute to mourn my friend? Regala is going to slaughter my tribe to overthrow Hikaru. The Zeniths have Beta and Gaia. We can't sit around wallowing in our losses. Katalo's right. We must fight. Oh, all right. So what are we going to do, huh? Take on all of Regala's rebels? Not to mention the Zeniths. What can we even do? Throw ourselves at their base? Something like that? So... After we lost contact with you, we regrouped and went to Gemini. What happened? The recording we found on Varl's focus cut off when that Zenith Eric... The Zeniths were tracking Hephaestus. When Gaia trapped it in Gemini, they... They knew where we were. After... Varl tried to stop them. They took Beta and Gaia. I only survived because one of the Zeniths turned against the others to save me. One of them? Well... At least we didn't lose you too. So what do we do now? We're going to defeat the Zeniths. And get Beta and Gaia back. But first... We're going to stop Regala. How? Back in Gemini, Beta gave me... A gift. There's something I need to do first to make it work, but it could put an end to the bloodshed. Word is, Regala's readying her army for an all-out assault on the Grove. I... Need to be there. I know. Go. Stand with Akaro. And keep an eye on the sky. Strike true as the ten. The rest of you, whatever preparations you need to make, upgrades, resupplies, get on it. It won't be long before we take the fight to the Zenith. We'll be ready, Aloy. And when you're ready, meet me outside the east exit. I'd like to have a word in private. Even when things are darkest, you're the flame that lights the way forward. Just tell me one thing. Am I gonna get to smash up a bunch of Zenith bastards? We all are. Good. Before I do anything else, I should check on Zoe. It sounded important. I thought you were going to go fight some Tanakh. I wanted to check in with you first. Yeah, don't worry about me. I'm just, you know, picking up the pieces like everyone else. I'll be there when you need me. I never doubted that. Oh. Good. I'm glad you're back. So am I. Do you think so we'll be okay? I don't think anyone's ever okay after losing the one they love. I can't tell you she's handling it better than I ever did. That keeps the rest of us level-headed. I know you hate waiting, but you'll have to stay back here a little longer. Well, you go do what you gotta do, but uh, are you okay? It's not just Varl we lost. Beta's gone. And I almost lost it when I realized my sister had been taken by Durval back in the Sundom. I'm getting her back. That's all that matters. Understood. I need to get going. Uh, you better get there before Catalo tries to take on Regala's entire army by himself. 
Yeah, do me a favor. Don't go disappearing on us again. I'll do my best. Over here, Aloy. We would come out here to tend to the garden. Sometimes I needed fresh air. Other times we would simply sit and watch the sunrise. So when we returned from Gemini, it seemed fitting that he be laid to rest here. Now he can always look out at plain song and... further east to the Nora sacred lands. He would have liked that. He often spoke of his sister, Bala. He said she used to gather her favorite golden blooms and tie them to her spear. Their mother called it useless, but Bala was stubborn. Yeah, she seemed like that. It wasn't easy, but I tracked down the flower, gathered its seeds. As verdant limbs wither, roots rot in snow, still the seed rises as certain as stone. From death follows new life. So it is with the land. And so it is with us. I'm with child, Aloy. I was going to tell him when he got back from Gemini. Instead, one day, I'll bring our child here. We'll sit among the blooms. and watch.
watch the sunrise. I never got to tell him. To thank him. For saving my life, sure, but also... For not giving up on me. He always knew. Goodbye, Varl. I promise to look after them. I'll try to visit again when I can. terminal to install the new override on my spear. Then I'll use it on a sunwing and get ready for an entrance Regala will never forget. Override installed. Now to find a sunwing. I think there are some roosting at the top of the mountain. Crap out of me makes you feel better. I'm well for it. Okay, I need to find a sunwing to override. Better head up the mountain. Good. There's some wings up here. We'll have to approach them quietly. Purge water ammo could help here. Rush. Tilda, I'm in the air. 
then you'll want to pick up an energy cell on one of the ancient Horus Titans. But first you must send out a pulse to activate them. I've sent you the necessary software. To deploy it, you'll have to override one of the communication machines you refer to as Tolnex. There's one in the middle of the desert that should do nicely. On it. There's a tonic. Need to get on top of its head. Now, how to land this thing? Okay, Tilda, I've overridden the tall neck. Good, and the energy cells are now primed. Simply pick one up on a Horus. The nearest one should be northwest of your position. Dropping it on Regala's machine should produce quite a spectacle. Thanks for the assist. I told you, I want to help. Rebels. Reinforcements, maybe. Heading for the Grove. I hope a car on this knock can hold out a little longer. There's the energy cell. Right on the Titan's back. Got the cell. Now onto the grove. The pulse from the Tolnex should have reactivated all the energy cells in the region. I should be able to pick up more from any horse I fly to. Pretty useful, even after I deal with Regala. Is inside. Uh, Hikara will soon uh, be dead. It's all over, Chaplain. Uh, I gotta drop it now. Here it goes. Uh. 
Is that? It's Aloy. She flies on the wings of the ten. The tide has turned. Push through. <laughs> End of the line, Hakaro. Now on your knees and I'll give you the death you didn't have the spine to give me. They're down! The machines! All of them! They're down! What? How's that possible? Regala! <laughs> Enough bloodshed! Let's settle this. You and me. Easy to say when you're atop a machine. <laughs> well, that was just to get your attention. I don't need any help to take you down. Fine. I accept your challenge. And once I'm done with you, I'll get to finish the slaughter. We'll see about that. The duel is set. Let none interfere. Now you shall strike! Ends. Yeah, it is. Take the honor! Move on as a man! <laughs> 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 On my knees before bootless cowards. Go ahead, run me through. <sighs> Shut your mouth, traitor. <laughs> it was you who flew in on the wings of the ten. You who challenged her by our rights. You must decide her fate. I spared her once. It only made things worse. She was the best of my marshals. What a waste. She's dangerous, all right. 
But maybe that's exactly what I need. Cowards! What more do you have to conspire about? Whether you live or die. You led a rebellion that tore a tribe apart. All for bloodlust and revenge. Maybe the only thing you deserve is to die right here. Or maybe... That fury can be directed at the real enemy. You want to ally with her? How can you even trust her? Despite all that she's done, she's never been one to break her word. And will she give it? I won't beg for my life. Decide. I'm not here to forgive you for your crimes. But there's another battle ahead. Against an enemy more powerful than anything you can imagine. And I need people. A squad. That's willing to do whatever it takes. I don't want your mercy. It's not mercy. The battle I'm talking about... ...will be charging into a nightmare. A better death than this? Yes. My blood is yours. Your enemies are mine. Meet us at our stronghold, in the mountains near Plainsong. You mean to send her alone? Without even an armed guard? She does not need it. I will be there. You have my word. I'll hold you to it. Chief, there's something you both need to see. In the throne room. He surrendered to our guards outside the grove. Claims he has an urgent message for the outlander who defeated Regala. So, state it. It's for her alone. From an interested party. I'm gonna need some privacy. Clear the room. Put him with the rest of Regala's soldiers. I'll see you back at base. You saved the tribe. Let me help you with your mission. No. With Regala gone, you have a chance to build the future you dreamed of. So get to your task. Then at least allow me to give you this. Armor for the battle ahead. May it keep you safe. Thank you. Any idea what you've just done? Oh, it's a pleasure to see you too, Silence. Congratulations on your victory. You saved the Tanakh for a few weeks. Unfortunately, you've doomed the entire planet as well. Wrong. I don't need a Tanakh army to defeat the Zenith. Oh, Eloy. Have you learned nothing about the enemy we're up against? More than you, hiding whatever hole you found. My idea is just better than anything you ever came up with. Go on. No, not here. We're doing this my way. Face to face, and with the weapon you've developed. And why would I agree to that? Because I'm your only way of beating the Zeniths. 
and getting the copy of Apollo that's on their ship. So meet me at my base. Mountains west of Plainsong. Time to submit to the inevitable silence and follow the person who actually knows what she's doing. Don't be late. Tilda, you there? I did it. Silence is on board. So head to my base. Impressive. I urge your brother or the I'll be there as soon as I can. Now that I can fly, I might want to see what else I can do before I head back. I can hear every word now. So, save to fly on the wings of your head. Lasting peace. You are a So, Carl keeps his head. Guess I was wrong. It's like the tenor spoken to us anew. There walks the Carl's champion. Hey, uh, Mr. Know-It-All is here. You know, your focus buddy who never smiles. I didn't know what to do with him, so I had him wait in your room. Got it. Thanks. Well, Silence. Looks like you finally found a door you could open without me. I'm glad it's there, actually. It kept me from having to mingle with the company you keep. But enough prattle. I believe you owe me an explanation. Your plans for the Zenith base? You're right. I do owe you. My spear in your throat for deceiving me again. At the Hades Proving Lab. I doubt you asked me here for that kind of reckoning. No. Right now, I need your help. So I'm giving you one final chance. But if you ever betray me again, I will kill you no matter what the circumstance. Understood? Very well. Though we'll both face a decidedly short future if you can't get us inside that base. Aloy, your other guest is here. She's, um, coming to you. Thanks. Good timing. The truth is, I can't actually get us into the base. But, she can. The company you keep is even worse than I thought. Not a fan of surprises, are you? Oh, look. That must be your little invention. Does the weapon work? Without self-destructing? Of course it does. I've eliminated the imperfections and greatly improved its design. And output. How can we be sure? Care for a demonstration. 
Enough, both of you. We're in this together, at least for now. Go talk to Erend. Tell him I said to give you rooms of your own. I'll come see you when I get a chance. Oh, no. You first. Better get everyone in the control room, so Tilda can tell us what she knows about the Zenith base. I'm, uh, gonna clean my gear later. Okay, maybe it's time to get everyone together so Tilda can brief us, but it's... All right, people, I need you up in the control room right away. Okay, everyone, we all know what's at stake. Beta, Gaia, not to mention life on Earth. Now, it might seem like the Zeniths are invincible, but they're not. We've got what it takes to break into their base and defeat them. We even have one of them on our side. Tilda, show us the base. It is constructed atop the ruins of an ancient military facility on an island to the southwest. I can get us inside. To this location. Undetected. How, exactly? You'll know when you need to. Once inside, our goal will be this structure. The launch tower. Gaia and Beta are being held at the top. But along the way, we will face overwhelming resistance. Most importantly, from Gerard, Eric, and the others. But also... Once I take away their shields, we should be able to deal with them. But it will be easier to deploy the device if someone else is carrying it. I'll need a strong back. Carry stuff? Yeah, I can do that. Even if your device works, there will still be Spectre drones, scores of them. If only we had an army to fight them. I've got that under control. You'll know when you need to. All right. We'll meet up again just before we go in. Where's the best place to rendezvous? On the coast, just across from the island. Once there, I'll show you the way. Okay. I'll let you know when I arrive at the rendezvous point. And then you can join me. In the meantime, do whatever you need to prepare. Understood? You two? A minute? Tilda helped me get in touch with Beta, and she told me something important. There's an installation inside the base. It's called a regulator. Here. Once we're inside, I need you two to split off from everyone else and destroy it. So you'll have to bring explosives. This will help stop the drones. Everything depends on it. Are you with me? After that, I want you to find a way to infiltrate the Zenith network. How? Go over all the data that Beta left behind. She knew how to do it, I'm sure of that. All right, but... Why? Uh, what am I trying to do? Find information about the Zeniths. Anything Tilda's not telling us. Sounds is right about one thing. There's no way we can take her on her word. I'll do my best. Keep her safe, okay? On my life.
Okay. Almost time to go after Beta and Gaia. Might be good to check up on everyone first. Oh, uh, before I forget, I watered those plants. Hmm? I just know they meant a lot. Well. Did you need some? May honor guide you. I should take care of everything I can before calling in the others to attack the Zenith base. Okay, everyone. I'm at the rendezvous point. It's time to rescue Beta and Gaia. Understood, Aloy.
Aloy. Where are the others? Not far behind. Egghead here couldn't stand traveling with the pack. Are we all here? Then let's begin. A tunnel. An ancient escape route from the ruins on the island. When I realized it ran all the way across the water, I, I thought it might prove useful to come and go undetected. So I concealed it from the others. Shall we? Ooh, and I wish there was a less pungent way to get way inside the base. Agreed. There's the launch tower. That plane offers a little cover, so the only viable path is through there. There will be specters guarding it, and many more can be deployed from those hangars. All right. Alva, Catalo, get to it. Where are they going? Somewhere important. Aaron, you're with me. You guys? Take the high ground, in case we need covering fire. Tactically sound, I suppose. What will she do? There's a sensor node nearby. If I hack into it, I should be able to scramble the network and keep you undetected. But not for long. And then we should proceed. One more thing. Open up the channel to beta. Audio only. We're here, and we're coming for you. You know what to do, right? As long as you hold up your end. We will. See you soon. Be careful. Let's go. <clears throat> Get to the launch tower as quickly as possible. I'll do my best to conceal our intrusion. Way, Aloy. Spectres ahead. Company. Follow my lead. That's what I do. Aloy, hey, will you hit this thing with acid?
right. Find anything? Yeah. I think there's a cave up there that might get us through that ridge. Let's climb up to it. in this backpack, metal bricks. Aloy, Alva and I are closing in on the regulator. Keep me posted. It's creepy in here. Don't worry. I'll protect you. Machines on this island. We killed a great many when we landed here. Their salvage may prove useful to you now. I grab it. Sneak. Sneak or fight. You choose. Hey, just here. Here we go. These bastards are good We can take this one, Aloy. Keep moving. That Stormbird carcass should get us over the gap. I hate Stormbirds. But I guess that. That dead <laughs> You remember the good old days when our only worry was whether Meridian would be destroyed? You know, the uh, whole world. Oh, yeah. Good times. Oh, more spectres. Oh, thank you so much. I'll attack when you do. Thank <laughs> you. 
Here, of this rock. We're gonna have to climb around this corner. Well, I'm trying not to complain. I can see the way forward. Keep moving. We're going as fast as we can. You all right? Sort of. Looks like the others have things under control. We only want to fight it once, that's for sure. Here when you want. Hey, Lloyd. I'll then I have Do it. Blow the regulator. Alpha and Catalo did their job. Now it's Beta's turn. Uh, Aloy? I think we're in trouble. Whatever you plan to do to stop those specters, you better do it now. I'm not doing anything. Beta will. She just needs a little time. Time that we don't have. What is that? Our army. I think you got their attention. Very clever. You had Beta inject Hevestus into the base's printer matrix. Which is faster and more powerful than any cauldron. And now it can crank out machines to its heart's content. Get to the launch tower before this whole place becomes a war zone. <clears throat> Your maneuver, as clever as it is, means that Hephaestus has escaped containment. It will no doubt flew back to the Cauldron Network. We grabbed it once, we'll get it again. Or we'll find a way to replicate its functionality, perhaps. On the Apollo database. Big rock might give us a bridge to get up and through. Gotcha.
Grab it if you need it. Made it through without a fight. To the right, I think. And now to the left. You can get to the launch tower through the hangar up ahead. I'm heading over to join you now. The hangar's in bad shape, but I can see the way in. Hurry, Aloy! Another one? By the blood of the pen! Space stuff. to the tower. know who's been causing all the fuss. Tilda's little pet. Silence! Zenith, inbound! Can we drop their shields, please? I'm powering it up. Stay still. This is pointless! You can't hurt us. Face it, your worms that ooze to the cracks into our basement. Silence! One moment more. But I might just spare you if you give up Tilda. I think it's safe to say she's forfeited her share of our operation. Permanently. Ah, uh, there. No! Nothing. Fine. All right, people. Light him up! Are we supposed to be scared?
We can't let Gerard escape. It won't take long before he preps the shuttle for launch. Then he'll be able to take Beta and Gaia into orbit and onto the Odyssey beyond our reach. We gotta go through there? I fail to see another option. Then we'll carve a path. Ready? Secure Gaia. I'll stop Gerard. I gotta get to the top of the tower and free Beta. Trust me, you're gonna wish you had one. Hit me then! Found that, didn't ya? Sister, I'll regroup with the others and make sure they're all right. Looks 
like the machine's inspectors have almost wiped each other out. What was that? Aloy, Gerard just activated the self-destruct failsafe on the printing matrix. He's taking control of a number of systems. Including the lift? I'm afraid so. He's restricted its access to the top. You'll have to climb from there. I have to go. I almost have him. What about the Zeniths? Dead, I think. Izo told me you got Eric. Good work. Yeah. Thanks. I guess only Tilda and Gerard are left then. Aloy, you there? Listen, I got into the network, but only for a minute before I was shut out. I found a bunch of flight plans and trajectories, as if the Zeniths were planning to leave Earth. Doesn't make any sense. I know. But there's more. The files I found have a lot of references to something called Nemesis. Whatever it is, the Zeniths are afraid of it. Alva? Alva! What's going on here? Maybe Beta can help me figure it out. If she's okay. Are you okay? Look, I, I know you've been through a lot, but you have to help me access the Zenith network. I need to see their files, anything referring to the word Nemesis. Okay. O over there. The systems are down all over the base. I should be able to take advantage of... Yes, Nemesis. Here. There's something in deep space. It's following the Zeniths to Earth. Look. Escape vectors. Alva tried to warn me about this. The Zeniths aren't planning to stay here. It's a machine of some kind. O or a swarm of them. The energy readings are... astronomical. Aloy, I don't think a natural disaster destroyed the Zenus colony on Sirius. This thing did. Earth isn't a new home for them. It's a way station. They're on the run. I see you've been busy. And you've been lying. Nemesis, what is it? It is us. The minds of Far Zenith. Or failed copies of them, anyway. Back on Sirius, some of my peers weren't 
satisfied with physical immortality. They wanted digital transcendence, a way to upload their minds into any form, organic or mechanical. Nemesis was a failed experiment to that effect, abandoned but never erased. An immense database of our memories, emotions, and prejudices left to fester. And it destroyed your colony? We didn't realize it had gained sentience until it broke containment. It had everything it needed from our memories. Security protocols, system specs, override codes. It hacked everything before we knew what hit us. Then it took over our printing facilities, allowing it to gain any machine form it needed to wipe us out. But why? Imagine being trapped alone for decades with only the twisted echoes of megalomaniacs for company. It hates us for abandoning it to that prison. And now that it's free, it will do anything to destroy us, including denying us a safe harbor on Earth. The extinction signal that woke Hades. You didn't send it. Nemesis did. Finally, you understand. And when that failed, it launched from Sirius to finish the job itself. Which is why we must flee to a random planet circling a random star somewhere it can never find us. With Gaia, so you can build yourself a new world. That's the plan. Even now. Earth is finished, Aloy. Nemesis will scour it of life to deny its creators a viable home. But Elizabeth's dream won't die. You'll come with me to the stars. And with Gaia, we'll create a new world. Together. Where that monstrosity could never find us. What? No. I loved Elizabeth. More than you could ever know. And I let her stay behind to die with the rest of humanity. A mistake I have regretted for a thousand years. Now she stands before me again. Not some inferior copy, but her best possible self. So I'm not asking. You're coming with me. It may seem harsh now, but you'll forgive me in a few centuries. You can't force me, Tilda. Your shield is gone. I have something better. Spectre Prime, to me. Take cover! Get to the door! I better stand that thing first. Elemental 
ammo is making a dent in those gold plates. She tried to take you. And she told you about Nemesis. So you've known all along? From Hades, yes. Along with data on how to circumvent the Zenith's shields. Everything I did to create the Rebel Army was based on that knowledge. To reach this place, this moment. And you couldn't just tell me? Come now, Eloy. You're the last person to act sensibly in the face of impossible odds. When I learned of Nemesis from Hades, I saw the pieces on the board and how to play them. And in that same moment, I knew it was a game you would never play. That you would interfere and attempt to save the Tanakh. I was correct, to a point. You ruined my plans, but brought your own to fruition. The end result is the same. We're here. And now it's time for me to leave this doomed planet behind. To seize the Odyssey and the Apollo database and begin a new chapter in my pursuit of knowledge, one with infinite possibilities. You can join me if you so desire. You've more than earned your place. Unlike Tilda, I'm extending a polite invitation. You're going to just take off and abandon everything? Stay. Help me fight that thing. Perhaps Tilda didn't adequately define the threat. Nemesis can't be stopped. It destroyed a highly advanced Zenith... Very different than the one you fought. It's not about the distant hope of creating a new world. It's about preserving the one we have. My friends have a new mission. To spread the word and ask for help. They've taken it in stride. I think it's because they've always known what I've only just started to understand. That the people of this world have the strength to fight any battle. The ingenuity to solve any problem. The courage to overcome any obstacle. and the resilience to rise after any setback. As for me, 
I can't say I'm not afraid. What lies ahead will be harder than anything we've faced before. But I know I can put the fear aside. Because for the first time in my life, I think I'm not alone. When it looks impossible, look deeper. And then fight like you can win. I will, Rost. Now, and always. Elizabeth had a dream for this world. I guess a lot didn't go as planned. And there are still dangers ahead. Maybe the biggest yet. But after what Beta and I accomplished, I... I have hope. We'll fight for Elizabeth's dream. Together. The focus... It's Morals. I used to think no Nora would ever accept one. But Varl did. Even when he was overwhelmed, he refused to let me push him away. Maybe one day, I'll head back to the Sacred Lands and see Sona again. Tell her what her son accomplished. And how brave he was. With Regal out of the way, Hikaru and Tanakh, they're safe. The future's up to them now. I do wish they'd drop all the honorary names they've given me. But if I've learned anything about them, that is not a battle I am going to win. There's Gwen stuff in here now. Must be all of us.
Everything okay, Gaia? Yes, it is good to be home. Although my heuristic matrix will take some time to reinitialize, I must ensure that all Zenith code has been purged from my systems. Good idea. Take as long as you need. What are you up to? I'm getting a head start on looking for ways to temporarily stabilize the biosphere. We may not have a Festus, but I'm sure we can come up with something. I'm surprised you're staying in the base. Thought you'd slink away to one of your workshops. The capabilities of this facility are adequate for now. Well, make yourself at home, I guess. Take much damage from fire. Closing in on the signal. That tunnel looks damaged. I should take a closer look. override the big guy.
can get it from my stash later. I could try using acid ammo. Take a look at the leader's body before I go. Might find something useful.
I can grab this from my stash later. How much snow you outlander come and trade Aloy it's Alba I overheard a couple of navigators here in landfall talking about a problem with one of our ships it sounded like something you might be able to help with I'll swing by landfall when I can. Thanks.
force isn't going to do much. Settlement. Looks abandoned. But high enough to get me on that tarmac. If I can find a way to the top. Another tarmac. Where is the tarmac that signaled my focus? Something seems to have knocked the tarmac down. Feel the current. Better take a look at the damage. Find the parts of the list. Thank <laughs> you. 
stash when I need it. I wonder if this is where those silver toll records ended up. That looks like the part I'm looking for. One down, one to go. I should go back to the Glintox nest. We get the part that's in there. A second tall neck part. I should get these back to the Tallneck. Atomic pieces I found back where they belong. I should return these back to the atomic. Make that next.
It is hot. Good day. Honor and everything. Water ammo could help here. Belgian door. Different. There's no way to hack it. If I can find another way in, I should be able to get data from its core to override some new machines. The earth split open fast. Must have been an earthquake.
I should be able to find data on how to override some new machines. them to get to the other side. Closer together. One jump might be enough to get me to the next one.
it should hide me for a while. I'm afraid if I stick to shotgun, I'll... Looks like it can get me up here. This place is making a tonic. The earthquake must have interrupted the process. Good. Tallneck blocking this platform. Now I'll have to find a different exit. It looks like there's room underneath the core. Maybe I can squeeze through. As he does it.
start again. Should get me across.
I can hear the head being repaired. It's in place. Big guy's fixed. Ugh, but that metal arm's keeping it in place. Tall neck. The shockwave will break it free. Feels good to breathe some fresh air again. You isn't too put. Go in strength. Done it this time, Max. An honor, champion. I'm Nako. Have you been out to the Valley of the Fallen by chance? Don't think I have. Why? What's there? My idiot little brother. The Valley is a test of endurance and skill from my clan, the Lowlanders. But it's been closed for months. Commander's orders. There have been reports of strange lights off the coast, and the whole area is crawling with deadly machines. But Dax, reckless and bare-armed as he is, went in any way. Never takes no for an answer. Convinced two others to go with him, too. They've been missing for days, and now Marshal Ivira has been sent in to bail them out. Strange lights, deadly machines, and missing soldiers? Sounds like a lot, even for a marshal. I'd go by myself, if I wasn't stuck on transport duty. I'll find your brother, if I can. Where is this valley? Southwest of here. In the depths of lowland territory. Look for the climbing path on the cliffs. It marks the start of the valley. And if you see my brother, knock him on his ass for making me worry. The strange lights off the coast. It sounds like they're coming from the Zenith base. I should look into it when I'm out that way. I do hope you'll get the ballista parts, champion. What do you mean? The only one mark. One kill. Aloy, need to turn in some tags or trade some medals? Maybe you want some from hunting grounds. But if you want to turn in the parts, we need to open the arena. You'll have to talk to Kala. I found some of the tags you mentioned before. Good. The squad mates and families of the deceased will be grateful. 
Here, a small reward for your efforts. But don't let your guard down. There are still many outposts in the wilds. Earn more medals and the rewards will be great. Well, I guess I should go. Safe travels. A good display yeah, well, of that technique. I I might head over what to can I do for you? Oh, no problem. Like I need to get. Of course. Good luck. End of another day. No army can march Seek. without... Next time, a Grigalbin seat by. Return again. Good day, champ. Next time we seal a proper trade. <laughs> How can I help you? Today? The visions of the ten are renewed. Cares for her equipment. That one's changed too. Take to the sky. Earned a half strike. You can walk proudly, Outlander. That one's changed. The truth of the visions were revealed by this Outlander. Under Hikaro's reign. You honor the Tanakh. Please. Full strike would don't see the vision like this. In the time it would take me to get a full strike on the trial, I could earn three half strikes. <laughs> Your blade be yeah, bright. Man, it's putting on a show. <clears throat> Honor and strength. The walking talk. Picaro's enemies fall before him. Greetings, now. warrior. of the ten are renewed. Is it true, say Takara? You are preparing to leave. Do you need supplies? Blood of the ten. Regala didn't stand a chance against you. <laughs> She's good. Maybe I was wrong. I took down a ravager the last time I was out in the wild. Walk oh, with honor. Yeah. Yeah, move, Takara. No. Thinking. The visions of the ten are renewed.
I hope you're well, Aloy. Hey. How does it feel to be back with the tribe? It's an adjustment. I had gotten used to your base and your comrades. But I've spoken to Hikaru about Nemesis. The clan commanders are next. My hope is that the entire tribe will be behind you when the time comes. Thanks, Katalo. That means a lot. By the way, there is something I've been meaning to discuss with you. It's personal. You said there was something you wanted to talk about? Gaia once mentioned that the Zeniths bind metal with flesh to make themselves stronger. I was wondering if you'd help me do the same. You want to make yourself a new arm? Yes. Gaia insisted I could build such a thing, if I can get the necessary data and materials. She believed these things lie in the place where Beta hid from the Zeniths. Their ancient research lab. I am not as familiar with old world machinery as you are. I could use your assistance. Let's give it a try. By the ten, we shall see it through. I'll call you when I'm near the Zenith lab. We'll get what you need for that new arm of yours. Thank you, Aloy. I can grab this from my stash later. Must be the clearing where Conover says he saw the eclipse. Blood stains. As good a place to start as any. Pretty sure this is where Conover killed that guard. Maybe my focus can tell me if there really was a third person here. from barren light. I should be able to follow them with my focus. Let's see where this leads. Maybe Conover wasn't lying after all. Maybe I can pick up the tracks once I'm past them.
blood. A lot of it. Whoever the runner was, this machine must have slashed him. Should be easy to follow the blood trail with my focus. Looks like we're headed for that bridge. Someone set up a lookout down here. Bandages. Looks like the runner tried to treat their wounds before they went on. I should be able to follow their tracks. Where did you go off to? I'll stash this away for later. The trail ends here. Must have climbed up to that cave. With that injury, I'll bet he's on his last legs. This looks like a good place for someone to hide. Dad, what are we supposed to do now? We stay on track and make our way out west. If we give up now, the usurper will lose. We have to find that. In his shed, we, we don't know Larvik's dead. He hasn't shown at the rendezvous point. So either that fool guard killed him, or he lost his nerve. We'll just have to blast our way through the gates. And then what? Rayad was our only link to Vezra, and now he's dead too. We'll track Vezra if we have to. But first we have to get past Baron Light. Next change of guard we go in fast and loud. Conover was right. I have to stop them before they hurt anyone else. The Savior will die, and I will enjoy watching it happen. Here we go! Get help! Now! Ah, that. But I'm sure there's more of them outside. I better be careful. Okay. I think we must be clear. I'm still worried someone's out there. Do this thing. Looks like there's more Eclipse beyond the Daunt. If this Rayad is the only link to them, he might have a focus. He could tell me where they are.
I'm guessing that's Rayad. I was right. Rayad has a focus. Loyal Eclipse. If you're seeing this, it means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I'll have to pay this Vezra a visit and crush his new Eclipse empire before it begins. There's coordinates here, out past barren light. Ryad's mask should be enough to prove Conover's innocence. I better take it back to Baron Light. Look alive, soldier. She's back. Aloy! Did you find anything? Eclipse fugitives were camped out on the other side of the forest. And they were getting ready to fight their way through Baron Light. You just helped save a lot of lives. Aloy, you know I believe you. But the other officers, they may not be convinced by your words alone. If they need proof, show them that. And tell them this man risked his life to expose and eliminate an Eclipse spy. Huh. I guess you are his savior. Congratulations, soldier. You're a free man. I'll have you out of there before sunfall. I'll make sure this gets to the right people. That's it, then. The end of the Eclipse. <sighs> Almost. The trespassers you mentioned, the ones who got through Baron Light weeks ago, their leader's dangerous. And he's out there, in the Forbidden West, building up an army. Sun and Shadow, you're going out there to stop him, aren't you? I'm gonna try. I wanna help. I can fight. I know you can. But you've been through a lot. Once you're out of that cell, you should enjoy your freedom. You've earned it. Take them out, Savior. I can reach its core. I should get enough data to avoid some new machines. Ah. Uh. Uh. 
Should be able to catch this up. my way to the core. the shield.
Maybe I can use that. Getting to that arm below. Get your right on this little camera to be here. I made it this far. Just have to hold on a little longer. Get off this thing soon. Those arms can help me reach the door. I just have to get to them.
machine overrides. Machines stored like that. There's the core. Now I just need to access it. Guess I'm not getting those overrides without a fight. Should be able to access the core now. <laughs> Looks like Hephaestus has been upgrading the cauldron security grid. should be able to override this machine. Looks like some kind of dig site. What's going on here? These are the coordinates Vesra gave his henchmen in the Daunt. Time to see what the Eclipse are up to. I don't think I can open these doors from here. Where is in these ruins? Doesn't want any visitors. Hey! I want you! I need to get into those ruins and find out what they're up to.
That's all of them. No, I need to get hey. into these ruins. I can help Stop you get whatever in. Whatever this Vesra is doing. Let's talk. It won't open from this side. It's got some kind of special lock. <sighs> Eclipse bastards. Good riddance! So, Vezra found an actual fortress to hole up in. Listen. If you're here to stop them, you could sneak in from the upper scaffold. We haven't reinforced all of the southern wall yet. Vezra's holed up on the other side of the pit. Who are you? And the others? I'm Yef. All of us are Utaru. The Eclipse have been prowling the borders of Plainsong, snatching up anyone they can. Would have worked me to death if you hadn't shown up. So the Eclipse abducted you? Yeah. I was out, uh, exploring a couple weeks ago when they caught me. Exploring? Well, more like wandering and looking for scraps. Plain Song isn't such a fun place to be right now. Not much food, not much to do. Of course, it's a thousand times better than this cesspool. Next time, I'll stay closer to home. The others ran off. Will they be okay? They'll run straight for Plain Song. No guarantees, but they'll probably make it. I'd be more worried about the ones still inside. They'll either be working or penned up. I'll keep an eye out for them. Any idea what's waiting for me inside? Eclipse goons, killer machines, dangerous weapons from the old ones. What kind of weapons? You think they'd tell me? I was lucky to go a day without a beating. The leader's always droning on about wielding the ancient power of death. That sounds bad. You should probably head back- And miss my chance to deliver some payback? I want to help. Then stay here and let me handle the fighting. If I rescue anyone else inside, they'll be grateful to see a friendly face. <laughs> well, luck be with you then. Guess I'll just sit back and enjoy the show. <laughs> Must have been some battle the old ones fought here. <laughs> the old ones fought hard here. Looks like this place is under siege. That's my way in. Quite an operation, we will reap our here. destiny. Time to put an end to it. Here is the Now for their leader. Those speakers have to be connected to a power source somewhere. Probably inside that big structure. But that's no longer are we burdened by the Kasha masses. We are free. Free to conquer. Oh, 
Haru An prisoners. Outlander? Who is she? I gotta let them out. Help Quick. us! Calm down, everyone. I'm gonna set you free. Blessed thanks! Hang tight. I'll get you out of there. You're safe now. Get as far from here as you can. But what will you do? Clean up this mess. Alone? That's certain death! Sure. For the bad guys. All of you, find a place to hide while I finish this. Now, I take care of Vesra. Give you this gift. Only I can lead you. For I am no longer just a man. I wield the very power of death itself. The arts of the Old Ones are mine alone to command. And by mastering them, I will secure our future. Maybe you should secure your hideout first. Ah. The savior of Meridian. How kind of you to deliver- Shut up, Vesra. It's over. Hardly. You may have driven us from the Sundom. But now is the time for revenge. Ravager isn't gonna make things easy. I gotta take it out fast. lot harder for that. Not with this. We'll both be gone in an instant. I'll be fine. I hoped you just beat the snot out of these bastards, but this is beautiful. The others, I, I told them to hide, are, are they? Everyone's okay. They all found a safe place. I figure we'll camp out here until we get our strength back up. Then I'll take everyone back to Plain Song. Thanks, Yef. Listen. Sometimes during his ramblings, Bezra mentioned his former comrades, said they'd arrive any day now. Are we safe? I don't know, but I intend to find out. It looks like Bezra spent some time in here. I'll take a look around. Loyal Eclipse. I don't know if there's any more Eclipse we need you're to worry seeing about. this. It means you've left the Sundom in search of something to follow. Your journey is almost over. Follow the sun beyond the gates of barren light. And bask in the gloom of future conquest. A new empire awaits. I've seen this before. I think that's the last of them. I left word in the dawned. Death 
the others are still alive. Bell, find it and try to join me here. Not if I first, which I did. Five tribes. Five bombs. That's what I need. With their capitals in ruins, they will have no choice but to submit to my rule. I'll say this for Vesra. He dreamed big. What did you find? Vesra's comrades are dead. The Utaru have nothing to fear from the Eclipse anymore. And neither does the rest of the world. Well then. Can't imagine there's anything a scrawny forager like me could ever do for someone like you, but... If you ever need a favor, you can find us in Plainsong. I hope you make it there. I'm able to override that canister below right now. I'm on my back. Just like Kala said. Gonna have to take it down.
Honor and strength. May your enemies fall. You tame. You fought Regala. You'll find allies here. Let every hold Welcome, shake warrior. You, know, you can rest your feet in the lake. <laughs> One enemy falls, another enemy falls. Find the parts we need for the ballista. We walk in strength. Our soldiers are eager to Please. I've got the parts you need for the ballista. Excellent. We'll get it fixed up right away, and then the arena will be ready. You're welcome to fight any time. How does it work? Simply speak to me, and I'll arrange a challenge for you. And any medals you win from fighting, you can exchange with me for some of the tribe's very best equipment. Not just from the arena, but also medals won at hunting grounds. After upgrading your gear, I think so you'll come to favor me over Kala. I'm here to help train our squads. Is that a popularity then contest? Good thing for you. I'll take my leave then. Come talk to me if you win or if you have soldiers' tags to turn in. Well then, if you'd like to fight in the arena now, we can set it up in no time. I'll give it a shot. Good. We'll reopen with the champion in the ring. Show us what you got, champion. Good fight on machine with shotgun, huh?
I have guts, champion. I'll give you that. What can I do for you, A? Oh, no problem. Well, I guess safe travels. Hunting grounds. Step right up. Be shy. I'll take care of this. Clueless. So you decided to visit the hunting grounds. Good on you. Isvod here is all kinds of trials. So hot shots like you can put their machine hunting skills to the test. Or as the Tanakh call it, earning your stripes. I thought hunting grounds were Karja. Uh, the Tanakh have them out west, too. Though if you ask the Karja, Westerners stole the idea from the Sundom. In fact, the Tanakh used this place for a while after they kicked the Karja out of the region. They even left behind some of the special coins they handed out, to those who earned stripes. Look, they're medals, Karja ones, more spoils. I heard you can trade them for gear somewhere in the Tanakh clan lands. Pretty gruesome, I know, and then again, so were the Karja during the Red Raids. Come to think of it, 
If you plan on going west, I could convince Izvod to give you some, if you aren't stripes here. Seems like they might be of use to you out there. Thanks. You need anything for the trials, come see me. I have some wares I'm sure you'd find handy. Good luck. If you're looking for medals prized by the Tanakh, you can earn them here, Savior. Oh, and I'd like you to have this, if you care to use it. Consider it my thanks for getting Theranus out of trouble. Go down the ropes, and I'll start timing you. Should be able to override scourges now. Stand. You did well. Not that I expect. Let me know what you need. Everything's set up. Just use the rope to jump in. Thank you. 
reward well earned. Grounds are all yours. Just use the ropes to jump in. This is for you, Savior. These grounds are always open to you. Aloy, glad to see the West hasn't claimed you yet. How have things been? Not going to lie. It's been a challenge. Keeping the fort's repairs running smoothly while watching for any signs of Regala and her rebels, but we're holding together. So it's Commander Lawan now? For the time being. So, what can I do for you? About Vashav. What happened to him? His body was taken back to Meridian. Sun King Avad had him interred with highest honors in the Alight. No soldier could ask for more. It's too bad about Nazar and Fwadis. At least Nazar went down fighting. As for the Sun Priest, well, no one deserves to go out that way. What happened to them? Nozar's remains were delivered to his family. Fwadis was taken to the Temple of the Sun in Meridian. I heard the Sun Priests buried him with his scrolls. I'm sure he would have liked that. I need to be going. Of course. Good luck out there. Yeah. 
hammerhead. Scum clogging up the rivers has cleared in much of the Lowland clan's territory. But for some reason, the water around their capital, Thornmarsh, remains polluted. Perhaps this is something you could help with. Yeah, maybe. I'll look into it when I can. Starting to rain. It's about time. I hold these hunting grounds to the highest Karja standards. Until you return, Savior. I'll keep some extra on hand. So you made it. Welcome to the hunting grounds. My name is Avina. I'm the caretaker of the grounds. I make sure they're kept fit for training against machines, whether they be used by our soldiers or our Utaru neighbors. 
Same as the Karja, then. Ah, yes. We've heard those cowards claim the idea of hunting grounds as their own, but our soldiers have been training in places like this since before the clan wars. I'm willing to bet our trials are beyond anything the Karja would dare face. A skilled hunter like you might actually find them challenging. Rewarding, too. Win our trials and you'll earn stripes. That, in turn, will garner you some medals. Remnants of our victory against the Karja during the Red Raids. You can take medals to the arena at the Grove, our capital. Its keepers will let you exchange them for the finest weapons and gear our tribe has to offer. I'll keep that in mind. I should get going then. I have other grounds to inspect, but rest assured they will be open to you. Walk with the Ten. Are these your hunting grounds? They are. Try a challenge, and we'll see if you live up to your reputation. Go down the rope, and I'll start timing the trial. I see you live up to the stories, Outlander. One of my best trials. Just use any rope to jump in, and I'll start timing you.
I believe this is yours. Just slide down a rope to start. I look forward to seeing you compete. Me? I believe this is yours. You know where to find me. Champion, over here. I've got something to tell you. All right, what's wrong? All thanks to the Outlanders. All the blades you. did not out there. One boy. Come and trade. One. Wait, you were there? Oh, yeah. I hold a clock. Hail, Aloy. Flew on the wings of the tent. It's an honor.
here to try the grounds, Candy? The Sky Clan welcomes you to our hunting grounds, champion. Just Aloy. Right. <laughs> These grounds have been used to train our hunters for generations. I'm sure they'll provide enough of a challenge for you. Choose a rope and jump down to start the trial. Hmm, this will make a good die.
Hunter's reward. I'll be here if you need me. I've trained with these trials myself. Use the ropes to jump into the grounds, then we can start.
process. An honorable prize for an honorable win. Let me know if you... Change your mind. Pick your hunt. Use the ropes to jump into the grounds, then we can start. You made a good effort down there, Aloy. So you didn't beat the trial. You can There's always room to improve. 
Choose a rope and jump down to start the trap. of hunt, Aloy. Come get your prize. Your prize. Let me know. Like the ten before us, my clan tests their metal against only the most formidable of machines. Now, so will you. Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I'll start the trial.
This belongs to a proven hunter. Use any of the ropes to jump into the grounds. I'll start the trial. Razor sharp claws and arm to the teeth. That thing's built to kill. This is a testament to your skills. The ten be with you. Set up the trials. Are you prepared for the hunt? <laughs> Go down a rope into the grounds, and I'll start.
Ten would be proud of that hunt. This belongs to a proven hunter. Very well. Machines are ready for battle if you are, Outlander. The hunter's training is never over. I can grab this from my stash later. What's going on here? Close combat training. Fighting at long range is a good strategy for machines. But fighting an enemy soldier means getting up in their face. I'm Lee Rocke. I run the training pit here in Scalding Spear. And you? You're the one who wiped out Regala's machines. Flew on the wings of the Ten and defeated her in single combat. Pretty damn impressive for an Outlander. You can train here if you like. But you're only allowed your spear and a practice bow in the pit. Everything else stays with me. And if you're looking to test your fighting skills, I also offer challenges. Complete all of them, and you'll get to go up against me. And what happens if I beat you? I'll grant you a mark to prove you've mastered this training pit. If you earn marks from me and the pit masters of the Bulwark and Thorn March, you'll earn the right to challenge the Enduring. I think I've heard of the Enduring. Some kind of Tanakh's trainer? More than just a trainer. The Enduring is a legendary fighter among the clans. The master of masters. Only those who prove themselves in the pits get to train with the Enduring. Including Outlanders? You're no ordinary Outlander. So, what will it be? Should you want to practice or take on a challenge, just let me know. Oh! <laughs> 
Because you can combine single attacks, you can also chain combinations. Try it with this one. different. I want you to practice using Aerial Slash to chain into an aerial shot. Good fight. Pretty sure I'll have a bruise to remember it by. Here. A mark is promised. Thanks. One down, I guess. Go to the training pits in the Bulwark and Thorn Marsh. Earn their marks. Then you can challenge the Enduring. Few have ever done so. But I think you might have a shot. And if you want to train more or take on another challenge, let me know. The pit will always welcome you. That's enough practice for now. Strike true as the ten. You, Outlander, come and trade. Is this a training pit? It is. Sounds like you've been to one of the other clan's capitals. I'm Arayo. My brother Varak and I run this training pit. And you're the one who defeated Regal at the Grove. You single-handedly wrecked her machine army while on the wings of the Ten. You're a champion among us already. Anyway, if you've been to another clan's training pit, then you must know the drill. The same rules apply here. You can train or take on a challenge. Only your spear and a practice bow are allowed in the pit. Complete all of our challenges, and you can spar with us. And when I beat you, I'll earn a mark? If. And yes, a token of victory to present to the Enduring. Who is this Enduring, exactly? All I've heard is that they're the best trainer amongst the Tanakhs. Earn three marks. <laughs> then you'll see. You can't win a battle if you're dead, and distance will keep you alive. This combination gets you out of trouble and punishes your enemy. Ugh! <sighs> 
survival on the battlefield is down to tactics. Your best target isn't always the closest, so select your target and strike. a defensive opponent, use a block breaker. Then chain it into an attack using a half moon slash. Fight! Learn! A steel blade is a useless blade! No! Challenge me! Might have even cracked a smile. Here, you've earned this mark. Thanks. Two marks, one more to go. And then the enduring. Most never even get this far. Good luck getting your final mark. And let me know if you want to rematch, another challenge, or more training. You'll always be welcome here. I have to go. If you want to spar again, we'll be here. Getting quieter without the rain. Your arrows be true. <laughs> This is a training pit, right? Yeah, our squads practice close combat drills here. Name's Tanalo. I'm the master of this pit. And you must be the one who flew on the wings of the tin. Took out Regala's machine army before defeating her in a duel. Still, you can always use more practice. And just like the other clan's pits, the rules here are the same. I offer training and challenges. You can use your spear and a training bow. All other gear stays with me while you're in the pit. If you can complete all of my challenges, I'll let you fight me. And when I win, I'll earn a mark for the Enduring? That's right. Once you've earned marks from here, the ball work and scalding spear, you'll be able to challenge the Enduring. The Masters at the other pits didn't say much about who the Enduring is. I guess you will neither. You want to know more? The sooner you earn three marks, the sooner you'll find out. Hey! <laughs> 
surrounded the spinning scythe not only hits multiple enemies it clears the space around you Powerful attack could be tricky because it's so slow. So use a half moon slash for speed, then link into other attacks. Knock someone out. Here, this mark is yours. Thanks. That makes three. Yeah, then I think it's time for you to face the enduring. Will you tell me who they are now? You'll see soon enough. Go to the mountains north of the Desert Clan's territory. The enduring awaits where the ruins of metal wings rise from the mountain. Good luck. And if you're looking for more practice, this pit remains open to you. I know I'd gladly accept a rematch. I've had enough training for now. Then go put it to use.
Zenith Labs around here. That's where Catalo said we'd find what he needs to build himself a new arm. I should let him know I'm around. Oh, this snow's coming down heavy. Supposed to be around here somewhere. Near an ancient plane. Glad I have all three marks. I can challenge them. Wherever they are. <gasps> Looks like a training pit. But the Enduring's not here. I should keep looking. Smoke. Better check it out. That's the enduring. And she's... Uh... Hello? <gasps> oh! Hmm. Must have dozed off again. Oh. Aren't you a wild flame? Are you the Endurer? Uh, that's what they call me. Azureka the Enduring. What do they call you? A lot of things, actually. But my name's Aloy. I heard you're the best fighter among the clans. But you're not what I expected. <laughs> we can't all be as handsome as Hikaru, now can we? I, I earned three marks from the training pits. I, I was told to come here and challenge you to a duel, but do you still even... Ha <laughs> ha! Here we are. Now then. Aloy. Marks. I'll add it to the pile. Come, sit. Lizard? Uh, no thanks. Not good to fight on an empty stomach, you know. But now I know you're direct. Good. To business, then. Come, follow. Me. I could 
inside to my stash. This is a pretty steep climb. I'll just be glad you don't have to carry me on your back. You know, there have been quite a few storms blowing through here over the last few months. Nasty things. Blustering about and making a fuss. Here we are. Come, let's begin. Well, Alo, now listen up. You're allowed your spear and a bow only, nothing else. We fight until the other yields. Ready? Wait. I have a couple of questions first. Should have asked back at the fire. Could have had a snack. Go on, then. Aside from at the Grove, the clans seem to keep to themselves. So, how did you end up training soldiers from all three? Hikaru approached me after he became chief. Spoke of his vision for a united tribe. How the training pits might serve that. By then, I'd fought so many Tanakh, I knew that every clan had great soldiers. So I agreed. The pitmaster said you only train the best fighters. Like who? All of those boys, for one. Poor Varrock must still be brooding over his loss. Before them, Hikaro, some twenty years ago. A few of his marshals have found their way to me over the years. All went home with bruises. What about Regala? Ah, that one. She came to me, demanded her duel, as was her right. But I refused her. The only one. I knew any lesson of mine would be burned away by her rage. I heard of her fate on that cursed island. Seems like she got the death she craved. Why do you live all the way out here, by yourself? If you really want to know, defeat me. All right, let's do this then. Don't hold back, Aloy. I won't. Well done, Aloy. Someone must have trained you well. You're pretty tough yourself. Many challengers have trained with me over the years. Each one the same as the last in one way or another. But you... You're quick, persistent, stubborn. You fight as someone who has always had to stand alone to survive. I know it as I know myself. You may not be of my blood, but you are of my blade, cut from the same steel. So here is my wish for you, Aloy. Do more than just survive. Flourish. The world will be better for it. I'll do my best. I know you will. Now, let me see that spear. Careful. Hmm. Pretty thing. But I can make it better. There. Thank you. You've had a hard journey for one so young. And you have much more to do, still, I think. 
I'd like to believe I've had some small part in preparing you. You have. And if I wanted to train with you again, you'd be most welcome. Aloy, did you want to train more? I defeated you. So will you tell me now why you live out here alone? Persistent. Good. I've lived longer than almost anyone in the tribe. But for Tanakh, living is for the young. Year after year, from one vendetta to the next, everyone I loved fell to the blade. My squad, my children, their children, all dead. I alone endured. After a while, I found reminders of them everywhere. In every soldier's laugh, the echoes of my squad on the eve of the battle that got them killed. In every young face, the memory of my granddaughter's bright eyes, fired up for blood and glory. So, it was time to be alone. If you've lost so many people, why do you train more fighters? That simple girl. It's the only thing I know how to do. I'd like to train with you again. Of course. Come. Again. Well done. Rematch. I need to be going. Strike true, Aloy. And remember your training. Been spotted. Made it in. Figuring what's going on here. I need to find whoever's in charge. I'll shoot her down.
Help! Some of them are still around, even though Regal is out of the picture. It looks like they have a camp, in addition to those machine pens. I should see what they're up A prisoner. Both of them, I think. Porter's in charge. If they're planning an attack on Baron Light, Gotta be stopped. <laughs> these structures. Uh, Fight me! from this camp goaded one of the sons of Prometheus into an altercation. You would do well to remember that our allies are responsible for providing the machines that we shall ride to glory. The next two who interferes with them will be eviscerated and left in the desert for carry-on. There will be no second warning. Will that be sufficient? Yeah, that should prevent your people from butting heads with mine. You have my thanks, Regala. We are packed to lead to victory. Must be an old recording. Silence mentioned that he gave Regala override tech through these sons of Prometheus.
trying to creep up on me? They've been accumulating blaze, and from what I saw out there, enough to blow up something big. Emphasis on the floor. Some of them are still around. The Outlander! The Regal is out of the picture. Move in there! Whatever they're doing, it can't be good. We can hit her down! Move in! No fire in the room! Those weak points. Oh, that got their attention.
don't think these guys are friendly. I'm in. Time to see what these rebels are up to. I should take a look in there. Might be a command center. Osram? What are they doing here? I'll stop you! Opening fire! Stop there! It's the Outlander! Aloy! <laughs> To all sons of Prometheus, engineers and operatives. I've been hearing some belly aching. Whining about the Tanakh, the work, the conditions. The occasional limb loss to a machine when someone gets careless. I get it. It's been a long road. We suffer. We'll continue. <laughs> this alliance will get us what we want, I promise. The Karja will pay for the Red Rains in blood. And so will all of their collaborators in the Vanguard and back in the claim. So shut up. Get back to work and always remember, a reckoning is on the way. That sounds like the sons of Prometheus want blood. And the Karja are the target. The Vanguard too. Let's see what else these guys have been up to. You've been searching since before the old one. You can see I'm still searching. Map. They've marked supply lines to different outposts. Looks like they're getting ready to ship out these weapons and armor. Probably to rebels all over the west. I'll hurt their operations if I get rid of them. So it's you! Need more. Help them! Stop her! We've come so far! We can't give up! <clears throat> have been busy making weapons and armor. This map's right. This place makes weapons and armor and ships them out to their troops. I should destroy as many munitions as possible. That should hurt the rebels' operations.
That outlander thinks she can outbid us? She's back. Watch for the Outlander. Got her. Oh, yes, she was. He's Schroeder. Everyone. And she took another one of us down. Help! Help! Show her how we do things. Your luck ends here. So the sons of Prometheus are coming after the Karja and the Vanguard. I need to find out more about their operations and stop them. Are you here Since to wipe rebels, out these traitors? To I'm here to help. You all right? I'll live to fight another day. The Ten be with you.
Made it in. This place looks like some sort of big site. Got a few years. Figure out what they're doing. Ah. Looks like they've been using Blaze to blast into this place. Oh! 
Trent, found! Where's the fight? That bunker... Is this what they were trying to get to? The door looks locked. She must be for Maybe this key I found will open it. Let's see what these rebels are so intent on protecting. Movement! There! Hold! Outlander! They're uh. under attack! Sort of storage facility. Come for me then. Engineers and operatives, return immediately to First Forge. Clearly none of you are competent enough to deal with that blasted Nora. So we'll continue to work where she can't get to. And in the unlikely event that she does, I'll have the pleasure of dealing with her personally. I wish you luck, Savior of Meridian. The Sarah has a base. If I can find it, I can put an end to the Sons of Prometheus. Well, let's see what else is in here. Oh, and quiet now. They've been experimenting with old world power cells. There's a whole stockpile of them in here. These scrolls, they're filled with weapon schematics. Different versions of the same thing. None of them complete. So the sons of Prometheus were trying to build weapons. Based on ancient technology. Well, whatever it is. It uses these power cells. But it doesn't look like they figured it out. Yet. If I destabilize that cell, the explosion would start a chain reaction and take the bunker with it. No bunker, no power cells, no new weapons. I only have a few seconds to get out of here before this blows. Time to run! Not these guys will be making any scary weapons now. They'll probably leave this place now. I could always speed things up and deal with them myself. I've already taken care of the real threat either way. I'll keep these on me. If you hear anything exploding, it's probably Moreland. So, Las Vegas. How's it going? 
I've been talking with Moreland about how to get the word out about Nemesis up in the claim. The Asaram are free folk. It'll be hard to get them to work together. About him and me, we know a lot of people. We get enough of them riled up, the elder men will have to listen. Well, if anyone can make it happen, it's you guys. I was hoping you could help me with something. It's about the rebel holdouts, and it also has to do with the Osram. Really? That doesn't sound good. Let me know what I can do to help. I think Silence has been working with a third party to get overridden machines to the Tanakh rebels. A group called the Sons of Prometheus. They're familiar with ancient tech. And they're Osram, the anti karja kind. They definitely have a base, a place called First Forge. We just have to find it. First Forge? I think I know where that is. I was back in Baron Light checking up on the Vanguard when my focus picked up on another one of these. An Osaram. I thought it was strange, so I decided to have a little chat with him. When he saw me coming, he ran. Caught up with him and he tried to crush his focus. But there was still data on it. A bunch of locations and coordinates. One of them was called First Forge. Didn't know what it meant, till now. Nice job. Now you know me. Ancient tech expert. Did any of that data mention a woman named Asera? She's the one who's running the group. Oh, no. You remember how Durval had a band of freebooters that retaliated against the Karja? Well, she was one of them. First female tinker in the claim to run her own forge. But when her family got killed in the Red Raids, she went bad. And real bad. I thought she was dead, though. Taken out by one of Marad's guys. She's not. And she wants revenge against the Karja. But I'm not gonna let it happen. Send me those coordinates, okay? Now hold on, Aloy. I'm coming with you. Asara is the last of a line of killers that murdered Ursa. I need to be there when she goes down. Of course. Send me the location and I'll call you when I'm close. All right, then. Remember to send me the coordinates to Asera's base. I'll let you know when I'm close by. I'm sending him now. I won't let you down. I know. So, what do you think? Tanakh I was told you went down the to find you by yourself. is not the only one who can ride a claw strider. Sarah and the sons of Prometheus are around here somewhere. I better call Erend. Hey, Erend. I'm close to Asera's base. Think you can join me? On my way. So, ready to take down some very nasty Asaram? First, we have to figure out a way in. Almost the same as theirs. Yeah. Yeah. 
Ah, uh, hey guys, keep up the good work. Who are you? I'm the guy who caught the Nora as Sarah's been looking for, that's who. Yeah, we don't know you. Huh. Do it more often. <sighs> Come on. We need to find a Sarah and shut this place down. I won't be easy to avoid her people in here. But I got my hammer ready. Just stay low for now and follow my lead. You got it. Hey, Lloyd. I see them. Here we go. Grab it if you need it. This will happen.
one. I think that's all. But I don't see a Sarah. She has to be here somewhere. I think I saw some doors in the back. Let's check them out. What was that? It sounded like a trip wire. Be careful, Aloy. Sarah really likes her booby traps. And you still like the sound of your own voice, Erin? Sarah. I don't think you may be this for your own. Oh, I don't think so. It's a shame. Aloy. All right, there's a draft here. It's got to be another path. Too bad there's no way to get to it. Yeah, hold that thought. I can be handy once in a while. You okay? I will be. When we catch a Sarah. Keep going. You know, now what are we going to have a choice? I got this. Should have thought it. Trip wires. We can't let you finish what Durval started, Asera. This ends here. Funny. I was about to say the same thing. <laughs> Get him, boy. Ha! Fighting time. <laughs> Live long. Tell to the core. Take a shot. Snow is going to pile up. 
I need a moment here. You okay? Red raids, my sister's death, Sarah's little army. That feels like the bloodshed never ends. And the pain it causes. I hope he's really over this time. Me too. But you did good. I'm serious. We couldn't have stopped this without you. Well, I'm glad I could help. For once, I guess. Should we head back? You go on ahead. I'd like to take a look around first. Make sure Sarah didn't leave any more surprises behind. Okay. i see you later, then. By the forge, I could use a drink. Be bright. Your enemy is mine. Couldn't stay away, huh? Just thought I'd check up on everyone. Mm-hmm. I heard he once raced a slaughter spine, just for fun. Think that's why he uses the mask? To cover the scars? What's everyone talking about? Red Teeth hasn't shown up to test the new track yet. Maybe he's scared he'll lose at this one. One of these days, his luck's gonna run out. And when I beat him, I'm gonna make him show me what's under that mask of his. You've never seen what he looks like. Last person who tried got beat up so bad, pretty sure something got knocked loose in there. It was a great bonding moment. Doesn't bother me. All that really matters is what you do on the track. For now, we start the race without him. Josic, make sure she gets a mount if she needs one. Sounds like racing red teeth would be quite a challenge. Right, like you'd race fresh meat like you. So, you win or what? I'm ready to race.
enough. Not bad for fresh meat, huh? Guess you might have a shot at winning against Red Teeth. Doesn't mean I won't beat you to it. You can try. Axe mentioned he found a new track up in Sky Clan territory, east of the Bulwark. You should come try it. If I'm gonna beat Red Teeth, might as well practice with a real racer. We'll see. If I'm up that way. I'll make sure to sharpen my arrows. Spotted.
Ramos. Gonna have to get rid of their leader if I want the rest to retreat. Check if there's anything with it. I can open that chest with this key I found. Some tags here. I should take them to Duca. Without a leader, the rebels should have been in this But I could always deal with them now. Either way, I'm done here. Gala defeated, there's still outposts with rebel holdouts. I should get rid of whoever's in charge. Then I'll just send the others running. You're mine! She's dangerous! Check if there's anything with a lock around here. Thank you. 
An old world ruin. I wonder what's inside. Okay, let's see what we can find around here. Nice. Deposit of green shine. This crate might be useful. Right on top of me. Okay, let's get this crate out of there. <laughs> There's some kind of device here. connect. This thing needs power. 
This data might help. I gotta find something that can help. of lock for the door. Looks like it needs power.
An energy cell. But it looks like it's out of power. I think I can slot this energy cell into that device. There we go. Charge the energy cell. Discharge the energy in the cell. I gotta power it up again. Okay, this cell's dead again. I'm gonna charge it up. There. The lock on the door above should have power now. Okay. This thing has power now. relics. According to this data, this thing might have had something to do with Las Vegas. Maybe I should head back there. Maybe I should take one more look around before I go. See if there's anything else interesting. <laughs>
looking to strengthen your hunting skills, Outlander? <laughs> An old world ruin. Might be the one that Utaru and Plainsong told me about. Let's see if there's anything useful inside. This data might help. This could be useful. Looks like this door needs some kind of key module to open. Better search the ruin. Okay, what's in here? Ancient rail cart. Huh. I wonder if it can still move. Okay. Which do? Looks like this switch controls the tracks. I should try again when I'm closer. Look in that room. How do I get in there? A key module. Perfect. A relic. How do I get to it? There we 
go. This needs a code. I think I found some data in the ruin that might help. I'm in. Okay. Where to now? Tracks are lined up at the curve side now. I saw earlier should be on the floor above. But how do I get up to it? I'll move this over here. Made it. The relic. There's data here. I think this thing might be from Las Vegas. Might be able to figure it out if I head back there.
Made it. And there's another one of those devices. Yep. Lens. Guess I'll figure out what to do with it later. Shellwalkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Might be a good idea to place some traps on the road first. Catch the convoy by surprise. <whistles> Let's stretch those wings. The locator shows there's another aircraft recruiting here. Pharaoh's machine swept the planet of life. All those people lost to one man's ego. to shock ammo. Drone? Must be for our Cyclops. If I can get its data, I can reconnect it with the dome back at the base. Let's how to get up there. something and jump off the drone.
reconnect it with the dome back at the base. I should go to my room and check out the focus I found in that rebel camp. Okay, data modules in. the Vista Point image.
Sure looks like the one in the image. Got it. Huh. Completing the image unlocked a data file. It looks like these vista points were made by huh. Miriam Technologies. That was Elizabeth's company. I wonder if I can find more of them out in the wild. Thought that was you, Aloy. Squad's on its way to set up another race if you want to win. I don't need a chaplain telling you. Look, we don't get those hearts, we don't get water, and everyone dies. <sighs> I'm going back to the pens. I'll gut those machines myself. So machines did this? An Easterner with hair like blood. The outlander that took down the bulwark. You bested Regala. Killed her champion Greta, too. Both of them were our clan. It's Aloy, and I'm not looking for any trouble. Well, maybe I could use some trouble right about now. Out there is a big herd my people harvest. We take the machine's hearts, send them to our capital, get paid with water. It gets harder every year. Killer machines keep showing up to defend the herd. Last one hit us right as we were penning up our prey. Nearly wiped us out. But our quarry is still in the pens, which means if I can get their hearts, we can trade for the water we need. If you go out there alone, you'll probably wind up dead, Draka. I'm not going alone, Chaplain. The great champion killer's coming with me. How about you answer some questions first? What can you tell me about this herd? Been there for years. We harvest the parts we need from it. No more, no less. New machines always show up to replace our kills. What about the killer machines you mentioned? They guard the herd. The more we take out, the more arrive. First Sawtooths, then Ravagers. Now, a sandblasted Thunderjaw. Hit us right as we were herding machines into our pens. Had to leave half my hunters behind to fend it off. Only survivors are the ones you see here. You mentioned the capital gives you water. There's no giving. We pay tribute for it with machine parts. Hearts being the most valuable. Every other desert village has some resource to exchange. But the capital of Scalding Spear is the only one with a constant supply of water. Here in dry country, it's the same as holding everyone's lives in their hands. It is the way of the desert. How we've always survived. Yeah. Doesn't sound like you like this commander of yours. Survival in the desert requires a more disciplined approach than that of other clans. That means she really likes her rules and order. But you don't. I just don't like hers. This is insubordination. Well, I must be dehydrated. 
So you're a chaplain, like Decca. You've met Decca? Her blades were something to behold back when I still had a squad. Now, just like she counsels the Lowlanders, I counsel the Desert Clan. Those who reach my age are meant to share our wisdom with the young. Keep them on the true warrior's path when their stubbornness kicks up dust and clouds it. <laughs> You're not upset, I thought, Regala? The desert respects strength. Why shouldn't I do the same? Wouldn't expect any followers she has left to follow suit, though. I'll help you harvest those pen machines if I can. Probably better if you don't do it on your own. Seems like your village needs you right now. I like her. An outlander after my own heart. We can leave now, or I can meet you at our outpost southeast of here. I'll go with you. Very well. We leave for the southeast canyon. May the Ten protect you, then. I'll await your return and report to the capital. You do that. Can't believe an outlander would lend us a hand when our own clan won't. And Jataka has the stones to tell me. The commander has good reason to be strict with our water supply. You think she doesn't? I think she's always talking about how scarce water is in the desert. But do you really think anyone in Scalding Spears is dying of thirst? Or her own squad? No. I bet they dip their hand in the trough whenever they want. Our clan should be led by someone who knows what it's like to scrape by. To fight, tooth and nail, to survive. And I'm guessing that someone is you? I've lived in the fringes of the desert my entire life. I've fought for every single mouthful of water I've ever had. I know I'm a better fighter. And I'm prettier. Uh-huh. I'd make sure everyone gets all the water they need, no matter what village they're from. Didn't Jataka say you guys have too little to go around to begin with? I'm sure I'll be able to fix that somehow. There's always a way. I guess that's a good way to look at things. There it is. Gotta get some more ammo. Follow me. You'll uh, have to excuse the mess. Our soldiers use this place to prepare themselves before herding machines into the canyon. You're uh, welcome to any supplies you can find. Might need them for the fight ahead. Thanks. There we go. Let's move out. So, what's Anora looking for out in the Forbidden West? He says I'm looking for something. I doubt you traveled all the way out here just for the scenery. I'm trying to fix something. I see. All right, you can keep your secrets. Guess I should just be thankful you decided my problems are worth fixing, too. We're here. I'll help you harvest machine hearts if it'll get water for your people. Oh, we will. That's the canyon we draw machines into. Then we block them in, and pick them off. Now, we'll have to climb over the barricade to get in. When we do, be ready to fight. I already lost good people in there. Can't wait to see the champion killer in action. You go and I'll follow. against that machine.
Captain Locke. we need. I should take these to Draka. <sighs> May the wings of the Ten carry you home, my brother. I got the hearts. We should head back to Arrowhand. Yeah, at least now we can bag and tag these soldiers. Oh, hold on. Since you can clearly handle a bunch of angry machines, I want to go back to where the Thunderjaw hit us. I lost a lot more fighters there. I can't just leave them to rot. They deserve to be bagged and tagged, too. Will you come with me? Lead the way. Glad to have you along. think so many have to die just to get water did you try talking to your commander at scalding spear <sighs> please the only thing she'll listen to is the sound of a bow being drawn about that wouldn't mind having yours on my side if it ever came to it i'm just passing through draka <sighs> can't blame me for trying <sighs> this is it where the Thunderjaw ripped through my squad. I'm sorry, Draka. They were warriors to the end. We should get started. Someone's alive. By the rocks. Make sense, soldier. Burrowers.
Well, this'll do. I should check on Draka and that soldier. Didn't think I was going to make it. You did good, soldier. You're going back home. Thanks to this one. You were the one who refused to leave your people behind. Uh... I know I'm racking up favors here, but, uh... Did you take those hearts back to Arrowhand? We'll be right behind you. Of course. Be careful. With that Thunderjaw heart in hand, we'll get all the water we need. Thank you, Aloy. You've returned. Where's Draka? Just a little late, Chaplain. Gained some extra baggage on the way back. She's got the machine hearts, including a Thunder Jaws. You should have seen this flame in the desert. Here. Something to commemorate our heroic victory. A victory indeed. Command will be relieved to hear about this. Get them to Scalding Spear as soon as you can. And tell the commander how many had to die to get them. Huntress, may I have a word? I heard what you did at the Grove. They say that in addition to your bow and spear, you have a kind of second sight, especially for matters that have to do with the old ones. That's one way to put it. So it's true. You've done well by my clan. But our troubles may not be as easily settled as Draka believes. I think your second sight might be just what we need. What exactly is the problem? Not here. Meet me at Scalding's Spear. I'll explain everything. I'll see you there when I can. Good. The entire clan might depend on it. Outlander, will you trade with the Tanakh? <coughs> Not today. Greetings, Tamer of your walking tall. <laughs> Why would the Mr. wound Tucker. give less water? Why put guards around the wound? You can't just take away our water! The wound gives less water. Our rations adjust. What's going on? We know the way of the desert! What's stopping us from taking what we want and- uh! <clears throat> Anyone else want to complain? We're the desert clan. We survive with what we have. Your, uh, commander's not much for hand-holding. That is not our way. Even less so in her case. Shall we? Sure. Can't wait. She's with me. Draka's not the only one with harsh words for your commander. The desert has bred survival into our clan's blood. We spit at death and charge into battle. Maybe a little too eagerly. What? Spectators? That's how good of a fight it was, my friend. I was glad to hear you put an end to Regala's rebellion. Even if some of her followers refuse to accept her defeat, the clan lands never seem to run out of problems. Want to tell me which one we're dealing with now? You'll find out soon enough. So... 
This is the outlander that bested Regala. Flying on the wings of the Ten. And now, for some reason, she conspires with the dissident Draka. Demanding water does not make one a dissident, Yara. Doesn't make Draka a commander either. You should advise him of that. Jataka said you needed help. Did he now? Aloy has a unique insight into the ways of the Old Ones. She might be able to fix this before it gets out of hand. Get to the point. What is Jataka talking about? There is no water. What do you mean? I mean the wound in the sand, that which provides the clan with the water we need to survive, is completely dry. This water source, Jataka said it's somehow related to the old ones? From what we can tell, whatever water we take, it restores on its own, over time. A few weeks ago, it stopped. I ordered rationing, searched for other viable sources. But everything else nearby is tainted one way or another. But why the secrecy? Keeping your people in the dark seems to be making things worse. If the clan knew, my command would be challenged. There's no water and you're worrying about keeping your command? Think what you want. Between the machines, the storms, and everything else going on, I'm the only thing keeping this clan from falling apart. Draka's people sacrificed a lot to get that water. He thinks you're hoarding it for yourself. The perfect excuse to challenge my command. Like he's always wanted. Of course, he makes it sound very noble. That he only cares about his thirsty people. But all he really wants is to be in charge. And if he was, he'd face the exact same problem I have. There is simply not enough water to go around. So how are you going to deal with not having any water? Ration what little we have. Buy time to fix the wound. And in the meantime, people die of thirst? Every corpse weighs on me. That is what it means to be a commander. What matters is that the clan survives, as a whole. I can't promise anything. But if this wound was built by the Old Ones, I might be able to fix it. How exactly do you intend to do that? Just show her the wound, Yara. Very well. You can tell me when we get there. After you. The wound in the sand is this way. You're not Karja. We're Osiram. I was born amongst the Nora, as far east as you are west. I've heard of your people. They say only those who are exiled leave your lands. There are exceptions. What business does a Nora exception have in the West? Believe it or not, to help people, even the ones who don't want it. Sounds like a difficult path. This is it. The wound in the sand. Definitely built by the old ones. Focus should show me more. Pipes. Leading outside the settlement. What do you see? A trail. I doubt you'll find anything to fix the wound there. What are you doing? Your wound leads underground. We've tried going down there, but it's too narrow for anyone to reach the bottom. Where are you going? I think I can lead us to where the water comes from. Or used to. How? Does it matter? What matters is that the wound is fixed and my people survive. Lead the way.
machines. She was on to me. As I've been saying. I hope it goes past that ridge. We're gonna have to do some climbing. Dead to knock the soldier. The same of yours? Those flowers. I need to take a closer look. All right. Water. Barely Those a lake's flowers. worth. But there are no streams. Crown's wet here. too. Which means it's coming from something else. Those but flowers. flowers. These anchors. That soldier must have used Crown's them to get up the too. Cliff. He must have been heading back to wherever he came from when those machines got him. Maybe he Those found flowers. something up there worth reporting back about. We'll find out soon enough. Those flowers. The crown's wet too. The vein must have leaked here. Not enough to be the cause of the missing water, but enough for these plants to grow. We're on the right track. You see all that from a patch of wet sand? Yep. You were saying something before you left? Yep. You know him? Is one of Draka's men. I will cut off that dissident's head and feed it to the vultures if he had anything to do with- We don't know what happened here yet. And we still have a trail to follow. 
Lead the way. Greenshine too often. What is this? The problem. I'm gonna need my focus. That weapon. Looks like Draka's man tried to pry this open, but he didn't know what he was doing. And now the water's not going where it's supposed to. Or ignorance. This must be the pipe that connects to Scalding Spear. I don't think this is going to do anything. The pipe it looks like it bypasses the damage distribution system. Maybe I can find a way to reroute the water through it. Maybe if I follow that main pipe, I'll find something useful. I don't think I need my focus right now. Should be easy to keep going in this general direction. I can always check the trail of my focus further ahead. What do you need me to do? Just, uh, stay here. Let me know if anything changes. I'm gonna take a look around. A valve. That might help. Hey! It stopped leaking! It looks like that stopped the water flow. Now I just need to find a way to get it to Scalding Spear. It's the same type of machinery we found outside. Only this one's not leaking. Maybe it can help me switch the water flow. It sounds like the water's switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. Switched back. Couldn't hold the water pressure. I gotta get up to that valve faster. It's leaking again. Whatever you did, undo it. Better close that up again. The leaks disappeared. 
here. Making progress. Sounds like the water is switched. Gotta open the valve upstairs. Get that water circulating. <laughs> Check, I'm still on the pipe's trail with my focus. Is it down? Not yet. I'm working on it. The water's still leaking. Right out of time. I gotta try something else. Was that supposed to do anything? I guess not. The system switched again. I'll just have to try that one more time. I should back. make sure I'm still full. Oops. I don't think this will work with water leaking through the other distribution system. That valve I saw earlier. Maybe I can use it to shut off water to those pipes. the leak. Okay, good. Water circulating. <laughs> Sounds like that did something. Aloy, I can hear water in the room again. Anything leaking? <laughs> Not that I can see. Let's hope that means my plan works. Should do it. This will return water to Scolding Spear. Checking the wound is the only way to be sure. Draka knew what would happen if the capital was left without water, but he didn't care. All he wanted was to cause a crisis so he could challenge my command. We don't know that for sure. Meet me back at the wound when you can, please, to make sure the water will flow. I will. Don't do anything rash about Draka. Only an upstart acts rashly. A commander bides her time. Hey. 
The desert was kind to lead you to us. Things are about to get ugly between Draka and Yara. Maybe I can head it off. If what Jataka says is true, Yara and Draka will end up killing a lot more than just each other. There has to be something I can- I see soldiers guarding the wound in the sand. I need to see the wound. I'm afraid your presence is required in the commander's quarters. Is everything okay? The dissident Draka has been apprehended for interfering with the wound. How did he interfere? He entered the wound by force, saw that it was empty, Except for a slow trickle that began when you fixed the device in the desert. He did not take it well. Of course he didn't. I'll go meet with them. Talk. It doesn't sound good. Watch your tone. Or what? You let these two kill me? I can't believe you. Agreed. I can't believe you. It's Aloy, regardless Bane. How could you let this happen? How did I let this happen? You're the one who sabotaged the wound in the first place. You're lucky we were able to fix it, or your head would already be on a spear. You call that fixed? It's just a dribble. And it's not my fault. I already told you Ukta came to me. He said he found something in the desert that might get us water. I had no idea it had anything to do with the wound. And you expect me to believe that? Aloy! I came for the water that was owed to us, and when I found out that there is no water, they arrested me. As I already told you, the water is returning, but slowly. It'll be weeks before the wound is full again. Until then, I will send Arrowhand what I can. You hid what happened to the wound. How can we believe you now? Draka. No, you know what? Enough of this! No more words! <laughs> Consider that a challenge! Gather your squads, then, and meet us at the Gate of the Vanquished. I have a challenge to prepare for. Leave me! This will be the end of the clan. I have to stop it. We have to stop it. Hold on a second. Help me understand. What do you mean, the end of the clan? Both sides will take their most loyal squads to the Gate of the Vanquished. Then they'll butcher each other as part of a ritual challenge. But it won't stop there. Whoever wins will try to wipe out the loser's loyalists all over the desert. The fighting could last for months. Those two scabheads are going to doom us all. Can't you stop them? I'm a chaplain. I provide counsel. I cannot force them to heed it. Even Chief Akaro can't intervene. It is a matter for the clan alone. What is this gate? The doorway to a dead cauldron. A symbol of what the tribe aspires to. The defeat of deranged machines. Right. I know it. It is a place of great significance for our clan. Even greater now, since it will mark the onslaught of a massacre. What makes you think I can help you stop them? I'm not even from this tribe. They both owe you a debt. You aided them when no one else could. And you've seen into their hearts, just like I have. Misguided in different ways, but 
no less worthy of the people they protect. Your words might be enough to spear some sense into them. Yeah, well, they're not exactly good listeners. And you are no ordinary speaker. You fly on the wings of the Ten! I will go to the Gate of the Vanquished, southwest of here, to stall them. But without you, I'm afraid we'll run out of body bags fast. That's a lot of angry to knock. Drug and Yara are already here. You are their commander. You're here. The flame that flies on the wings of the Ten. Aloy, did you come to witness the challenge? Does there have to be a challenge? Oh yeah, there does. If you persist, all of these squads will join the fights. How many will die here? And how many will die in our villages once the retaliation begins? There has to be another way. Listen to what she has to say. You both owe her that much. Yara, do you really need to do this? He sabotaged the wound. You can't tell me you believe he knew nothing about it. And it was all part of his plan, to force a confrontation. Don't you see? This is what he's wanted all along. It doesn't matter how many die as long as he gets what he wants. Command of the clan. No. I'm putting an end to this. Now! Draka, you lost a lot of good people hunting machine hearts to trade for water. You want to lose more now? But that cost is exactly why I'm doing this. Why I had to send people to find other sources in the first place. I swear to you, I had nothing to do with what happened to the wound. Ukta came to me, said he found underground leaks that might lead to another well. That's all. I didn't tell him to screw it all up and drain the wound. So stand down so we can all talk about this. No! No more talking, no more lies. Yara can't be trusted. That's been proven. Becoming commander isn't going to change what happened to the wound, Draka. If you really wanted to help your people, you wouldn't be throwing away more lives just to change who gives the orders. You really are something, Flame of the Desert. But I didn't come all this way to let things stay the way they are. Then fight us. Just us. You want to save lives? Keep your squads out of it. I've seen how you fight. These soldiers are with me. Then we stand with Aloy and Yara. Even numbers. <sighs> Fine, old man. It's your funeral. New rules! We're keeping it to just us. Winner takes command. Nice knowing you, Aloy. You should have backed down when you had the chance, Draka. Can 
gets better than that. It's over, Draka. <laughs> Not just yet. You did your best to follow the path. You die with honor. Did it have to end like that? It's the way of the desert. Well, what happens now? We live off the water the wound ekes out, rationing until it fills back up. And I'll make sure Arrowhand gets its fair share. Yeah, you'd better. The desert never forgets. And I won't either. How you've helped us, I mean. I give this to you now, for all you've done for this clan. More running. Tolo know I'm back at the Zenith lab. We still have to recover what he needs to build that new arm. Hey, Katalo? I'm at the Zenith lab. Ready to come over? I'm on my way. Aloy. I appreciate you meeting me here. I'm happy to help. Did Gaia mention where exactly in the Zenith lab we'd find what you need? She mentioned the chamber where you found Beta, and the database that lies within. She said it'll help us find the knowledge and components I require to build a new arm. At least we know where to look. The lab's up this way. You okay? I got this. I 
machines. They're scrapping the specters for parts. Should we dispose of them? Or we can sneak past them. Your choice. I guess if Fistus was busy, we can hunt our killers. <laughs> Entrance to the lab is by that tunnel. Come on. Enemies up ahead. There's no ammo for this. Here. Now we just need to find a way to access the database Guy was talking about. Varro mentioned you found Beta in one of those pods. I would hate to be locked up inside such a thing. There's barely room to breathe. I think I found what we're looking for. Let's hope it holds the answers we seek. I'll download the database to your focus, so you can search through it later. What about the components? They should be somewhere on the... Spectres! For the fallen marshal! Asinus must have deployed them here to keep watch before we took down their base.
We need to finish up and get out of here, in case there's more where that came from. The components should be somewhere on the second floor. I'm right behind you. Happy to see me? We need to search the entire floor. I'll keep a lookout. Don't want any more surprises. Good idea. Vent. Might be a way out of this room. Tell me the components are in there.
bones have to be here somewhere. I should go back and give these to Katalo. Found the components? See for yourself. You have my thanks, Aloy. Something wrong? I was just thinking about what it will be like after I build the arm. Will I feel different? Whole again? <laughs> Idle thoughts. You go on ahead. I might want to take one more look around, in case there's anything useful. Very well. I look forward to putting what we found to good use. Walk with the ten. You've earned this soldier's respect. Under Hikaro's reign, the grove is... It is an honor to witness yeah. this. Supply run for the endurance. And you'll <laughs> never guess what I... Nice heard. choice of armor. <laughs> Your guess is as good as mine. Aloy. Come to see an old... You're here. Good. Were you able to finish the new arm? Yes. I was hoping we could... Discuss it, if you have a moment. You wanted to talk about your arm? Indeed. It's time to test it. And I want you to be there. Okay. How are we doing this? Not how. Where? Will you meet me where we felled Regala's tremor tusk? Right where the river bends? Sure, if you want, but I'm not sure I understand. You'll see when we get there. I promise. Then I'll let you know when I get close. You have my thanks, Aloy. So you want to test your new arm, and you're not gonna tell me how? It's a surprise. 
Okay. Keep your secrets. Like I said, I'll call you when I'm close to Regala's old outpost near the bulwark. May the Ten guide your way. This is where Kotalo wanted us to test out his new arm. Hey, Kotalo. I'm by the Tremor Tusk site, where we agreed to meet. Want to test that new arm of yours? I'll be there shortly. Thank you for waiting. Maybe now you can tell me what we're doing here? Not just yet. Follow me, please. Someone's being awfully mysterious. You took your sweet time telling me what you wanted to do to the bulwark. Consider this my revenge. Fair enough. <gasps> this is it. What am I looking at? Oh, you'll see. Come. Talk to me, Catalo. I wish to test the arm on that. It has menaced the valley for some time, killed more than a few of the Sky Clan, but no longer. I'm honored to help. See how this thing likes the taste of metal. I think it's safe to say the new arm works fine. Agreed. Then why are you taking it off? This is what I am now. What I overcame. Anything else feels... wrong. Like a disguise. I'll use the new arm when I need it. But the rest of the time, I will simply be myself. I wouldn't have it any other way. You have my thanks for doing this with me. Here. Something to mark our victory. Thank you. I'll see you later then. The ten be with you, Aloy.
Make way for the living ancestor. Hey, Alva. Thank you for sticking around. I know it couldn't have been easy to stay when most of the Quen went home. I came to this land to find a way to save my family. I can't go back yet. Not with what's coming. I told Bohai about Nemesis, and I gave him a new focus. Oh. Are you sure we can trust him with it? I know we'll probably find a way to twist it to his advantage with the other overseers back home. But once Gaia is completely up and running again, we might be able to set up a network so that we can stay in contact. Maybe I'll even get to speak to my sister. And he said he would petition the Emperor to send us aid. Do you think the Emperor will listen? To be honest, I don't know. But I hope so. Oh, and if you have a moment, I have an update on the data about Leviathan. Since you're back in Landfall, were you able to find the data you were after on Leviathan? Not quite. I spoke to the other Diviner, but it wasn't easy to get him to talk. It seems the data is wrapped up in something dangerous. Something compromising on the Ancestor. Forbidden knowledge. Yes. But I managed to get the facility's location from him. It's not far. We'll find it together, then. I'm ready to head out now, if you are. Let's go find that data. Come. This way. Come on. Let's go. So, let me get this straight. The Diviner you talked to wanted nothing to do with Leviathan, even though it could help your homeland. Just because there's forbidden knowledge around it? The other Diviners are like I used to be, terrified of a misstep. And with the Overseers, they have every right to be. But what I've seen and learned since the Greenhouse it's so much more than what we're permitted. Diviners are supposed to seek the truth, and yet so much is kept from us. That should be the facility ahead. We need to find a way in. Up here. Well, there's a lot of crumbling ruins. Let's look around.
it goes. Going. Well, I'm gonna have nightmares tonight. We should be able to look around for that data now. There's nothing for my pole caster to go into. Might be able to kick that vent open. <laughs> Whew, well, that'll keep me awake. Less of a climb, I bet. Come on, let's check the upper floors. The data on Leviathan isn't here, but there's some kind of log. Delete the database? But Miss Suzaki, when you look at the reports, 3,000 exhibiting symptoms. Over 400 dead. The data's clear. Omarama is contaminating the water supply, promoting bacterial growth. And with Leviathan based on the same architecture... You're a smart kid. Top of your class, right? My father built this company thanks to world-class talent like you. And you know what else is world-class? Our legal team. So unless you want to spend the rest of your career in some dead-end, underfunded public research institute, you'll delete that database and forward all data on Leviathan to my office. Yes, ma'am. That was her. The ancestor. Eileen Sasaki. Hundreds dead. And she knew their system was to blame, but she had the truth erased. Were all the ancestors like this? Selfish, ruthless, immoral? And yet we hold them up as paragons of enlightenment and virtue. Given what we've learned, I don't even know if Leviathan will work. Hold on. Let's not give up just yet. You said before that the Old Ones use Leviathan to control flooding. Which means... it probably worked. We'll know more when we find the data on it. The recording mentioned a copy was sent to Eileen's office. And to their corporate headquarters. Uh, there. Let's go. It shouldn't take us long to get to the tower. Lead on.
So what was that other system the recording mentioned? Omu Ramba? The legacy tells us it was the predecessor to Leviathan, a system that manipulated floods to bring life to a barren desert. Gwen seemed to know a lot about this ancestor. Diviner spent years trying to figure out how to restore Leviathan. We found a lot of data on Eileen Sasaki in the process. Entrance is blocked. Gonna have to find another way in. The soldiers built a path on the nearby ruin. Might be able to cross over from there. Lead the way. This is as far as our soldiers got. We'll have to climb higher to get into the tower. I'll follow your lead. You doing okay, Olva? Yes. Don't worry about me. Quick <sighs> Glen talk. Great. Did it see us? I don't think so, but we'll have to be careful. How are we going to get across? Well, that beam looks promising. Uh, this is a lot higher up than I thought. Glenn talks. Well, we have the element of surprise. Or we could sneak by and, you know, not fall off the tower. And there. The machines. No more Glintocks. I've heard our soldiers say the Glintocks are the worst. Up this way. Okay, just don't look down. Right. <laughs> of course. There's the tower. Super Should easy. Crossover. Aloy. I'm okay. Better make sure Alva yeah. makes it across Aloy, before I take a look at this. Can you watch me and make sure I do this right? Come on, Alva. You can do it. It's okay. Please. 
please don't break. Ah! Alva! Ah, I'm okay! <laughs> wow! <laughs> that would have been a long way to fall. You sure you're okay? Oh, the door's locked. Yeah. Oh, I'm fine. I think it needs a passcode. Let's keep going. Let's look around. Got it. Door should be unlocked now. Maybe the data on Leviathan isn't here. Cost reduction strategy? We're talking about people's lives here. I did as you asked on Omuramba, but this is... worse. Relax, Eileen. I've spoken with risk management. They're confident that the chance of another incident is within acceptable parameters. We're moving ahead with Leviathan. You know, Dad... Shortcuts have a way of catching up with you. Within acceptable parameters or not. Well, one day in the distant future when you're in charge, you can run things how you want. But until then, how about you let me worry about that? Guess Eileen and her father didn't always get along. But it seems like covering up the Mulamba wasn't her idea. Doesn't matter. She still had a part in it. Well, let's keep going. Her office must be higher up. Dead end. There's a ladder in that shaft, but it's blocked. I might be able to pull the rubble out from the other see where this leads. Uh, you go on ahead. I'll look for a way up that has a lesser chance of falling to my death. Okay. Hey, Alva? Yes? There's something I don't get. You said Eileen was the one who built Leviathan, not her father, so... What happened? I'm not sure. The legacy doesn't say. Either that knowledge is lost or forbidden. Or maybe we were wrong about that, too. Are you doing okay, Aloy? Yeah, it's just a long way up.
now. How about you, Alva? Any luck finding a way up? That's done with. Okay, I'm back at the shafts. If I blow up that fire beam, the elevator might fall and open up a path for Alva. Hey, uh, Alva? Step away from the shaft. Whoa! Oh! I can reach the ladder now! Uh, be right up, Aloy! Looks like there's another floor above. Might be Eileen's office. Okay, I'll meet you up there. All right, help is on the way. Another locked door. Need to figure out the passcode. These artifacts. I, I think these were Eileen's. It made it. It's every diviner's dream to discover even one of the ancestors' artifacts. And maybe they'll help with the door. That did it! You can almost see the whole city from up here. Corner office... Impressive view... But it must have been Eileen's! Let's see if the data on Leviathan is here. Well, it's official. Eileen Sasaki, CEO, chair, and worst daughter in the world. Security had to escort Dad to his vert. Guess we'll be speaking through lawyers from now on. Looking down at the world from here... It's hard to see the details. People become risk factors. Statistics. Far too easily. Omuramba was supposed to provide clean water. Improve lives. It was easier to pretend there wasn't a problem. Easier to believe a lie was truth, but I don't want to pretend anymore. I will build Leviathan right. No more shortcuts. No more lying just to save face. It won't undo our sins. My sins. But maybe we can still do some good. She overthrew her father, took over the company, so that Leviathan wouldn't end up killing people. It sounded like she regretted covering up Omuramba's failure. She wasn't perfect. Not a paragon, as the Quan believe. But not a monster, either. She tried to make up for her mistakes. And now you know the truth. Uh, as for the data... <laughs> Leviathan... Yes, uh, it's here. Downloading a copy now. Is something wrong? I think I'll stay here a while longer. There's a lot more data that I want to look through. Are you sure you'll be okay on your own? Down is always easier than up. Let's speak again when we're in landfall. Okay, I'll see you there. Well, after climbing all the way up, why not glide down? Wait, you're going to... what? Just... thinking about it.
Careful! Pretty is shocking here, this I'm sure. Must be the shrine for the land god Doe. Must be past those vines. It's 
take a look. There, up on that ledge. That bar horn overrides six now. So, it looks like this one's been here for a while. I won't be able to install the reboot code with these vines in the way. But, where there's vines, there's a metal flower. I just have to find it. There, the flower. If I can deactivate it, the land god will be free from the vines. I'll have to find a way up there. A diary would be interested in this. Here we go. Should be able to access that cave now. Looks like I can climb up the side of the cliff. Might help me get to that metal flower. <laughs> now I just need to get to the lines. That's better. Time to get this code installed. down, two to go. Zo, you there? I'm here, Aloy. Just planted the reboot code on Doe. He was a bit tangled up, but he's better now. Good to hear. Doe always returned to the sacred cave at the end of winter, so his festival foretold the coming of spring. During those times, I remember clinging to my mother by the hearth, snuggling for warmth, and listening to her sing of new beginnings. Which is exactly what you're going to give to your people. I hope so. All right then. I've delivered the code to some of the land gods here in Plainsong. Let me know how it goes with the others. Sure thing. Signal for my focus. I'm gonna push through this one. I guess they were leaving offerings to the land god. That looks like something... Right, though. 
Whatever did it might still be around. <laughs> Acid ammo could help here. There's the land god. I'll have to deal with those machines before I install the reboot code. All the machines. Time to install this code on that land god. In my stash later. Uh oh. <laughs> Stormboard. Must have been what killed those at home. Code installed on that land god. Let's try this again. Nice and easy. Another land god dealt with. Hey, Zo? Aloy, how goes it? I found T and installed the reboot code. Fitting then that I feel thankful. T's festival came in winter, when all the grain from the harvest was stored away. It was a season of gratitude. And all the children would receive gifts. The best was my first bow. Made of you. Strung by my father. Well, he definitely taught you how to shoot well. That he did. There's one more thing. I found two of your people. A Stormbird got them. But I took it down. Oh. I'll make sure someone else will see Pasha. When you return to the land. How are things in your end? 
getting there. A few land gods to visit still. Okay. I'll call you when I'm done with the last one. Thank you, Aloy. There. One of the land god shrines. So said this one sank in a nearby lake. The land god must be down there somewhere. Time for a swim. I think the land god is underneath that rubble. I better stay away from that snap maw. But I gave the reboot code to So. Ah, good. We used to celebrate So in the fall, at the beginning of the harvest, Soul's with back? wine made from elderflowers. Aloy, you when I was twelve. When you can, meet me at Plain Song, and we'll send out the all of the land signal. gods have been updated. I've delivered now the code to, to send all out the, the reboot gods, signal. Save one. Only La is left. I'm here with her, just east of the main village. Okay, I'll get there as soon as I can. beginning. Gaia told me this would happen. To all of them. Do, T, So, and the rest. She called it a reboot sequence. But I didn't think it would be so beautiful. Soon the land gods will return to tilling the soil as they once did. 
So, the chorus wants a word. Of course they do. Do you want me to come? No need. I'll just tell them that our lands will soon bloom again. Who are they to argue? Find me later, and I'll tell you how it went. Good luck. <laughs> Must be the entrance to the Valley of the Fallen. Marshal Ivira should be around here somewhere. Where's Marshal Ivira? With one of the missing Tanakhs. Marshal Ivira. I heard you were sent to rescue some Tanakh who went into the valley. I'm guessing you must be one of them. Where are the others? See, they didn't make it. I had to fight off several machines just to get Kanala out. The valley was closed months ago for good reason. Machines have gathered in number, as if they're drawn there by something. And until recently, there were strange glowing lights off the coast. If the valley is cursed, we never should have gone in. Ivira, you were made a marshal at the Cool Root, and you were by Hikaru's side in the final stand against Regala. And you're the one who flew on the wings of the Ten, ended Regala's threat in a single combat. I was just doing what I could to help. In an amazing way, and I saw what you did with my own eyes. Here I thought the Cool Root was the best day of my life, becoming a marshal bearing witness to the vision of unity. But you really outdid yourself against Regala. I have a lot to live up to. You said there were strange lights off the coast? From an island to the south. They appeared one day out of the blue, around the same time the machines moved into the valley. There were also reports of a streak of light that rose and fell in the sky above the island. I saw it on the fourth night. A flame that climbed in the sky until it disappeared among the stars. Must have been from the Xena space. Don't know about that. But recently, the lights vanished. Smoke rises from the island now, as if some huge battle took place. Something like that. If the valley's been off limits for months, why did you go in? We wanted to run the trial. The valley is a great test for lowland soldiers. Survive for ten days and nights. Take down any machine that stands in the way. Dax had a plan. 
We'd hunt down each machine one by one until we cleared the valley, earned the clan's respect. But we got separated from Iveka after the third day. Then machines cut us off from the way out. By the time Marshal Avira found us, we were wounded and out of supplies. More machines attacked us as we made our escape. Dax was right behind us, but he couldn't run fast enough. A lot of machines in one place. Sounds bad. I better look into it. See if I can put a stop to it. Then I'll come with you. Fight by your side. No. Better let me take a look first. Trust me, it's for the best. I guess if you insist. Once you're in the valley, head for the Great Falls and the cliff south of the Metal Devil. The machines seem attracted to those sites. Got it. Thanks. We'll rest here a while more, then head for the Medic in Falls Edge. Strike true as the ten, Aloy. Trails falling apart. <coughs> Where is this part of the trial? Should be a lure around here. I might be able to find it with my focus. There's a lure around here. Machine lore, just what I thought. But this one looks advanced. Exeans attack. Guess it's still functioning. Even though their base is small right now. I'm gonna take a closer look. There's data here. Looks like a log. Something called the Julius? Seems local human exterminator. Is it attracting machines to kill intruders here? Well, at least this lore shut down now. Okay, I think I'm in the area of the There's definitely different machine 
things here. If there's a lure nearby, the focus will be on the forest. I'm going to in the forest if I fly. Might have to deal with the machines. Shut this thing down. Another weird log from the Julius. This one mentions a third lore close by. I better check it out. It looks like I was right. The Zenith left these things here to draw in machines and protect the approach to their base. these machines before I could shut it off. Gotcha. That should be the last one. 
And looks like there's a recording here. Hey, shithead. I got a task for you. The Julius is ready to serve. So Eric left a simple AI in charge of the wars. Looks like it shut itself down when I overrode the last one. Oh, I better get to that wound into Knox. See if they're okay. What's the not lander doing all the way out here? Clearing the valley? You must be one of the missing Tanakhs. Everyone thought you were dead. Nearly. Dax and Kanala, are they... Kanala's alive. Marshall Vera pulled her out. Speaking of... Aloy! Evira, couldn't stay away, could you? And miss my chance to hunt with the champion in the Valley of the Fallen? Never! And I see you found Eva... Now this looks like a fight. You with me, Marshall? My blade is yours! Always wanted to bring my feet down. I'll be right back. She needs a medic, but she'll live. Thanks to you. Gotta say, every time we meet is the best day ever for fighting. That battle was something else. Do you think more dangerous machines will come? No. I figured out what was causing the machines to gather in the valley, and I put a stop to it. Oh, good news for the clan, then. Trust me, it is. Some really horrible people were behind this. The lights that used to be offshore, was that from them? Yeah. It was a kind of shield to protect the island. The machines drawn to this valley were meant to kill anyone who got close. Meaningless slaughter. Thank you for telling me. Here, I want you to have this. Thank you. The valley should be safe enough, for now. I hope our paths cross again, Aloy.
Someone's in trouble. The officer on my mat said someone in their crew ran off in this direction. I should keep Leave my open. stuff alone! Machine seizing up! I think she's gonna need some backup. She's okay. Supply drop. All right. Why? The spike is still intact. Rig still playing. You okay there? You took out those machines. I'm grateful, but you should go now. There's nothing to see here. So this. Rig of yours. It's receiving sound through that wire from the thing up on the cliff, what you call a spike. But the message is only a fragment, and you're trying to pick up the whole thing? How did you figure all that out? I've learned a few things in my travels. If you want, we could talk about it. Maybe I can help? You do seem downright knowledgeable. So go ahead. Shoot. How did you first hear the message? I used to be a smith up in the claim. Wasn't an easy life. A lot of hard work without much to show for it. Then one day, I heard a whisper coming from a steel rod. Faint, like the last fingers of steam coming off a cooling forge. When I moved the rod around, the whispers got louder. I did some tinkering, built my rig, and did my best to follow that sound. Further west I came, the stronger it got. Then I found that spike up there. When I hooked up my rig, the words were clearer than ever. What do you think the message is? I don't know. There's something sad about it. Feels like it's from one lost soul to another. I'd sure like to know what it means. Your rig's impressive. How does it work? Well... Like you said, the spike up there seems to capture the sound. It travels by wire down to my contraption. I, I put some coils in there and a light sheet of metal that vibrates, making the sound louder. I'm not exactly sure why it works, but it just does. And you set it up out here all alone? I'm not the trusting type. Pretty much everything I do is all alone. You're no ordinary tinker. Didn't used to be a tinker at all. More of a metal worker. Came from Mainspring. I can well to seem so fine you could barely see it. Not that I ever got any credit for it. You see, up there, you've got to be a man to get ahead. I once had a shot at joining a first-rate crew with one of the best forges in the claim. But I didn't get the job. My own brother wouldn't vouch for me just because I'm of the female persuasion. Anyhow, at least out here I don't have to worry about any mainspring men talking down to me. Sounds like you're still mad at your brother. Some days I am. 
Other days, we miss him. He's passed on, you see. He didn't have the guts to go against the blast of the bellows and vouch for a lady. Even his own sister. It was cowardly, and I told him so. In fact, I told him we weren't family no more. But over time, I've had cause to regret it. He wasn't a bad sort. He knew how to make me smile, when he wasn't being such a lout. I'm sorry he's gone. Yeah, so am I. Let me have a look at that spike. I might be able to pick up more of that message. How? Oh. Let's just say I have a rig of my own. I didn't know Nora were tinkers. They're not, but I am, in a way. Be right back. Well, okay then. I guess. Just follow the wire to the spike at the top. And then please, just don't break anything. Better get climbing. Give her credit, lugging all that wire up a cliff wall. Oh, there's a spike. Might get better reception if I'm next to it. get a fix on where the signal's coming from, though. Well, better let the tinker know I got a bit more of the message. This ought to be a good shortcut. Picking up an old world message. A recording of some kind. Thought as much. Did you hear more of it? A bit. It was recorded during a, a war. A bad one. Maybe that's why it sounds so darn sad. There's something about it that makes me think of my late brother. May his ashes stay warm in the forge. Not sure why, exactly. I, uh... I, I still can't get a fix on the source. Well, the words grew stronger when I got out here. What if you move the rig now? And try to see if you can get a stronger signal elsewhere. Even if I could dodge the Tanakh and the machines, I can't lose that spike. Nothing else pulls down the words better. Okay. If it's an old world message... And let's try old world methods. They used to pinpoint signals by listening for them at three different spots. The taller the better. 
And then they combined the information and used it to find the source. And you can do that? I think so. But your spike is only one spot. I need two more, both up high. Oh. Well, there's a big bright tower in the Tanakh territory north of here. Yeah, that should work. I have another spot in mind, near a place I'm... Uh, camping. Wait. I don't know your name. Or why you do all of this for someone you just met. Aloy. And because I want to know what's out there. Same as you. Selga. And when you find it, Aloy... I'd be eager to hear what it is. Gotta climb up to look for Silga's signal, but where to start? Aloy, it's good to see you. I heard you fly on the wings of the Ten now, and that you defeated Regala. I can't say I would have spared her, but I trust your judgment. You truly are an exceptional Nora. You look tired. I've been trying to divide the water equally, but dealing with the outlying villages hasn't been easy since they learned of the wound's condition. One of their leaders is almost as loud and obnoxious as Draka was. I wanted to kill him on the spot. But you didn't? Not this time. Well, that's progress, I guess. I should probably get going. May the sands part for you. Now and always.
keep climbing to pinpoint that signal. Just a little higher. Almost there. Okay, let's see if I can pick up Silga's signal. but not enough to find the source yet. Climbing the mountain where my base is should finish the job. I see you, champion. Sit, please. This mountain. The southern face is my best bet for a climb if I want to get more of Silk's message. Just gotta look for a path. get higher to try and pinpoint Silga's signal. This is quite a climb. I have to get higher to try and pinpoint Silva's signal. Huh? <laughs> 
is tall. to climb higher. There. Found the signal's origin. It's not too far from here. I just need to get to it. Bet I'll get a nice view if I glide down from here. machines before I can look for the source.
Be something behind those rocks. But I've got to deal with the machines first. I should scan for that signal now. See if I can locate the source. Right, into the water. She'll definitely be interested in the transmitter inside that's been sending the message. Words stopped coming from the spike. What happened? This is what was speaking to your rig. It's old world equipment used for communicating over long distances. The message must have shut off when I took it, but 
I heard the note the voice was talking about. What was it? During an ancient war, a woman was trying to deliver supplies to a man she knew. She wanted him to know that their past disagreements didn't matter in the big picture. That she'd be thinking of him when the end came. Oh. I guess she and I are kin of a sort. I wish I could give my brother a message like that. Tell him that I forgave him. He would have wanted that. I know. This man, the, the old one, did he ever hear the message? I don't think so. I guess that's often the way of it then. But still, with the power of that device you found, the sender had hope that he might have heard it. What a feat! To send messages near and far? Can I keep this? It's a treasure. Of course. Thank you. Sometimes people don't ever get to hear what they should. But with this thing, maybe I can get them talking to one another. From Mainspring, all the way to who knows where. Hey, I, uh, I found a few more things in the supply cache. Might be able to make something out of them. Can I use your workbench? Sure. Yeah, right over there. Anytime, Aloy. It's all yours. I think I know just what to do with these parts. That turned out well. Can't wait to try it. I'm still getting a signal from my focus. Do it again in the air. was wasted against that machine. Is that a culture? <laughs> it's underwater. And it's heavily guarded. 
But if I can get to its core, should be able to find data to the guiding machines.
can't find it underwater. I have to sneak past it. This kelp might give me some cover. Looks like I can swim down from here. onto the ledge. I can reach it from the water, though. Should be able to glide down there.
looks like I can climb up this way. from here.
the last one. Looks like it leads out of here. Oh, reach it. I need to find something that'll help me get to that rail. But I'm gonna take a step back. Don't think I'm getting this thing out of here. There has to be another way to get it to that rail. should move that crate to where the rail is, then raise the water level again. That's how.
upgrade to that rail on the wall and get out of here.
should be able to climb up from here. Nothing. Try something other than fire. for backup. up on those little carriers from here. that thing in all this water. I need to hurry.
is in the pool. It's the only way to lower the water in here. must have been pumping water in and out to release the water machines.
Walk in honor. Honor and strength. Should be able to find data to override some new machines inside. Whole doorway's tangled. I bet I can get through. Maybe there's some other way in. Overgrown cauldron I found. Maybe this is part of it.
monsters. Maybe I'll climb my way out. Canisters, I'm gonna get out of this place. able to climb up to that ledge now.
machines to ground if the cauldron's not working. I better get to the core, quick.
great. Could be useful. I have to get this crate to those vents. Climb on that front now. Anything around here? That's not it. part I'm looking for. Before more of those things show up. I think looks. Don't think I can go back that way. Especially not carrying this.
Maybe that node can help? This again. At least I know I can get back to the core from here. into the core. Fast.
like the sound of that. I better hurry. There. Now I need to reboot it. Or not. What, me? Slow going if I use acid on it.
come to visit your favorite old crone, hmm? She is alive. Good day. Hail, Hakaro's champion! This is another.
Should use shotgun now. Better head down. Those fang horns have parts I need to fix their override. You said something about rewarding me? You don't have to. Regala had to be stopped. That battle was almost the end of me and my partner Sosek. During the fighting, I was surrounded by rebels just as I saw a machine about to strike him down. Then your bomb fell from the sky and he was saved. We all were. I can't properly repay you for what you did, but I can offer you something. You really don't need to. Honor is payment enough for any warrior, I know, but Greenshine will buy more blades. I discovered a cache of it inside a cave on a mountain to the southwest of here, right at the edge of the desert. 
It's guarded by machines, but if you can fly in and bomb them as you did in the battle, you can claim the green shine for yourself. Hmm. I might give it a try. Do you want me to bring some back to you? No, no. It's for you. All of it. The least I can give you for saving Sosek's life. I only wish I could be there to see you swoop from the sky and claim it. Cash of green shine could come in handy. Sounds like a... Machines. Must be the spot Morala told me about. This bomb should come in handy. I'll finish up those machines and pick up that green shine. Machines, time to find that green shell.
There's the cash. I just need to get past these vines. Why does this feel too easy? I thought this was too easy. Uh -oh. This is gonna be tough. giving way. I should pick up that green shine now. It was nice of that Tanakh soldier to point me this way. I wasn't looking for thanks, but I'll take it. You, Outlander, come and trade. Where this Outlander walks. Greetings, Tabor. Your spear points the way to Remember the text. I don't if care what you say. If you want to claim our honor, then we must do so in battle. Were you discussing me? Keta, apologize. I think you offended our guest. No offense intended. We were debating whether you or Farika were the first to fly in the wings of the Ten. Farika? She fought a stormbird and it lifted her into the air. Sounds like flying to me. You're talking about her like she's no longer around. She's not. After she grabbed onto the machine, it flew off with her to that mountain top. The stormbird still circles the peak, but we never saw Farika again. That's sad. What a way to go. I'll say. If you find yourself flying on the wings of the Ten again, search the mountain. She was a great soldier with armor to match, and it serves no one lying up there. I'll think about it. Were her feet off the ground? I could jump off a cliff. My feet wouldn't be on the ground. Walk with me. Smoke on my boots. This is the mountain made out to lock the rest of the stormbird. I think. 
Marika's armor should be around here somewhere. Getting down now. A fragment of Farika's armor. There must be more. I don't like the sound of that. Must be the Stormbird that killed Farika. Scrap of Rika's armor. One more bit of armor lodged in the machine. Can my focus see anything? Check what my focus sees, maybe. Another armor fragment. Maybe my focus can help here.
secret ingredient for someone, I'll bet. Looks like another bit of armor. I guess that's it then. I should let the block know and recover what's left of Farika's kit. Try to ride on a sunwing? We saw you fly. Did you find Farika? I was able to retrieve her armor. What's left of it anyway? She didn't stand a chance against that stormbird. Ah, uh, I see. A painful end. But not without glory. So, what do you think? Was she the first to fly on the wings of the Ten? She was brave. And spent a fair amount of time in the air. I'd say what she did qualifies. She flew! I knew it. The first to fly. As her successor, you should keep her armor. You can fix it up at the workbench. This way. Once you repair the armor, you're welcome to it. You take after Farika. Bold, brave, and a diplomatic liar. She met a harsh fate. Let her have the title. Fair enough. It's kind of you to show such humility. You, Outlander. Come and trade. He's not made a straw.
that look. It's time to change it. Right. Been the Looking savior of movement. Ah. Come to revel in some strike, sister? Let me set the board. I was just passing by. I. Mm, first timer, huh? Don't worry about it. I'll go easy on you. You got any pieces? Uh, no. Well, aren't you in luck then? I got an extra set. A Tanakh original straight out of the Forbidden West. Sit, 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 sit. I'll run you through it in a hot spark. I'll give you something special if you win it on my boards, too. All right, let's start off simple. The Tanakhs like to say that Machine Strike is a game of pure strategy. We each get a set of pieces, each piece represents a kind of machine, and each machine is worth a different number of victory points. And to win the game, you'll need to gain seven victory points by destroying the opponent's machines. It can be tricky remembering the details of every machine, so we use these notes to keep track of them. You see that number on the top right corner? That there is how many victory points you'll get for destroying that machine. Notes also tell you how far a piece can move, how powerful their attacks are, the distance they can strike from, and of course, their health. Okay, that's enough for now. Let's just play. I'll explain the rest as we go. I own the board, so I get to choose who goes first. Since this is your first time, I'll let you go. Usually you get to choose which pieces to set on the board, but this will do for now. Pick up that machine piece to your right mm -hmm, and move it forward. And remember, each machine can take a look at your notes if you need a reminder. Easy enough, huh? Now, you get to move two machines each round. So go ahead and pick a second machine. Perfect. There's not much else to do for now, so just end your turn. We're forging onwards. Let me move my pieces here. And we're back to you. This time, why don't you try attacking one of my pieces? Try with that machine on your right first. Now move the piece close. When performing an attack, you'll be ta A machine's combat power is a combination and its own attack power. This board only has grassland terrain, which has no effect on a machine's combat power. And so in total, your machine's combat power equals two. Since my machine isn't the one attacking, it has zero points of attack power. And just so right now, the difference, this means your, did you get all that? Knew you were a smart one. Finish up by attacking my. Not pulling any punches, huh? Now grab that second machine of yours. See how your machine can't move close enough to attack mine? 
you can make your machine sprint. That lets it move one space further. Try it out. Downside to sprinting is that your machine can no longer attack. Now some players like to take a risk and overcharge their machine in cases like this. Overcharging lets you attack after a sprint, but it will damage your machine's health by two points. So use at your own discretion. Let's try... That's about it for your turn then. Now, I'll let you in on a neat trick. That machine of yours, the one closest to me, grab a hold of it. Same as in the wilds, machines have both armored points and weak points. You can see them marked on the pieces. Blue shows where their armor is thickest. Hit them there and you'll do some damage, but not a lot. Now, red shows the machine's weak points. Hit those and you'll deal a mighty blow. Here, let me show you. Rotate that piece so your machine faces mine. Now let that machine have it. Off the board she goes, and there's your first victory points. You don't have seven of them yet, so let's keep going. Your machine attacked mine, but hasn't moved yet. Go ahead and move downwards towards my remaining piece. You've already attacked a machine and moved your piece. But if you overcharge your machine, you can attack a second time. And by the look of your machine's health, you put some time overcharge your machine to attack mine a second time, and I'll show Ain't that a thrill? Now, because your machine was knocked out at the same time as mine, we both get the victory points our machines are worth. Good news is, since you're the one attacking, you're gonna receive your victory points before I do. Which means you can reach the coveted seven victory points first. That's why sometimes losing a piece can be the best way to end a game in your favor. Now, you'll notice you didn't get quite up to seven victory points this time, but you did destroy all my pieces. That means you're the winner. That wasn't so hard, was it? Just remember to always check for the best terrain to attack from. You'd be surprised the advantage you can gain over an opponent like that. I know it saved my behind in a game or two. I'll try and remember that. Oh, before I forget, these are all my spare pieces. I want the savior of Meridian to have them. It's a small set to be sure, but it should be enough to get you in on any strike games you find out there. You might even fancy looking out for them strike carvers. They've got all kinds of unique pieces that can turn a game in your favor, though they'll need the right materials to craft you one. Or you might find them in the wilds if you're lucky. I know I've lost my fair share of pieces after a night of machine hunting or brew hopping. Oh, no need to thank me. Always a pleasure to help out new strike players. Now, if you feel like playing a real game, I've got plenty of other boards. I could even teach you a few more tricks if you're up for it. Thanks. I'll think about it. Ah! I knew I'd make a strike player out of you yet. How about this time I tell you how to use a board's terrain to your advantage? This one's got all the different terrains you can encounter in a game of strike. Knowing when and how to use them can mean the difference between victory and defeat. Terrain mainly affects your machine's combat power. As you know, when fighting an opponent's machine, you compare its combat power to yours. The higher your machine's combat power, the more damage you can do. So finding the right terrain is an essential strategy for overpowering your opponent. Here, I'll show you. Grab that piece to your left and move to attack my machines. Now let's take a look at your machine's combat power. 
combat power is the sum of a machine's attack power and the value of the terrain it's standing on. Since your machine is attacking, it's using its two points of attack power. It's also standing on forest terrain with a value of one point. Add those together and your machine has three points of combat power. My machine is standing on grassland terrain with a value of zero points. It's also not attacking, which means their attack points aren't in play. So my combat power is zero. This means your machine can do three points of damage. Go ahead and test it out. There you go. Now, choosing the right terrain doesn't just improve your offense. It can also help defend your machines from attack. Grab your other piece and place it in front of my second machine. Since your machine is attacking, it's using its two points of attack power. It's standing on grassland terrain. This terrain has a value of zero. This means your machine's combat power adds up to two points. My machine can't use their attack power since they're defending their position. But they have the higher ground. They're standing on forest terrain, which is worth one point. This means my combat power adds up to one point. Now, the front of my machine is colored blue. This means that the spot you're about to attack has armor protecting it. Which means my machine gets an extra point, giving it a total of two combat power points. If we compare the combat power of both machines, you'll see that you won't be able to do any damage. Whenever you're unable to top an opponent's combat power, you can still choose to attack and break their machine's defenses instead. Go ahead, try it out and see what happens. Ha, see? When you break a machine's defenses, you can knock it backwards. Sure, both our machines will receive one point of damage, but knocking my machine off that terrain makes it more vulnerable to attacks. Not only that, if my machine had been blocked from moving backwards, it would have received an extra point of damage. And if my machine had been blocked by another one of my pieces, that machine would have received damage as well. That's why breaking a machine's defenses is a great way to deal damage to several pieces at once. Useful, right? Okay, now go ahead and end your turn. There's still one more thing I want to show you. All right, as we've seen, the higher the terrain, the more it'll add to your machine's combat power. However, there are two other terrains that work a little differently. This is what we call a chasm. Only flying machines can be placed on those. But it'll take away two combat points if you do, so be wary. This is marsh terrain. Landing on it will take away one combat power point from most machines. It'll also keep your machine from moving for the rest of the turn. Here, let me show you. Grab that machine on your left. See? All you can do now is wait for your next turn to move again. Or you can overcharge your machine to get out of there. You can still attack any nearby enemies so you're not completely helpless. Well, I think that's enough yammering for me for now. Promise it'll all come in handy next time you play. Here for more tips? Why don't I tell you a bit more about the pieces we used to play? In a normal game, you get to choose which machines you place on the board. Each one is worth a certain number of setup points, and you can spend up to 10 assembling your army. Knowing what each machine brings to the game and building an army that matches your strategy is the key to becoming a machine strike master. When assembling your army, there are a few things to keep in mind. First and foremost, you can never have more than four of the same machine on the board at the same time. With that in mind, 
Most players would choose machines based on how far they can move or how much attack power they have. But a real strike player will be looking at a machine's type and skills. Let's take a quick look, shall we? Pick up that machine on your left. All right, let's talk about the different ways in which a machine attacks its opponents. In other words, its machine type. If you look at your notes, you'll see this machine here is a melee type. You can also tell by the shape of the base the piece stands on. A melee type machine attacks the first enemy within range and no one else. We've seen this plenty of times, so just move that piece forward so I can show you some more stuff. Great, now grab your other machine. Looks like we've got ourselves a gut. This means they'll only hit the farthest enemy in their attack range. Let's move that machine forward and end your turn so we can take a look at the rest of the pieces. Let's go with this piece first. This is a ram-type machine. Attack an enemy with it, and it'll push the piece backwards. Like this. See, now my machine has taken over your machine spot on the board. This is a great way to take the advantage away from your opponent if they have the higher ground. Looks like we have one more piece to look at. Now this is a beauty of a piece, a dash type machine. When it attacks, it'll move to the end of its attack range and damage every machine in its path, including your own. So make sure you take a good look at the board before you send it off to the races. You should also make sure it's able to finish its attack on an empty spot. Otherwise, you won't be able to attack at all. Here, I'll show you. Look, it even rotated your piece. A nifty little piece you'll definitely want in your set. If you look at your notes, you'll notice this particular machine has one of the skills I mentioned before. There's quite a few of those, and we haven't even looked at all the machine types yet. But I'm pretty sure you've got more important things to do, so I made you a list. It's got all the tips and tricks we talked about, too. I think that about does it for now, so if you want to play a real game, just let me know. Good luck. Time to get serious. That's it for me. sure dampens the forge. Your move, Red.
the board he goes. You got me! Fair and square! You know where to find me, Red. Play some machine strike. I got all my machine pieces accounted for. Good luck. Your turn. Oh, that's my cue. Off the board you go, buddy. Machine down! One down.
Hmm. Gotta think this through. Let's get that piece out of there. There it goes. You lost, but don't let that stop you from trying again. Here we go. My turn. Kind of wish I'd thought that through. moving my pieces. I see how it is. Time for me to step up. What'll it be? Nice move. Guess I'll have to come up with another plan. Okay, I can do this. I'm done. Off the board you go, buddy. Time for me to step up. It's all you. You hit armor. I thought I was in trouble there for a moment. Always a risk, overcharging. Let's get that piece out of there. Your time to shine, friend. And there it goes. Gotta think this through. Well played, friend. Enjoy your victory. I look forward to our next game. 
Sister! Over here! Come on then! No one's up. I should take one more look around before I go. Let's see if there's anything else interesting. Patris! You're back! Aloy! You managed to get those parts I asked for? I'm working on it. Didn't find what you were looking for, I guess? Did you find the shell? Walkers use this passage regularly, and Laren wants their plating. I just need to wait them out at his camp. Convoy, it's here. Lauren's contract said they'd set up traps along the passage. Might as well use them. Hmm. I can override burrowers now. I should salvage what I can and leave the plating for Laren's crew. Huntress! You're back! I took down that shell walker for you. Vonda! Rendor! We got a pickup! Per our contract, here's your payment. This will definitely help me make some great armor. But... 
Well, I realized an armor made out of shell walker plating's good, but with just a few minor additions, it could be so much better. If you'd be willing to take on a few more contracts. What do you say? What else do you need for your armor? Alarm antennas. Strong, supple. I could use them to make my armor more flexible. We picked out a herd of scroungers already. I'll, uh, read through the contract. See what I can do. Best of luck! Tell me more about these contracts of yours. I was thinking, scrabber jaws are powerful. I could use them to strengthen my armor. Crew spotted a pack of them not far from here, primed for salvage. I guess I can give the contract a look. Fantastic. I should get going. I'll be waiting for that salvage. I know I can make the perfect armor. I just need the right parts. Must be close to the machine site no one's contract mentioned. Make sure we do it Just in case. It's Grouchers, just like Lauren said. I need their antennas. If I shoot them off without getting spotted, everything should move smoothly. One antenna here. Antennas back to Larent when I get a chance. Huntress. Got the alarm antennas you asked for. Ah, perfect. These will do. As promised, here's your payment. Maybe now you'll consider taking my other contract. Should be easy enough for a skilled hunter like yourself. 
I should get going. Be careful out there. You got any salvage to sell? The charger heard Laren's contract mentioned should be close by. Might want to look through the contract one more time. Make sure I didn't miss anything. There are the chargers. If I can take a few of them down, it should lure in the scrap. I think that metal tower is giving off the signal. I can head over there, check it out. Still gotta hunt down those scrappers for Laren. I'm back. Let's get those scrapper jaws for Larand. Time to take these parts back to Larand. Oh! Perfect timing, Huntress! Got all the parts you wanted. I see your reputation as a hunter is well earned. Here's your payment. Looks like you've got everything you need to make your armor now. Actually, our scouts spotted a fanghorn nearby? It spews fire like a blazing forge. If I had it, my armor could resist an inferno. What do you think? I'll check the details later, see if I can track it down. You won't regret it! I should get going. Good luck finding that fanghorn. These are the last parts we'll need, Huntress. I should take a quick look at Lynn's contract. Read all the details. I see machine tracks. Might be the Fanghorn I'm looking for. There's a lot of different machine tracks here. I'm gonna need my focus to tell them apart. Found the Fanghorn tracks. The trail looks fresh, too. My focus should help me follow it. There you are. Let's see where you lead. A 
same horn that breathes fire. I think I found Laren's new friend. I'm gonna have to take it down. Can just stay still for me, huh? I'll catch you eventually! of Lance Horns. Ha! Gotcha! Whew. Now I need to get those parts for Laren's. Here's that fanghorn you wanted. Most of it, anyway. Yes! This is it! This will make my armor truly stand out. Unless... maybe I can add... Uh... It's about time you got started, isn't it? You're right! Can't make the perfect armor if I never light the forge. Thank you, Aloy. Maybe you'll come back around when Karuf does. See me win that prize? I can try. Salvage to sell, Huntress? Need something, friend? Good luck. You wish to practice your hunting skills? Okay, a 
focus I got from the Sons of Prometheus is encrypted. But with a little effort, I should be able to hack it. There. Got it. Engineer Team Smoke, your request for materials was received and approved. A shipment has been dispatched. We're short on couriers, so we'll leave it for you in the wilds. Don't delay on pickup, this stuff is valuable. Coordinates are embedded in this message. Use it well for the cause. So before I wiped them out, the Sons of Prometheus sent supplies to some of their operatives. Might be worth checking out. This room looks different. That hologram looks like a cauldron symbol. Guy is doing probably.
wonder what they used all these machines for. Another Cyclops stream. Gotta grab its data to reconnect with the dome back at the base. Maybe I can climb something and jump onto the dome.
I'm escaping this rain. Can we talk for a moment, Avery? Would you spare a moment for an old woman like this? You're a Nora, aren't you? I haven't seen one since I visited Hunter's Gathering. I didn't think the Utaru traveled that far east. I did it for my dyes. I like to see how different tribes use roots and plants to make new colors. It's amazing how the right hue can make armor express so much more than its mere function. I have some samples, if you're interested. They're beautiful. It's nothing compared to the Dyers. They may not be the friendliest of tribes, but if you bring their Dyers plants or samples, they might show you their skills. I'll keep an eye out for them.
If you need some food, we've got plenty. Before you go, the chorus mentioned that it was you and Zoe who healed the land gods. I don't think we can ever repay you. Seeing everyone getting a decent meal is good enough. May the land always bloom before you. Worry about running out. What happened to her? It's been long enough that Fane and Kill have called off the search. But... but you want me to look into it? I'll talk to them the next time I'm in Plainsong. I'm monitoring this area. I need to grab its data. Scattered. The signal seems to be coming from behind those vines.
Take this to a dyer later. Make use of this. Having a good day? Aloy, may we speak? Take it easy. May the wind carry. myself this time. Let's trade.
This will be in my stash when I need it. Aloy, the outpost is just over there. Are you ready? Actually, I've already cleared that outpost, but I didn't see any prisoner. Really? Perhaps she was moved somewhere else before you got there. This prisoner Nakala, she's the only lead I have. Well, maybe I can pick up her trail. Let's go take a look. Like a good die. Our scout said they saw Nakala tied up at a wood post. Let's look around. There. That's the post. Well, no Nakala, obviously. But maybe the rebels moved her. I can look for tracks. There. Tracks leading away from the post. Where do they rope. go? Just enough to bind someone. Blood. From the Rebels or Nikala? Dead end. No. I think there's something under that wood. Take my hand, Nikala. Steady now. Where am I? Chaplain? Is that you? And with an outlander. Whoa. How'd you end up down there? Rebels had me strung up. They thought I'd give up intel about lowland squad movements by letting me bake in the sun. Managed to slip my bonds and make a run for it. They made me pay for that. Last thing I remember was a crack on the head and the taste of dirt. How'd you end up here? We're looking for Kavo. His squad was last spotted leaving this outpost. Yeah, he was here. It was his squad that attacked us on the road. 
My comrades got away, but I was taken. Cabo tied me to the post himself. If you're looking for him, Chaplain, I'm afraid you'll only find a dead end. His loyalties are clear. Do you know where his squad went? I overheard them mention Fall's Edge. Then we'll... we'll pick the search up from there. I'll go ahead and meet you at Fall's Edge, southwest of here. Decca, if Cavo attacked her squad... No! He's not lost to us yet. We have to find him and turn him from this path. <sighs> okay. I'll see you there. What about you? That wound needs to be looked at. It'll scar. I just need to rest a bit, then I'll report into the grove. I'm telling you, Bloodhair. The chaplain might not want to hear it, but her grandson is a traitor. I guess we'll see about that. Falls Edge. Deca should be waiting for me in there. Telling the truth. Listen to him, Aroke. Decca, what's going on? Aloy, I'm glad you're here. This is Aroke, leader of Fall's Edge. So you've enlisted the Chief's champion in your dull-bladed efforts. You must be Cavo, then. My grandson. And a soldier trying to right his mistakes. Or trying to lure us into a trap. My scouts caught him, sneaking around on the outskirts of the village. I wasn't sneaking around. I was coming to warn you. The rebels are planning an attack. They're going to send a machine straight through this village. I left my post when I realized what they were planning. You have to believe me. Where are the rebels now? They were hunting for the machine north of here. I, I can show you the way. The only thing you'll do is face trial by combat. You betrayed your clan. Your chief. Blood and blades will decide your fate. I'll fight whoever you want, after we stop the attack. Why destroy this village? Regala's defeated. The rebellion is over. Not for some. Losing Regala only gave them one more reason to hate Hikaro. And Hikaro was a lowlander before he was chief. Unlike the desert and sky clans, we've always stood behind him, without question. Fall's Edge is a strategic midpoint between the Grove and our capital on the coast. It's true. The others hope that by weakening the Lowland Clan, they'll be able to strike back at Hikaro. You said you defected after you found out about the attack. Why'd you change your mind? When I joined the Rebels... I thought Regala was going to lead us into battle against our old enemy, the Karja. But all we've done is kill each other. And for what? Pride? Vengeance? So when my squad leader told us about the mission to destroy this village, I left my post. Don't believe his lies. Anyone who deserted the tribe to join Regala knew exactly what they were getting themselves into. Not everyone. If Cavo is telling the truth, this whole village is in danger. We have to find and stop these rebels. The rebels built a campfire north of the river, near the cliffs. I can show you the way from there. Okay. Open it up, or okay? No. I won't give him the chance to escape. The traitor stays here until his trial by combat. Then I invoke blood for blood. I will take Cavo's place until he returns. You're making a mistake, Chaplain. The clan needs your guidance. 
at the lies of this bare-armed boy. The right has been called. Cavill will go with Aloy. Then I'm going to. If the boy speaks truth, you'll need my blade. If he lies, I'll run him through. I must make arrangements here first. Then I'll bring the boy to the meeting place. Fine. I'll see you there. The campfire that Cavo mentioned should be nearby. What's taking so long? They should be here already. Someone's waiting ahead. Rebels. Friends of Cavo's? We're going to have to take them out to get to that campfire. waiting to ambush whoever showed up? We have a some explaining to do. Better wait at the campfire for him and Oroke. <laughs> Found a few of your friends when I got here, Cavo. You're not off to a great start. They must have been out on patrol. I swear on the ten, I didn't know they'd be here. What did I tell you? His lies are an open sore. Better we cauterize it now than let it fester. No! I'm telling the truth! Untie him. As you say. But this is a mistake. And my weapon? If you think... Just give it to him, or okay? We need to get moving. Lead the way. This way. Where are you leading us? The rebels are stationed at the nearby cliff falls. I took this path when I left my post. The others won't be expecting anyone to come this way. Or they are, and will be skewered the moment we arrive. There's the cliff falls. And there's no one there, as I suspected. Let's just keep going. I don't like this. everyone no rebels no machine what did i over there by the falls but of the ten if that thing runs through the falls, the falls the 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 just go quick 
Let me stop them. Right here. On your lead, Aloy. Nothing will stand in our way now! Grab your gear. We march on Fall's Edge. We did it. Cavo, you're bleeding. I'll be fine. What matters is the attack was stopped. Because of your warning. You saved many lives today. Come on. Let's get you back to Falls Edge. I guess... I cracked some ribs, too. Go on ahead. I'll see him back to the village. Okay. I'll let Decca know what happened. Aloy, I saw your deeds at the Grove. Three leave, only you return? What happened? Cavo was telling the truth. The rebels had a behemoth. Cavo was injured in the battle, but we stopped the attack. Aroke... Regrets that he doubted the boy. Your grandson proved himself to be honest and brave, Chaplain. He's loyal to the Lowland. So you'll release him? He's earned his freedom. But it'll take many more deeds to earn back the rest of the clan's trust. I'll do whatever it takes. Thank you, Aloy. Indeed. Falls Edge owes you a great debt. May this begin to repay it. Thank you. As soon as you're healed, I have so much to show you. Welcome back, Cavo.
not her. Can't be. Have I got news for you, Red? I'm still getting a signal from my focus. to the town of Corbett mentioned. We need to find his missing expedition and clear a path back east. The tunnel's blocked and no sign of the missing expedition. I need to find a way to get further in. Maybe a little blow up that fire green? Someone's still alive in here. So you're real. Thought I was dreaming. What happened to you? A terror in the dark. The world shuddered. A machine? Never got a look. The caravan. <sighs> we all ran. Everything collapsed. Crawled here. Did anyone make it out? And find the first caravan? Yes. Someone did. Good. At least... I'm not alone. Rest easy now. Sounds like something big attacked the missing expedition. I better press on. Calvin, back up! They were attacked by some kind of terror. I don't think it was these burrowers. It lets out ahead. A rock breaker. It must have attacked the officer as they were passing through.
Bell Thru must have entered the canyon from the eastern side. I better take a look. Those carts must be the supplies the second crew was supposed to bring on. Poor Griff's lockbox. I should take it back to him. That wall looks like it came down when the rockbreaker attacked. I must have trapped the house room in the canyon. The rest must have run into the western tunnel. Gonna get to the other side. I should be opening those blaze barrels with fire ammo. Should do the trick. Clear now. I better let Porgif know. Let's see. So, if we add all the days lost to being stuck in camp nowhere, and throw in some hazard pay, because no doubt the crew will demand it, but reduce the number of the crew by half. Oh, and I hear the Tanakhs are fighting each other quite a bit these days. Might just break. Some of them contain machines. Those you've got to be real careful. We've seen a whole bunch of them setting up outposts around here. A few settled at the edge of the desert in the southwest. It's you. An honor. Will it be a trade? You're back? How's that tunnel looking? I found the rest of your crew. 
One of them was still alive for a while, anyway. Turns out a rock breaker attacked them as they were making their way through. Poor Saz. Many roads lead to Adelva's end, but that's got to be one of the worst. Well, I took care of the rock breaker. The way's clear now. Ha <laughs> ha! I knew you could do it! And, uh, you didn't happen to find my lockbox now, did you? Here you go. Spark in the dark! Is there nothing you can't do? Here, your fee as promised. Now that the threat's gone, I'll have the tunnel shored up and cleared out. Then I can send for another crew, get this expedition going proper like. Ha! Onwards to the delve! Done. I was annoyingly impatient at your age, too. Everything okay? What are you doing out here? Ask my grandmother. I risked leaving guard duty to look for her. She stopped to see the bloom, and now she won't leave. Since when does she care about flowers? They're not just flowers, child. They're scarlet stems with the scent that soothes the nerves. Or so I was told many years ago by an Utaru seed tracker. An Utaru? Now you're telling stories. If one trespassed here back then, you'd have killed him on sight. I couldn't. Found him picking flowers. Right near here, in Tanakh territory. I was all set to strike him down, but he was singing. <laughs> singing? Can't remember the tune now. Just the lilt of his voice. And his name. Nilo. He decided to stay for a day or two. I took guard duty here so I could keep coming back to him. And he kept delaying his return to plain song. For the flowers, he said. Please don't tell me I'm descended from a Utaro gardener. Almost. Almost. But the thrill of battle called to me, and he had to return to his people. I've always wondered about the life I missed with him. Whether he misses it too. Would he welcome me in plain song? Or at least accept a scarlet stem. It's a long way to plain song, but I get back there now and then. I could pick some scarlet stems and bring them to Nilo, if I can find him. Please. He was an herbalist there. I know the time has long since passed, but I'd like to know. Well, I'd like him to know. Ugh, you know what I mean. I think I do. Encouraging an old woman? Why would you do that? Why wouldn't I? I should look for the herbalist. Might still be Nilo. I could give him the scarlet stems. Can we talk for a moment, Aloy? Now 
well trained, but the bear was being walked down by the Outlander, what can I do for you? You're the herbalist here, right? Are you Milo? No, Milo was before my time. I think he went up north a while back to river him. Why? Do you need a special solve? No, but someone else does, in a way. Thanks. I'll try river him. There's a grove there, a, a memorial, a beautiful greenery. If he's there, I... I bet he'll be tending it. Thanks again. Glad I could help. Have a look at my stock. I hope you find what you're looking for in River Him. Okay, River Him. I should look for Nilo. Give him the Scarlet Stems. The herbalist in Plain Song said he might be near the Memorial Grove. Did she say Milo? Uh, hi there. Nora, here. You're a long way from home. I suppose I am. I'm looking for an herbalist named Nilo. I think I heard you say his name. You've come to the right place. His seeds were buried here, where he tended the blooms of others. Including my mother's. I'm his daughter, Gia. How long has he been gone? Some five years now. He put a lot of love into this grove. Almost as much as he gave me. That's why I could never abandon River him. I'd like to leave some flowers, if I may. From an old friend of his. Scarlet stems. They're rare in these parts, but they were his favorite. I never knew why. He planted them whenever he could, but never picked them. Preferred to just watch them bloom. Sounds about right. So he was a good man who led a full life? He was. And he did. I don't know who this old friend is, but if my father liked them, they must be a good soul. Outlander's back. I can still see well enough, girl. Is my long vigil over? You have word from my grandmother's gardener? Yes and no. I laid the scarlet stems at his grave. His favorite flower, according to his daughter. Always loved to watch them bloom. He's gone. But he did think of me over the years. That'll have to be enough. Really? That's it? Are you sure you got the right guard... Herbalist? Huh. Seemed like you thought it was a fool's errand. 
Well, it's just that it meant something to you. It could have been a whole other life. Could have been. But this life hasn't turned out so bad. I even have a granddaughter who cares enough to come looking for me out in the wilds. And I've still got scarlet stems to remind me of Nilo. Sounds like your grandmother's got it all figured out. Maybe she does. Just tell me the next time you want to come out here, okay? Instead of disappearing? Maybe I will. Here, Outlander. Take this. For helping an old woman to remember she was once young. Over here, friend. Hey, Lloyd. I hear you've been making quite the impression on the clan lands. Saving the Desert Clan from itself, forcing the Commander Takote out of hiding, defending the Grove from Regala, and ending her rebellion on the wings of the Ten. I didn't do it alone. The humble words of a true warrior. Is something wrong? No. Yes. There's a song I want to play, one of my own making, but it's hopeless. I'm just never going to get the sound right. What makes you say that? Back in the clan lands, the Sky Clan built instruments that cast sound to sky and across the mountains. They use long leg throats to make them bellow with the sound of metal. It's how they communicate between villages. Combining that sound with the Utarus would create a melody unlike anyone's ever heard before. But I won't be hunting for any long legs anytime soon. For now, you should try the Metal Weaver again. They might have some new piece you can use. Right. This song means a lot to him, doesn't it? It does, which is why I'm getting him that machine part. It'll be... a surprise. The Utaru say that's the best way to receive a gift. Is there a long leg around here? As it happens, one has been troubling some villagers southwest of here. You be doing me and playing Song a favor by getting rid of it. Interested? Maybe. I didn't think the Tanakh cared much about gifts. When I first moved here, I remember some days were more difficult than others. But I came to embrace the life I found here, and I, I don't see why I can't help Corey do the same. He's lucky to have you. Tell me more about this long leg. It's a particularly nasty one. Looks different, too. Tainted like the lands around here used to be. It protects a group of machines that overran a small outpost southwest of Plain Song. Its call is easy enough to track, but if it spots us, it'll call reinforcements faster than you can draw your bow. Take it out with the rest of those machines, though. Plain Song has one less problem to deal with, and Core Ray gets to play his melody. Victory for all. If I make my way down there, I'd like to help. I appreciate that. I'll head southwest and see if I can pick up a trail. Today, children. 
Soldier. One more search. Let this go. What's going on here? You're the one who spoke before the chorus. Maybe you can help. This is not your concern, Outlander. Have we not tolerated enough of your intrusions? I think you can handle one more. What is it? My wife, Kalai. She was to join the course. She went up to the promontory to perform the rite of discovery, but she must have fallen. And now they are abandoning the search. We have done enough, Bree. The search party found nothing but her instrument broken beside the riverbed. And atop the promontory was only the dye she used for the ritual. We will not ask more of our people to risk their lives because of one woman's stubbornness. But the seed she carried deserved to be planted and remembered. I heard how you helped the land god, Ray. How you saw what no one else could. Please, will you look for her seed pouch? False hope is a creeping vine. How was Kalai chosen to join the Chorus? The Chorus chooses its own, but they can't do so in isolation. They must listen to the people. Kalai was a growing voice for new ideas instead of old traditions, and her beliefs were catching on. We cannot deafen ourselves to dissonance, unpleasant though it might be. So you had to admit Kalai, or risk legitimizing her ideas even more. The Outlander catches on quick. The Rite of Discovery. What is it exactly? It's a pilgrimage to the Promontory. The place where the first Utaro beheld Plainsome. Kalai was to follow the path our ancestors took. Mark her eyes with dye and then play her song while overlooking the land. She then would have added her mark on the Promontory itself, joining the marks of those who came before. Every new Chorus member used to make the journey. But because of the derangement, the practice has been abandoned. Too dangerous. No one's done it for years. Then why did she do it? We all urged her not to. But, as was her way, she ignored our warnings. She thought it would lend strength to her point of view. She needed to prove that she respected the old ways, even as she advocated against them. Then maybe more people would listen. What were Kalar's political beliefs? Radical. You would have gotten along. Plain Song was dying, but Kalai believed we didn't have to die with it, as the wind carries the seed to distant lands. She proposed that the Utara leave Plain Song and seek out a new home. We are bound to this land. A tree cannot pick up its roots, even as fire approaches. But you're not trees. It doesn't matter now. Kalai was carrying a pouch of seeds? Every Utara keeps one. We choose the seeds at a young age, taken from the plants of our forebears or those of other significance. And when one passes, their seeds are returned to the land that nourished them, so that life may spring again. Which is why I want Kalai's pouch. Her seeds deserve to be planted in Plainsong. The river will carry the seeds to new soil, where they will take root and flower. But they won't be at home. It's the best we can hope for. If I'm out that way, I can take a look around. Thank you. The promontory is northeast of here. Look for the broken bridge at the bottom of the cliffs, right at the promontory's base. That's where the search party found her instrument. Okay. That all right with you? How you waste your time is not my concern. Searching for what the land has already reclaimed is fruitless. No steaming from the kitchen. What do you do? But the rot? Up Aloy. Maybe What's going on here? Sounds like there's a problem. We're speaking about something important, Outlander. You'll please. Later. A reminder of why I often prefer plants to people. They're so much less demanding. I apologize for Yul. She used to be friendlier, but grief robs many of their kindness. Grief? You and Zoe brought the land gods back to us, but troubles from our time of want remain. As our crops failed, 
We sent hunting parties to the old growth, a forest to the north to bring back meat. A machine slaughtered the last party we sent out. A cloth strider. But to hear the lone survivor tell it more deadly than any we've seen before. I saw you up there, when I spoke in front of the chorus. Yes. I'm sorry I couldn't do more to help you, and especially Zo. Many Utaru like to think we're above politics, but that is far from true. I don't often agree with Fane, but I have to work closely with him on many matters. So you didn't want to cross him? Not in such a public way, no. I hope you don't hold it against me. What's done is done. It all turned out in the end. Tell me everything you know about the machine that attacked your hunters. It fell upon them near the edge of the old growth. One of them, Ven, survived and made it back to Plainsong. If you wish to question him, he's recovering with our healers. The other four hunters weren't so fortunate. It must be a powerful beast. Can you destroy it? I've handled tough ones before. Good. If it ventures beyond the forest, no one will be safe. One more thing. Every Utaru wears a small pouch of seeds, given at birth, planted at death. It is how we remember our loved ones and celebrate their place in the cycle. It would mean a great deal to the hunter's families if you could recover them. I'll do what I can. I know you will. Be careful in the forest. Before I head for the old grove, I might want to talk to the survivor. See what he can tell me about the cost rider. For she knew the seed of wisdom had been planted. Like all...
Now to look for Kali's seed pouch. I better start at the bridge. Footprints. Must be from the search. Bree said this is where they found his wife's instrument. The search party concluded Kalai's body was probably carried away by the river. But from up there, that old tree would have caught her. I don't think she actually fell. I should check up at the promontory. Maybe the search party missed something. It looks like the search party took the trail under the stone arch. That must be the way up to the promontory. There must have been another path up. Guess Kalai and the search party climbed the cliff instead. This broke off some time ago. Where do I get the feeling this is going to be an easy trail to follow? I'll make an interesting color for my armor. Taru Trailhead. Looks like this is where the Rite of Discovery started. Debris on the trail. Oh, it looks like pieces of a bridge. Looks like this fell down here a long time ago. Maybe from a storm.
Damn, the trail's broken away. Kalai must have climbed her way up, too. If Kalai made it to the top, she must have been a good climber. It doesn't add up that she fell. This must be the promontory. Looks like Kalai was doing something at that stone table. I should take a look. Flowers. Ground into a dye. Kalai must have done this as part of her ritual. I should look around. My focus will help me figure out what happened to her. These flowers have a trace of something on their petals. The dye Kalai was wearing. Looks like it left a trail. Too faint for the search party to have noticed, but my focus can pick it up. There's the dye trail. It looks like it leads away from the cliff edge. Bree mentioned this was part of the Rite of Discovery. All of the marks look old. Kalai must not have gotten to this part. Die trail ends here. With a lot of broken branches. I should take a closer look. <laughs> branches were snapped off recently. From some kind of struggle? And over here, drag marks. Looks like they lead through this thicket. I can follow them with my focus. Two bodies? One must be Kalai, but who's the other woman? This pigment will work well in armor. Kalai. Those marks on her neck. She was strangled. At least I can return her seed pouch to Bree. So the killer must have tried to push Kalai off the cliff. That's why the search party found her instrument by the river. But Kalai fought back. So the killer strangled her. And then dragged her here. Seat pouch. Might help identify her. I'll find this in my stash later. Maybe Fane and Carol back in Plain Song will know who this seat pouch belongs to.
This might have been the way to... I was hoping we could speak, Aloy. We all lament Calais' death. That's Glyce. You found it. Bree. Calais didn't fall. She was murdered. What? I went up to the promontory. I found Calais and the body of the woman who killed her. That's impossible. The search party already checked up there. There was nothing. The bodies were in a separate clearing. Away from where the search party checked. A stalker had mauled her while she was trying to hide Kalai's body. Who was she? I was hoping you would know. I brought back her seed pouch. It belongs to Lina. Kel's apprentice. I don't understand. Why would she do this? Maybe we should ask Kel. But she... You, there. Where is Kel? I saw her leave out the East Gate about an hour ago. She's going home. Summerwind. She's running away? She needs to stand trial. I can catch her. Where is this place? Look for a ruined settlement at our southern border. It's her childhood home. We will get the guards and try to catch up with you. The sky's getting dark. Night's settling in. Be summer wind. But where is Kel? Got you. Hey, Lloyd. The other day I was grabbing a pipe with the old storyteller, Stemmer. He's gone out about some kind of dude. So now everyone knows. It was only a matter of time once you went up that cliff. You stood right next to the man whose wife you had murdered and told him to move on. I never wanted any of this to happen. Then why? Calais sowed the seeds of discord. She wanted the Utaru to leave Plainsong, abandon our home. If that thought caught on, it would have been more destructive than any sickness or machine. So you had her killed? There was a natural order to all things. Growth, decay, death. It's the way of the world. A tree cannot pick up its roots, so I stopped what was threatening us. And I'm sorry it came to it, but it's over now. I'm gonna make sure you pay for all the suffering you've caused. Too late. You think you stopped Kali's beliefs from spreading? But when people hear what you did, they'll cast aside the old ways even more. No. And you won't be around to do anything about it. No! She needed to stand trial! Kalai deserves justice! Kel thought that silencing Kalai would silence her beliefs. Prove her wrong. That will give Kalai justice. It isn't much, but... 
I want you to have this. As thanks. I won't have to spend the rest of my days wondering what happened to Kalai. Blighted are the leaves. Three of our people. Dead. And for what? I admit it. I never wanted you among us. But now... It seems I must thank you. For revealing the rot that had taken hold here. I'm sorry it had to happen this way. At least with the rot removed. New growth can thrive. This must be the old growth. Shell said the hunting party was attacked near here. Best place to start looking for the hunter's seed pouches. Okay, now to collect the hunter's sea pouch. Got the pouch, but where are the other hunters? And the claw strider that attacks them? I better check for tracks with my focus. There. Lost rider tracks. I might have chased the other hunters deeper into the forest. Illustrator's tracks and keep going. The third hunter. I should collect their seed pouch. He died where the Quostrator caught him. At least I can return a seat pouch. I need to put a stop to that machine. 
I better scan for tracks. Okay, three hunters. There should be one more. Clostrider probably chased after him. There's some kind of residue here. It looks like the Clostrider continued up the cliff. Hunter gave it quite the chase. Covered in some kind of residue. It looks like the machine's claw got stuck here. Slowed it down. While the hunter kept running. Close tires tracks end here. And no sign of the last hunter either. I don't know why those machines are watching that crack in the cliff. Better clear them out first. We're interested in that crevice in the cliff. I should check it out. I got a feeling that last hunter was pretty resourceful. They're gone? I wasn't expecting a rescue. Thank you, Outlander. I'm after the Claw Strider. Where did it go? You're hunting it? It's okay. I fought bigger. Who are you? Just stay here while I try to pick up its trail. I'll let you know when it's... I can handle it from here. I can slow it down for you. It's claws. No! I've got your back. They're riled up now. It's done. We did it. <laughs> I can't believe you took that thing down. I didn't think anyone could take that thing down. I'm Lau. You came from Plain Song, right? Did anyone else from the hunting party make it back? Shale told me there was another survivor. Oh, it must be Ven. He made it. I can't wait to see the look on his face when he figures out I'm alive. Go on back then. And thanks for the assist. Slowing that machine down helped. And here, take this. I can craft another one if I need it, but... Well, I hope I won't after this. Not for a while. One more hunter gets to go home. Now I just have to return the seed pouches to Shale.
was hoping we could speak, Aloy. There's Shale. I should give her the- Aloy, Lau has come back to us thanks to you. Here, the seed pouches. I'll see that these are returned to their families for planting and remembrance. I'm sure Lau and Van would like to thank you in person. You can find them at the Grove. It's been an honor, Aloy. May the land be kind to you. It is a brighter day with you among us, Huntress. You could use the backup. Moment too soon, Huntress. I thought I heard a long legs call, so I hastened to follow, but I was caught unaware by these machines instead. There it is again. Let's go find it. at the top of that cliff. Oh, looks like we're climbing. We'll make quick work of it. This reminds me of my early days as a veteran. Always running off to hunt in the wilds. As far away from plain song as possible. What changed? I saw my first Utaru. Students become fighters worthy of any Tanakh claim. I felt useful, like I belong. And so playing song became home. I'm sure Corey will find his place too. I hope so. Almost there. It sounds like that long leg isn't alone up there. There's our long leg. And the guitar will fall. It might be best to silence it before it can call reinforcements. There we go.
show me our prize, Hunter? Many thanks, Aloy. Without you, I might have been in trouble. Why don't you take that piece to Corey for me? The villagers failed by these machines need to have their seeds buried properly first. Are you sure? Tell Corey I better be the first to hear that song of his when I return. Rain's letting up. Aloy? I thought you had left Plainsong. Well, I thought about it, but then I'd have to carry this long leg throat all by myself. You found? Jax did. <laughs> that old man. Can still hear perfectly fine. So let's hear it. I'm gonna need some help. Aloy, can you take this to the workbench, please? You won't have to do much, I promise. You'll see a wide cavity on the instrument. That piece should fit right in. You didn't need to do this, old man. And yet I did. didn't need to do this, old man. And yet I did. You didn't need to do this, old man. And yet I did. In the hunt and in business. Hey, Lord, let us see your handiwork. I think it's good to go. song of two peoples indeed. Thank you, Aloy. My debt to you seems to only grow. Hearing that, 
Was payment enough? That may be, but you should at least take this. You deserve it. May the wings of the Ten hearten your step. Are you hurt? I live. My so-called bodyguard. You see him on your way up? It was uh, hard to miss him. He's dead. Oh. Guess that's what I get for believing in the first chuff in the tavern who said he was a, a mountain-climbing machine hunter. Oh, at least I don't have to pay him now. What are you doing up here? That used to be a signal tower. The mechanism uses a special lens which, in some very specific circles, is highly valuable. And since the Karja are planning on tearing them down, I was going to... liberate the lens before it got destroyed. You get it for me, and the lenses from the other towers? I'll make it very worth your while. You said that was a signal tower. In its day, it was a sight to see. All six of them all lit up all around the Daunt. They used to warn folks that the Tanakhs are coming, for whatever that was worth. As you can imagine, the car just spared no expense putting them together. Hence the fancy lenses in need of a new home before the towers are torn down. So, you're a thief. I'm more what you'd call an opportunist with a good eye for business. Look, the Karja are gonna tear all these towers down anyway. They see no value here. They're trying to make nice with the Tanakh now. See? It's a victimless crime. A uh, opportunity. Tell that to your friend down there. <sighs> Self-inflicted. Why can't you do it? Look, 
Even if I hadn't hurt my ankle here, I'm clearly nowhere near as capable as you. Oh, come on. I, I can't just let the lenses go to waste. That's not what my father would have wanted. Your father... is he a thief? Sorry. Opportunist, too? No. He helped design the towers. Before he passed on. So that's how you know about the lenses. Yeah. And why they have sentimental value. I already found some, actually. <laughs> well, look at that! Looks like you're quite the opportunist too, eh? Let me take these off your hands, then. This should be a nice reward for your efforts. I'm an honest merchant, after all. Thank you. Aloy. Reyna. Well, Aloy, as soon as I'm up for it, I'll be going back to Baron Light to rest this ankle. But I'll stick around in case you want to get me that lens up this tower here. No pressure. Just saying. Promise it'll be worth it. I'll see what I can do. That's no good. Can't use the protester on that. Okay, I'm in. up this place. One of the signal devices. Should be a lens I can grab for Reyna. Got the lens. I can treat it with Reyna the next time I see her. Did you find the lens? Maybe. If you're ready to trade. Ha! Let's deal! Here you go. Isn't that a sight? And here's a little something for your troubles. Now if you find any more of these, make sure to come find me at Baron Light. You got it. See you around.
might be worth taking a look around. Oh, it's an ambush. Saragon. Some of her boys are still at it. And the cook's pot. Red hair, keen eye, big spear. Those ingredients mean a Nora warrior. Aloy? Twice conqueror of Regala? Right? There's not a rumor in the land that doesn't cross the cook pot. Kitchens chop up the meat and stir in the gossip. And was what you said to that Tanakh soldier just gossip? About foods that can make her stronger? You think soldiers are the only ones with skills? Blades aren't just for war. Slice up the right ingredients and you'll be stronger in the field with the correct preparation. Your friend doesn't seem convinced by your claims. 
The people here would stick their heads in the ground and drill out their dinners like grazers if they could. But I'm convinced if I show Hakata here, if I show any of them the benefits, then the others will come around. This meal can make me stronger? Stronger, healthier, more resistant. There are all sorts of benefits depending on how I prepare it. You vary your diet, you benefit from the different properties of the food. Look at the Osirum. They drink all that beer and come out barrel shaped. So why is it so hard to believe that food can change you in other ways? What else are you selling? Dining delights, tastes of heaven, and meals to make a warrior of you. A better warrior of you. What ingredients do you need? Some bird meat and a little mystery ingredient. If it stays a mystery, I won't be able to get it for you. Wild bird's eggs. These soldiers won't touch them. They claim warriors only eat meat. But a true warrior takes every advantage. I'll get you those ingredients. See, Hakata? True soldiers aren't cowards in the kitchen. You can get the eggs from the island in Desert's Tier, the lake just outside the walls. As for the meat, plenty of birds feed in the grasses around the shores. Bring the ingredients back here and you'll get that meal for free. Welcome, Champion. I gotta go back. Be guided by the Looking for a real challenge? Strengthen. There should be goose eggs on this island, if I can find the nests. one. I know I'm here. There must be another nest. I better hope they don't try and scrap me. might see something. That's another egg. Huh. 
that one. smaller island. Could look around with my focus. all the eggs. Now I just need the bird meat. I should find birds here. Let's get the meat that cook wanted.
I have everything I need for that cook and salt bite. Let's see if her recipe can help me out. Ready. It's time for us to prepare the chef's special. How did you know I had your ingredients? Every cook worth their salt can read people as well as they can cuts of meat. Fakata, let us work our magic. May the courage of your stomach bring you victory in battle. We'll be here whenever you desire more delicacies. And your next meal will be on the house. Sure, so, well. Nakata. All right. If that Nora will risk the chef's special, I will try it. But if that slime sickens me... It's your whining that turns stomachs around.
Sure, will take a lot of damage from us.
prepared. Wish you could talk. That would help a lot. You wanted to speak to me? The name's Zalka. Have you heard from up north? From Bleeding Mark? I'm guessing that's a place. One of the desert's villages. They send their yield of ash blood so the Vareka over there can mark the skin of our soldiers. But it's been a long time since the last supply run. Too long. If you think something happened to them, can't you send someone to go check? Were it up to me. But Commander Yara is too busy securing her hold over the capital to spare any soldiers. My face paint will strike fear in your enemies. Take a look. If I'm out that way, I can look in on the village, find out what's the delay. You have my thanks. Head north to a ruin where the desert meets the mountains. That's Bleeding Mark. Ask for Kentok or Natika there. They'll know what's going on. Blade. <laughs> Take it from a girl who grew up in the wilds, birds don't provide much conversation. That's for sure. How are you doing, Aloy? Well, better than you, I think. At least I'm not chatting with animals. What's wrong? Meat here flew in yesterday with this in its beak. It's a cord that the Tanakh children use to carry their training swords. 
The kind of thing one of our young doesn't lose unless something bad has happened. I checked around. Turns out a kid is missing. Wandered off the day before last. Search parties turned up nothing. Gotta tell you, I'm not in the mood to lose one of my people. Especially a child. Let me see that thing. There's a bit of quartz on here. It's probably sand, some dirt. And clay, with a red hue. Sand, dirt, and red clay? I know a spot where all three meet, just south of the settlement. Will you meet me there and help check it out? Maybe use that relic of yours. The way things have been going, I can't trust this to anyone else. I'll get there as soon as I can. I can always count on you. Sounds like Yara is feeling... isolated. Yara should be around here somewhere. I need to help her look for that missing kid. Glad you made it, Aloy. So, here we are. Sand, dirt, red clay. Just like you said from looking at that child's cord. Maybe you could use your relic? See if he was here? Star Wormeet is. When she gets squawking like that, she's usually onto something. Okay, I'm on it. There. Small footprints. Things, but the tracks lead away from here. Yara, I found a trail. Might be the child. Really? Let's go. Back at Scalding Spear, you said you couldn't trust anyone. What's going on? With Draka out of the way, I thought there'd be peace for a while. Two days ago, I had to put down another upstart. He thought I should have sided with Regala. How many more do I have to kill? When does it end? Good question. Do I detect a note of judgment there? You know your people better than I do. But I have noticed that killing leads to more killing. It's always been the way of the desert. Yeah, but should it be? Do you hear that? Meet to the rescue again. Help! I think the child's in that ancient wreck. I need help! There you are. You're safe now. No! There's machines out there! Battle call! Uh-oh. Oh no. One of these things. Break yourself. Oh. 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 
here at least. Stash later. To remember. Well done, Aloy. I 
I should check on Yara and the kid. Okay, little one. You're right now. What happened? I... I, I just wanted to go on a hunt. But I got lost. And then the machines chased me. And... Hush. You're safe. Just give me a minute with my friend here. Then I'll take you back to Scalding Spear. Thank you, Commander. At ease, soldier. Those machines would have finished me if you hadn't been here. The kid's okay. That's all that matters. Yes. His parents will be glad to have him back. His squad, too. It's nice to save a life instead of end one. The desert kills, it's true. But every now and then something blooms from it. I'll think about what you said. I'm just glad I could help. About that. Take this. You deserve it. You found the child. Well, you and meat. What a team. Stay safe, Yara. And you as well. We'll get you taken. This must be the village Zoko was talking about. Looks like the whole place flooded. Not even a recent storm. I wonder if anyone made it out. Best check around the shore. Ugh. The water feels thick. Polluted. Guess this won't help the water shore in the Skull and Spear. Can anyone hear us? Where are you? We're trapped in this tower. Flood blocked the way we came in. There's a ladder at the top, but we can't reach it. Okay, I'll find a way to get to you. I need to get to the ladder at the top of the building. Maybe there's a way to cross over from the broken one next to it. Can't pull that. There's a way to swim into the broken building. I need something to get me over the metal wall and inside.
it's stuck. Maybe I can use my weight to make it drop? You're not one of us. Sorry. Yes. We took shelter in here when a mudslide swept through the village, but debris blocked the passage we came in through. That ladder was our only way out, but we couldn't reach it from here. Don't worry. I'll find us another way out of here. Do you know what happened to the others? Before we ran in here, I thought I saw a few of our comrades climbing up a watchtower on the north side, near the grotto. I'll look into it. Can you make it to the shore from here? If you find us a way out, we'll make it. Okay. Sit tight, for now. have a way out. Thanks. We'll head to the shore in a moment. Okay. Better find this watchtower on the north end. There are more survivors on that overlook. Must be where Natika is. Is he all right? Uh, he will be. Uh, there. But what about the others? Let me worry about that. Rest now. I'm Natika. You're a long way from the east, Outlander. You're Natika. So this must be Bleeding Mark. What's left of it? How do you know this place? The Inker's apprentice and Scalding Spear told me to find you. He was worried something happened to your supply caravan. Well, as you can see, we have more important problems than delivering ash blood. What happened here? The last storm caused a deluge that brought down half of the mountain. The mudslide barreled right through the village. I hear we have you to thank for getting these soldiers to safety. But there are others still missing, and I need to keep watch here. Then I'll take another look around. If I find anyone else, I'll send them your way. Much appreciated. And... If you see an older soldier, grim-faced, goes by Kentok, uh, tell him... Tell him I'm here. Boulders. Break the support beam, crush the machines. Now. 
Is everyone okay? Better now, without snap maws prowling around. You sure know how to fight. We saw some of our comrades stuck on the eastern cliffs. They could use a hand too, if you're willing. Okay, I'll check it out. Have you seen Kentok? Natika asked me to keep an eye out for him. Last I saw him was before the mudslide hit. Okay. Head for the shore, on the other side of the village. Natika's there with the other survivors. Will do. Thanks again. in place. Now, I have to reach the cliff. I should take a look at the bottom of the crane's arm. See if there's a way to move it. beam. It should remove the counterweight and lower the arm. I don't think I can pull the beam from here. I have to get up higher. The arm should drop the rest of the way. The thing's about to drop! Watch out! We're clear! Blood of the tent! How'd you manage to do that? I don't know how you did it, but thanks for the rescue. Is everyone okay? His legs snapped against some debris as we were making a run for it, but he'll live. How'd you get stuck up here? A mudslide tore through the village in the last storm. This ledge was just above the flood when we got to it. But by the time everything calmed down, the water had receded, leaving us stranded. And we couldn't leave a fellow soldier behind. Can you make it to the shore from here? Natika's there, tending to the wounded. Natika. Thank the team. We'll head for her location. She'll know what we should do next. Thanks again, Outlander. Okay. Back to the Tika.
Rest now. Aloy, thanks to you, these soldiers are safe. But where's Kentok? I didn't see anyone who matched his description. Do you know where he was when the storm hit? I was the last one to see him, just before. I told him I wanted to leave this place to pledge my blade to the Chief's Guard, but he refused to discharge me from the squad. All Tanakh are stubborn fighters, but Kentok is more so than most. So I walked out. I was coming back from the opposite ridge when I saw the mudslide. You were coming back to make amends. I must find him. If anyone can survive such a storm, it's him. You said Kentok is your squad leader? I've trained under him ever since I was assigned to a squad. He's tough as a shell snapper. Unforgiving as the desert. But my blade is quicker, deadlier because of him. And he taught me to fight for duty, not just glory. To serve something greater than yourself. Yes. And yet he wants me to be tethered to this place. Rather than fulfilling a greater purpose with the Chief's Guard. You said you wanted to pledge your blade to the Chief's Guard. Is that what the Marshals are? No. The Marshals travel the breadth of the clan lands, enacting Chief Hikaru's will. The Guard remains at the Grove to defend it and the Chief. But like the Marshals, only a handful are chosen for such an honor. So why did Kentok not want you to go? He claimed that the greater honor was to serve my squad and clan. But all we do here is gather supplies for ink. How can that compare to guarding the Grove? The Chief himself? So a mudslide did all this? Must have been quite a storm. We've had more and more of them over the last few years. Torrential rain, lightning strikes, winds that rattle the metal towers. But this last one was the worst yet. This area used to be as arid as the rest of the desert. The storms have changed all that. There's a water shortage in the capital. Could this help? The wound in the sand is low? Guess we're not the only ones dealing with problems. But unfortunately, no. This water is poisoned by ash blood, undrinkable as machine oil. What's ash blood? It's a red stone we gather. Our inker and scalding spear turns it into a pigment for the marks on our skin. In exchange, we get water. Every village in the clan trades with the capital for it. Food, machine parts. For us, it's ash blood. It's not exactly an exciting trade. I can take another look around the village. Where did you last see- Natika. I'm here. Where's Kentok? Did he make it? We're going to find him. He saved me. Pushed me out of the way as everything collapsed. But then the flood took him. Towards the gouge. The gouge? It's an ancient passage that leads deep underground. Come! I'll show you. Natika, we need orders. We're exposed out here. Only half of us can hold a blade if machines come. What do you want us to do? Go. The gouge is in the hillside, northwest of here. I'll catch up when I can. What are we going to do now? Let's get a couple soldiers posted as lookouts to start. the gouge. Looks like an old mine. There's a lot of debris blocking the entrance. Maybe can during the flood. I have to clear some of it to get inside. Time to head in. Okay, let's see where this leads. Take it easy. You must be Kentok. Oh. I was an outlander, not my name. Natika sent me to find you. 
The soldier you saved told us you were swept away by the mudslide. And so he made it. Good. And Natika, she came back? Yeah. She was on her way back to talk to you when the mudslide happened. She's looking after the survivors now. It was my mistake to deny her discharge. A soldier is supposed to sacrifice for the good of the tribe. Looking back now, she was right. I didn't want to let her go. The chief's guard will gain an invaluable soldier. At least after all this, I won't be in the way anymore. I can tell you know a fatal wound when you see one. My service to my clan is done. So... Leave me. No. You're not going to die down here. There has to be a way to get you out. There isn't. I tried to climb out, but it's no use. The walls are too slick. Water's coming in. From the surface? But not from where I came in. There must be another source. And if I find it, and open it up... You might not be able to move, Kentok, but I think there might be a way to move you. Hey. Hey. I need you to stay awake. I'm gonna take a look around. <laughs> You're just like Natika. Relentless as a fire claw. And you should be used to it. Just sit tight. I'm going to get you out of here. That waterfall must be coming from somewhere. I need to get higher up to figure out where it's coming from. <laughs> be another source. There's some metal in that wall across the way. Might be able to pull some of it out. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. The waterfall I saw down below should be coming in from somewhere around here. Gotta find its source. coming in from there. I can use the fire queen to break open the wall. Things should be good. You're a stubborn fighter, so keep fighting. only to the hand that commands it. He would say that every time we sparred. Sometimes as an insult. <laughs> Other times as a compliment. But I guess he was right. It was always my choice to stay or go. I'm sorry you didn't get to make amends. So am I. What will you do now? I'm not sure. Bleeding Mark has a chance to recover. And once that's done... I could join the Chief's Guard, but I have to lay him to rest first. For the full soldier's honors. Aloy, hey, wait. You saved my comrades, somehow drained the entire village. I want you to have this. Thanks. And good luck. Whatever you decide. Is she sick? <laughs> it's Aloy, isn't it? Walk with me. I am Ateka, commander of the Lowland clan. The girl, Zella, was poisoned by the blood choke. 
For months, it has polluted our waters, depriving us of food and clean drink. We've learned to live with it as best we can. But recently, without explanation, the filth cleared from much of the lowland. Yet one river still runs red, like a split vein from a rotted corpse. So the water here is still poisoned? Exactly. I sent my best squad to find its source, led by Zala's mother. <sighs> they failed to report back. Hikaro told me how you challenged Regala. Saved his life. So lend me your strength. Together we can find my squad and the source of the poison. Sounds like you know Hikaru pretty well. He was my commander before he was my chief. I had served in his squad since we were bare-armed youths. Back then, he was a merciless warlord. Determined to destroy any enemy of the Lowland clan. I was with him the day he took the grove. Stood guard outside as he claimed the throne within. He entered a conqueror. But returned with the ambition of ending the constant bloodshed between the clans. Because he saw Faraday's message. Yes. That vision changed him, gave him new purpose. He became our first chief, ruler of all Tanakhs, and dedicated the tribe to fighting machines instead of each other. If you're so close with Hikaru, why aren't you a marshal? I wanted to serve as one, but... Akaro needed someone he could trust to lead his former clan. Maintaining control of the desert and sky clans is difficult enough for him. But the title wasn't handed to me. I fought for the honor, as our rights demand. Five days of scars and blood. By the last sunset, I stood alone. The new commander. Close to twenty years have passed since. This... Blood choke. Is that what you call the red algae? Yes. A couple years ago, it was only a thin streak of red in the river. It grew over time. Until it was a constant poison. It sickens those who drink the polluted water, kill the fish we used to catch. But a while ago, unexplainably, the rivers began to clear. All except for one. Because of it, my people continue to waste away. Weakening the clan. I'll help you find your missing squad. Good. I'm heading out now. The longer the blood choke remains, the longer my people suffer. We'll follow the Red River. The squad would have done the same. Might be able to pick up some sign of them. You ready? Let's head out. We'll start at the mouth of the Red River. This way. For months, I watched as the strongest warrior and the smallest child alike fell ill from the blood choke. When the other rivers cleared, it seemed like the tide had finally turned. See those hooks dash? Hey, we'll get to the bottom of this. We must. There's the mouth of the river. If we follow it upstream, we find the source of the poison. And hopefully, this one. I'll follow your lead. The machine has taken down recently. Machines couldn't have been brought down easily. And there's blood. <laughs> it's 
sounds exciting. The squad could be in trouble. Tanakh soldiers. That's the squad. We have to bring those machines Fight. down. Back up the right! Gather round. Aloy, good fighting. Hateka, these weren't ordinary machines. They were overridden by rebels. Regala. Even defeated her influence remains. How did this start? We fought our way up the river to here. And then... We found that. We advanced to investigate. We had just started the climb when these machines attacked. Seemed like they were on patrol. A pile of dead machines, a poison river, and Regal's rebels. That can't be a coincidence. I agree. Rest. And then head back to Thornmarsh. Little Zella is waiting for you. Aloy and I will take it from here. Yes, Commander. If there are rebels up there, it could be a trap. We'll fight our way through regardless. You with me? Let's find a way up. On your lead, Aloy. As impressive as when you flew over the road. We'll have to climb up the falls. See the blood shots, a lot of dead machines. Let's do it. Come back, Aloy!
Next idea. Show courage and fight me! Here we go. Oh, that's the last one. What were the rebels doing here? Let's find out. Have a look around. I thought I saw something over by the dam. I'll go check it out. It's a machine lore. Well, that explains all these machines. But why put it here? My focus might show me more. The Revels had a large operation here. There has to be something else that'll tell us what was going on. I thought I saw some equipment over by the falls. When I hit from this thing could do a lot of damage. There's one of these at the grove in the arena to put down machines. Machine scrap and broken corruptor components used for overrides. Were the rebels testing them here? So all these dead machines are what? Failures? Maybe.
Don't think I can follow you there. It's a message from one of the sons of Prometheus. It says the rebels were about to leave, but decided to guard the dam after the water started to clear. They saw an opportunity and seized it. I think I know what happened. The rebels were luring machines here so they could override them. But they couldn't get them all. So they killed some with the ballista, forming the dam. Once they realized it was blocking clean water from flushing away the blood choke, they decided to stay and protect it. Spineless cowards! Poisoning us until we waste away? The dam. Can you break it? I'll take a look. I should scan the dam. Might show me a weak point. There's an explosive sack from a machine inside the dam. One hit could blow the whole thing up. Come back, Aloy! I need to find a way to expose it. to pull part of the dam open. Expose the sack. There's the sack. It's gonna take a powerful shot to blow it up. And I can't do both at once. The ballista. Hey, Ateka. Can you get up there? Fire a bolt while I hold this thing open? A rebel weapon to destroy a rebel dam. I'm on it. Works. Hold it. <laughs> nice flying. Ha ha. We did it. It's gone. After all this time, we're finally free of the poisoned waters. Thank you, Aloy. I must return to Thornmarsh. Meet me there when you can. You deserve a proper reward. There's Thornmarsh. The rebels must have been spying on them. Might be a nice glide down. Looks like the water's cleared up around here. I should find a Tekka. Welcome, warrior. <laughs> Who wants to play some machine strike? <laughs> Aloy. I was just recounting your deeds at the dam. Our deeds. We did it together. True enough. Look around. 
Thornmarsh is free of the blood choke. We don't have to live in fear of the poison. It feels like for the first time in months, we can wash our wounds with clean water. And how are you feeling, Zella? Ready to hunt. <laughs> Not yet, <laughs> little warrior. I promised you a reward equal to your deeds. I cannot think of anything more fitting than this. Thank you. Wherever your travels take you, Aloy, may you always fly on the wings of the Ten. I'll see you at training later. In the name of the Ten. <laughs> 